As the only SSS level ghost in the world, I chose to surrender myself to the country instead of ruling the world. It's because I don't want to devour ugly ghosts, let alone treat humans as food. Helpless and starving, I dialed the police uncle's phone number. Hello, I am a ghost. Can you accommodate me? As long as I am full? This nonsensical remark made Chen Yao, the street police officer, burst into laughter. Just as she was about to hang up the phone, the cup on the table flew towards her on its own. She just tried to dodge, but found that she couldn't move. At this moment, the voice came from the phone again. If you trust me, the cup will naturally not hit you. As the fast-moving cup stopped in front of Chen Yao, she immediately realized that something big had happened. It is well known that the existence of strangeness in this world, but being able to remotely perform ghost techniques is unheard of. Is the guy on the other end of the phone the legendary S-class ghost? Chen Yao calmed her mind, carefully wrote down my address, and then rushed to the local paranormal bureau at a speed of 800 meters per second. After the director of the paranormal bureau understood the whole process of the incident, he was completely confused. Damn it, the most advanced exorcist in the entire county is only level 13. If he is sent to make contact, once the other party is really above B-level and has malicious intent, it will definitely be a one-way trip. With the situation being so urgent, the director had to seek help from Yi Feng, a B-level exorcist who was on vacation at home. Yi Feng pondered for a while and finally agreed to take on this matter. After all, in his opinion, the other party was able to remotely perform ghost techniques without harming anyone, and clearly stated that as long as they were well-fed, they would behave obediently. That proves that the other party has no ill intentions. In that case, there might be an opportunity for oneself to turn the situation around. Soon, Yi Feng arrived at the residential area where I live, and as soon as he got off the car, he immediately felt that something was very wrong. This old community is shrouded in a strong ghostly atmosphere, looking like a dark cloud hanging over it from a distance. This situation can only mean that there is more than one fierce ghost inside. Are the bunch of brats in the criminal bureau all useless? Why hasn't anyone discovered this place in so many years? Yi Feng cursed silently and then summoned his guardian spirit. He didn't know how dangerous it was inside the community, so he could only let the guardian spirit go ahead and explore the way. But just as he had walked less than 10 meters, the two guardian spirits that were exploring the way were thrown in front of him like dead dogs. Then a huge shadow slowly emerged from the black mist. It's over. Yi Feng realized that he was no match for the opponent at all and it seemed that higher level fierce ghosts were appearing around him one after another. He was completely surrounded, but just as he couldn't help but retreat, he felt like he had bumped into something. I saw myself standing behind Yi Feng as soon as he turned around. Why did you come here alone? It's dangerous here. Yi Feng quickly spoke up to remind. Not everyone, there's still a cat. I smiled faintly. Cats can't do it either. The moment Yi Feng's voice fell, the calico cat beside me had already bitten off the neck of a fierce ghost. This damn thing is an A-level fierce ghost. In Yi Feng's eyes, that useless calico cat should also be a fierce ghost. And at least it's an S-class. My god, the whole country of China. But haven't seen many S-class fierce ghosts. Boss, how come a weak chicken was sent by humans? You don't seem to value calling on your own initiative. The tabby cat looked at Yi Feng with disdain. He was indeed too weak. But since you were arranged to come by the bureau, let's go inside and have a seat. Faced with my sincere invitation, Yi Feng followed in a daze. Even the S-level ghost is just a pet. What kind of realm has this young man reached? In the next half an hour, Yi Feng, who was talking to me, felt uneasy. Under my careful description, he finally understood his own intentions. It is said that humans have soul stones that can provide energy for ghosts, so they don't have to rely on blood to replenish their bodies. After all, I can't stomach those disgusting ghosts, and humans who are considered delicious by ordinary ghosts are completely out of my recipe. But soul stones are also rare items. Yi Feng said that as a small police officer, he couldn't make the decision, so he told me to go back and report to the higher-ups. I also understand his difficulties very well and promised to wait patiently for good news. Finally, I kindly sent him out of the Century Huafu community. After all, without my protection, with his weak strength, he would be attacked within two seconds after leaving. Just after I sent him out of the community gate, Yi Feng immediately ran to his old Jetta without any hesitation. Although I told him that those ghosts would not harm him once he left the community, it is obvious that this kid has already been scared to pee. I smiled and waved goodbye to him before turning around and leaving, but at this moment, a huge wave has already surged in Yi Feng's heart. After all, the amount of information gained from this trip is really huge. Nowadays, the ghostly atmosphere is reviving globally, with humans and ghosts coexisting. The ghosts have even developed their own civilization. Ghosts of A-level or above have the ability to think independently and can even continuously evolve and upgrade. 
The country across the cherry blossom is already controlled by a rift woman who has evolved from A level to S level, and most of the country has become its territory. In short, if a country has a ghost above S level, it will be a deadly crisis for that country. Soon, the news of ghosts above S level appearing in the coastal city reached the ears of the higher ups, and the National Bureau of Supernatural Affairs immediately held an emergency meeting. Various experts rushed back to headquarters to participate. Even the strongest force in the legendary country of Huaxia, the ten great heavenly kings, all personally attended, waiting for all the participants to arrive. Director Liang Anji of the General Administration briefly introduced the emergency situation in the Seven Seas City, and then let everyone discuss how to deal with it. As soon as these words were spoken, someone on the side immediately argued, saying that it was just an S-level ghost, and the ten great heavenly kings were also S-level spirit masters, they could just directly take action and kill it. You, didn't you see the intelligence information on the big screen? The opponent's pet cat is an S-class fierce ghost. What if it's really a existence beyond S-class and easily defeats the celestial kings? Who will protect our country in the future? Minister of Affairs, Su Yen, angrily retorted. Suddenly, everyone quieted down. After all, no one present has ever seen the power of an SS-class ghost. However, due to the goodwill I have shown, the final agreement was reached at the meeting. This operation will be coordinated by Minister of Intelligence Su Yen and Minister of Ghost Sali Kun. For safety reasons, Director Lao Liang also assigned five heavenly kings to provide covert protection. After everyone finished packing the combat supplies, they directly boarded a special plane and headed to the coastal city. It wasn't until we arrived at our destination that we realized there was an extra person in the team. It turned out to be Jiang Ze from the research department, whose curiosity got the better of him. He was determined to study the advanced high-level ghosts and managed to sneak onto the private jet ahead of time. This mission was a matter of life and death, and Ellie didn't have the patience to bring along someone who had no combat power. But at this point, there was nothing he could do. He could only let him follow behind the team and wander around. After arriving at Century Washington Community, everyone instantly felt the strong ghostly atmosphere here. It seems that, as the intelligence said, this place is definitely a ghost den. Su Yen and the others encountered several fierce ghosts within 50 meters of their advance. Although they successfully repelled them, everyone found something unusual. The ghosts here are exceptionally powerful. Just now, that A-level hanged ghost, originally thought that with Ellie's A-level ghost master's combat power, accompanied by two protective spirits, they could easily deal with it. However, the actual situation was that they were almost beaten by the opponent. If it weren't for Su Yan's timely help, the leader of the prestigious ghost department might have fallen directly to the ground. And for a while, everyone no longer had any contempt. Once encountering ghosts, they immediately rushed to kill, slowly advancing to the middle of the community, encountering more and more powerful ghosts. Suddenly, a loud shout came from a distance. Intruders will die. A black ghostly aura rushed straight towards Lao Ai. And in that moment, the expression on his face froze. He could clearly feel the powerful momentum of this vengeful spirit. It was very likely that if he were to confront it head on, both he and his protective spirit would dissipate together, but he couldn't hide, because he would never allow the few people behind him to be harmed. After all, he was the minister of ghost control, just when everyone thought Lao Ai was about to meet his demise. That black ghostly aura suddenly changed direction and rushed towards Su Yen on the side. This guy seems to have gained intelligence and is very clear about the most worthy target to attack among this group of people. Zhang Ze, who was on the side, was completely stunned by this scene. Having studied fierce ghosts for many years, he has never encountered an A-level ghost with such high intelligence. He suddenly felt that China is now facing an unprecedented crisis. No, don't. Lao Ai was too preoccupied to ponder over these matters, with only Su Yen in his eyes at the moment. The other party was already surrounded by black smoke, and a tearing sound came from within. Lao Ai was instantly struck like lightning. He didn't dare to think whether that sound was Su Yen being torn apart or his protective spirit. Suddenly, a beam of light rushed in from a distance and directly hit the black ghostly aura. As the ghostly aura dissipated, Su Yen stood intact in the same spot, with a faint sadness on her face. A group of useless people. The mere A-level ghost has beaten you like this. And suddenly a voice came from nearby. Everyone looked cautiously to the side. And it turned out that the person who came was one of the ten great kings. Gu Tuwa. This time we are saved. The king is the strongest combat force in China. An S-level exorcist. Zay turned excitedly to the person next to him and said, but he didn't notice that Gutua's face didn't look good at this moment. Everyone thinks that an S-level exorcist fighting an S-level ghost should be easy, but only the S-level heavenly king knows that it takes a lot to get rid of an S-level ghost. The top 10 kings may need at least half of the people to take action. At this time, due to the appearance of the king, Lao Ai, as the captain, 
also breathed a sigh of relief. He took out the walkie-talkie and communicated with Yi Feng. However, just as he spoke for less than two seconds, a ghostly and condensed knife flew out from the darkness in the distance, directly cutting AI Lacoon's walkie-talkie in half. Yi Feng, who was outside the community, found that the communication was inexplicably interrupted, and he was also anxious. It seems that the situation inside is not smooth. Even with the presence of the king, it is extremely dangerous, and the reality is indeed so. After Lao Ai's walkie-talkie was destroyed, some terrifying figures appeared around them again. Do we still need to move forward? We have been here for so long and haven't encountered that S-class ghost yet. If he has evil intentions, then we won't be able to leave. Zhang Zhe's voice has started to tremble. We can't go any further in this situation. Let's defend ourselves here for now. The sudden interruption of communication will definitely make them aware that something is wrong here. Let's wait for headquarters to rescue us, Gu Tua said lightly. As soon as his words fell, five fierce ghosts had already surrounded them, with the lowest being a B level. Stay alert and protect yourself and your companions, Gu Tua shouted loudly, then turned and rushed towards the two strongest A level ghosts. At this time, Yi Feng, who was outside the community, received a call from Director Liang of the General Administration. After learning that the communication of Guto and others had been interrupted, he frowned immediately. It seems that even with the presence of a king, the few people in the community cannot successfully leave. What does that S-class ghost, who actively contacted the Bureau of Supernatural Affairs, mean? He quickly contacted the remaining four heavenly kings who were secretly assigned to provide support, asking them to mobilize support as soon as possible, regardless of whether the mission is successful or not. At least the people who go in must come out alive. At the same time, Gu Tuwa, who had just killed two A-level ghosts, just as I was catching my breath, two adorable little cuties of A-level rushed out again. Fuck, are they playing tag? These guys really don't have any principles. Spirit domain, activate. With a low roar, Gu Tuwa emitted a dazzling light from his body, quickly trapping the two A-level ghosts within the golden light range. The ghosts that entered the spiritual realm were instantly suppressed and completely unable to move. Gu Tuwa then summoned his own soul nail. As long as it was nailed into the head of the ghost, it could instantly subdue it, but he poked with the soul nail for a long time, only to find that it couldn't penetrate at all. Seeing that the spiritual realm was gradually unable to suppress the fierce ghost, a trace of panic appeared in Gutua's eyes. Is it possible that today he will have to explain everything here? Just at this critical moment, two silver soul nails flew from a distance and pierced straight into the heads of two fierce ghosts. Guto, it's been a few days, how did you become so weak? Hearing the sound coming from a distance, Guto finally felt relieved. Qi Ling is here. This also means that the remaining four members of the first team of the Heavenly Kings have all arrived. With the five Heavenly Kings gathered, even if a true S-level ghost appears, they have the confidence to kill the opponent. There is a lot of noise outside, but at this moment, I am still comfortably lying on my own sofa. Although the turmoil of ghostly atmosphere in the neighborhood has long been noticed, the Calico Cat told itself that it was just a fight between a few fierce ghosts. This kind of thing happens frequently, but today's fight was more intense. I turned over and was about to continue sleeping for a while, when a flash of light suddenly flashed through my mind. It seems that Shouya said that he would arrange for the senior management to come and connect as soon as possible. But what if their people really come? It was my carelessness that caused them to be eaten by those ghosts outside. Where can I go to reason with them? I won't sleep. I won't sleep. Let's take a look quickly. I got up and walked out with a tabby cat in my arms. Although the little kitty was very unhappy, it couldn't make any waves in my hands. Just as I walked out of the house. I felt a ghostly aura spreading around, so I asked the cat in my hands what was going on. It is a S-class ghost from the building next door, but he is just a noob. Let's just ignore him. That won't do. If this ghost lays hands on people from our country, my stable job will be in jeopardy. After saying that, I quickly walked towards the neighboring building and found that eerie ghost investigating the surroundings. Hey, what are you doing, kid? I walked up confidently and asked. The other person turned his head slightly and looked at me. Although I looked a bit strange in his eyes, I didn't emit any strangeness. Naturally, he treated me as a rookie. You little brat, are you so impolite when talking to me? The fierce ghost gathered a burst of energy and attacked me. But this powerful strike that could split rocks disappeared before reaching me. What is this thing? At this moment, Li Gue was a little stunned. Although he didn't know how I did it. But he instinctively erupted his own ghost domain in an instant. This is the ghost domain of an S-level Li Gue. And its power is naturally extraordinary. A surging black energy spread out in all directions, and the five great kings who had just cleared the surrounding illusions immediately sensed the danger. They hurriedly asked Song Qiming, who was in charge of defense, to activate the shield. They watched as the densely packed ghost domain instantly enveloped their heads, 
causing the five of them to break out in a cold sweat. Is this the power released by the S-level Li Gue? The power is too incredible. Deng Yezhou, who is good at detection, is extremely sensitive to energy fluctuations. He can deeply feel the power of this mysterious domain. Wait, something is wrong. Deng Yezhou suddenly shouted again. This eerie domain was not released against us. We are completely affected. These words came out. The five heavenly kings looked at each other. They quickly realized something. If they wanted to know what was going on, there was only one way for them to do so. That was to enter into a deeper part of the cell to explore a bit. If they were able to find that S-ranked stern spirit that had released the ghostly spirit, after that, should they take it in and destroy it, or should they sit down and explore it? Then we will talk about it when the time comes. What do we do next? Continue on? Song Qiming turned his head slightly to look at Qi Ling beside him. Several people were on a team. It was natural to follow the captain's orders. Just, Qi Ling, however, did not open her mouth. Her eyes had also been falling on Tang Yezhou's body. What exactly was going to happen? Or should we wait for Tang Yezhou's detection situation? It was just that Tang Yezhou hadn't opened his mouth yet. The next second, the ghostly spirit that had originally been withdrawn unfolded once again. Quickly, shield shield shield. The instant Tang Yezhou realized it, immediately turning his head here to look at Song Qiming. Song Qiming released the shield. Only then did the crowd look at the even more powerful ghostly spirit this time. For a moment, everyone did not speak. Everyone had been shocked by the ghostly spirit in front of them. The class of the ghostly creature continued to climb. In the end, it even went straight to the fifth rank, peak of the fourth rank. If we continue to let him develop like this, then we might not be able to put up any resistance against it in the end. Tang Yezhou sensed the energy emanating from the ghost. Only after a long time did he swallow his saliva and turn his head to look at Qi Ling, who was to the side. How could Qi Ling not know about his words? An S-class Liege's ghost had actually arrived at the peak of the fourth order. If it were to step into the fifth order, and then continue to break through, it might even reach the SS rank. If it really reaches this level, even if the ten heavenly kings were to take action, they won't be able to eliminate them. Even this ghost is not suppressing them. It's just that the S-class ghost has encountered some unexpected situation. That's why he broke out his ghostly spirit. Whenever the ghost casts a ghostly spirit today, his target is the five heavenly kings, or perhaps the entire people of the sea city. Then all of them, they'll probably all be accounted for here. A place infested with S-class ghosts. Not an inch of grass will grow. A few people's faces instantly sank. If this night ghost really shows up, for all of us, it's an overthrowing disaster. Even more so, the entire country of China might cease to exist. Qi Ling's face was filled with seriousness. She slowly opened her mouth and spoke to the several people in front of her. The few people didn't open their mouths even though they didn't speak. However, their faces were also invariably filled with worry. The ghosts are starting to retract. At this moment, Tung Yezhou spoke once again. Upon hearing this, several people once again raised their heads to look at the ghostly spirit above their heads. As expected, the ghostly spirit was casting fast. The retraction was also swift. Soon, the gloom above their heads was gone. It was only because of the S-ranked liege releasing the ghostly spirit. It resulted in there no longer being any other lower rank liege ghosts around the few people. Let's continue to probe deeper. It's imperative to find that S-ranked stern ghost. Shi Ling turned her head to Su Yan and paid Jia Xiang on the side. Her meaning was already obvious. It was the people who wished to go deeper. There were only the five heavenly kings. Pei Jia Xiang also quickly grasped her meaning. Don't worry Captain Chi. We will definitely protect ourselves. We're not as good as a few of you in terms of skill and rank. That's why we won't stay to add trouble to a few of you. We'll just directly exit this neighborhood first. Listening to Pei Jia Xiang's words. Only then did Qi Ling nod her head. She did not say anything more to them. Instead, she directly took her team members with her and turned her head towards a place where the ghostly aura of the neighborhood was even denser. Are we really not going to follow? Watching the five heavenly kings leave. Only then did Yu Qi, who was on the side, open his mouth and ask Su Yan. We're from the intelligence department. What can we do by following up? Any one of the five heavenly kings alone is stronger than us. If we follow them, we will only be adding to their burden. It would be better to take advantage of the fact that there are no lich ghosts present at this moment. Directly exit the neighborhood first. Then just wait for the good news from the five heavenly kings. The words fell. Su Yan turned her head and headed in the direction of the cell gate. Pei Jiaxiang also followed without hesitation then. After the two sides went their separate ways. After walking for not long, Pei Jiaxiang suddenly stopped in his tracks. Hey, wait. Su Yan turned her head slightly to look at Pei Jiaxiang. There was this hint of surprise in her eyes. Why are you stopping if you're not hurrying? It seems like we're missing someone. Pei Jiaxiang quickly spoke. He looked around before he said with a tight frown. 
Damn it, why is Jiang Zhe missing? Hearing this, Su Yan also swept a glance around. As expected, Jiang Zhe's figure was really not found. This guy, where did he run off to? Pei Jiaxiang muttered. It was only Su Yan who turned her head to look at the ghostly aura behind her. The caution in her eyes indeed did not dissipate at all. All right, let's not worry about where he actually went. There's always nothing too big going on. Besides, their research department should be quite a lot of good stuff, since he's the one who chose to follow it. He himself will have to pay the price for what he did. Su Yan's footsteps continued forward without the slightest hesitation. The remaining few people looked at each other in dismay. But in the end, they could only follow. On the other side, the stern ghost in front of Wei Ming had been completely suppressed. Let it out. Let's see how much more you can let out. It's like farting over and over again. This ghostly spirit of yours doesn't seem to be of any use at all. It can't even do me the slightest bit of harm. Wei Ming had a smile on his face if nothing else. He opened his mouth and spoke to the stern ghost in front of him. His tone was also filled with disdain. However, the eyes of the stern ghost looking at Wei Ming. On the other hand, they were filled with uncertainty. He was clear about his rank. In the division of human beings for the ghosts, he was an S-class. He was an S-class. How many humans could only scatter and run away when they saw him? But this person in front of him. Oh no. This ghost. Surprisingly, he doesn't have the slightest fear of his own ghost. That means, he must be stronger than himself. An S-class himself. More powerful than yourself. What rank would that have to be? Forget it. You swallowed it. Move nimbly and quickly. Don't let me see it. Wei Ming turned his head slightly to look at the civet cat squatting to the side. The civet cat stood up and stretched. Only then did it walk towards the stern ghost with elegant cat steps, even though the stern ghost was trembling all over his body. But he also understood. He was in front of Wei Ming. There was simply no room to escape. Wei Ming's crushing strength against the ghost. However, it didn't allow Wei Ming to have a clear perception of his own strength. Instead, he felt even more. It must be because this night ghost was too weak. That was why it couldn't even defeat itself. It's a pity that there aren't many that can beat me in such a big place. Wei Ming said while shaking his head helplessly, if the civet cat on the side was a person, it would have been able to see its tightly fur a brow, and the incredulity in its eyes. Big brother do you want to listen to what you're talking about? What level are you? A few more? How is it possible? Qi Ling led the four heavenly kings down the road and walked inside. Tang Yezhou's spirit, on the other hand, was kept taut. He was afraid that if he didn't pay attention, there would be other stern ghosts suddenly rushing forward. Wait. Suddenly. Tang Yezhou shouted out. Hearing Tang Yezhou's voice, several people then quickly stopped their steps. The five people formed an encirclement, vigilantly observing the surroundings. The surroundings were simply too quiet. So quiet that, several people felt that something was wrong. Do you guys feel that something is approaching? Suddenly, Tang Yezhou spoke. His voice was suppressed very low. But after he said these words, he himself then instantly understood. Among the several people, he was the most sensitive to detection. Even if there really was a stern ghost, he should also be the first to detect it. What did you sense? Chi Ling turned her head and asked him, but he didn't open his mouth. Instead, his face was grave. Two stern ghosts are coming. Tang Yezhou opened his mouth and in the next second, he raised his hand and pointed in a direction. Following Tang Yezhou's direction, Song Qiming's shield quickly unfolded. There was a crackling sound. The golden shield collided with the black ghost aura. A mere class stern ghost. Do you need to be so scared? Based on the strength of the attack just now, Song Qiming had also perceived the opponent's rank. He let out a light laugh, slightly tinged with disdain. The eyes that looked at Tang Yezhou were also filled with doubt. It's not that simple, Tang Yezhou said, turning his head to look at Gu Tuwa. Several people followed his line of sight. Only then did they realize that there was blood flowing downward from Gu Tuo's palm. He was wearing black clothes. That was why no one had realized that he was injured just now. But looking at the blood on his hands, a few people also understood. It seemed that the injuries Gutua had suffered were not light. Gutua, you come over here and let me take a look. Shui Yu, who was at the side, opened his mouth and spoke to Gutua. He was originally a medic in battle, so it was quite normal to want to check Gutuo's wounds. However, Gutua directly refused. The night ghost will be here soon. My injuries aren't that serious. It's better to see how to fight next. Since Gutua had said so, Shui Yu could only give up. Just at the moment when Gutua's words fell. Two clusters of black mist suddenly appeared beside the five people. The black mist gradually dispersed. Only then did Tang Yezhou stare at them. There was a hint of caution in his eyes. Great a lustful ghosts. Curse ghost. Wazi ghost. These two stern ghosts at the moment. Although they weren't any two high level stern ghosts. However, they were each different in their own way. As the name suggests, 
Curse ghosts were capable of bursting with cursing abilities. It's just that some of them will explode, while others won't. It's a matter of probability. If there is a child ghost, there will naturally be a mother ghost. The two generally will not detach from each other. If they fight alone, they are just ordinary A-levels. But if the child and mother are combined, it would also be very difficult to deal with. It's just two A-ranks. Just go straight for it. Chi Ling didn't care. In the next moment, the spirit domain erupted. The Z ghost was instantly suppressed within Chi Ling's spirit domain. Gu Tua saw this. He, on the other hand, immediately rushed to the curse ghost on the side. After all, the Z ghost had already been suppressed. He himself could only go and destroy the curse grudge ghost. Spirit domain. Suppress. Soul devouring. Disperse. With the few words Chi Ling slowly spat out, that sub ghost was instantly trapped tightly by the soul devouring chain. In the next moment, it was instantly dispersed. Gu Tua, can you do it? Taking advantage of the fact that the mother ghost had not appeared, the first to destroy the child ghost. It was what Chi Ling had thought of from the very beginning. After all, if the mother ghost appeared, it wouldn't be that easy to defeat. Don't worry, I'm not that weak. Gu Tua responded to Chi Ling's words. With his mouth speaking, his hands were also not at all polite. Gu Tua carried a small dagger in his hand. Normally he wouldn't use this dagger but because now his body was at least injured. Bare hands and empty fists are not necessarily able to fight. So in the end, he chose to use a weapon. A S-ranked ghost master. Against an A-ranked curse ghost. Who will lose and who will win can be seen at a glance. Although the surrounding several people wanted to go up and help. But Gu Tua was trying to prove that his injuries had no effect on him. So he simply did not allow a few people to come up and help him. Simply because Gu Tua understood. If his injuries were really affecting him. Then Chi Ling would definitely allow himself to go back first. He would not be able to participate in the rest of the mission. But the chances of confronting an S-class night ghost. It was not rare at all. Gu Tuo didn't want to just leave straight away. As the dagger in Gu Tuo's hand flew. Soon, the spell grudge ghost was covered in wounds. The black ghost Chi was leaking out uncontrollably. The corner of Gu Tuo's mouth brought on a smile. It seemed that this cursed ghost was nothing more than that. But just as Gu Tuo was about to deliver a fatal blow. The cursed ghost suddenly flew towards him. The pupils of Deg Yezhou behind him suddenly shrunk. Gu Tua be careful. He shouted. But Gu Tua did not dodge. The cursed ghost's palms tightly grabbed both of Gu Tuo's arms. In an instant, black ghost Chi gushed out and surged into Gu Tuo's body. Curse. Gu Tua let go of him quickly. Deng Yezhou continued to shout at Gu Tua. But it wasn't like Gu Tua could just let go if he wanted to. In the end, it was Chi Ling's sword that flew over. Only then did it break up the cursed ghost. Just. The cursed ghost had already dissipated. The wound on Gu Tuo's arm was still sending out wisps of black gas. Is it all right? Shui Yu came forward. He picked up Gu Tuo's arm with the intention of looking at it. However, Gu Tuo quickly retracted his arm. Don't worry, I know my own body. But you, Shui Yu was just about to say something. Immediately after, he heard footsteps behind him. It wasn't just Shui Yu. Several people had already heard it. That person seemed to be in a great hurry. The footsteps were also getting closer. Jiang Zhe, seeing the person coming out of the black mist, a trace of surprise flashed through Gu Tuo's eyes, but after a moment, it was replaced by realization. Jiang Zhe, I know that you're bent on seeing this S-class night ghost, but you also have to understand ah, uh, your ability is simply not enough to support you here by yourself, so you can either follow us or go back first. Jiang Zhe do you hear me? Gu Tuo rushed at Jiang Zhe and opened his mouth. However, the other party acted as if he hadn't seen them. His eyes were lifeless as he ran straight ahead. What's going on? Gu Tuo was a bit surprised. He thought something had happened to Jiang Zhe. He just wanted to walk forward to check. Shi Ling, on the other hand, immediately spoke up. Don't go near him. He's not Jiang Zhe. Gu Tuo was instantly startled. But for a moment, he didn't comprehend what she meant. He turned his head to look at Chi Ling. Nothing had been said yet. Behind him, a voice came once again. This voice carried anxiety. And, a few people were more familiar with it. That's not me. You guys be careful. Don't get so close to him. It was Jiang Zhe's voice. The moment this voice from behind appeared, astonishment instantly clouded the faces of several people. If the person behind them was Jiang Zhe, then who exactly was this person in front of them? Don't go near him. Tang Yezhou stood at the very front and opened his mouth to speak to the few people beside him. And at this moment, Jiang Zhe had also run over. Panting. That guy isn't me at all. You guys pay attention. Don't be fooled by him. Chi Ling turned her head slightly to look at Jiang Zhe behind her. There was also the person in front of him who had stopped. Jiang Zhe who stood motionless. The next second. She then decisively turned her head to look at Tang Yezhou. This kind of professional matter. 
it was natural to leave it to a professional. Tang Yezhou saw Qi Ling's eyes. Instead, he didn't say anything. After sweeping a glance at both sides, he then nodded at Jiang Zhe behind Qi Ling. Only then did Qi Ling turn her head to look at Jiang Zhe. Tell me, what's going on here? Jiang Zhe managed to smooth and stabilize his breath. Only then did he open his mouth at the several people. Originally, after Pei Jiaxiang's few people left, Jiang Zhe chose to come over and follow the five heavenly kings, but because the ghost Qi was really too dense. For a moment, he couldn't find exactly where they were, and it was at this time, he suddenly realized that there was a person in front of him, looking almost exactly like Qi Ling. Jiang Zhe didn't have any doubts at that time, so he directly followed it with quick steps. Followed. He realized that Qi Ling had gradually transformed into his own appearance. He then saw the five heavenly kings in front of him. It was then that he realized, this thing was not a person at all. It should be a mirror ghost. That was why he shouted, hoping that the few people wouldn't mistake the mirror ghost for himself. Qi Ling was just about to open his mouth to say something to him. The next moment, the ghostly aura around the mirrored ghost behind him instantly erupted. The original Zhang Zhe's face also gradually began to fall off. Gradually, its original face was revealed. There was no face at all. Mirror ghosts originally have no face. Seeing whatever person can become whatever person. Even the body shape can remain the same. So all along, mirror ghosts are the most dangerous to everyone. Are the most dangerous existence? Zhang Zhe was the minister of research. It was natural for him to be able to say these things without hesitation. It didn't even require the slightest bit of thought. A hint of caution hung on Qi Ling's face. A soft sword slipped out of her sleeve. This was her most powerful weapon. No harm done. Soldiers come to the battlefield. It's just a mere mirror ghost. Even if it's powerful enough. We naturally don't need to feel cowed. When did we from the psychic bureau know how to write the word fear? Qi Ling said these words. Naturally, it caused the few people around them to instantly become agitated. Yeah, it was just a mere mirror ghost. Could it still be helpless against it? A few people were just about to rush forward. The next second, the mirrored ghost instantly unfolded its ghostly spirit. The ghostly spirit attacked. Qi Ling subconsciously unfolded his spirit domain, and Song Qiming on the side, didn't even wait for Qi Ling or Tang Yezhou to call out to him. His shield was already subconsciously deployed. Qi Ling's spiritual domain plus Song Qiming's shield, the two combined. It was already considered to be the strongest means of protection in this squad at the moment. The strongest means of protection, and the mirror ghost's ghostly spirit unfolded. It charged straight at the several people. Gu Tuo felt bad at once, while the two were guarding. Then he also quickly deployed his spirit domain to try to launch an attack on the mirror ghost. The two intersected. A very blinding light instantly erupted. Everyone on the outside of the small area also saw this eruption of light within the small area. At first glance it looked. If some uninformed people saw it. I was afraid that they would think that something had exploded. It's over it's over. Is the fighting so strong here? At this time, Pei Jiaxiang and Su Yan and the others were already standing at the entrance of the neighborhood. Their eyes also brought a hint of surprise. Before coming out, they already knew. The situation inside must not be very good, but they hadn't expected it. It could make the five heavenly kings and that stern ghost erupt with this level of energy. Could it be that that S-class leech had already appeared? The five heavenly kings were competing against the S-class ghost. There should still be a chance of victory as well. A layer of worry instantly covered the faces of the few people on the outside of the cell. It wasn't that they were worried that the five heavenly kings were outmatched in terms of force value. It was just that. Nowadays, a fight of this level broke out. It was rather a shock to everyone's heart. Yi Feng looked at the shock on Pei Jiaxiang and Su Yan's faces. He was about to open his mouth to say something. The next second, he then felt the agitation of the body protecting spirit in his body. It seemed, against the four heavenly kings stern spirits, it really was S-class. Otherwise, the body guarding spirit within himself would not have been so restless. It was as if it sensed if it was going to be annihilated. That was why the agitation arose. If the five heavenly kings are unable to resist the stern spirit, what do we do? Yi Feng turned his head to Pei Jiaxiang. What he originally had in mind was not like this at all, but the words came out of his mouth. But it couldn't help but become these words. Pei Jiaxiang turned his head to look at Yi Feng. His eyes were filled with displeasure. It's hard to believe that you think. The five heavenly kings collectively can't even fight against this measly S-ranked stern ghost? Then you for the five heavenly kings. Isn't it also too much to look down on? After Pei Jiaxiang said this, only then did Ji Feng suddenly realize that his words didn't seem quite right. He hurriedly continued to open his mouth to try to explain. But Pei Jiaxiang had already turned his head to look at Su Yan beside him. If this S-ranked stern ghost is really going to run out, then for the entire high city, it will all be doomed. So, should we go and help the five heavenly kings? 
listening to Pei Jiaxiang's voice beside her. Su Yan then shook her head without hesitation. The struggle between the five heavenly kings and the s rankly ghosts. It was simply not something that ghost masters of their rank could get involved in. If they were to go over, they would only add trouble to the five heavenly kings. Other than that, nothing would help. Let's take a look first. If this matter really cannot be resolved, then the one who will exterminate our country of China. Rather, it doesn't necessarily have to be this stern ghost. Su Yan slowly spoke. Pei Jiaxian's eyes flashed with a trace of realization. The next moment, they then instantly felt an energy leak. Oh no, the spirit domain and the ghosts collided. The resulting energy fluctuations have rippled over. Quickly release the protective spirit out. Break up all these energy ripples. Otherwise it will definitely cause those ordinary people to be harmed. Su Yan was instantly startled. She hurriedly let out a cry of alarm. The few people beside her nodded their heads in turn. In the next moment, the protective spirits of several people were all dispatched. Su Yan's eyes stared unblinkingly at the neighborhood in front of her. The entire neighborhood had been enveloped by ghosts. For a moment it was actually also not known at all. The five heavenly kings in the hands of the S-class ghosts. Whether or not they would be able to get an advantage. Or is it? They are faced with S-class. Also simply unable to resist? But today, people in the periphery of the neighborhood. Of course they are not clear about this matter. What they can do? They can only stand on the periphery. Preventing those energies from spilling over. The explosion created by the collision of the ghost and spirit domains was naturally perceived by Wei Ming. Hearing the commotion not far away, he then quickly turned his head to look over. As expected, Wei Ming saw the ghostly spirits that were scattering in all directions. Underneath the black ghosts, there was also a hint of golden light being dispersed. It was just that the two were compared. That golden light was very weak. What's the commotion over there? It can't really be the people arranged by the state coming over, right? If it's just stern ghosts fighting. And how could there be a golden light? Wei Ming saw that movement. He immediately became excited. Turning his head, he looked at the civet cat. Wei Ming didn't hesitate to open his mouth to the civet cat and ask. However, the civet cat did not speak. It only turned its head to look over. There was also a hint of disdain in its eyes. Wei Ming saw that the civet cat didn't take care of itself. But he was in a good mood at the moment. Instead, he didn't do anything to the civet cat. Wei Ming slowly released the ghostly spirit. Directly, he pressed towards the place where the fight was taking place. The s rank ghosts that were cowering in the corner on the side were shivering and staring at Wei Ming in front of them. This level of ghostly spirit, even if he was in the middle of this ghost, the final result was afraid that his soul would be scattered. Where did his own party get the guts? How dare it attack Wei Ming? Even one of its arms is now broken. In the future, it would only be a ghost with a broken arm. After Wei Ming's ghost arrived above the five heavenly kings, then, it was able to see what was happening below very clearly, very quickly. He then discovered, the logo on the chest of one of them. It seemed to be the same as the one on Yi Feng who came to him last time. At this instant of discovery, Wei Ming then became excited all of a sudden. Sure enough, it's the people the country arranged to come here. The clothes on them are all the same. It's just a pity that they are now under siege. If we don't go over, I'm afraid we won't be able to save them. After retrieving the ghostly spirit, Wei Ming then turned his head to look at the civet cat beside him. Do you think I can beat that mirror ghost? Listening to Wei Ming's question, the civet cat was a bit confused at this instant. It didn't know why Wei Ming was so unclear about his strength. Just, since Wei Ming had already asked, it still opened its mouth. Master, that mirror ghost is only S-class. If it completely explodes, it will still be a peak S rank at the end of its life. It will take some time to enter the SS rank. But master, in the standards set by humans, you are SSS level. How could you not be compared to that mirror ghost? The civet cat's words fell. A hint of shock burst out of Wei Ming's eyes. Who? SSS level? Me? Wei Ming had all but froze in an instant. He simply didn't know when he had become so powerful. When did he become SSSS level? So powerful that he was still shrinking in this shitty neighborhood? Since I'm so powerful, it's only natural that I'm also going to save that group of humans. Wei Ming said. Then he moved his muscles. It seemed as if he was planning to set off straight away the next second. But looking at Wei Ming's appearance, the civet cat, on the other hand, quickly jumped up. Master, I have a suggestion. Otherwise you listen to my suggestion afterward, and then proceed to consider whether to go or not? A grave look filled the face of the civet cat. Looking at the cat in front of him, Wei Ming pondered for a long time. In the end, he also stopped his pace. Tell me, I would like to know, what words are you going to say? Wei Ming looked at the civet cat. However, there was panic in his eyes. He was afraid that because he didn't show up in time, so that group of people sent by the country would have completely died in the hands of that mirror ghost. 
Furthermore, just now when the ghost and the spirit domain collided, the wave of that powerful force was also just too widespread. It is very likely that, now those humans already knew that the two sides were fighting, even though they were all on the periphery, didn't come in at all. But if those few humans died in the neighborhood, then the remaining ones, will surely think, it was because of themselves, that's what caused their deaths. In other words, if one hadn't asked them to come in the first place, then these few people wouldn't have died in the neighborhood just like that. At that time, even if Wei Ming was able to explain, I was afraid that it would be impossible for anyone to believe him. After all, human beings and the malicious ghosts, this is the antithesis. Whenever someone dies in the hands of a ghost, then all the ghosts in the area will die. Then all of the ghosts in this area, I'm afraid that they won't be able to stay at all. Humans would definitely annihilate them all. Although Wei Ming already knew at this moment, his own strength was considered powerful, but he was also unwilling to take the blame himself. Master, these humans are simply too weak. There's no need for us to show up at all. Since they are so weak, it also means that for us, humans are not capable of resisting us. So, why bother saving them? The civet cat looked towards Wei Ming. These words it was speaking truly. After all, this matter was for it. It was just a trouble. But Wei Ming certainly didn't think so. He slightly raised his head and looked ahead. The golden light was still spreading. It seemed that this human was also considered to have strength. At least in the hands of a peak S-ranked night ghost. It was still able to hold on for so long. I know how you think. But at the beginning, it was said that I should find this human thing. It was also you who brought it up. That was a good thing for me to say, wasn't it? The civet cat naturally did not expect that. Wei Ming would suddenly bring up this matter. But it was also true that he wasn't wrong. At the very beginning, it was indeed because Wei Ming really couldn't eat those severe ghosts. Even more so, he couldn't eat humans. So there was no choice. The civet cat then indicated that the country had a soul stone, but the civet cat did not expect. It turned out that Wei Ming was really going to agree to it. Even, now seeing that group of humans in crisis, and also take the initiative to appear to save those humans. Master, they came over voluntarily. It's not like master forced them, even if they are dead or maimed. It doesn't have a single cent to do with master either. The civet cat continued to persuade Wei Ming. However, Wei Ming's attitude was still very strong. The civet cat knew in its heart, one could only engage in persuasion. If Wei Ming was really unwilling to listen, it could not stop Wei Ming at all. The difference in strength between the two was also really too great. Therefore, the civet cat gritted its teeth. In the end, it still looked towards Wei Ming. This time, it had a different emotion in its eyes. What else do you have to say? Wei Ming continued to speak at the civet cat. His arm was already outstretched. If the civet cat's words displeased him, I was afraid that Wei Ming would directly have to grab the civet cat by its neck and throw it aside. Afterwards, he went forward to save those humans. But what Wei Ming did not expect was, the next words of the civet cat. But it made him directly freeze. Master, there's a more important thing you may not know yet. Before long, a ghost tide will break out. At that time, and how will this group of humans be able to cope? After the civet cat said this, Wei Ming's eyes then instantly flashed with a trace of shock. Ghost tide? What was a ghost tide? Why would a ghost tide break out? Wei Ming stared at the civet cat. The doubt in his eyes had just manifested. The civet cat instantly saw it. Master, this thing called ghost tide, it's equivalent to the fact that most of the severe ghosts will appear from the ghost realm. For example, in the beginning the human world was devoid of night ghosts. But why up until now? Surprisingly, it has created a situation where humans and ghosts coexist, simply because the door to the ghost world was opened, and a group of stern ghosts came to the human world with it. It's just that the ghost world hadn't been open for long at that time, so the severe ghosts that came to the human world weren't too many. But when soon after, the door to the ghost world opened wide, the ghosts descended. All the humans in this world will be annihilated. No one will be able to exterminate all the ghosts. Even if the entire world's humans join hands, none would be able to do so. So master, no matter in what way, there is absolutely no need for you to make contact with them. The advice I gave my master earlier can be completely abandoned by my master. Those humans don't deserve our regard at all. What Wei Ming clearly did not expect was this. The civet cat would actually overturn the idea it itself had previously presented to itself so easily. Wei Ming stared at the civet cat, his eyes filled with inquiry. You wanted me to make contact with them before, but now you're telling me. There's no need to make much contact with them at all. It's hard not to in your mind. Do I have to listen to whatever you say? Wei Ming said. A powerful ghostly aura instantly erupted around him. The civet cat's fur instantly stood up. It stared at Wei Ming in front of it with unblinking eyes. Deep inside, a trace of panic had also appeared. It was very clear in its heart. 
If Wei Ming really had murderous thoughts towards himself, then in his hands, it must not even be able to last three seconds. The civet cat swallowed its saliva. Master, I'm just stating my suggestion. This group of humans is too weak. After the ghost tide breaks out, they will all die. Then our friendship with them now is completely unnecessary, isn't it? The civet cat continued to speak to Wei Ming. Only this time, there was clearly a tremor in its tone. Wei Ming stared at the civet cat for a long time. He hadn't intended to actually kill this cat. After all, there were so many things that the cat knew more than him. If he killed it, then if Wei Ming wanted to know other information, there wouldn't be such a person who would be able to tell himself. Tell me, why is it that humans must not be able to survive when a ghost tide comes? Wei Ming stared at the civet cat, listening to his words. Only then did the civet cat finally let out a sigh of relief. Since Wei Ming was already planning to learn more, that was also enough to show that at this moment, Wei Ming was no longer planning to take action against himself. Ghost Tide is what the name suggests. Countless stern ghosts will be crawling out. And in the classification of humans, their most powerful human is only S-Class. But the severe ghosts crawling out from the Ghost Tide are far more than S-Class. If it really comes to such a point, how could that group of humans go about it? They wouldn't be able to destroy that group of stern ghosts at all. No matter what they are like today, it will also end up being a situation of certain death afterward. So master, we don't have to. Wei Ming listened to the civet cat's words. Only then did he nod slightly. His eyes narrowed slightly as if he was thinking about something. Seeing this, the civet cat's heart immediately felt. Was it that Wei Ming had sort of listened to his own words? So at this moment, he was already planning to follow his words. But what it did not expect was, the next moment, Wei Ming looked down at himself. What eyes? A cat's life is unfortunate? The civet cat's heart instantly erupted with such thoughts. You'll be called shattered mouth from now on. The civet cat was instantly shocked. How could it not know what this meant? It was nothing more than Wei Ming disliking his words too much. Master, I do have a name. My name is Little Seven. The civet cat's words fell. But Wei Ming wasn't going to listen at all. Alright shattered mouth. You don't need to say that now. Wei Ming stared at the civet cat. The look in his eyes was also very firm. I've already considered it. I will definitely save these humans. But master, with all this time, we might as well raise our strength. After boosting our strength, the entire world will be ours. The broken mouth hadn't even finished his words. The next second he was picked up by Wei Ming by the neck. You know I'm your master now, and you speak to me in a commanding tone? The shattered mouth instantly stopped speaking. It was truly afraid that Wei Ming would strangle itself to death in a fit of anger. All right, I will definitely go and help in this matter. You may think that humans are very weak, but what you don't realize is this. As a human, I don't feel that they are unable to resist this thing. You are not human. In life or in death you are just a cat. But I was a human earlier. So I understand that there are some forces that are very powerful for the waifs. Even these things in their eyes. Are just another challenge. They do have a way to successfully resolve this matter after all. Wei Ming's words didn't cause the shattered mouth to think anything. It still felt that Wei Ming was just talking. If the ghost realm's gate was wide open. The humans would definitely not be able to solve such a large number of severe ghosts either. Only Wei Ming's eyes then suddenly became very deep. It was as if he had thought of something. Broken mouth did not disturb Wei Ming. Wei Ming was indeed clear. These thoughts of shattered mouth nowadays. It was indeed for his own sake. It was for the sake of all of them. Standing from the perspective of a lie ghost. The ghosts and humans are opposites. No matter how you talk about it. It is a situation of you dying and me living. Even if humans were willing to befriend Wei Ming now. But after a while. The ghosts will be born. At that time. Wei Ming should help his own kind of ghosts to destroy humans. Or should he help the humans destroy their own companions? Shattered Mouth had precisely considered these possibilities. That's why he advised Wei Ming not to be so impulsive. Directly treated as if nothing could be seen. Just let these humans fend for themselves. They wouldn't be able to survive for long at all anyway. But even though the words of the broken mouth had reached this point, Wei Ming still didn't appreciate it. I won't change my mind on this matter. If you have other ideas, you can leave my side. Originally, you are the one I picked up. Whatever you want to do after that, it's all your own freedom too. I have no right to interfere with you. Broken Mouth stared at Wei Ming for a long time. Only then did he finally speak. Master, can you tell me why you are so confident? Wei Ming was silent for a long time before he suddenly let out a light laugh. The state of China had been around for such a long time in history. How could it not have experienced storms? But the people of China were always so united. No matter if it was a hundred years ago, or maybe it was a thousand years ago. Perhaps the country of China itself would have been fighting for the power and land they wanted, for their own selfish desires. Then they would not hesitate to stab their own people with sharp knives. But even so, 
if there was an attack from a foreign enemy, they will still unite as one, letting go of all previous prejudices and dissatisfaction with each other. Together, they will join hands to attack the invading enemy. For example, in the early days, the two emperors of Yan and Huang were at odds with each other. The two are not harmonious, but also will not break out too extreme war. But someone who didn't know better came to attack Emperor Yan, Yan Di for the fate of the whole of China. That's why he turned to the Yellow Emperor for help. The two of them hit it off right away. Both are descendants of the Chinese summer. They can share equally, but outsiders must never try to invade. If outsiders try to invade, they will have only one outcome, is eaten alive by the entire Chinese people. Shi Yu is in such a situation, ultimately cannot get anything. Instead, it is to let the whole Yan Huang united. Now if the real ghost world door is open, no matter from what point of view, the whole of China will be united. It's just that they're not strong enough. It's not enough. Even themselves in front of them, they don't even dare to say a word. After the ghost world gate opens wide, there must be powerful ghosts coming. If humans are still not strong enough, I can't do anything about it. If they don't join forces with the humans, they would also treat Wei Ming as their most important opponent. Wei Ming naturally did not want to help the humans while he was doing so. The humans, however, did not know how to classify themselves as enemies, so it was necessary to before the ghost gate opened wide, reach a consensus with the humans. Wei Ming might not be able to make humans stronger, but with him on board, the human race's chances of winning would always be increased by a lot. You don't need to understand these things. Anyway, you're a cat, and you wouldn't understand at all when talking to you about things that have to do with humans. Besides, you cats have always been a separate species, not even your own kind will cooperate. Not to mention the things I'm thinking about? Wei Ming spoke nonchalantly to Shattermouth. Helplessly, the Shattered Mouth could only nod its head at Wei Ming. It really couldn't understand why Wei Ming said those words at all. But the only thing it understood was, no matter what Wei Ming was going to do, it was best to follow him himself. And didn't you say, there are soul stones in the hands of humans. If we cooperate with the humans, we wouldn't have to fight so hard to make upgrades. As long as we can get soul stones from humans, it would be possible for me to upgrade. Am I okay with that? Wei Ming asked as he continued to stare at Shattered Mouth. This made it even more impossible for Shattered Mouth to refute. Indeed, this news was also what it had personally told Wei Ming in the beginning. Now even though Wei Ming had already said so, it could only nod its head in shame. It was only Wei Ming who had pondered over those things earlier. But now he also had an unusual idea. He had already thought of those previous great events of national unity. Also new. This time, although the severe ghosts descending into the world was dangerous. But human beings can definitely rely on their unity, and their tenacious vitality, eventually turning this matter into a safe place. Only mankind may also face the greatest danger in history. To put it bluntly, it is still because humans are too weak. The broken mouth on the side stared at Wei Ming's eyes. Actually, there was no need for Wei Ming to open his mouth. It had also already sort of completely seen it. Wei Ming's opinion on this matter was already very resolute. This time, the matter of going to cooperate with humans. Since Wei Ming had already decided, even after it had said so much to Wei Ming, he still had no choice but to still cooperate with humans. It was clear in the broken mouth's mind. It was probably impossible to persuade itself. Solely it also stopped talking. Wei Ming's strength was so strong anyway, regardless of whether that mirror ghost was an S or S peak, or maybe it is about to step into the SS level. In short, in front of Wei Ming, it would all be like an ant, but the mirror ghost's skills were too much of a cheat. If it were to incarnate into Wei Ming's appearance, I don't know if it can inherit Wei Ming's strength. If that's the case, then Wei Ming might get hurt. Master since you are determined to go, then go. I support you. Shattered Mouth solemnly spoke decisively to Wei Ming. It had thought that after it said these words, Wei Ming would also feel like he was recognized. But what it didn't expect was, after saying this itself, Wei Ming just turned his head to look at himself. There was disdain in his eyes. Is it of any use if you support it or not? I'm the one who makes the decision anyway, whether you're happy to go or not, you are unable to stop me. Wei Ming said this, Shattered Mouth didn't know what words he should say for a while. Yeah, one's own district was an S-class, how could he possibly sway Wei Ming's thoughts, seeing that the civet cat had already agreed. Wei Ming then intended to go directly to help the five heavenly kings, but just as he was planning to leave, Shattered Mouth then spoke once again. But master, what about this broken arm ghost, is it hard for us to leave it here? I don't want to eat it. It's too ugly. Listening to the sound of broken mouths, Wei Ming then paused in his steps. He turned his head slightly to look at the broken-armed ghost on the side. A hint of thought was also brought into his eyes. It was as if he was really thinking. There was something about how this broken-armed ghost should be dealt with. 
The conversation between Wei Ming and Broken Mouth just now. The broken-armed ghost also heard everything. It was naturally clear what Wei Ming wanted to do. It was just a matter of cooperating with humans. The broken-armed ghost made an immediate decision and immediately rushed towards Wei Ming and opened his mouth. Master Master, I am also willing to follow Master. I hope Master won't leave me behind. The broken-armed ghost spoke very quickly to Wei Ming. It seemed to be afraid that if he spoke slowly, Wei Ming would directly destroy himself. Listening to the broken arm ghost's words, Wei Ming was somewhat surprised. He knew that he was powerful, and that this broken armed ghost could not defeat himself at all. Yet, he had never thought about it. He had only turned his head to look at the broken armed ghost. He was able to scare it into this state. Wei Ming did not hold back for a moment. He laughed lightly at the broken arm ghost in front of him. Only then did he slowly walk over to the broken armed ghost. Why are you willing to follow me now? Is it hard to see that I'm strong enough? I can tell you. I don't take trash under my hand. If you want to show that you are qualified to stay in my hands, the least you can do is show your sincerity. I can't look at this strength of yours. Wei Ming's mouth was tinged with a smile. The words he spoke were however as if he had directly sentenced the broken armed ghost to death. The broken armed ghost stared at Wei Ming. The next second. It then spoke out words that Wei Ming had never envisioned. Because I've always been interested in humans. Master what you just said about human unity. You said that they must have survived the lich demon descent. I am also interested. I believe in my master and I believe in humanity. That's why I want to see what this group will actually do. The broken arm ghost's words fell. Wei Ming stared at it for a long time before he finally nodded. Despite not having expected the broken arm ghost to convince itself in this way. However, Wei Ming was very happy. Since he had succeeded in taking in a stern ghost minion, Wei Ming immediately did not hesitate anymore. He directly jumped off the roof with a single leap. Wei Ming's movements were very swift. It was only the broken-armed ghost on the side that watched his movements. For a moment, he only stared with wide eyes. He didn't have such a skill as Wei Ming. Even though he was a stern ghost, the body was already imaginary. There was no weight at all. But Wei Ming's speed was fast. Even the broken-armed ghost had just poked his head out to look over. Wei Ming had already landed on the ground. Has your master always been like this? The broken-armed ghost turned his head to look at Shattered Mouth beside him. Shattered Mouth let out a light laugh. It seemed to say nothing yet it seemed to say everything. Instantly, Wei Ming's image in the broken arm ghost's mind instantly became even taller. But this matter was to put it bluntly. It was also just because a cat and a person didn't get along with each other very much. So broken mouth couldn't evaluate Wei Ming at all. Broken arm ghost was about to walk down the stairs. Broken mouth, however, directly raised his hand. A claw with a ghostly aura. It then directly slapped the broken arm ghost down. In the middle of the descent, broken arm ghost only felt that ghost life was sad. It was understandable that it couldn't beat Wei Ming, but how could it not even beat a cat? And just as Wei Ming brought the broken armed ghost and the civet cat to charge in the direction of the five great kings they didn't know it yet, today's China was already facing a huge crisis. Across the ocean, within the country of Little Cherry Blossom, Mr. Inoue, good news, China is now facing a crisis. Ha! Huh? At the sound of his voice, the man known as Inoue couldn't help but raise an eyebrow, turning his head to look at the fellow beside him who had just spoken. What's happening in China? You tell us first. Yes, Mr. Inoue. According to reliable information, there are high gradely ghosts appearing over in China. It's said to be above S class. And the place where the ghosts appeared is a ghost cave. There are countless high level ghosts inside. That's why Mr. Inoue. I feel that we can take advantage of this opportunity to lure the few S ranked stern ghosts we're facing right now. The man's words were not explicitly stated. However, Inuyasha already understood the other party's meaning. However, he did not immediately give his stance after hearing those words. After all, there were already several S-ranked stern ghosts in their country right now. If they were not dealt with in time, what would be the outcome? It was thought that everyone knew it in their hearts. It was also for this reason. What this fellow in front of him had just said did move him a bit. If the intelligence is accurate, this is indeed a good opportunity. Inuyasha muttered and spoke. As an intelligence officer, he knew very well. There were only a few powerful ghost masters in China. What was called the Ten Heavenly Kings? However, even the Ten Heavenly Kings, it's also impossible to deal with several S-rank severe ghosts at the same time. Take themselves for example, when there was still only one S-class ghost, that is, that cracked woman. They had thought that they could handle it handily. But what happened? They had mobilized so many high-level ghost masters, but they hadn't even managed to knock down a single hair on someone's head. Instead, they damaged their own family's foundations as a result. So much so that now, Almost half of the entire country has become a nest of ghosts. While Inuyasha was secretly thinking, the fellow standing beside him was the one who spoke once again. 
Mr. Inoue-san, the opportunity will never come again. Once we wait for the Chinese side to finish dealing with that S-class ghost in their country, then at that time, even if we want to do something, I'm afraid we won't be able to do anything. As the people around him spoke again, Inuyasha, who was secretly thinking, also slowed down and looked up at him. Tell us your specific thoughts. In the face of Inuyasha's inquiry, the man bowed his head and pondered for a long time, and only then did he look up at Inuyasha. Mr. Inoue-san, you know our current situation. There are already three S-class night ghosts alone. If this continues, I'm afraid that it won't be long before we can't support ourselves and completely lose to those severe ghosts. Instead of that, it would be better for us to take advantage of this opportunity. Get all three of the S-rank liege ghosts we're facing over to us. Luring one is still luring anyway, and luring three is still luring. Hmm, hearing these words, Inuyasha's eyes couldn't help but instantly widen a few points. Good fellow, he had originally thought of getting an S-rank stern ghost. He hadn't thought about it. This underling of his own was even more ruthless than his own heart. Surprisingly, he wanted to directly get all three of the S-rank stern ghosts they were currently facing. However, soon after, Inoata nodded in silence. It was just like what his own men had just said. To lure one was to lure, and to lure three was still to lure. Essentially, there wasn't any difference. After all, no matter how many they lured, as long as they did it, the Sakura country would definitely face a siege from the rest of the world. But since they were planning to do it, why not do it to the extreme? Thinking like this, only then did Inuyasha open his mouth once again and said to the men in front of him, Your idea is good, but this matter is not for us to decide. This way, you wait here for a moment. I'll go and report to the director. The words fell. Inuyasha then immediately got up and walked towards the office of the director of intelligence. He was merely in charge of monitoring intelligence. After there was something beyond what he could decide, he would have to react to the top at the first opportunity. And very quickly. Inuyasha Taku knocked on the door of the office room where the director of intelligence was located. Come in, as the voice inside the room came out. The next moment, Inuyasha braced and hurriedly pushed open the door and walked in, and stood in front of the director of the intelligence bureau, Matsumoto Wood. Subsequently, Inoak told all the things that his men had told him just now. All of it was told to Matsumoto Ki. However, in order to be able to gain the most benefits for himself, when reporting, some of the key information was changed by Inoak to say that it was him who discovered and proposed it, not his man. And at this time, after listening to Inuyasha Brace's report, Matsumoto Wood's eyes clearly flashed with a hint of interest. The next second he stated, he would immediately contact the Sakura Psychic Department. As for anything after that, there was no need for Inuyasha Tui to be in charge. He could return to his own workstation, and Inuyasha Taku had thought that he could still participate in this matter himself. Therefore he had walked into Matsumoto Ki's office with great excitement, but in the end, he could only walk out with a sad face. However, he was also clear in his heart. The situation that would result in today's situation was entirely because his own strength was just not enough. And after Inoak Taku left from his office, Matsumoto Wooden Horse immediately contacted the Sakura Psychic Department and dialed the phone number of the other party's minister. Minister Sakurai, I have a major matter on my side. Chapter 24 5 Heavenly Kings Fighting 3 S Ranked Night Ghosts? This is not a pure delivery. After the phone was dialed, Matsumoto would then told Sakurai Nan all the information that the intelligence bureau had gotten, and his meaning is also very clear. He hoped that Sakurai Nan would agree to it, but after listening to Sakurai Nan was in silence. After all, this kind of thing that attracts the transit of the severe ghosts is not that simple. Furthermore, even if this practice was successful, it would undoubtedly carry the curses of everyone in the world. Sakurai Nan simply could not bear such consequences, that was why he did not directly agree to it. Instead, he told Matsumoto Wood that he would discuss these matters with Prime Minister Sakura. After hanging up the phone, Matsumoto Wood had been sitting anxiously. Nowadays this matter was really the only thing they could do. If it was a long time, when the group of people on the opposite side had resolved their own S-ranked night ghosts, then they wouldn't be able to use such a method to make everyone on the opposite side of the room feel at risk. Good thing, the phone call didn't hang up for long. Sakurai Nan's phone call came again. The top has agreed. Our psychic department will cooperate with your intelligence department to carry out this operation. After saying that, Sakurai Nan then hung up the phone without hesitation. Immediately afterward, everyone in Sakura Nation then began to arrange this matter. And the three severe ghosts they were now facing were the split mouth woman, the dreamer, and the red cloak. Each of the three is different from the other. But the only thing is, they are all S ranked night ghosts. The slit woman murderer was picked as she went along. She would hang out on the road, unrestricted by day and night. As long as she sees people, she will ask the other person if she is pretty. If they answer no, 
She kills them. She'll kill them. But if the person answers pretty, split woman will be very happy. But the next second, she would then turn the other person into a cleft in the same mold as herself. As for the dreamer, this one is a bit interesting. This night ghost doesn't appear in front of people of his own accord. He will only choose to enter a human's dream. And the dreams of young women. In the dream, he can do anything he wants. Including, if he wanted someone dead, he could just do it in the dream too. It didn't even have to be placed in reality at all. As for the red cape, on the other hand, it was even more bizarre. He often frequented toilets and bathrooms. In other words, it was a separate space with water. He would take the initiative to ask each other, red toilet paper or blue toilet paper. But in fact, no matter which color toilet paper the other person chooses, in the end, it is difficult to escape the end of a death. Had to admit, little Sakura's movements were still extremely swift. Under the mutual coordination of their psychic department and intelligence department, very quickly, these three S-rank stern ghosts were lured over by them. However, before they could completely introduce the three S-ranked ghosts into the realm, this side was the first to discover the situation, and immediately reported this matter to Liang Anji, the director of the psychic bureau. It's no good chief director, 50 kilometers away from our country's border. We have detected three extremely powerful ghost aura fluctuations, suspected to be S-class. What? Upon hearing this, Liang Anji instantly stood up from his stool, and raised his head to look at the electronic screen in front of him. And at this moment, there were three small red dots on the electronic screen, which were constantly moving towards the borderline. And these three small red dots, it was precisely the three suspected S-rank stern ghosts that the people under his command had reported just now. What's going on? Why would an S-class ghost suddenly appear on our borderline? Who on earth did this? After questioning, Liang Anji seemed to have remembered something. Hastily and quickly, he came to the command desk and quickly checked the world map after grabbing the mouse from the staff. And soon, Liang Anji then stopped the movements in his hands, because he had already found the source of this incident. And just then, ding bell. Suddenly, the sound of a phone call came. Liang Anji pulled out his cell phone and scanned it. The caller was none other than Feng Xian, the head of the military department. Phew. After taking a deep breath, Liang Anji still decisively answered the call, because he was very clear. It was simply impossible for him to hide this matter. After all, the three stern ghosts outside the borderline weren't any A rank or B rank. Rather, they were three S rank ones. Old Liang, tell me, what do you want me to say about you? Those ten heavenly kings are the most powerful force we have to fend off the Li ghosts at the moment. But you sent out half of them at once. I said so at the time. There's bound to be trouble if this keeps up. Well now, got caught by that little Sakura, didn't you? However, what made Liang Anji not think about it was, he didn't get angry after Feng Xian's call. After all, things had already happened. And now that things have come to this point to dwell on what happened before also belongs to not much need. Because now for them, the most important thing is how to solve the current predicament. The phone this end. Liang Anji pondered for a long time, and finally opened his mouth. I admit it. I did think things a bit simpler before. I thought that with the five heavenly kings combining their hands, they would definitely be able to probe the true situation of that neighborhood in the first place. But I didn't expect that not only did I fail to probe the true situation of that neighborhood, but instead, people are now trapped inside. I don't have a better idea now. Do you guys have any? The call was halfway through. The call from Gu Guanchuan, the general leader of the security center, then called in as well. Thus, those who were on the phone right now, not only were Liang Anji and Feng Xin the only ones, but there was also Gu Guanchuan. And at this moment, Liang Anji's question was naturally asking Feng Xin and Gu Guanchuan both. But as his question exited, Feng Xian, who called first, did not make a sound for a long time. Instead, it was Gu Guangchuan, who called after him, who opened his mouth. Old Liang Ah, I do have a method. Anyway, the ten heavenly kings have now all been dispatched to the five to deal with the severe ghosts within our territory. Since that's the case, let's just send the remaining five heavenly kings together, even if it's impossible to resist. But no matter what, if the five heavenly kings are sent out together, I'm sure they'll be able to block it for a while, listening to Gu Guanxuan's words. In the end, Liang Anji was also clear. There was really no other way other than this one. After hanging up the phone, he immediately went to make arrangements. Only, the five heavenly kings faced three S-class ghosts. Even though the heavenly king's abilities were very powerful, they were considered the strongest existence among the current human ghost masters. However, their opponents were three S-ranked stern ghosts. A single S-ranked ghost inside the neighborhood would require five heavenly kings to combine their hands to deal with it, not to mention these three S-class ghosts. But, there is really no other way at the moment. 
The five heavenly kings left the psychic bureau immediately after receiving the mission. It was just that the news from this side also quickly reached Elder Khan's ears. Therefore it didn't take long. Another extraordinarily high-level video conference began. This side, Liang Anji had just picked up the phone when he was greeted with a splitting rage. Everyone was stating, Liang Anji shouldn't have arranged for all five heavenly kings to go to that neighborhood, because if not for that, Little Cherry Blossom wouldn't have found such a good opportunity to wreak havoc. And now, relying on the five heavenly kings alone to fend off the three S-class lich ghosts? Is that possible? Not at all. Don't forget, there's only one S-class ghost in that neighborhood, but it held back the five heavenly kings, not to mention the three S-class ghosts that suddenly appeared outside the border. It can be said, if the five heavenly kings went now, they would only be sending five more heads, and then they might let those three S-class ghosts enter the country a little bit later, right? Chapter 25 couldn't get in touch at all, one could only wait for the results. Everyone was expressing their dissatisfaction in their hearts. Of course, more than anything else, they were still worried about the current predicament. However, the accusations of the crowd, one after another, were also making Liang Anji's heart hard to bear. After all, things had developed to this point. As the chief director of the Psychic Bureau, he really could not absolve himself of the blame. Therefore, facing the questioning of the crowd, Liang Anji could not refute anything at this moment. In the middle of the day, Elder Kong slowly spoke up instead. Have you all said enough? Enough said. Then let me say a few words. Things have developed to this point now. I believe that Director Liang's heart isn't in a good place either. But he doesn't have the ability to foresee things. And naturally, he wasn't aware that Cherry Blossom's side would come to intervene. And now that things have come to a head, the most important thing for us to do is to think of every possible way to deal with the crisis we are facing this time. Rather than keep blaming our own comrades here. Elder Kong's words just came out. Those people then immediately shut their mouths. And without dilly-dallying, Kong Lao directly turned his head to ask Liang Anji. Liang Anji, right now, are you still able to contact those five heavenly kings who are in the neighborhood? If it is possible, arrange for them to withdraw back first. Since there has always been a stern ghost in that neighborhood, yet nothing serious has ever happened. That would be enough to show that the severe ghosts in that neighborhood do not intend to make a move against us humans, at least for now. And the five heavenly kings immediately sent them to go back to defend the borderline after they withdrew. Those three S-ranked knightly ghosts, we have to fend them off as fast as we can. In contrast, the current stern ghosts in High City can indeed be put on hold. Why didn't Liang Anji understand what Elder Kong meant? Since the S-class Lie ghosts of Century Hua Mansion in High City had already existed for so long, but it had never made a move to kill anyone. That would mean, even if the five heavenly kings were to be withdrawn now, that stern ghost would definitely not make a move against them. Instead, it was the three stern ghosts that were constantly approaching towards the borderline. Once they entered the country, the consequences would be unimaginable. Don't worry, Elder Kong, I will contact the five heavenly kings right away. Liang Anji quickly opened his mouth to answer Elder Kong. In the next second, he took out the cell phone on the side to call Chi Ling, but the call was not working at all. Beads of sweat gradually overflowed from Liang Anji's forehead. All five people's cell phones had been called by him. In the end, none of them picked up the phone. What? Can't get through? Elder Kong could see Liang Anji's panic before he opened his mouth and asked. Liang Anji stiffened for a moment and nodded at Kong Lao. What about those people guarding the outside of the neighborhood? Can't be contacted either? Kong Lao's words were like an enlightenment. Liang Anji didn't have time to answer Elder Kong and immediately called Yi Feng. This time, the call was picked up very quickly. Chief Director, did something happen? Yi Feng asked Liang Anji. It was just that his tone was also filled with agitation. It was as if something big had happened in front of them, but they couldn't do anything about it. Hearing Yi Feng's tone, Liang Anji's heart then instantly had a bad premonition. I contacted the five heavenly kings just now, but realized that I couldn't contact any of them. So I'm asking you, what's the situation nowadays? Yi Feng knew that Liang Anji would definitely call to inquire about the situation, but he did not expect it. Liang Anji's action was so swift. There was silence for a long time. Yi Feng turned his head to look at the blacked out neighborhood. Nowadays, the entire neighborhood had been wrapped up in ghosts. It was simply impossible to see what the inside actually looked like. Realizing that Yi Feng had not spoken for a long time, Liang Anji only felt that his heart was about to fall to the bottom. What exactly is the situation now? It's hard to believe that the five of them you can't get in touch with either? Liang Anji continued to open his mouth and asked Yi Feng, Chief Director, now the entire neighborhood has been enveloped by ghosts. Even though we are on the outside of the neighborhood, it doesn't help. Yi Feng was equally very eager to know what was going on inside now, but the ghosts of the S-ranked stern ghosts, it was not something that a half-step B-level ghost master like him could enter. 
if Yi Feng insisted on breaking in. In the end, he could only end up in a place of death. At the same time, the five heavenly kings were also fighting with the mirror ghost at the moment. Mirror ghost was worthy of being mirror ghost. No matter what kind of moves the five used against him, he seemed to be able to predict it in advance. Every attack was unable to land on his body. It was as if he knew all of their moves as well. Shi Ling was already panting with exhaustion, but despite that she had been holding on hard, she herself was the captain of the first division. If one was the first to fall, her own team members would of course be unsteady as well. Only Shui Yu on the side had already seen Qi Ling's current state. He walked slowly to Qi Ling's side, before silently exerting his spiritual power to infuse Qi Ling. However, in a moment, Qi Ling recovered quite a bit. Many thanks. Qi Ling did not say much. Shui Yu did not care either. He nodded at Qi Ling and then watched as she pounced in front of the mirror ghost once again. Several heavenly kings. It's useless to fight like we are. While mirror ghosts are able to mimic people, they are of course able to learn each other's habits and moves. So if you guys want to hurt him, you can only choose moves that you usually don't remember yourselves. That way he won't be able to predict what you guys are trying to do. Zhang Zhe, who was on the side, hunkered down in a corner and observed for a long time. He suddenly opened his mouth and spoke at the five heavenly kings. As the words fell, this instantly made a few people understand how to struggle against the mirror ghost. But if they abandoned the weapons and ways they were used to using, a few people, on the other hand, were instantly as if they had broken their arms and legs. The movements weren't that smooth, even the attacks were almost interesting, but on the bright side, it was sort of like finally being able to hit the mirror ghost. The sword in Qi Ling's hand finally pierced into the mirror ghost's body, seeing that the ghostly aura had begun to leak out, and the ghostly spirit above their heads also gradually dissipated. Excitement undoubtedly hung on all of the faces of several people. It seemed that the S-class mirror ghosts were not invincible, there was a way for them to kill it after all. However, a few people were not excited for long. The mirror ghost suddenly shouted. The sound was very ear-piercing. Several people then violently lost most of their strength. Qi Ling had also used all his strength to hold the hilt of the sword in his hand. But in the end, it still caused the mirror ghost to take a few steps back. The sword slowly slipped out of the mirror ghost's body. Seeing that the ghost chi that had already leaked out returned to the mirror ghost's body, the faces of several people immediately became grave. As expected, the mirror ghost was already very angry after being stabbed. Just now. He had been merciful towards the several people's attacks. It was more or less merciful. But this time, since he had been injured himself, he then did not intend to let the few people in front of him leave this place. In an instant, the ghosts were once again growing wild. Yi Feng on the outside of the cell was talking to Liang Anji. After he noticed the change in the ghostly creature, he then immediately opened his mouth to tell Liang Anji. Just, Director Liang, the ghostly spirit has grown once again. It should be that the five heavenly kings have angered him during their struggle with the S-ranked ghosts. The range of the ghostly spirit is too big this time. The neighborhood has been affected as well. We have to retreat. Yi Feng shouted at the top of his voice into his cell phone. But at this moment, Liang Anji's voice did not come out of his cell phone. Chapter 26 The battle was coming to an end. The five heavenly kings were all going to fall? Liang Anji's call with Yi Feng. It was forced to be interrupted due to the release of the mirror ghost ghostly spirit. This time, it wasn't just that they couldn't contact the five heavenly kings. Even the support personnel on the outside couldn't be contacted. But before the signal was interrupted, Liang Anji, however, had already heard the words that Yi Feng had shouted at the beginning. The S-class liege had been enraged. The five heavenly kings. Was it hard for them to really stay in that neighborhood completely? The look on Liang Anji's face instantly became unusually ugly. And naturally, Elder Kong took in the look on his face. The words that he and Yi Feng said on the phone just now. Although Elder Kong did not hear all of them clearly, but he had also sort of heard it all. Based on the content of those conversations, it wasn't hard to tell. The five heavenly kings should be in trouble, and they were unable to help. Liang Anji, is there any other way to be able to know what exactly they are doing now? Elder Kong was silent for a long time before he opened his mouth and asked Liang Anji. Liang Anji also snapped back to his senses. At this moment, he had already thought. The psychic bureau had a kind of detection instrument. It was just that this detection instrument was not able to see specifically. Yet, it was able to see the whole picture of the neighborhood today. But Yi Feng had also said, the neighborhood has been shrouded by the entire ghost. So, even if he really took this instrument out, he might not be able to see clearly what it really looks like today. But Elder Kong had already asked this. After Liang Anji hesitated for a moment, he still opened his mouth and told him there was something about this instrument. Our psychic bureau has an instrument that can monitor this area. But what has to be recognized is this. The monitoring area is just too big. 
so it isn't really able to see clearly what kind of situation is going on today. It can only even be erected above the neighborhood. Liang Anju's words fell. Elder Kong instead nodded his head in response. Since we are able to view it let's try it. Even though it's impossible to see the whole picture. But it is still possible to observe it after all. Since Elder Kong had said so, Liang Anji did not hesitate anymore. Immediately, he called on the head of the Psychic Bureau to go arrange this matter. Soon, the monitoring screen was presented to the meeting through the electronic projection screen. Everyone had naturally seen what kind of situation it was today. After Kong Lao saw the ghostly spirit shrouded above the neighborhood, he subconsciously sighed lightly. S-Class Ghosts. Naturally, it is not that easy to be resolved. And nowadays, there was simply no way to contact the five heavenly kings. There was also simply no one who could go and help them. In other words, at this moment, they could only quietly wait for this battle to end. Other than that, they couldn't do anything right now. Everyone was staring at the screen. No one opened their mouths. Because they were also all at a loss as to what else they could do at this moment. The psychic bureau was specialized in these things. But right now, Liang Anji was already at his wit's end. Not to mention the group of them. And at this moment, the few people on the periphery of the cell were also unusually anxious. Even though they couldn't get in. But they could feel the ghostly spirits continuous strengthening. Although they were not quite sure of the strength of the five heavenly kings. But currently the ghostly spirit was powerful to such an extent. It must be that the five heavenly kings who were closest to the ghostly spirit were not doing well either. Right? Right. Zhang Zhe is still inside. Zhang Zhe a person from the research department. He's simply looking for death in there nowadays. The five heavenly kings can't say they're already taking care of themselves. Where would they have time to take care of him? Pei Jiaxiang on the side suddenly remembered. He jumped up with a shout. But today's situation wasn't something he could barge in on. Su Yen very calmly reached out and pulled Pei Jiaxiang. Don't worry. Nothing will happen to Zhang Zhe. Unless the five heavenly kings can't protect themselves either. Su Yan's words were really too pessimistic. Pei Jiaxiang didn't open his mouth. No matter who it was. This time around. They didn't want the five heavenly kings to lose. But what exactly was the situation inside? They were not clear at all. Everyone could only look at the blackened ghosts in front of them through the monitoring instruments. There was also the golden light that flickered from time to time from within the ghosts. That was the fluctuation belonging to the five heavenly kings. It was their spiritual energy. As long as there was a golden light flashing out, the hearts of everyone present slowly lifted. Everyone was worried about what the outcome of the five heavenly kings would be. Elder Kong on the side also realized the worries within them. You guys don't have to worry too much. To be honest, the five heavenly kings against an S-ranked stern spirit. And it's still an S-ranked ghost that has not caused any harm to humans for the time being. Even if he can't defeat that night ghost, he may not really destroy the five heavenly kings either. And, Elder Kong hadn't even finished his words. Liang Anji then quickly spoke up. But Elder Kong, just now, the ghostly spirit suddenly expanded and enhanced. It's very likely that the five heavenly kings have enraged that stern ghost. If that's really the case, an S-class stern ghost without reason. Can we still let these five heavenly kings leave? Liang Anji frowned tightly as he spoke to Elder Kong. At this moment, he couldn't care less about Elder Kong's identity. Nowadays, his heart was only hung up on the safety of the five heavenly kings. It was just that after he said these words, it drew some dissatisfaction from the others. This matter of having all five heavenly kings go to the sea market. It was originally arranged by you personally. Now you think that what Elder Kong said was wrong. But wasn't Elder Kong also afraid that you were under too much psychological pressure? Which is why he wanted to help you explain. Liang Anji, don't go too far. Sending out all the five heavenly kings without discussion. This matter is your fault no matter what way you look at it. As a result, now you've even risen to the occasion. To the point of contradicting Elder Kong in public, the surrounding voices grew in number. Without exception. They were all expressing the dissatisfaction in their hearts. They were already upset with Liang Anji's decision. And now he was directly interrupting without listening to Elder Kong finish his sentence. It was even more so that the people around him were looking at him with displeasure. Alright, alright, it's not a big deal. Liang Anji is also just expressing his opinion. The most important thing nowadays should still be to think about what exactly we should do now. Instead of us people infighting here, Elder Kong was somewhat unable to listen. He frowned slightly as he spoke to a few people. With these words from Elder Kong, only then did the crowd finally stop talking. But just at the moment when the entire meeting fell into silence, a violent shaking suddenly erupted in the screen. Everyone stared straight at the screen, looking at the cell that shook so strongly. Underneath the black ghosts, the spiritual power fluctuations that belonged to the five heavenly kings, it seemed to be disappearing as well. That golden light was less than once, weaker than once. Seeing such a scene, it was not difficult for them to guess. 
The spiritual power of the five heavenly kings had already been gradually eaten away by the lich ghosts, then that is to say, the five heavenly kings unexpectedly couldn't even defeat an S-ranked knight ghost, the outcome of this battle, it was most likely the scene they were most unwilling to see, could it be that, the final outcome is, all of the five heavenly kings fell in the ghost cave in high city, chapter 27, so powerful, a choice to be made, at the same time, inside the neighborhood, the growth of the ghostly spirit after the mirror ghost sanger as well as the spreading of the ghostly aura, it had also been perceived by Wei Ming, the moment he realized that those few weak humans might be in danger, Wei Ming's heart tightened, he secretly said that it was not good, the next moment, Wei Ming's figure flashed, it disappeared in an instant, his movements were very swift, the broken mouth and broken arm ghost that followed behind him froze in place, Wei Ming's strength turned out to be so powerful, surprisingly, he could even instantly move through space? Broken arm ghost subconsciously shivered. So what kind of existence had he messed with before? It was also fortunate that Wei Ming didn't even intend to find himself in trouble. Otherwise, I'm afraid that nine lives wouldn't be enough to kill myself. The broken arm ghost turned his head slightly to look at shattered mouth. He tugged at the corner of his mouth. It seemed like there were some words to ask, but they didn't come out for a long time. If you have something to say you can just say it. Shattered mouth naturally realized the sight beside it. It turned its head to look at the broken arm ghost while its eyes were filled with disdain, although it was no match for Wei Ming, but it was compared to the broken arm ghost, it was still quite a bit stronger. As a cat, you shouldn't have all nine lives in your master's hands, right? Listening to broken arm ghost's words, broken mouth didn't say anything, it just snorted a laugh. In the next moment, it didn't hesitate anymore, it directly disappeared right away with a long leap. Broken arm ghost instantly became even more confused. In this neighborhood, just how many severe ghosts stronger than himself were hidden. He was an S-class. Surprisingly, he was crushed by a person and a cat. The broken-armed ghost shook his head helplessly while walking towards the front. But he didn't take a few steps. He was stopped by an invisible barrier. Ghosts? Broken-armed ghost whispered with some surprise. But when Wei Ming and Broken Mouth rushed in just now. Yet, they were not stopped by the barrier in the slightest. The two of them were actually powerful to such an extent. They entered the mirror ghost's ghostly world without any pressure. There wasn't even the slightest hint of obstruction. It was as if they were just taking a stroll. The broken-armed ghost swallowed his saliva. He knew in his heart. If he wanted to enter the mirror ghost's ghost, it would not be so easy at all. Although he knew in his heart. The severe ghost that released the ghostly spirit must be even more powerful than himself. But now Wei Ming and Shattered Mouth had both gone in. It was also impossible for him to stay here alone. And after Shattered Mouth followed Wei Ming's lead. Then he spoke at Wei Ming with a face full of disdain. Master. The new stern ghost you've taken in. It's too weak. After incarnating as a stern ghost. Shattered mouth obviously looked down on those lich ghosts that were even weaker than himself. Plus. This broken arm ghost had only defected to Wei Ming after himself. This made broken mouth look down on him even more. Only Wei Ming didn't feel the same way. He slightly turned his head to look at shattered mouth beside him. Although his footsteps remained unceasing. He still spoke at it as well. Don't you care about how others are doing. Just take care of yourself. Besides. The most important thing right now isn't these messy things at all. Rather, it's that if these few people die here, we'll all be in big trouble. Wei Ming being able to accept this broken arm ghost as his junior was originally an accident. At first, he didn't want to get involved too much and directly let broken mouth eat him. But shattered mouth resented it and didn't want to eat it. It wasn't like Wei Ming could personally swallow this severe ghost. It was also just as well that he felt he could have one more messenger by his side. So he went along with it and took this broken arm ghost in. After the broken armed ghost saw that he couldn't see Wei Ming and broken mouth's figure at all, he couldn't help but panic. He couldn't help but be a bit flustered. In the next moment, he immediately released his ghostly spirit. Although broken arm ghost's strength was still quite a bit inferior to mirror ghost. However, after his ghostly spirit unfolded at full strength, it did manage to tear a hole in the mirror ghost's ghostly spirit. Soon, the broken armed ghost managed to step into the mirror ghost's ghost, but the scope of the mirror ghost's ghost was too large. For a moment, the broken-armed ghost couldn't find Wei Ming and the others at all. He could only walk towards the very center of the ghostly spirit. The broken-armed ghost was walking at the same time. His mind wondered how long it would take for him to catch up with Wei Ming and broken mouth's strength. And at the same time, the mirror ghost was already completely enraged. Originally, it had wanted to torture the group of people. However, he never thought that a few people could really hurt themselves. The mirror ghost was furious. The consequences were not something that the five heavenly kings could easily bear. The ghost aura enveloped the five heavenly kings, and he didn't even pay attention to Zhang Ze on the side at all. Simply because Zhang Ze was simply too weak, he didn't even bother to look at it. Crap crap crap. 
This mirror ghost has stopped hiding his strength. Several heavenly kings, I guess we'll all have trouble escaping this time. Zhang Zhe naturally saw what the mirror ghost was trying to do. He shouted loudly, while a few people beside him instantly raised their guard. Only, the mirror ghost, however, didn't give them a chance to raise their guard at all. You, all have to die. With a roar from the mirror ghost, a black ghostly aura suddenly spread from the ground in front of the five people. Several people subconsciously stepped back, hoping to be able to get out of the bounds of this ghost chi. But what several people did not expect was, this ghost chi almost instantly became a barrier. It blocked in front of the several people and instantly enveloped them. It's over. This ghost chi has split the five heavenly kings. Zhang Zhe muttered from the side. At this moment, all five of them also realized, they were now unable to communicate with anyone beside them, and the attacks they were facing were increasing one at a time. There were even a few people among them who were already injured. For example, Gu Tuwa, but they faced the attacks in front of them. Yet, they could only choose to face it on their own. Five heavenly kings, if you can still hear my voice, stay within the range that you can move. Ensure safety at the same time. Also try not to let your range of motion shrink. This mirror ghost is trying to narrow down the space so that you won't be able to struggle at all in the end. Zhang Zhe shouted loudly at the black fog in front of him. He himself was not bound by the mirror ghost, so it was still possible to shout. But whether the five heavenly kings could hear him or not, he didn't know. And at this moment, the five people were already clear. They were now as if they were in a small cell created by the mirror ghost. They couldn't get out even if they wanted to. Others could not enter even if they wanted to. Moreover, the five of them could not contact each other at all. Damn. Looks like it's going to be hard to escape this time. Chi Ling slightly raised his head to look overhead. This so-called cage hadn't just wrapped up the entire surrounding area. Even the top of his head was already out of sight. Chi Ling dodged the mirror ghost's ghostly aura attack. While doing so, he quickly thought about what exactly he should do nowadays. All of you pay attention. If we can't all get out of here today, at least one person must go out. The news from here must get out. Shi Ling's voice came out. Gu Tuwa and Shui Yu, who were closest to her, had naturally heard her voice. Instantly, the faces of the two changed. They knew. The reason Shi Ling said that, it was likely that she had already thought of a countermeasure. In other words, it was likely that he had already thought of how he would get the few of them out of here. Chapter 28, Can't Fight Anymore? Must you blow yourself up? It was just that Shi Ling's voice wasn't too loud, apart from the two people beside him. The other two didn't hear it at all. Chi Ling realized that no one had answered him. Then he also suddenly fell silent. The matter this time had exceeded their expectations though. Whether it was the judgment for the S-Class Night Ghost, or for the execution of this mission, it was all counted as a mistake on their part. As the captain of the Heavenly King's First Division, at such an urgent time, if she hasn't made a choice, then once all five Heavenly Kings have fallen here, if the news gets out, China will definitely be bullied by other countries in the future. Therefore, this time, no matter what, she must let the remaining four heavenly kings all walk out from here. After taking a deep breath, only then did Chi Ling turn her head in the direction of the four. All listen up. Later on, I'll do my best to open a way out for you all. You all must seize the moment. Don't care what I have to suffer. You guys just need to be able to run away. I am ordering you as the captain of the first division. Therefore, you must obey my orders. Chi Ling used her strength when she spoke. Plus, there was also a trace of spiritual energy mixed in with her strength. That was why the people beside her had heard everything. Only, a trace of intolerance flashed through everyone's eyes. They were all very clear about what it represented for Chi Ling to utter these words nowadays. It also precisely meant, for Chi Ling, she herself was clear about the probability that she would not be able to walk out. But the five heavenly kings couldn't all stay here. So she had already decided, no matter what happens, today was already going to use all her strength. Send all the remaining four out. Only, when Shi Ling shouted out this voice, the detection apparatus also instantly captured it. Among the screens of the meeting, the few people who were in the middle of the meeting unsurprisingly heard these words, and immediately after, Liang Anji's face became grave. He naturally knew what Shi Ling meant by uttering those words, but the other few people besides Liang Anji were not clear. Elder Kong looked towards Liang Anji. After staring at Liang Anji for a long time, he then hurriedly spoke. Liang Anji. What do these words spoken by that heavenly king just now represent? Liang Anji turned his head slightly to look at Elder Kong. His eyes were filled with helplessness. He stared at Kong Lao for a long time without speaking. Regardless of what concerns you really have, now that we've reached this point, just say what needs to be said. Elder Kong could see that Liang Anji seemed to be somewhat hesitant. But now that things had all come to this point, he didn't even feel that there could be any worse outcome. That was why he opened his mouth and spoke to Liang Anji. After taking a deep breath, 
Liang Anji looked at Kong Lao, meeting Kong Lao's eyes. Liang Anji's heart also had more or less a trace of comfort. Elder Kong, there are also several leaders. That heavenly king just now is the leader of the first division. Shi Ling, the reason she said those words, it also proves one thing, that is that nowadays, the five heavenly kings have been implicated by the S-class knights. If they don't make a timely choice, it's very likely that none of them will be able to escape. So, Chi Ling is preparing to intend to use self-destruction, so that the rest of the heavenly kings, other than her, can run out of that neighborhood without any problems. After Liang Anji finished his words, those in the middle of the video conference then instantly whitened their eyes. Even Elder Khan's face was filled with astonishment. None of them had ever thought. A single S-ranked knight ghost. It was enough to force the five heavenly kings to such a point. Surprisingly, it had to use self-detonation to allow the remaining few to escape. What about the three S-class ghosts that were about to enter the borderline? How were they going to fend them off? But for a moment, they were unable to say anything. At the same time, on the other side, within the cell, the four people naturally all heard Chi Ling's voice. Almost subconsciously, Gu Tua shouted, No way, you're our captain. You absolutely can't die. Captain my strength isn't much different from yours. Even if I'm injured, if I were to blow myself up, this lich demon wouldn't necessarily be able to successfully resist. Let me do it. Gu Tua's voice fell. Shui Yu, who was on the side, immediately picked up the conversation. Don't think like that. All of you possess such great strength. If any one of you falls here this time, it would also be a heavy blow to our country of China. Relatively speaking I'm the weakest, so I'll just self-explode. Shi Ling hadn't thought about it. He had only just opened his mouth to say these words. It caused the two to object. Only, the strength of the mirror ghost nowadays had far exceeded what they could fight against. The current mirror ghost wasn't even an ordinary S-class anymore. He even had the hidden strength of being on the verge of breaking through the SS rank. If that was the case, only Chi Ling's self-detonation would be able to deal a heavy blow to Mirror Ghost. After all, she was the strongest of the five. In addition to her, it didn't matter if it was the injured Gu Tua or the medically focused Chui Yu, any of the two of them blowing themselves up, neither of them would necessarily be able to open a passageway from within this ghost. Then, the remaining four would still be unable to escape. Listen up. You guys, the mirror ghost is now close to SS level. Among the five of us, no one but me can deal heavy damage to the mirror ghost. And only by blowing myself up can I allow you to escape from this damned hellhole. After you leave, you must tell the chief director about the situation in this neighborhood. This is the only way we can go. I'm ordering you all with my identity as the captain of the first division. After I blow myself up, all the ghosts have to do is open a gap. You will then leave immediately. Don't look back. And don't even care if I'm a corpse. Shi Ling had imbued quite a bit of spiritual energy into this voice. All four people could hear it clearly. And even amongst the large screen of the meeting, they all heard all of it word for word. Shi Ling's words fell. All four of them didn't open their mouths anymore. They knew that they were unable to stop Shi Ling. And just the moment Shi Ling finished those words, several people suddenly saw, in the midst of this pitch black, out of reach ghostly world, there was a bright light that slowly lit up. That bright light was like a flash of the sun. In the darkness of the ghostly world, Everyone rekindled the desire to live. But almost instantly, a few people then also realized, this was probably the light produced by the self-detonation of the S-Class Ghostmaster. It was also their only path to survival. Chapter 29, Still Want to Self-Detonate? A direct slap will send you flying. The bright light gradually rose up. Zhang Ze, who was not far away, also instantly realized what this bright light meant. An S-Class Ghostmaster self-detonated. The energy and range generated was unpredictable. It depended on the ability of the Ghost Master, and ordinary people could not control it at all. Moreover, the energy generated by a Ghost Master's self-destruction would not have any effect on ordinary people. In other words, the scope of this energy would only harm the ghosts. It would not affect any humans or Ghost Masters. Captain, Captain, let me do this kind of thing. Captain if you just fold here, what will the remaining four of us do? The remaining four heavenly kings shouted as they came back to their senses. Grief-stricken voices fell into the conference's screen through the detection apparatus. The moment this voice appeared, the few people in the meeting all instantly tightened their frowns. They already roughly knew what would happen next. Even though they simply couldn't bear the thought of a heavenly king-level ghost master directly falling in such a shabby neighborhood, but there was nothing they could do in the end. They did not have the ability to rush in and bring out the five great heavenly kings, and the remaining five heavenly kings had already rushed to the sea to deal with the three S-class lay ghosts that Sakura had attracted no matter how much they resisted in their hearts. Nowadays, this matter was also finally counted as a nail in the coffin. Elder Khan's brows had tightened. He knew that this matter could not be completely blamed on Liang Anji. 
but the fall of an S-class ghostmaster for the entire country of China. It was also ultimately a major loss. Everyone's hearts were instantly in their throats. They were all expecting a miracle. In case Qi Ling hadn't exploded himself yet, what if that mirrored ghost then withdrew the ghost spirit on its own? What if Qi Ling made a breakthrough at this critical juncture? Wouldn't she then not have to self-destruct as well? But although such thoughts flashed through everyone's mind, but all of them were also clear. This possibility was almost impossible. One could even directly say that it was simply impossible to realize. There were already people who had slightly sidestepped their faces, unwilling to continue staring at this scene on the video in front of them. And at this moment, Qi Ling, who was in the process of blowing herself up, had also already felt the tremendous power within her body. This was the capital that she had always been proud of. It was also the source of her being able to be unafraid amongst the swarms of Li ghosts. And yet, she had never thought of it. Now it was necessary to use self-detonation to allow the remaining few to detach themselves from here. Wei Ming, who was rushing towards the side, also quickly realized that something was wrong. Although Wei Ming wasn't sure what exactly was the reason for that golden light. However, he had been followed by Shattered Mouth beside him. Wei Ming immediately immediately turned his head to look at Shattered Mouth. What's with that increasingly intense golden light in front? Hearing Wei Ming's words, Shattered Mouth then raised his head to look at the golden light in front of him. Only after staring at that golden light for a moment, a hint of surprise flashed through Shattered Mouth's eyes. This appears to be the energy produced by a human ghostmaster's self-destruction. Rather unexpected. A mere peak S-class mirror ghost. To think that it could force this group of humans to the point of self-detonation. Shattered Mouth's original intention for these words was to express his shock. After all, according to Shattered Mouth's thoughts, it didn't matter if this group of humans could beat the mirror ghost or not, they would definitely not choose to fight to the death either. And yet, they had never thought about it. Now Qi Ling in order for the remaining people to successfully escape, but would rather use this way to let the rest of them leave this place, and listening to the words of the broken mouth, Wei Ming's eyes then erupted in surprise, he had certainly never thought of it. These ghostmasters would actually use such a way to deal with the lich ghosts. Wei Ming knew that this group of people were weak, but he had never expected that they would be this weak. Quickly, quickly, let's hurry over there, Wei Ming said and disappeared in a flash. Master you slow down, that human is dead is dead is dead, why are you so anxious about them? Shattered mouth somewhat helplessly shouted in Wei Ming's direction, but now Wei Ming had long since flown away, so naturally he couldn't hear shattered mouth's voice. Instead, shattered mouth spoke to himself about the dissatisfaction in his heart. Before he could say a few sentences, he realized that there was someone beside him, turning his head to look. It is not exactly that panting to catch up with the broken armed ghost. Where's the master? Why are you here by yourself? Broken armed ghost looked around, this time realizing that there was only one cat in front of Shattered Mouth. Only then did he open his mouth and ask Shattered Mouth. Only the eyes of Shattered Mouth looking at broken armed ghost were filled with dislike. Why are you so slow? If you had been waiting for you, I'm afraid the yellow flowers would have gotten cold. Broken Mouth's words fell. It didn't say much, but directly ran towards the front. Seeing this, the broken-armed ghost let out another helpless sigh. He had managed to catch up with great difficulty. As a result, not only did he not see Wei Ming's figure, after chatting with Broken Mouth for only a few AHS, he was directly dumped here. Only now he couldn't think about it too much, but instead directly chased after him at a fast pace. As for Wei Ming, after finally arriving at the center of the ghostly spirits area, then he realized that if that golden light had become even more intense, if he didn't go up and interfere with it, I was afraid that this person would really blow himself up in the next second as well. Therefore, he hurriedly followed the location of the light and rushed into the cell that the mirror ghost had set up for a few people. Shi Ling's face was filled with determination at this moment. She was also very clear in her own heart. This battle today was also the last battle of her life. Therefore, she had raised her spirit. However, she didn't expect that she would really have to fold here. Once she thought of this, Shi Ling slowly closed her eyes. A long time later, she had just opened her eyes. She was about to explode herself with all her might. But the next second, she suddenly realized that there seemed to be someone coming beside her. Shi Ling just wanted to turn her head to look over. But before she could see clearly who the person behind her was, in the next instant she was slapped out of the midst of the ghosts. What the hell? How did I come out? Shi Ling instantly froze for a moment. She looked up at the pitch black ghostly spirit in front of her. And she was also able to sense that now she was no longer in the region of the ghostly spirit. But the five heavenly kings had joined forces and had not even broken the ghostly spirit. How did one come out? Captain Chi, how did you come out? Chi Ling's thoughts were incomparably confused. And just at this time, Zhang Ze, who was hiding on the side, suddenly stood out. He looked at Chi Ling with a face full of surprise. Listening to Zhang Ze's question, 
Chi Ling didn't know exactly how she should answer for a moment. She looked down at her hands and legs. Pretty good. Nothing was missing. But it wasn't right. Wasn't she self-destructing? How come not only did the self-detonation not succeed, one was also slapped out? Confusion filled Shi Ling's eyes. She turned her head to Jiang Ze. All four of them didn't come out? Jiang Ze nodded repeatedly. He had been staring here the entire time. From the beginning to the end, Shi Ling was the only one who had suddenly appeared. The rest of the four heavenly kings, on the other hand, hadn't moved in the slightest at all. After listening to Jiang Ze's words, Shi Ling took a deep breath, and immediately afterward, he looked to the ghostly spirit on the side. If only he had come out and the remaining four hadn't come out, then it was very likely that it was due to an accident. But Chi Ling was the captain of the first division. It was certainly impossible for her to escape alone. Therefore, she turned her head and took a few steps towards the ghostly creature, trying to fish the four out. Chapter 30 Whose good guy's way of saving his life is to fly out backwards as if he were. Just, this scene was seen by everyone in the meeting. They had all originally thought. This time Chi Ling must be gone. The entire country would also be facing the situation of a broken left arm. But they did not expect. They didn't wait for Chi Ling to blow himself up. They saw Chi Ling suddenly come out of the ghostly world? What's going on here? Can it be that this heavenly king really did suddenly make a breakthrough in the nick of time? If it wasn't for the breakthrough, I'm afraid she wouldn't have come out of the ghostly spirit so quickly. Or is it that this stern ghost was defeated by the five heavenly kings in unison? Shock was all over the faces of the crowd. Every single one of them looked at Liang Anji. They were all waiting for Liang Anji to tell them what was going on in this scene. But how could Liang Anji know? He could only stare at the screen in front of him with a face of astonishment. And after Chi Ling came out, in her heart, she was still remembering her four team members. Without hesitation, she planned to turn her head towards the ghostly world and break in. Captain Chi, didn't you just come out? Why are you going in again? Zhang Ze, who was at the side, watched Chi Ling's movements. He immediately opened his mouth and spoke to Chi Ling. At the same time, he was also very anxious. After all, this stern ghost did look very powerful. Just because Chi Ling was able to come out this time, it didn't mean that he would be able to come out next time. Now the four heavenly kings were trapped inside. Zhang Ze was not willing to see Chi Ling, who had managed to come out with great difficulty, get trapped inside again. As Zhang Ze spoke, he had reached out and pulled on Chi Ling's arm. Captain Chi, we definitely can't be too impulsive in this matter. Zhang Ze's words were not problematic at all. However, Chi Ling couldn't think of that much at all nowadays. For Chi Ling, the five of them had always fought together from start to finish. She simply couldn't accept it. She had escaped from the ghosts for no reason, while the remaining four were unable to escape at all. Zhang Ze, they are my team members, my comrades. I absolutely can't watch them die in the hands of the leech ghosts just like that. Zhang Ze's strength was great. Chi Ling had expended some more strength. Now it was actually impossible to break free from Zhang Ze's grip. So she can only turn her head and try to use reasoning to get Jiang Ze to let go of her. But Jiang Ze's attitude was also very tough. No matter what, he wasn't going to let Chi Ling rush in again. It was just the sound of the two talking. It had also fallen into the meeting. Everyone was silent. They just stared silently at the scene in front of them. Everyone understood just how difficult this stern ghost was to deal with. Now Chi Ling was even more difficult to get out from the inside. And if she now insisted on breaking in again for the sake of her remaining team members, but it is not necessarily able to come out. Even more, she might not be able to come out again, even with the four of them. Director Liang, can we have a call with this heavenly king? She managed to come out with great difficulty. If she re-enters, I'm afraid that it will make the stern spirit even more angry. We've earned it if one of the five heavenly kings can come out. Otherwise let her not go back in, right? Liang Anji was in a mess. Instead, the voices of Gu Guanchuan's few people suddenly came from his ears. He slightly raised his head to look at the screen in front of him. However, he also happened to meet Gu Guanchuan's line of sight. Gu Guanchuan was the minister of the security center. Regarding the degree of safety and danger of this matter, he must have already had an opinion in his mind. This matter is simply not something that can be resolved by ordinary people. Liang Anji as the director of the psychic bureau. Naturally, he could see just how powerful this stern ghost was. Now that Qi Ling was able to come out, it was even more so that he hadn't expected it. But Liang Anji why would he not want to talk to Qi Ling? He also wanted to tell Qi Ling to not go in. But now they couldn't contact Qi Ling at all. This testing instrument could also only see after all. But could not make a call. We can't contact them. We can only watch them. Liang Anji's lips quirked for a long time. In the end, he could only helplessly spit out these words. Upon hearing this, no one in the meeting spoke anymore. They all stared at the screen in silence. Each and every one of them very nervous. And at this moment, 
Qi Ling had finally broken away from the arm being pulled by Jiang Ze. I must go in and save them. As their captain, how can I watch them face danger while I do nothing? Qi Ling's words fell as she turned her head and was about to rush in towards the ghosts, but she hadn't even rushed in yet. Then she heard a few swooshing sounds, Qi Ling subconsciously dodged. And the next moment, Qi Ling and Jiang Ze then saw, several figures rushed out from among the ghosts, but they didn't look like they came out voluntarily. Rather, it looked like they had been beaten out by someone. Four figures flew out from amongst the ghosts, they also looked defenseless. After coming out, they all fell to the ground. How did you guys come out? Qi Ling turned his head to look at those four figures. Only then did he realize that it was none other than the remaining four heavenly kings. After being slightly stunned, Qi Ling then hurriedly came forward to inquire. After the several people stood up, their faces were also covered in confusion and dumbfoundedness. Captain, I don't know. I don't even feel any ghost chi or spiritual power fluctuations. Deng Yezhou, who was at the side, immediately stood out and spoke to Qi Ling. His sensing ability was the strongest. So for him to open his mouth and say these words now, his credibility was also the highest. Only, if there was no energy fluctuation felt, how did the five of them come out now? Captain, I only feel as if there was a person at that time. Song Qiming suddenly spoke, but just halfway through his words, he hesitated for a moment. Just say what you have to say, there's no need to hide it. Qi Ling naturally saw Song Qiming's hesitation. Only then did she open her mouth and speak to Song Qiming. Song Qiming took a deep breath and continued on with his own words down the line. I don't know whether it was a human or a stern spirit that backed me up from behind and slapped me out. Song Qiming's words fell. The three people on the side also nodded their heads. Their feelings at that time were exactly the same as Song Qiming's. Without seeing anything, they appeared outside of the ghostly world in the next second. And this scene of the four of them flying out of the ghostly world. Naturally, it was also captured by the detection apparatus. Now everyone in the meeting all looked at Liang Anji in silence. In the beginning, Liang Anji was so helpless, and had even forced a heavenly king to self-destruct. But now what was this all about? Why didn't any of the five heavenly kings die in the ghostly world? Instead, they are now flying out one by one? Could it be that they still had some means of preserving their lives that they hadn't said? Director Liang, you can't be like this. All are grasshoppers on the same rope. If you guys have any means of saving your lives in your hands, you can't not tell us, right? Feng Xian spoke quietly to Liang Anji. And naturally, Liang Anji was also filled with confusion. He wasn't there either. So how did he know how these five people came out of the ghostly world? And in such a peculiar way? Whose good guy's way of saving his life was to fly out backwards like a green onion? Chapter 31 Wei Ming, I'm the one who called the police before night. At this time the crowd had fallen into a bewildered mood. One thing they were very clear about was, this mirror ghost has been successfully provoked by them. Furthermore, the several people who were trapped just now were also caused by the mirror ghost, so they didn't feel that. Now being slapped out was something that the mirror ghost had done, but if it wasn't the mirror ghost, who could it be? A few people looked at each other, but none of them could say a reason for it after a long time. Just, mirror ghost had realized, there was no longer any human scent in his own ghost. The food that had been circled with great difficulty had been thrown out. The mirror ghost instantly became furious. Who? Who threw out my food? The mirror ghost was enraged. But the next moment he realized Wei Ming's aura beside him. Almost instantly, the mirror ghost rushed towards Wei Ming. At this moment, the mirror ghost's face was filled with rage. Why did you let my food go? The mirror ghost landed not far from Wei Ming and sternly opened its mouth to question Wei Ming. However, Wei Ming just looked at him with cold eyes, not even having any emotions in his eyes. Wei Ming could not look at this mirror ghost. But the mirror ghost did not feel the same way. He didn't feel any dangerous aura from Wei Ming. So he also subconsciously thought that Wei Ming must not be stronger than himself. If it wasn't for the fact that you let them get away. After I devour these five people. My strength would definitely be able to soar. Right now. I'm so close to reaching SS rank. But you let go of the food for my upgrade. The mirror ghost spoke while walking slowly towards Wei Ming. Wei Ming looked the mirror ghost up and down. At this moment. The mirror ghost had already exposed his own appearance. He wasn't disguising anyone, it was just an empty face with no five senses present. Wei Ming stared at the mirror ghost for a long time before finally snorting. You are so ugly looking. Wei Ming's words then instantly angered the mirror ghost. The mirror ghost instantly became even more angry. Damn it. The mirror ghost let out a low roar. He charged towards Wei Ming with ghostly aura around him. The mirror ghost was unclear though. Why on earth would a stern ghost that didn't have any ghost chi on Wei Ming dare to mess with him? But he let his food go. Then he had to die. The mirror ghost did not hesitate to attack towards Wei Ming, but what the mirror ghost did not expect was, he just waved his hand. The Wei Ming in front of him didn't have the slightest reaction. 
Wei Ming's feet but jumped up an unknown object. The mirror ghost paused. In the next moment, Shattered Mouth jumped up directly and slapped the mirror ghost's head. This time it didn't use much force, but it still confused the mirror ghost. He shook off his head and turned his head to look at the figure beside him. It was only after a long time that he saw that it was a civet cat. Where did it come from? The mirror ghost was about to make a move on Shattered Mouth immediately. It was just that Shattered Mouth wasn't a vegetarian either. It increased its strength. And this time, it was a slap that sent the mirror ghost flying out. Just you still want to deal with me? Shattered Mouth landed on the ground. Its eyes filled with disdain as it looked at the mirror ghost not far away. It was just that even though that mirror ghost had been slapped out, it didn't have the slightest bit of fear at all. The mirror ghost roared. He staggered back to his feet. The look in his eyes towards Wei Ming was even more filled with indignation. He had never imagined that he was even in his own territory. It was still possible to be swatted away. Seeing that the mirror ghost was about to charge towards him again, Wei Ming could not help but frown somewhat helplessly. With regards to the stirring ghost in front of him, Wei Ming knew very well that he could beat him. It was only that he was not too willing to fight. Fighting to win or lose had never been what Wei Ming wanted, but now the mirror ghost was not relenting. It seemed that he could only make a move. However, he had just taken less than two steps when Shattered Mouth on the side jumped onto Wei Ming's shoulder. Master, leave this mirror ghost to me. A mere mirror ghost for me to deal with isn't a problem. Besides, this mirror ghost looks like it has good strength. It's my type. Shattered Mouth spoke to Wei Ming as it did so. It also licked its claws. The tip of Shattered Mouth's claw was already sticking out. Wei Ming looked at Shattered Mouth's sharp claws before he nodded at Shattered Mouth. Since you said so, then this mirror ghost is yours. Wei Ming was unimpressed. He didn't intend to devour this severe ghost himself anyway. Since Shattered Mouth was willing to do so, it was just a matter of handing it over. Besides, the reason why Wei Ming was here, it wasn't to fight this mirror ghost either. His target from start to finish was the human on the side. Since it's handed over to you, then you'll settle it beautifully for me. Know what I mean? Wei Ming turned his head slightly to look at Shattered Mouth beside him. Shattered Mouth naturally nodded. He then turned his head to look at the mirror ghost that was coming this way. As for Wei Ming, he, on the other hand, directly turned his head and was about to walk towards those five heavenly kings. The mirror ghost could see how Wei Ming was planning to leave. With an angry roar, he charged straight towards Wei Ming. Only Shattered Mouth didn't give him this opportunity. Shattered Mouth quickly stopped in front of the mirror ghost. Your opponent is me. You can't even defeat me and you still want to harass my master? Shattered Mouth's careless demeanor drove the mirror ghost even more crazy. With a roar he charged towards Shattered Mouth. Wei Ming, on the other hand, directly walked out of the range of the ghost. That appearance was as relaxed as it could be. He slowly stopped in front of the five heavenly kings in front of him. The five heavenly kings sized up Wei Ming. Shi Ling naturally subconsciously turned his head directly to look at Tang Yezhou. And Tang Yezhou, who was on the side, frowned tightly for a long time before he eventually shook his head gently. Tang Yezhou did not feel any ghostly aura from Wei Ming's body. That was why he shook his head at the few people beside him. The remaining four people watched as Tang Yezhou shook his head. And only then did they put their hearts down. Since Tang Yezhou had already stated. Wei Ming did not have a ghostly aura on him. They could be slightly relieved. However, only for a moment, Qi Ling once again raised his guard. How did you walk into this place alone and remain intact? Saying that, Qi Linghai looked down at Wei Ming. After all, this was a ghost cave. A person with no ghostly aura on his body, much less any spiritual energy. How on earth did he survive here? Qi Ling though believed that Tang Yezhou wouldn't talk nonsense. His senses probably wouldn't be wrong either. But Wei Ming suddenly appeared here. Plus the fact that the five of them had just been shot out of the ghostly spirit in unison. It also proved that there must be something unusual about Wei Ming. It was just that they hadn't seen it yet today. And just as her question was asked, Wei Ming slightly raised his head to look over. Wei Ming met Qi Ling's question before he spoke. Because, I'm the stirring ghost that called the police earlier. Chapter 32 broken through to SS rank, but you're annoying. Wei Ming's words had just fallen. The eyes of the five heavenly kings looking at him were instantly mixed with more vigilance. They all knew their purpose for coming to this neighborhood. It was because at the very beginning, there was a severe ghost that had called the police to report them, and they were able to fall into this situation now. Thanks to this ghost, it is also the Wei Ming in front of them. In addition, just now, they had seen it clearly. Wei Ming walked out of the mirror ghost's ghost. His entire body was relaxed. There wasn't even a hint of pressure. This also just showed that Wei Ming's true strength was quite a bit stronger than what they had imagined. Captain, what do we do? Sweat was already seeping from the corners of Tang Yezhou's forehead at this moment. He took two steps back to Qi Ling's side before he opened his mouth to ask. It was just that Qi Ling's face wasn't looking good nowadays either. Her eyes stared tightly at Wei Ming in front of her. 
Not a single word came out even after a long time down. I won't harm you all. Otherwise why would I have slapped you out of the ghostly spirit just now? Wei Ming also saw the wary hearts of the several people towards himself. He quickly opened his mouth and spoke to the few people, while also taking a few steps back. These people were simply too weak. Even though Wei Ming didn't intend to make a move against them, the eyes they looked at him were still filled with vigilance and panic. This matter is not something we can solve anymore. He's so powerful. If we fight hard, we definitely won't be able to fight. But before we came, didn't the bureau say that he was demanding? We can ask the bureau what their opinion is. Shi Ling said and turned his head to Zhang Zhe who was on the side. Our cell phones are out of order. What's yours? Zhang Zhe was suddenly called by Qi Ling. He froze for a moment before he looked down and took out his cell phone. After taking a look, Zhang Zhe then nodded at Qi Ling. And at the same time, the strange movements within the neighborhood, including Wei Ming's sudden appearance, all of them had been captured by the detection instruments above the district. And now Liang Anji had been testing whether the signal had been interfered with or not. After all, they had been unable to contact the five heavenly kings. They were also ultimately unsettled in their hearts. As a result, after this attempt, Liang Anji's eyes also instantly burst with joy. It's possible. It's possible. Liang Anji immediately shouted at the screen in front of him. Can what can? Old Liang you crazy what? Liang Anji the sudden movement was Feng Xian was startled. He immediately said to Liang Anji. His eyes were also filled with surprise. Liang Anji, however, did not answer Feng Xian's question, but instead turned his eyes to look at Elder Kong. Elder Kong, I have just tested it. Now they are already considered to be out of the control of the ghostly spirits. So their signal has also been restored. We are able to contact them for a call. Listening to Liang Anji's words, only then did Elder Kong let out a sigh of relief. Since we can make a call, we will contact them immediately. That kid was able to walk out of the ghostly spirit like that without anyone else. His strength must be extraordinary. Maybe he's the most powerful stern ghost in this small area. These words from Elder Kong came out. Liang Anji, on the other hand, nodded repeatedly. There's one more thing. Liang Anji had just picked up his cell phone. Kong Lao then spoke again. I'm going to personally speak to this kid. Kong Lao took a deep breath. His gaze was so deep that it seemed to fall straight onto Wei Ming through the screen. With this request, Liang Anji naturally nodded and agreed. And just as Qi Ling was planning to use Zhang Zhe's cell phone to call Liang Anji, Liang Anji's phone had also called. Captain Qi, it's the chief director's call. Zhang Zhe looked at the words bouncing on his cell phone, and in the next moment, he was so excited that it was as if he was about to jump up and down. He had been in this neighborhood, shrouded by an endless ghostly aura. If it wasn't for the fact that the stern ghost's target wasn't even him, I'm sure he wouldn't have been able to escape at all. Now it was so hard to contact someone outside. Zhang Zhe was naturally excited. Qi Ling's eyes also flashed with a trace of joy. However, she was now the leader of several people, so it was naturally impossible for her to show her joy and anger on her face. She only slightly hooked her lips, and then reached out to take the cell phone that Zhang Zhe handed over. Chief Director? Qi Ling's voice was transmitted into the meeting through the cell phone. What was visible to the naked eye was that several people instantly let out a sigh of relief when they heard Qi Ling's voice, and Elder Kong was then about to open his mouth. But just at this time, a loud bang suddenly erupted in the ghostly world behind the several people. Immediately afterward, the pitch black ghostly spirit once again skyrocketed. It actually enveloped the five heavenly kings as well as Wei Ming and Zhang Zhe once again. The signal was abruptly interrupted, and all that was heard in the middle of the meeting was a beeping sound. It's over. Tang Yezhou stared at the scene in front of him with his eyes lost in thought. The mirror ghost had been slipped by the shattered mouth. It was simply like a dog. The mirror ghost naturally couldn't stand it. He was a dignified peak S-class stern ghost. Surprisingly, he was teased by a cat to such an extent. His anger had reached its peak at this moment, and under the infuriation, he even directly broke through the limitations of the peak of the S-level. The mirror ghost reached SS rank. In an instant, heaven and earth changed color. The entire neighborhood was enveloped by a powerful aura. Even the five heavenly kings had already been pressurized by this massive aura. Qi Ling's face was very grave as she turned her head slightly to look at Wei Ming. I know that you are very powerful, but I hope that you can help destroy this stern spirit. Wei Ming looked towards Qi Ling and didn't say anything for a long time. And Shattered Mouth, who was standing in front of the mirror ghost at the moment, had also become more cautious. It didn't matter if it was Wei Ming, or Shattered Mouth. None of them had ever thought about it. At this juncture, the mirror ghost was even able to break through. As for the mirror ghost, after he realized that he had broken through to the SS level. On the other hand, he instantly became even more rampant. He laughed at the broken mouth in front of him, while the ghost aura had spread to wrap around the broken mouth. All of you, all ghosts, must die. The mirrored ghost slowly spoke. 
His eyes were filled with anger and hatred. If Wei Ming and Shattered Mouth hadn't suddenly appeared, he would have already devoured these five heavenly kings. How could it be so troublesome? You're so weak. How could you possibly devour these people in front of me? Wei Ming sneered, but the next moment his eyes landed on Shattered Mouth. And you, wouldn't you have just cleaned him up earlier? Now it's good. Directly adding to my troubles. Wei Ming's words fell. The next moment his figure disappeared into thin air. The mirror ghost naturally saw it clearly. Wei Ming, who had been standing in front of him only moments ago, suddenly disappeared. His laughter came to an abrupt end. The entire ghost froze in place. However, he didn't wait for him to have the next moment to react. Wei Ming's figure reappeared. He stood in front of the mirrored ghost, and impatience also filled his brows. Annoying. The mirror ghost was shocked beyond words. He hadn't expected it at all. A ghost with no ghostly aura around it at all was able to instantly appear in front of him. The mirror ghost opened his mouth wide, but he didn't wait for any words to come out. Wei Ming then slightly raised his hand. The next moment, he directly slapped the mirror ghost's head heavily. Chapter 33, one slap. If it doesn't work, then another slap. Wei Ming's slap fell. The mirror ghost couldn't dodge it at all. He could only watch as Wei Ming's slap landed on his head. The next moment, everyone heard the miserable screams of the mirror ghost. The sound gradually dissipated, and the pitch black ghosts that shrouded the surroundings gradually disappeared as well. The five heavenly kings on the side stared blankly at the scene in front of them. For a moment, they simply didn't know what words they could still say. What level was that mirror ghost just now? A stern ghost that had just broken through the SS level. In the eyes of the five heavenly kings, it was already an existence that could not be eliminated at all. But why did it disappear so easily in Wei Ming's hands? Even Wei Ming's light slap was enough to make the mirror ghost completely disappear. It was enough to make the mirror ghost completely scatter. The five heavenly kings didn't know what else they could do. They didn't know what else they could do. When the mirror ghost hadn't broken through, it was already tricky enough for them. But even after the mirror ghost had broken through, Wei Ming had also resolved it with just a slap from the district. On the ground where the mirror ghost had disappeared, there was an extremely large and rounded bead. Wei Ming glanced down at it, and dissatisfaction revealed doubt in his eyes. Zhang Ze on the side saw Wei Ming's confusion. Even though he was a bit puzzled as to why Wei Ming didn't know what it was, he still came forward. This little brother. This thing is called a ghost spirit. It's what would be produced after the souls of the severe ghosts are dispersed. This place is also filled with the ghostly energy and cultivation of a stern ghost. In other words, this is a great tonic. Zhang Ze said while still paying attention to Wei Ming's expression. After all, he didn't have the guts to rush forward and directly snatch this ghost essence away. Wei Ming looked down. Only then did he turn his head to look at the broken mouth and broken arm ghost on the side. You guys want it? Shattered mouth and broken arm ghost looked at each other, but neither of them opened their mouths. Wei Ming shook his head somewhat helplessly. He waved his hand at the ghost spirit, and the ghost essence fell directly into his hands the next moment. For Wei Ming, this ghost essence actually didn't have much use, so it was better to throw the ghost essence to the broken mouth and broken arm ghost. You two keep it. Anyway, when you're strong in the future, you'll definitely be able to help me out as well. Wei Ming was talking to the two ghosts on this side. On the other side, there was also a signal on Zhang Zhe's cell phone once again. Only this time it was no longer a phone call. Instead, it was a direct video conference for Zhang Zhe. They had all seen that scene just now, including Wei Ming's power. They also had a thorough understanding now. Only at this moment, Wei Ming's gaze had been falling on the broken mouth and broken arm ghosts. The two ghosts were also instantly excited after getting the ghost essence. As soon as the two ghosts were one ghost and a half, they didn't hesitate to start absorbing the ghost chi within the ghost essence. Zhang Zhe on the side could only watch with bated breath, even though he was the head of a research department. For the first time in his life, he saw a ghost essence that had fallen off of a SS rank night ghost. He naturally wanted it very much, but the three stern ghosts in front of him were staring at him. It was definitely impossible for him to act rashly. Soon, the broken mouth and broken arm ghosts had already absorbed the ghost essence. At first glance, the change in the broken mouth doesn't seem to be big, while the arm of the broken-armed ghost that had been broken off on the side had already grown out. And the next moment, he turned to realize that his realm had also changed. Now he was already S+. If he kept following Wei Ming in the future and continued to get ghost essence, perhaps he would be able to directly break through the SS rank in a matter of days. For a moment, the broken-armed ghost's eyes were also filled with surprise and gratitude as he looked towards Wei Ming. But looking at the broken-armed ghost's arm grew out. Now he couldn't be called a broken-armed ghost either. What is your name? Wei Ming opened his mouth and asked at the broken-armed ghost. Master, my name is Sun Fei. He instead hurriedly opened his mouth to answer Wei Ming's question. Only then did Wei Ming nod his head. However, he didn't really continue talking to Sun Fei. 
Instead, he slightly turned his head to look at the several humans standing behind him. Among them, Zhang Zhe was still holding his cell phone. Within the cell phone screen were the very same few people in the video conference. At this time, several people had been completely shocked by Wei Ming. To know, just now when the mirror ghost broke through the SS level, even though they were across the screen, they had also seen the current situation of the entire neighborhood from within the detection instrument. Even from such a distance, they could feel that their hearts were about to jump out. The mirror ghost was such a powerful and stern ghost. It was also simply not enough in front of Wei Ming's eyes. And the five heavenly kings standing beside Jiang Zhe, they were also staring at Wei Ming with unblinking eyes at the moment. Even though they knew, if Wei Ming really intended to make a move against them, they wouldn't even have the slightest ability to resist. The ghostly aura emitted by the mirror ghost at the time of its breakthrough. They were the first ones to feel the oppression. But it was such a powerful aura. However, it did not have any effect on Wei Ming. Shi Ling stared at Wei Ming. After a long time, she was just silent and couldn't say a word. Just now when she was planning to blow herself up to fend off the mirror ghost. The reason why that golden light flashed for so long without exploding. It was because from start to finish, she was looking for an opportunity. Looking for a chance to traumatize the mirror ghost. But never found the opportunity. So she did not explode. To put it bluntly, it was also because the difference in strength between the two was simply too great. That was why Chi Ling hadn't exploded herself for a long time. But it was such a powerful ghost. But was the young man in front of me slapped to death? Looking at his weak appearance, compare that to the way he slapped the mirror ghost to death. The two simply couldn't come together as one. As for Jiang Zhe, the look in his eyes as he looked at Wei Ming was filled with scorching heat. This was a stern ghost that was more powerful than even the mirror ghost. Just how powerful is he again? Captain, we can't beat him. Tang Yezhou was silent for a long time before. Only then did he whisper and speak to Qi Ling. Qi Ling nodded in silence even though she didn't speak. Why wouldn't she know that? And just the moment Tang Yezhou's words fell. Wei Ming's line of sight also looked over right afterward. Shi Ling met Wei Ming's line of sight. The trepidation in her heart only slightly improved. It seemed that this severe ghost in front of them did not intend to make a move against them. After all, the emotions in his eyes looked very kind as well. It was only that a severe ghost was a severe ghost after all. If he suddenly wanted to make a move against them, they would still be unable to resist at all. So, this young man in front of them, what realm is he in the end? A mirror ghost that had just broken through the SS rank was like an ant in front of him. What exactly is he the peak of SS rank? Or is he SSS level? Thinking of this, Shi Ling really couldn't help but shiver. Didn't dare to think about it. Didn't dare to think at all. If this stern ghost in front of him was really that powerful of a realm, then even the entire world put together, they wouldn't be able to pose any threat to him at all. Chapter 34, Approaching the Borderline The five heavenly kings simply couldn't stop it. And Wei Ming stared at the few people in front of him. There was also old man Kong in the cell phone screen. He didn't say anything. It was because he was waiting for the other party to speak. But after a long time, they still didn't have the intention to open their mouths. In the end, Wei Ming planned to take the initiative to break the deadlock himself. After all, in the beginning, it is also because of their own alarm call. This group of people only came to this neighborhood. So it was because of him. It was because of him that this group of humans almost sacrificed five people. It's his fault. It's also his fault. Knowing that there are so many ghosts in this neighborhood, but he didn't come out in advance to greet them. Thinking about this, Wei Ming intended to speak, but he just opened his mouth. Before he could make a sound, Kong Lao on the cell phone was the first to react. Kong Lao was only shocked by the scene just now, now that he had come back to his senses. When he just opened his mouth, he had the demeanor of that commander-in-chief. Kid, those demands you said earlier, say them again. Listening to Kong Lao's voice, a light instantly flashed in Wei Ming's eyes. You should be the chief commander, right? Wei Ming looked really bored if he was at home. It was also the case that he would turn on the television and watch it for a couple of moments. So naturally, he recognized that the Kong Lao in front of him was none other than the chief commander. Kong Lao listened to Wei Ming's question. He didn't say anything for a long time. He just looked at Wei Ming in silence. As I said earlier, I don't want to kill people, much less devour ghosts. Plus I heard that you have a soul stone in the hands of the relevant departments. This soul stone is what allows ghostmasters and stern ghosts to replenish their energy. Relatively speaking, I also prefer this method. Therefore, I want to obtain the soul stone from you. After Wei Ming finished these words, Elder Kong did not speak for a long time. As for the five heavenly kings in Jiang Zhe, on the other hand, they froze in place in unison. In the beginning, they all felt the same. A stern ghost calling the police to report himself and negotiating terms with them. This was simply a pie in the sky. But it wasn't until now. Only then did they finally realize. 
It turned out that Wei Ming really didn't have the slightest bit of hostility towards them, he was only because he didn't want to harm people and he disliked the lich ghosts, that's why he was thinking of defecting to their department. For a while, the five heavenly kings looked at each other, but they didn't know what words they should say for a long time. Yes, I agree to this request of yours. Without thinking, Kong Lao immediately opened his mouth and answered. A trace of joy immediately flashed across Wei Ming's eyes. However, he did not indicate it, and only nodded at Kong Lao. All right, then there is nothing else I can ask for. You people are still. Wei Ming had just said half of his words, but he was directly interrupted by Kong Lao. But kid, I do have another idea. Would you like to join us? Kong Lao's words just came out. Tension erupted on the faces of everyone at the moment. Of course, there was more panic and shock. This Wei Ming was a stern ghost, and it was an existence that was above the SS grade ghosts. Letting such a ghost join them? Isn't this hanging all of them up by their necks? However, what Elder Kong said, it must have been well thought out. Even though all of them were very frightened today, but none of them had ever opened their mouths either. On the contrary, Wei Ming, he bowed his head and contemplated for a long time. Then he directly nodded his head and responded. I can join, but I have a question. Elder Khan didn't say anything, but just stared at Wei Ming with a calm face. If I join you guys, isn't it equivalent to being enrolled in the organization? And what about the benefits? When Wei Ming asked this, Kong Lao was a bit surprised. He didn't expect Wei Ming to know about such messy things as career coding. However, he also still nodded along with Wei Ming's words. Not bad, if you join us, you will have an establishment. We can set up a nightly ghost department specifically for you. If you have any collected lich ghosts afterward, you can naturally bring them in as well. But if something goes wrong with them it will be up to you. After you join us, you will be the minister of this night ghost department. If there are any matters, you can also report to me directly. For the rest, whatever you need, living goods, or soul stones, we also have an unlimited supply of all of them. As long as you can join us, and don't do anything to hurt anyone, all conditions are at your disposal. After listening to Elder Kong's words, Wei Ming, on the other hand, nodded his head repeatedly, and at the same time, there was still some embarrassment on his face. He was more or less embarrassed by this matter. After all, it was because of himself before. It almost caused the relevant departments of the country to suffer losses. These few people almost couldn't get out in this neighborhood, if not for his timely arrival. Fear is late two minutes. Come to see just a handful of ash. As a result, this country not only does not care about the past, also directly backhandedly gave himself this luxury treatment. These words altogether, he only heard a meaning. As long as you are willing to join, then the welfare treatment is up to him. Wei Ming is not stupid. Food and shelter are guaranteed and also into the establishment. This is also when his previous life was never treated. After agreeing to it, Wei Ming began to think, the other party gave himself so many benefits, so how should he repay them? Wei Ming was pondering, and at the same time, the door to the conference room behind Elder Kong was suddenly pushed open. Everyone subconsciously looked at the person who walked through the door. Everyone knew that Elder Kong was in a meeting right now, the one who dared to push the door in at this time. It must not be something too trivial. As expected, the face of the intelligence officer who walked through the door was also filled with anxiety. Elder Kong, our borderline is very unsafe right now. The three S-ranked stern ghosts from Sakura's side are already approaching the borderline. The five heavenly kings we sent out not long ago have blocked them though. But those were after all three S-ranked ghosts. Even if the five heavenly kings were more powerful, they still wouldn't be able to stop them in the end. And the situation of the five heavenly kings is not optimistic. Three of them have already been seriously injured. Listening to the news conveyed by the intelligence officers, Kong Lao's face instantly sank, and the five great heavenly kings in the small area heard the news. Their faces were also instantly grave. They didn't realize until this time. It turned out that after they entered the small district, something so big had actually happened outside. Right now, those three S-ranked stern ghosts, how far away are they from the borderline of our country? China. Elder Kong took a deep breath. Only then did he hastily open his mouth and ask the intelligence officer in front of him. That intelligence officer had a moment of hesitation though, but he also understood in his heart. At this time, it was simply impossible to consider too much. Since Elder Kong had asked, then he must answer. Elder Kong, those three S-classly ghosts, are now close to the borderline of our country of China, is already less than 10 kilometers away. The five heavenly kings, they can't be stopped. Chapter 35, Borderline Crisis? Goodbye I'll take a step ahead. Listening to the words of the intelligence officer. Kong Lao's pupils shrunk. He was naturally aware of what these words meant. Once the three S-ranked liege ghosts managed to arrive at the borderline, then what awaited them would be an eternity of no peace. 
Elder Kong took a deep breath. Immediately afterward, he looked at the five heavenly kings who were still standing in the small area. They had also heard what the intelligence officer had said. At this moment, each of their faces were also covered in gravity. Elder Kong, let us go directly this time. Chi Ling stared at Elder Kong in the cell phone screen for a long time. She suddenly opened her mouth and spoke to Kong Lao. Nowadays, this matter had also been considered imminent. There was simply no room for error. It was even too late to procrastinate. Chi Ling's words also happened to cater to Kong Lao's thoughts. He nodded heavily at the several people. It's good that you guys have this idea. Now I order you all. Rush to the borderline for support immediately. Several people from Chi Ling nodded. Every one of them had a look of death on their faces. As for Jiang Zhe who was holding the cell phone, he was originally from the research department. Even if he went, it wouldn't be of much use. He then remained standing in place for a long time without moving. And Elder Kong didn't care. He looked towards the other person in the video. Feng Xian, the commander-in-chief of the military department. Commander Feng, the military department is immediately coordinating. The forces in High City immediately draw military helicopters over. Make sure that the five heavenly kings rush to the borderline with the fastest speed possible. Elder Kong's words had just fallen. Feng Xian then immediately nodded his head. Yes, Feng Xian proceeded to do this matter. Only then did Kong Lao feel slightly more at ease. As for whether or not the ten heavenly kings combined would be able to defeat those three S-ranked stern ghosts or not, it was not something they could consider today. Subsequently, Kong Lao's eyes passed through the screen. They fell straight onto Wei Ming's body. Wei Ming did not open his mouth but only looked back at Kong Lao. Mr. Wei, do you agree with our suggestion just now? Kong Lao was silent for a long time before he opened his mouth and asked Wei Ming. After all, the situation just now was urgent. Nor did he confirm whether Wei Ming was going to join or not. But after Kong Lao's question was asked, Wei Ming did not open his mouth. He just remained silent and stared at Kong Lao. If you don't want to then forget it. Let's. Kong Lao frowned slightly. However, just as he was halfway through his sentence, Wei Ming opened his mouth and interrupted him. What were you guys talking about just now? What happened to the borderline? What exactly happened? This sudden question from Wei Ming had caused Kong Lao to be a bit surprised. After all, Wei Ming hadn't agreed yet either. And now it was directly asking what exactly went wrong at the border? Kong Lao stared at Wei Ming for a long time without saying anything. After all, he hadn't figured out what Wei Ming was thinking. But seeing that Kong Lao did not open his mouth, Wei Ming could not help but open his mouth and ask a second time. Elder Kong, if the situation is critical, you might as well tell me. Life and death is not something you can control anyway, isn't it? Wei Ming's words were somewhat cruel, but Elder Kong was clear that it was indeed the truth. Taking a deep breath, firmness filled Kong Lao's eyes. The borderline is indeed troublesome right now. And right now, these three S-rank stern ghosts are less than 10 kilometers away from our borderline. But even if all the 10 heavenly kings appeared, they wouldn't necessarily be able to successfully stop them. Alas. After Elder Kong finished speaking, he then heaved a sigh. This matter had indeed gone beyond his control. But nowadays, there was nothing but sending people to block it. There was also no other way. But what no one expected was, after Kong Lao's words were said, Wei Ming, on the other hand, sank his eyes. His eyes were slightly cold as he raised his eyes in the direction of the borderline. I didn't expect them to still be this annoying. Wei Ming's words had not yet fallen. Then he had already disappeared from sight. The people around could only see Wei Ming's figure flicker for a moment. And then he was gone. Master is gone. Catch up. Broken mouth said as he quickly rushed up. And the broken arm ghost son Fei also rushed up in a hurry. The two ghosts had already absorbed the mirror ghost's ghost essence. Broken mouth was already moving quickly. So naturally, there wasn't half the pressure. As for son Fei, his realm had also been upgraded. So he could barely follow. It was only after the three ghosts left. It was the crowd that was left behind looking at each other in disbelief. How did they leave without saying a word? Acting so quickly, what were they planning to do? Jiang Zhe froze for a moment. He took a few steps forward, but he did not see them. This kind of speed, if placed in any city, I'm afraid that it would be a direct disaster. Jiang Zhe was still in a daze. The cell phone in his hand then came a voice. What did these three ghosts do? Elder Kong, can't it be that they couldn't see our conditions and weren't willing to join? They left in such a hurry. It can't be that they are angry at our bad treatment. You have a point. It's hard to believe that they're going to destroy Sea City now? Just now he asked about the borderline. It can't be that he's going to join forces with those three stern ghosts to destroy us, right? Instantly, everyone in the video conference exploded. They were all speculating what exactly Wei Ming had done to go. But after a long time, they couldn't say anything after all. Elder Kong just stared at the screen in his cell phone in silence. Naturally, 
He didn't know what Wei Ming had gone to do, but when he thought about his question just now, Kong Lao couldn't help but feel a little bold in his heart. Kong Lao couldn't help but feel some trepidation in his heart. If he really chose to unite the three S rank liege ghosts, then they couldn't do anything but wait for death. But if Wei Ming chose to help them, Kong Lao shook his head. Wei Ming hadn't even agreed to their conditions just now. How could he possibly help them? And just as Kong Lao was pondering, Feng Xian had also spoken. Director Liang, this stern spirit is in danger. He's so powerful. We must not let him out of our sight. Let the five heavenly kings go and stop that stern ghost. If the five heavenly kings combine their efforts to go after it, they can still catch it. Feng Xian was already a bit anxious, but Liang Anji had not yet spoken. The five heavenly kings, on the other hand, looked at each other. Let them go and stop it? What were they going to stop with? What qualifications did they have to stop? What strength was Wei Ming and what strength were they? Could they stop him? Besides, even if the two sides were equal in strength, Wei Ming's figure had completely disappeared. Now Wei Ming's figure has completely disappeared. Li ghosts are weightless. They run exceptionally fast. The five heavenly kings couldn't even catch up with Wei Ming. How could this be stopped? Director Liang, if anything goes wrong with these several Lil ghosts, it's all your problem too. You have to think about whether to let them go or not. Liang Anji listened to these words. A trace of entanglement and helplessness flashed across his face as well. The five heavenly kings could not stop Wei Ming. However, if they didn't arrange for someone to stop them at this point in time, if Wei Ming really caused any trouble, the psychic bureau would have to take the responsibility. Listening to the voices in his ears, coupled with Liang Anji's own heart was already in turmoil. For a while, he frowned but didn't know what choice to make. All right, quiet. Chapter 36 Gambling, It's Either Death or Death, Starting the Fire Seed Program? Just as the crowd was clamoring and in an incomparable panic, Elder Kong, who was seated at the top of the table, opened his mouth with a sullen face. As soon as he opened his mouth, everyone present instantly quieted down. What are you arguing about? Does this matter require you all to argue here? How old are you all? What kind of behavior is this? What's decent? Although Elder Kong's voice was not loud, however, the crowd could hear a hint of anger in it. For a while, no one in the crowd dared to speak again, and at this time, after Kong Lao scanned a circle of the crowd present, he then continued to speak. According to what I said just now, the five heavenly kings will still act according to the plan. Upon the arrival of the military helicopters, then they will immediately depart and head to the borderline for support. As for the other matters, it has nothing to do with you, and you don't need to care. Elder Kong gave an order. The five heavenly kings, on the other hand, let out a sigh of relief. Because currently, no matter what aspect, it was also the three Li ghosts near the borderline that were more important. Since they were now able to ignore Wei Ming and head straight for the borderline, then they naturally nodded their heads in response. It was just that Elder Kong's words did not cause anyone to agree. Although Feng Xian and Gu Guangxuan were not always on the same front. However, with regards to this matter, both of them were upholding one idea. That was, can't just ignore Wei Ming Ah. Therefore, after a short period of silence, the two soon opened their mouths once again and said to Elder Kong, But Elder Kong, then what about Wei Ming? Such a powerful stern ghost. If we really leave it alone, then what should we do if something happens? Gu Guangxuan opened his mouth full of worry and asked Elder Kong. In turn, Kong Lao shook his head helplessly. I naturally know that it is strong, but you guys don't forget. This matter is simply not something we can manage. You all know this in your own hearts. This stern ghost is so powerful. Do you think that if we send someone to stop it, we will definitely be able to stop it? There's nothing else we can do about this ghost. We can only hope that he won't make a move against us. As Elder Kong spoke, he turned his head slightly to look out the window. The weather was clear. It was just that it was unknown just how much longer they would be able to look at this blue sky and white clouds. After Kong Lao's words fell, no one opened their mouths even in the middle of the video conference. Everyone fell into silence. They were naturally clear on just how difficult this matter was. Wei Ming's strength was already far beyond what they could control. At most, they were able to eliminate an S-class liege, but that would also require the ten heavenly kings to pay a price. Not to mention, this Wei Ming dealt with up S-class like ghosts without even bothering to do so. With such strength, how could they possibly block it? But Elder Kong, if we don't stop it, what else can we do? Is it hard to believe that we'll just wait? Feng Xin choked, but only these words came out. In his heart, he naturally hoped that Wei Ming would not make a move against them. It could also be said that who in the hearts of everyone present did not think so, but no one knew what Wei Ming would actually do. They could only hope that Wei Ming wouldn't make any drastic moves. If he was really angry, then the entire country of H, and even the entire world, all could only admit defeat as well. Elder Kong, 
After Gu Guangxuan was silent for a long time, he suddenly opened his mouth. His voice instantly turned very hoarse. Elder Kong slightly raised his eyes to Gu Guangxuan, signaling him to continue speaking down. Gu Guangxuan took a deep breath. Only then did he look at Elder Kong. If anything, this stern ghost is really very angry, and must be ruthless enough to make a move against us? In response, what should we do? If we block it now, although the chances are slim, but at least there is a chance, although slim, but if we wait until he really starts to do it, then we really won't have a chance. Blood had surfaced in Gu Guangxuan's eyes. Kong Lao stared at him, but how could Kong Lao not have thought of this matter? It was just that even though he knew the consequences of this matter, he could only do so. Nowadays, we don't know Wei Ming's moves for now, and the three S-ranked stern ghosts at the borderline are getting closer and closer. The five heavenly kings can't hold their own now. The borderline could be breached at any time. If we let the remaining five heavenly kings go after Wei Ming at this time, there will only be one outcome as well. We won't be able to catch up with Wei Ming, and the borderline will be breached. Then now we can only gamble. Bet that Wei Ming is friendly to us. Bet that he won't make a move. Therefore, the ten heavenly kings must all appear, so that the three stern ghosts at the borderline can't enter no matter what. Elder Kong sealed the deal. No one opened their mouths to negate his plan anymore. If there is nothing else, or any other questions, let's call it a day. The meeting can also be broken off for now. Elder Kong said, leaning somewhat feebly on the back of the chair behind him. The few people in front of them were silent for a moment. It was only then that someone finally spoke again. Elder Kong, if it is breached, what should we do? Hearing this voice, Elder Kong looked up at the person who spoke. The two of them stared at each other for a long time before Kong Lao finally spoke slowly. If it really comes to this kind of result that really can't be undone, there is only one thing we can do. That is to start the fireseed program ahead of schedule. These words came out. Everyone in the meeting didn't know what to say. The fireseed program. It was their last step towards extinction. Leaving behind a group of troops. There was also a group of children and adults. They were all carefully selected. Loyal to their country. They will never have second thoughts. And their ancestors are all soldiers with a red light. But if we really start the kindling program. No one can control whether this batch of kindling can survive or not. After all. Only this group of people will be left. Whether they could survive or not was all up to them. But whenever the enemy or Wei Ming wanted to eliminate the roots, then not even the embers would be able to survive. This plan has always been hidden. Even when the ghost Chi revived, preparations had already begun in secret. But until now, everyone had also just put it in their hearts. No one had ever brought this matter out into the open for discussion. After all, everyone understood in their hearts. Once the Spark program was launched, it had already proved to be too much to hold on to. This topic was already very heavy. After Kong Lao brought it up, there was only one thought in everyone's mind. That was despair. After all, no one wanted to start the fire seed program. Chapter 37, The Red Character, never let them off the hook. But just as Elder Kong and the others were filled with gloom, Wei Ming was also on his way to the borderline. Of course he wouldn't make a move against China. The reason why he chose to leave decisively after hearing those words from Kong Lao. It was also only because Wei Ming realized, the situation today was indeed a bit tricky. When that intelligence officer and Kong Lao reported, Wei Ming had also sort of listened to the whole thing. The three S-class ghosts are now less than 10 kilometers away from the border. They are even less than 10 kilometers away from the borderline. According to the speed of the ghosts, I'm afraid that they will soon be able to reach the territory of China, even if there are five heavenly kings in the way. But three of the five heavenly kings have been injured. I'm afraid they won't be able to resist at all. Wei Ming naturally couldn't let those three S-class ghosts do whatever they wanted. As a Chinese, Wei Ming was naturally aware of what inhumane things Sakura had done back then, including those tragic experiments, one by one. Which one of these things wasn't enough to make a Chinese person's blood boil? Even now, these things have passed so long ago, but whenever a Chinese person mentions them, his eyes would still be filled with hatred, even if Wei Ming was no longer a Chinese. Rather, he was a Chinese ghost, but no matter what, he couldn't possibly watch his own people being bullied by little Sakura. Besides, even if the onlookers didn't know, but Wei Ming himself knew it all. In his last life, his ancestors were heroes. He was a hero in the battle against the enemy, even if he died at the hands of the enemy. But he couldn't hide the medals. As a descendant of a hero, knowing that his forefathers died at the hands of the enemy, Wei Ming naturally took the initiative, regardless of what the consequences would be in the end. He was going to rush to the borderline first and eliminate those three S-classly ghosts. It could be said that right from the start, Wei Ming had an undying hatred for Sakura. However, he did not take a stand. After all, if he was incarnated as a lich demon, he should still figure out his situation first. 
And yet, he did not expect it. He himself did not take the initiative to take revenge. The enemy, on the contrary, was bold enough to take the initiative. Since they all took the initiative to come to the door, then what will happen next? Then don't blame him. Wei Ming had a very cold look on his face. Ben was a stern ghost, and when he was in a bad mood, his surroundings were naturally even colder. Even Shattered Mouth and Sun Fei, who were following behind him, couldn't help but tremble. Master doesn't look like he's in a very good mood? Is it hard to believe that these few severe ghosts from the borderline have messed with Master? Sun Fei sneezed. Only then did he turn his head to ask Shattered Mouth beside him. Shattered Mouth instead shook its head, even though it hadn't followed Wei Ming around for a very long time, but it was also more or less a cat that was born and raised in China. Therefore, it was more or less clear about some of the history. After briefly describing it to Sun Fei, Sun Fei's face was also colored with a huff. Good, this little cherry blossom even did this kind of unseemly thing. No wonder Master is so angry. I can only feel my lungs about to explode now after hearing all these things. Broken Mouth turned his head and glanced at him. Only then did he slowly speak. You're a night ghost. You don't have lungs. The words fell. Shattered Mouth violently raised his speed to chase after him towards Wei Ming. But in a matter of moments, there was only Sun Fei left alone with a ghost following behind Wei Ming from afar. At the same time, at this moment, near the borderline of China, the five heavenly kings were simply unable to fend off those three S-ranked stern ghosts. They were even doing their best to avoid the ghostly spirits released by the other party as well. After all, if one person alone was enveloped by the ghostly spirits, then their outcome was also obvious. It was that they would never be able to come out again. We already have three people injured now. If we keep fighting them like this, I'm afraid we won't even be able to get out of here ourselves. The second division of the ten heavenly kings, Captain Chang Yan shouted at the four people not far away. But nowadays, they were the only line of defense left. If they were also breached, then these three S-ranked lich demons would also enter the territory of China completely and unhindered. Captain, although the three of us are heavily injured, but we weren't blindly injured were we. The three stern ghosts were originally so scattered, but under our guidance, they gathered together, and as long as they gather, we should be better able to deal with them as well. Chan Yan sniffed and turned his head slightly up to look at the heavenly king who had spoken. The two of them stared at each other for a long time. They also both saw a look of determination in the other's eyes. It seemed that for how to resolve, or block these three S-ranked stern ghosts, have you all thought about it? Chang Yan took a deep breath. Only then did he open his mouth and ask the few people beside him. They all looked at Chang Yan with a hint of determination in their eyes as well. Captain, at the beginning when we came over, we knew what kind of mission it was, didn't we? But didn't we still have no choice? Chang Yan took a deep breath. He turned his head slightly to look behind him. The masses near the coastline had already been evacuated a long time ago, but there were still so many cities behind them, so many people. If these three S-rank lich ghosts were to step into the territory of China, then what follows? Must be a result that none of them would want to see. We now, there may only be one way out. Have you all thought about it too? Chang Yan stared behind him for a long time. Only then did he turn his head and ask the few people in front of him with eyes full of determination. The few people didn't hesitate too much, but directly nodded at Chang Yan. Captain, we've all been comrades for so long. You must also be clear about what kind of people we are. Therefore, we are all ready. We are as good as dead. A manly man never says a word of reluctance. We're also doing this for the millions of Chinese compatriots behind us. Even if we leave like this, I won't regret it. Listening to the voices beside himself, Chang Yan finally nodded at a few people. He knew that everyone in the second detachment had thought together at this moment. The five heavenly kings of the second detachment were already preparing to blow themselves up together. Three S-rank stern ghosts. It was simply not something that they could block down with ordinary means. If they wanted to block or inflict heavy damage on them, it's not realistic. So the only way they could think of is to take the method of self-detonation so that all three of the severe ghosts will receive heavy injuries. After all, those were the five heavenly kings, even though they couldn't use their strength to destroy the ghosts, but they can also use the method of self-detonation. The five just need to form an encircling circle, able to make the ghosts enveloped within the range of their self-detonation. Then, no matter how powerful these three S-class, they will not be able to escape the effects of the self-detonation, even if they can't completely destroy the three ghosts, but at least they will be able to suffer a serious injury as long as we can delay their speed of movement, to buy time for China. Their mission would have been accomplished. Chapter 38, Waiting for a Good Show? Oh, do not know has been big. At this moment, the faces of the five heavenly kings already had a look of death on them, and at the same time, Sakura's side has also been observing the situation near the coastline of China through satellites. At this time, they had already realized, 
Even if the five heavenly kings were to make a move, it would also ultimately be unable to withstand these three S-rankly ghosts. Director Matsumoto, through the observation satellite, we can now clearly see. The five heavenly kings seem to be helpless against the three S-class ghosts. They are completely at the end of their rope. And Chief Matsumoto, I think they're about to resort to self-detonation and use it to fight the night ghosts. The head of the intelligence bureau, Taku Inoue, spoke very excitedly to Matsumoto Ki. And naturally, Matsumoto Ki had been staring at the real-time image transmitted back from the detection satellite at this moment, looking at the five heavenly kings on the screen who no longer had the ability to block them. The look on his face was also colored with a trace of excitement. Hurry up, get everyone together, we're going to celebrate. Matsumotochi shouted as he contacted everyone he could, the Sakura Intelligence Bureau, the Psychic Department, and a few other messy departments, as long as they didn't have an emergency at hand. Instead, they all gathered in one place. Every one of them had a delighted look on their faces. Are they going to be exterminated soon? Even if these five ghost masters choose to blow themselves up together, but they won't be able to kill three S-rank stern ghosts after all. A man with an oily face excitedly came over to the big screen. While pointing at the borderline on the screen, he opened his mouth and spoke to the people beside him. It's natural. Quickly, quickly, record it. This scene today will be a symbol of our rise to power. There were already people on the side who went to the side with their hands and feet, intending to record all the images in the big screen. Director Matsumoto, this time, thanks to your intelligence bureau, because your message was delivered in time enough, that's why we were able to react. While they weren't looking, surprise them. Psychic Minister Sakurai Minami laughed as she walked over to Matsumoto Ki. This matter was able to develop into the situation it was in now. Thanks to the two of them, and in the face of Sakurai Nan's appreciation, Matsumoto would wave his hand. Minister Sakurai, it can't just be about me either. It's also thanks to the decision-making power of your psychic department. Otherwise things wouldn't have progressed so smoothly to this point. The two of them looked at each other, while the next second they instantly nodded in understanding. Quickly, open the champagne and raise the banquet. This day today, let's keep it in mind. Sakurai Nan turned his head to the people behind him. Most of them were a bit lower in status than Sakurai Nan and Matsumoto would, so when faced with Sakurai Minami's order, they also scrambled to do it. Soon, several bottles of champagne were placed on the table. Sakurai Nan quickly walked to the table, picked up a bottle and handed it to Matsumoto would beside him. Since this matter is thanks to Director Matsumoto, then let Director Matsumoto open the champagne to celebrate. Matsumoto would excuse himself for a few moments, but he also reached out and took the champagne. As the champagne was opened, everyone cheered with glee, and Sakura was celebrating at the same time. Other countries were also observing the battle near China. After all, three S-ranked knights appeared at the same time. Even though it wasn't within their own country's control, it still caused a stir as well. When they realized that the three stirring ghosts were all charging in the direction of China, they were no longer nervous. Instead, they stared at the observation screen with excitement. This included the Eagle Sauce Country and the Beautiful Country. They naturally didn't intend to help China survive this crisis. Quite the contrary. To them, this was still a good thing. They all looked as if they had nothing to do with it. At the same time, they were also excited. An ancient country. A country with such a long history. Surprisingly, after the revival of the Ghost Chi, become the first country to be overrun by the severe ghosts. This scene had already been noticed by large and small countries around the globe. All countries, nowadays, they were all ready to watch the joke. Not a single country was willing to lend a helping hand. If we were to talk about it, the Mao Wat Kingdom was willing to help. But today's Mao Xiong country, it's already in a situation where it can't take care of itself. There are also a large number of ghosts in the Mao Xiong country. Their ghost masters simply can't spare their hands at the moment. Even more so, they couldn't help China. Even though the people of the Mao Xiong country were watching this scene, their hearts were also in a state of distress. But in the end, they could only watch the scene happen. At this moment, the image of the five heavenly kings hand in hand surrounding the three stern ghosts, it had already been counted as being broadcasted globally. Captain, after today, we will be remembered by the people, right? After all five people were ready, the youngest heavenly king let out a bitter smile. Only then did he open his mouth and ask Cheng Yen. Chen Yen was slightly stunned for a long time but did not answer. He also didn't know at all. After today's battle, would their names be remembered by the people? But their mission was not to be remembered by the people. Everyone in the second detachment, listen up. Our mission is to stop the three S-ranked ghosts from stepping into the territory of our country. But even though we're powerless to stop them, but we can't just let them walk in. That's why everyone in the second unit, prepare to self-destruct. We must use our lives to defend the territory and people of my country of China. 
Chang Yan's words fell. The remaining four also nodded heavily. The five took a deep breath. They had all stood their ground. The next moment, it was self-detonation. And people around the globe were staring at the screen with bated breath. They were all waiting. Waiting for the five heavenly kings to blow themselves up. Waiting for the three stirring ghosts to enter the territory of the state of China. Waiting for the destruction of China. But just at this time, an uninvited guest suddenly rushed forward. How come you, this group of humans, are going to self-detonate at the drop of a hat? With the words of this voice, in an instant, everyone turned their heads to look at this young man who had suddenly appeared beside them. And after seeing that Wei Ming did not have any energy fluctuations on his body, for a moment, the faces of the five heavenly kings could not help but all be replaced by a look of doubt. Kid, who are you and what are you doing here? Cheng Yan was the first to speak. He walked slowly to the front of Wei Ming's eyes. At the same time, he also looked Wei Ming up and down. But even with such a distance so far, he had already failed to sense the slightest ghostly aura or energy fluctuation from the other party. And as a result, it can be said that almost instantly, he Chang Yan will directly determine that the other party is just an ordinary person. But an ordinary person, why would appear here at this time? Chapter 39, Where Did an Ordinary Person Come From? At the same time, those other countries that were monitoring this scene, such as Sakura, Harry Bear, and so on, they were at the sight of a person suddenly appearing out of nowhere. All of them were also instantly stunned. Everyone seemed to be unable to understand why at such a critical juncture, at a time when one could immediately see the five heavenly kings explode themselves. Surprisingly, a person would pop up. Almost instantly, the faces of the Sakura people all had a different expression. This person unexpectedly appeared here without a sound. It's hard to believe that. He's a hidden expert of China, now appearing here. It is also precisely to help these five heavenly kings fend off the lich demon together? Among the crowd of Sakura's leaders, it wasn't just anyone who suddenly opened his mouth and asked. Only his words fell. For a long time but no one opened their mouths to answer. After all, no one knew what kind of identity this person who suddenly appeared had. Even more so, no one understood. He was able to appear here without a sound. And how did he do it? Wait, don't our monitoring satellites have the ability to detect spiritual energy? Sakurai Nan who was at the side, suddenly opened his mouth and inquired. And naturally, the people from the psychic department immediately answered. Yes minister, our detection instrument has been modified. It's one that can monitor spiritual power fluctuations and ghost aura fluctuations. Sakurai Nan then breathed a sigh of relief. Monitor it immediately. I'd like to see, is this guy a human or a ghost? Is it actually here to help? Or is he taking the opportunity to cause trouble? Sakurai Nan's words fell. Only then did someone beside him rush to the front of the big screen in a hurry. Within a short time, that person turned his head and looked back. Everyone, on the other hand, all stared at that person with unblinking eyes. The detection instrument shows, this person doesn't have any spiritual energy or ghost aura. What can basically be concluded is this. He is just an ordinary human. Listening to these words, only then did the people of the Sakura country let out a sigh of relief. Since the detection instruments all indicated that this person was not a threat, then to them, there was no need to be so panicked. In addition to the Cherry Blossom country, the rest of the countries naturally also tried their luck through the monitoring instruments. Without exception, all the instruments indicated that there was no spiritual energy in Wei Ming's body, much less a ghostly aura. It seems that this person is just an ordinary person. It's also pure coincidence that he was able to come here. Don't bother with him. Let's just continue to keep an eye on these five heavenly kings blowing themselves up. Just, at this moment, the faces of the five heavenly kings. There was also a flash of disappointment that surfaced one after another. After all, a person had suddenly appeared beside them. They also all subconsciously thought, was this person coming to help them? But when Chang Yan had approached, he realized that Wei Ming seemed to be just an ordinary person. It was only then that he couldn't hide the disappointment in his heart anymore. Captain, if this is an ordinary person, then what do we do? Do we still have to continue to explode ourselves? The four heavenly kings surrounding Chang Yan naturally also realized that Wei Ming seemed to be just an ordinary person. Only then did they show a difficult face. They turned their heads to ask Chang Yan. If the five heavenly kings didn't care, they still chose to explode themselves. Then Wei Ming was standing right here. He would definitely suffer the repercussions as well. Wait a little while. I'll take a look at this brat's situation first. Chang Yan turned his head and spoke to the person beside him before opening his mouth. Only then did he turn his head to look at Wei Ming again. Since you're just an ordinary person, then this place isn't where you should be either. We'll send you out of here. After you get to a safe place, be sure to hide and hide well. Chang Yan's eyes were all firm. The four heavenly kings on the side listened to these words from Chang Yan. 
they also did not have a single one of them open their mouths. After all, everyone was clear. If it was their five heavenly kings combining their efforts to self-detonate, I'm sure Wei Ming wouldn't be able to withstand it. We are all Chinese. After all, they are compatriots. Plus, the five heavenly kings are also public officials of the Psychic Bureau. From the very beginning when they joined the Psychic Bureau, what they have adhered to is, everything should be done with the people in mind. So currently, it was naturally impossible for them to just directly blow themselves up. No, what are you guys talking about? Wei Ming listened to Chun Yan's words. For a moment, he had been a little surprised. Didn't these few people want to blow themselves up? How come after they came? They in turn didn't intend to blow themselves up, although Wei Ming's words were asked. However, none of the five heavenly kings had ever opened their mouths to answer him. Captain, if we go back and forth like this, I'm afraid that these three severe ghosts will be even closer. At that time, the range of our self-detonation, it's very likely that it will spread to the people. A man on the side suddenly opened his mouth and spoke to Cheng Yan. Only then did Cheng Yan turn his head slightly to look over. I know your family lives by the sea. You worry about them and remember them. This thought is indeed normal. But you should also think about it. Even if we blow ourselves up, we are still able to control the range for a short time. As long as we keep the most violent explosions from rippling through, the ones after that aren't too powerful. Besides, everyone in this neighborhood has basically been dispersed. Even if we waste a moment, there won't be too much trouble. It's this kid. We are all Chinese together. If it's because of us that he dies, then we'll even blow ourselves up. Psychologically get over it? A hint of seriousness hung on Cheng Yan's face. After he asked this question, that man really stopped talking. For this matter, they seemed to, could only do so. And the hesitation of a few people passed through the monitoring satellites. In the eyes of the Sakura nation, they, on the other hand, couldn't understand what they were doing for the millionth time. Aren't these five people going to blow themselves up? How come they haven't exploded themselves after dragging on for so long? It can't be that they regret it. Based on my understanding of China, they won't regret it. It's just that an ordinary person has appeared now. They, China, have always put ordinary people at the top of their list. Yet I just feel that. They're so hypocritical. Merely ordinary people. Why be so protective? Sakurai Nan's words fell. Yet no one in the surroundings spoke. Everyone's eyes were now on the large screen. The five had stopped exploding themselves and it looked like they were going to take Wei Ming away from this place. They really did not intend to harm the Chinese people after all. Even if the situation was so urgent, they were still going to send this kid out. This matter is settled. Let's send him to a safe place first now. After that, we'll come back and self-destruct. Chapter 44 S Class Night Ghosts? It's going to be fatal. Chang Yan was the leader of the second division. The words he spoke out. Naturally, no one would refuse. Although the four heavenly kings beside him hesitated. However, they still nodded at Chang Yan. Subsequently, the five of them then surrounded Wei Ming, leading Wei Ming to move in the direction of the borderline. Their thoughts were simple. It was just that they were unwilling to let a defenseless person stay here. The five of them were national public officials. Sacrifice was their job. But Wei Ming was just an ordinary person who suddenly appeared. Naturally, he couldn't die here. And Wei Ming was led away by the five. He didn't even react. He had come over to help the five people destroy the ghosts. Instead, he didn't expect it. They themselves were planning to blow themselves up. Before they died, they saw themselves as ordinary people. They would even abort their self-destruction. Rivetingly, they wanted to send themselves out. Although Wei Ming did not say anything, but his heart had also been filled with emotion at this moment. This side was a public official of the state of China. It doesn't matter what kind of person it is, as long as they are eating the country's rice. They're defending the country. They would all put the lives of ordinary people first. After realizing this, Wei Ming did not say anything more. Instead, he allowed the five to lead him towards the borderline. Anyway, if they were too close to the three evil spirits, it would be more or less dangerous. It would be better to let them leave the dangerous area with him. After they were far away from the ghosts, then they will try to do it themselves, or to destroy the ghost. Naturally, it would be more convenient. Soon, the six of them were already close to the borderline, but it was at this time. Shattered Mouth and Sun Fei who were not far behind Wei Ming, saw Wei Ming, there was also the five heavenly kings following beside him, in an instant, both ghosts froze directly in place, they glanced at each other, surprise filled their eyes, what's going on here, wasn't the master going to the borderline to destroy the severe ghosts, how did this come back again, and still brought back by the five heavenly kings, the moment he saw the five heavenly kings, Sun Fei became vaguely worried, after all, he was the weakest of the Li ghosts, if the five heavenly kings saw himself, indiscriminately came up and gave him a brutal beating. 
then he would definitely end up in a situation where his soul would be scattered. As for the side of the broken mouth, on the other hand, he didn't care about any of this. It's okay. Don't you see that the master is still in the middle of the five of them? If there is really any danger, master will definitely step in and save us. Shattered Mouth was talking at the same time. While doing so, he had already greeted Wei Ming in his direction. And the moment the five heavenly kings saw Shattered Mouth and Sun Fei, they then immediately raised their guard. After all, the ghostly aura on Sun Fei's body in front of them was very dense. It was clear to the five heavenly kings after just one sweep, he was definitely a stern ghost. And, it was still a high-level light ghost. Captain, why are there more lil ghosts here? The youngest heavenly king beside Chun Yen, already started to speak with a trembling voice, and Chun Yen just frowned. He stared at Shattered Mouth and Sun Fei in front of him. Not a single word came out for a long time. It was only after Chang Yan's eyes stayed on Shattered Mouth for a moment. It also still moved his eyes away. He did not feel any fluctuation of Ghost Chi from Shattered Mouth. So, for them, the extra stern ghost in front of them nowadays, there was only Sun Fei. Hurry up. This group of people seems to be getting nervous. Can it be that this person who suddenly appeared in front of them? Can it be that it's also a night ghost? The monitoring instrument take a quick look. Sakura Nation. After Sakurai Nan saw the scene on the big screen, then he immediately opened his mouth and spoke to the person beside him. And the people beside him immediately rushed forward to test with the monitoring instrument here. It didn't take long. He then shouted out excitedly. This one that suddenly appeared is indeed a stern ghost. And the ghostly aura on his body is very dense. After a more in-depth examination, our monitoring instruments finally came to the conclusion. This stern ghost is also an S-class stern ghost. Listening to his own men's report. A smile naturally flashed across Sakurai Nan's face. It seemed, China's crisis was even greater this time. Originally, their Sakura country had already arranged for three S-rank stern ghosts to go over. Now with the addition of an S-rank leech that had appeared out of nowhere from their country of China itself, there are now four S-class ghosts along the border of China. And the ones they can fight today, there are only two heavenly kings left. No matter what aspect, China will not be able to fight back this time. Must be defenseless. Bravo. Bravo. What our Sakura ancestors did not do. Surprisingly, at this time today, it's going to be made. But there's still one problem. That is, can we really succeed this time? Sakurai Nan spoke. He turned his head slightly to look at Matsumoto Wood who was at the side. The situation in China today. Naturally, the intelligence bureau knew more. So he needed to listen to Matsumoto Wood's opinion. And Matsumoto Wood smiled very easily. There were only the ten heavenly kings in China originally. Now the five heavenly kings have appeared at the borderline. It has been proven that the remaining five heavenly kings cannot appear here at all. Then of these five heavenly kings, three more have already been seriously injured. Even if the remaining two can fight, they definitely won't be able to fight the four S-ranked knight ghosts. Although this stern ghost came out of nowhere, but it's still a ghost after all. Matsumoto Kinamoto was the director of the intelligence bureau. The words he uttered were naturally more convincing. The moment these words came out. Sakurai Nan's face naturally became more excited. In that case, success is the nail in the coffin. Everyone in the Sakura country was already excited. And at the same time, the rest of the countries that were staring at the borderline of China. Naturally, they had also detected the ghostly aura on this Sun Fei's body. In an instant, there and the Sakura country's reactions were also surprisingly consistent. Everyone thought, today would definitely be the death of everyone. Even all of them got excited. After all, they were separated by 10,000 miles. Yet they could watch an ancient country with a long history perish before their eyes. Naturally, they simply couldn't suppress the excitement in their hearts. Kid, there were already three S-rank stern ghosts here. Now there's one more. We were already at the end of our rope. Originally, we planned to self-destruct after sending you away. But now it seems. It seems like we can't send you out at all. Perhaps dying together with us? The five heavenly kings. It's also your destiny in this life. Chang Yan's eyes stared tightly at Sun Fei in front of him. He naturally knew. Today's matter must be monitored by various countries. And once the night ghost stepped into the territory of China without any hindrance, I'm afraid those countries would also bloat, or even swarm over them. And as the leader of the second division of the ten heavenly kings, naturally, he would never allow such a thing to happen. Chapter 41 Just you? And you ask me if you're good looking. If you're pretty? At the same time, those countries that were observing the borders of China. At this moment, they had also all gotten excited. Even the faces of the five heavenly kings have also been colored with a layer of despair. Originally, I thought that there were only three S-class ghosts. Now another one has suddenly appeared. There was only one thought in their minds right now. It was as if the entire world sky had collapsed. 
Wei Ming looked at the expressions of the group of people in front of him. He, on the other hand, let out a light laugh. It seemed, this time, everyone thought that they were going to die for sure. And for the five heavenly kings, death was not the most frightening thing. What was more frightening was, as the most powerful ghost masters, in the face of these S-class ghosts, in the end, they could only do nothing. They even used the method of self-destruction. There was no way to stop them from stepping into the territory of China. I'm afraid that this is what made them most desperate. Wei Ming knew this clearly in his heart. However, he did not open his mouth to say it. He only shook his head gently at the five heavenly kings in front of him. The next moment, Wei Ming then took advantage of the incomparable sadness of the five heavenly kings. He slowly slipped out of their hands. His departure did not attract the attention of the five heavenly kings. After all, their minds were not even on Wei Ming at the moment. Wei Ming had just broken free from the hands of the five heavenly kings. As soon as he turned his head, he saw the three S-ranked liege ghosts that were moving quickly towards the borderline. When he saw them, Wei Ming turned his head towards them without hesitation and walked over quickly. He took one step at a time. The walk was slow, yet it was also very firm. But Wei Ming's actions, on the other hand, it made everyone freeze, whether it was the five heavenly kings, or perhaps the various countries that were being monitored. Every single one of their faces were filled with astonishment. What does this guy want to do? Can it be that he feels that he must not be able to survive? So he wants to voluntarily send himself to his death? Damn it! We managed to send him back with great difficulty. As a result, this brat took the opportunity to go back again. It's simply a waste of our hard work. Cheng Yan turned his head to stare at Wei Ming who was walking farther and farther towards the back. He could only hate him, but in the end, there was nothing else he could do. Seeing Wei Ming walking towards them, the people from the Cherry Blossom country also felt only amusement all of a sudden. Take a look. This is the person that those five people had to bring out no matter what. Now it seems, it's nothing more than that. They didn't even accept this favor. Sakurai Nan snorted. As he spoke, he turned his head to look at the people beside him. Although the people beside him didn't continue to speak, it was just that they all brought a hint of laughter in their eyes as well. After all, this matter, in their view, it didn't matter if it was the five heavenly kings, or perhaps Wei Ming. All of them were fools. Only a fool would do this. And at the same time, at the same time Wei Ming walked towards the three S-rankly ghosts. All three of the stern ghosts also noticed Wei Ming walking towards them. However, there wasn't even a hint of fear in their eyes. After all, there was no spiritual energy on Wei Ming. Even more so, there was no ghost chi. To these three stern ghosts, Wei Ming was just an ordinary human. If it was a stern ghost, they would still have to think about it, whether or not to make a move on him. But since it's an ordinary human, then there was no need to consider it at all. The three of you want to invade China, and you don't weigh what weight you are? Wei Ming slowly walked in front of them. He let out a light laugh as he slowly opened his mouth to speak to the three stern ghosts in front of him. They, in turn, looked at each other. Immediately afterward, they rushed towards Wei Ming. What you want, we can give it to you, but there's no need for you to take this opportunity to appear here. At this moment, Cheng Yan intended to discuss with the stern ghost in front of him first. On the other hand, Sun Fei's eyes flashed with a hint of surprise. Me, you said me? Sun Fei was somewhat helpless. However, he just shook his head. It's better to take a look at those three stern ghosts first, listening to Sun Fei's tone, and then looking at his eyes. The few people looked at each other. Only then were they finally certain. For the time being, Sun Fei should have no hostile intent towards them. In that case, they really didn't need to worry too much about Sun Fei's side. Everyone turned their heads to look in the direction of the three stern ghosts and Wei Ming. Only to see Wei Ming and the three stern ghosts getting closer and closer. Does this kid think he's lived too long? Chen Yan frowned tightly as he looked at the scene in front of him. He secretly said in his heart. But it didn't matter what kind of expression was hanging on their faces. At this moment, Wei Ming had also walked up to the S-class liege. Die. All die. The three severe ghosts didn't know who suddenly opened their mouths and shouted at them. Wei Ming's face remained unchanged. He smiled coldly at the three ghosts. Only then did he walk in front of the stern ghost that was the most forward. The one at the very front. It was the split mouth female. Little guy. Do you see how pretty I am? The cleft female realized that a person had appeared in front of her. She then suddenly pulled off the white mask on her own face. Her mouth was wide open as she smiled at Wei Ming. Wei Ming, on the other hand, was startled. Even though he was also a stern ghost. But the legend about the split mouth woman. Wei Ming was also clear. What's more, without warning, she pulled the mask off her face. This rather left Wei Ming naturally defenseless. Are you pretty yourself? Don't you know in your own heart? Do you still need to ask me this kind of question? Wei Ming's words were not polite at all. 
The smile on the cleft woman's face disappeared in an instant. She stared viciously at Wei Ming. There was hatred in her eyes. How dare you say I'm not pretty? You deserve to die. You deserve to die. The cleft mouth woman roared angrily at Wei Ming, and the ghostly aura around her rose up. Damn, this kid is afraid that he's finished. Chang Yen, who was on the side, stared at the scene in front of him with unblinking eyes. He murmured. The bottom of his eyes were also filled with regret. After all, it was also someone who had been brought out with great difficulty. Just like that, they ran back on their own. They might even have to die today at the hands of Sakura's S-rank stern ghost. This made Chang Yen several people's hearts instantly become very annoyed. Just, at the same time that the slit woman's ghostly spirit unfolded, Wei Ming's face did not show the slightest bit of panic. He just looked at the scene in front of him with a smile on his face. The slit woman's ghostly spirit completely wrapped Wei Ming in. And at the same time, her strands of hair were also flying in the air. Just the way you look. And you still have the nerve to come out and ask if it's good looking. If it's pretty? If you just stay honestly in Sakura. Go and wreak havoc on the people of Sakura. I wouldn't have done anything to you. It's just that since you've now come to the borders of our Chinese country, you won't be able to go out in the future either. Wei Ming's words fell. The next moment, a ghostly chi that transformed into a sword rushed towards Wei Ming. Wei Ming only turned his head to look at it, but there was no fear in his eyes. He walked straight up towards the cleft woman. Immediately after, it was a slap on the top of the slit woman's messy head. Just you, still want to deal with me? Wei Ming's voice rang in the slit woman's ears. The slit mouth woman was filled with shock despite her face. However, the ghostly aura around her had also slowly dissipated. Chapter 42, Killing in a Dream? I'll damn straight kill you back. Just, slit mouth woman's ghost aura had just shown signs of dissipation. The dream person on the side then greeted them. The three stern ghosts were originally sent by Sakura. They have the same goal now. That is, to bring about the destruction of the entire country of China. That's why they didn't fight internally at all. The Wei Ming in front of them. He is also their same enemy. So although the ghostly aura of the cleft woman is gradually dissipating, but the ghostly aura of the dreamer also naturally filled in. Almost instantly, the ghost chi around the borderline already had a vague appearance of covering the sky. Kid, look at my eyes. The dreamer slowly raised his head. Wei Ming did not hide. He followed the dream man's words and slightly raised his head to look at his face. It was just that the dream person's hat was on his head. However, he couldn't clearly see what he really looked like. Wei Ming stared at the dream person's eyes. But for a moment, he then only felt as if he had returned to his student days. He was currently sitting in the middle of his class. He looked at the clothes on his body and turned his head to look at the scene outside the window. Wei Ming laughed out in the next second. This was clearly Sakura's clothes, and the scene outside the window wasn't a scene that China possessed at all. Then analyzing it like this, this stern ghost should have guided himself into the dream world. Only he was Sakura's stern ghost after all. So even if he let himself into the dream world, what you see in front of your eyes is still the scene of Sakura's country after all. Only a pity, regardless of whether it was in his last life or this life. Wei Ming has never been to the Cherry Blossom country. So this dream, it simply couldn't trap him. Wei Ming had just stood up when a person walked over to the classroom door. Wei Ming turned his head to look over. But even he still couldn't see the other person's face clearly at this moment. Are you the one who brought me to this dream world? Wei Ming stared at the person and opened his mouth to ask. Even though he couldn't see the other person's face clearly at all at this moment. However, Wei Ming's guess was not wrong. The person standing in front of Wei Ming right now. It was indeed one of those three S-rank liege ghosts, the dreamer. You and I will come out for a moment. There are some things to find you. The dream man did not answer Wei Ming's question. Instead, he spoke to Wei Ming on his own. Wei Ming turned his head to look around himself. No one beside him noticed his side. Instead, he didn't continue to speak. Instead, he slowly stood up and followed the dreamer outside. You see, isn't the flower bush downstairs very suitable for lying down? After walking down the corridor, the man in the dream suddenly raised his hand and pointed at the flower bush downstairs. Wei Ming followed his eyes and looked over. Only he kept his distance from the dreamer. A moment later, Wei Ming then laughed softly and said to him, Your ability is that you can kill people in your dreams, right? Only after his words fell did he then turn his head to look at the dreamer. Coincidentally, Wei Ming also saw the dream person's hands reaching out towards him at that moment, even though this was a dream created by the dreamer. Everyone was in his dream world, all had to follow his rules. But who was Wei Ming? His level was much higher than the dream person. Therefore, even though the dream man could pull Wei Ming into his dream world, yet it couldn't have any effect on him at all. Then tell me, if I had killed you back in the dream, in reality, would you have survived? When Wei Ming finished speaking, he let out a cold laugh. Immediately after that, he then directly reached out and pulled on the dream person's arm. 
the dream person's body slightly lurched, but the next second, Wei Ming then exerted all his strength, raised his hand and threw the dream person down the stairs, the moment the dream person landed on the ground, only then did Wei Ming in reality open his eyes, how about that, do you still think you can destroy me? Wei Ming looked at the dream person standing in front of him, he laughed coldly, his eyes filled with disdain, at the same time, the dream person had also slowed down, that was, after all, his own dream, even if he was thrown down from the stairs by Wei Ming, but he could also guarantee that he would definitely not die in the dream, just, this time he was also sort of injured, and the ghostly aura also had a vaguely disorganized appearance, only you are left, what do you want to do to me? Wei Ming stared at the person in front of him who was wrapped in a red cloak all over his body, one didn't know if all the Sakura country's lich ghosts looked like this, wrapping themselves up in such a way that one simply couldn't see their faces clearly, the red cloak slightly raised its head to look at Wei Ming, he then reached out and pointed to Wei Ming's back, Wei Ming was a bit surprised, he turned his head to look behind him, a small room had appeared behind himself at some point, it was only the style of that room, but it didn't look like a normal room at all, after staring at the room for a long time, only then did Wei Ming slowly walk towards that room, since this red cloak wanted to let himself in, then he would also comply with his wishes and go in to take a look, after all, Wei Ming had a clear idea of his own strength, there were only three S-ranked ghosts in the area, there was no way they could cause any harm to themselves, just after walking into the room, the door to the room behind Wei Ming closed, a thud came from behind, Wei Ming just turned his head to look at it, then he continued to stare ahead, this was surprisingly a toilet, it seemed, these severe ghosts of Sakura, it also had to be in a fixed environment, it was only then that these three S-ranked nightly ghosts would be able to manage to have an effect on them, do you need toilet paper, do you want blue or red, just as Wei Ming was pondering over these things, a voice suddenly popped up behind him, Wei Ming turned his head slightly to look at the person behind him, only to see that the red cloak was standing behind him, and he was also still holding two rolls of toilet paper in his hands, Wei Ming sneered, what toilet paper do you need, keep it for yourself, at the same time, in the eyes of everyone in the periphery, today's Wei Ming was the one who had been enveloped by the three S-ranked liege ghosts, there wasn't a single person who thought that Wei Ming would be able to walk out, plus, most people had realized, the ghost chi of the three stirring ghosts appeared one after another, even more so, everyone thought, now Wei Ming had been torn apart by the three stern ghosts, look, 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 our three stern ghosts have already enveloped that kid, that kid definitely won't be able to escape, those are three S-ranked ghosts, it'll be strange if he can get out, the people from Sakura country all stared at the screen with excited faces, the words they uttered were also undoubtedly all gloating, after all, they were the ones who had released these several stern ghosts, being able to cause such a consequence was also something they had contributed to, at this moment, the five heavenly kings standing at the borderline of China, they could only stare at the scene in front of them while feeling powerless, things had already happened to such an extent, everyone thought, Wei Ming would definitely die, chapter 43, 1-3, easily, everyone thought, this time, Wei Ming would surely die, an incapable person fell into the midst of a ghostly world of three s rank Lili ghosts, how could he still escape, just what they thought, Wei Ming didn't know, at this moment, Wei Ming was only concerned about dealing with the three S-class ghosts. Naturally, he was unable to detect the movements in the periphery. Captain, this kid is probably about to die here. Are we really going to collect their corpses? How about we find a way to save him? He looks like he's just an ordinary person. He's obviously still so young. If he dies here like this, we can't say it in our hearts. A team member beside Chen Yan spoke to him. It was just that Chen Yan's seriousness was also filled with caution. He simply couldn't let his teammates die too easily. 3s rank stern ghosts, they were simply not in existence that could be destroyed casually, furthermore, for the 5 heavenly kings, now Wei Ming had also stepped inside the ghosts of those 3 severe ghosts, even though it didn't matter why exactly he had walked in with such confidence, however, if he wanted to come out nowadays, it would not be a simple matter, and in the beginning, it was also Chen Yan and the others who brought him out, nowadays, however, he must continue to walk towards those 3s rank stern ghosts, he himself was willing to seek death, then no matter in what way, there would be no way to blame the five heavenly kings for not stepping in to save him, and at this moment, Wei Ming, he had already broken the moves of the three stern ghosts in front of him, at this moment, although the ghostly aura of the three ghosts had not dissipated, but almost none of them felt that, Wei Ming would survive, forget it, let's just continue to prepare for self-destruction, after taking a deep breath, Chang Yan looked towards the four heavenly kings beside himself, they had completely ignored Sun Fei beside them at this moment, even if he was also an S-class liege, but they had no time to care about him, 
you guys just gave up caring about me? Sun Fei looked at the five heavenly kings in front of him, he spoke to the five with some surprise, but what surprised him was, even though all five had heard what he said, they still did not look at him. At this moment, the only thing left in the eyes of the five heavenly kings were the three stern ghosts and Wei Ming. Even though Wei Ming's figure had been completely wrapped up by the ghosts, their eyes did not move away from that spot either. After a long time, the ghostly spirits receded slightly. Only then did a few people finally see it. There was only one figure standing in that area at the moment. It was only because the distance was not close. It was not clear if it was Wei Ming, or was it one of the three S-rank liege ghosts. Everyone was staring at the figure in front of them in silence. Even the screens of other country surveillance had drawn closer to the figure, with the ghostly figure having completely dissipated. Only then did the crowd finally realize, the person standing in front of them. Surprisingly, it was Wei Ming, and those three stern ghosts were actually nowhere to be found. What's going on? Where are those three ghosts? Those were three S-class ghosts. How could they just disappear for no reason? Chang Yen turned his head to look at the four heavenly kings beside him, but naturally, none of them were able to answer him this question and after Wei Ming eliminated the three lich ghosts. Instead, he looked down at the three ghost essences on the ground. This was naturally the ghost essence that had been produced after the three stern ghosts had been killed by Wei Ming just now. The eyes of the five heavenly kings were attracted to them early on, although they had not expected Wei Ming to destroy those three stern ghosts, but facing the three ghost essences on the ground, there was also a flash of surprise in their eyes. And the next moment, Broken Mouth and Sun Fei then rushed towards Wei Ming. The speed of the two ghosts was very fast. But in a moment, they were already standing in front of Wei Ming. Master is indeed as mighty as ever. Even though you've already eliminated one of the severe ghosts in the neighborhood just now, and now running to the borderline has consumed so much physical strength. But Master dealt with these three stern ghosts. It's still like a fish out of water. The broken mouth on the side opened its mouth and spoke to Wei Ming. All of its words were respectful and complimentary to Wei Ming. Wei Ming listened, but he wasn't moved at all. The five heavenly kings on the side naturally also heard Shattered Mouth's voice. It wasn't until this time. Only then did they finally realize. It turned out that this one civet cat. Surprisingly, it was also a stern ghost. I'll give you two of these ghostly spirits. I don't need them anyway. Wei Ming reached out and picked up the ghost essence on the ground. He casually threw them to Shattered Mouth and Sun Fei. Shattered Mouth's eyes stared tightly at the ghost essence. Just as the ghost essence was about to land on its head. Instead. It jumped straight up and then took a ghost essence in its mouth. On the other hand, Sun Fei on the side stretched out his hand. One hand grabbed a ghost essence. Both ghosts turned their heads to look at Wei Ming, and their eyes were naturally filled with fervor. Master are you really going to give us all three of these ghost essences? Sun Fei, who was on the side, opened his mouth and asked Wei Ming. Wei Ming, on the other hand, nodded at the two ghosts without hesitation. Naturally, I don't have any other use for keeping them, so I might as well give them to you. Seeing this, the two ghosts then immediately started sucking and swallowing, a set of movements like a fish in water, without the slightest hesitation. Just, seeing this scene in front of them, the entire world seemed to have instantly quieted down. No one was able to think. This Wei Ming appeared to be nothing more than an ordinary person. He did not have any spiritual energy or ghost chi fluctuations on him, yet he was able to destroy the three S-ranked ghosts with unparalleled ease. So what kind of level has his strength reached? Captain. Those two stern ghosts look so respectful towards that kid. Can't it be that these two stern ghosts were raised by this kid? Chun Yan's entire body was filled with shock. Before he could regain his senses, someone beside him opened his mouth and asked him. In response to this question, Chun Yan just stared at them. Nowadays, the two ghosts' attitude towards Wei Ming was already very obvious. It wasn't hard to see at all. These two stern ghosts were definitely raised by Wei Ming. This kid's identity must be extraordinary. We're all from the National Psychic Bureau. From beginning to end, we have never heard of the existence of anyone more powerful than our ten heavenly kings. That's why there's no spiritual power nor ghost aura on this kid's body. Now there is another possibility. That is, he's not a ghost master, much less an ordinary person. He's a stern ghost far beyond our level. That's why we can't feel any ghost aura on him. Chang Yan spoke these words very cautiously. At the same time, his eyes were staring unblinkingly at Wei Ming in front of him. It was just that right now Wei Ming's mind was still on the two ghosts beside him. He didn't even look at the five heavenly kings on the side. Master, we've broken through again. After Shattered Mouth and Sun Fei beside him had finished absorbing the power of the ghost essence, only then did they all turn their heads to look at Wei Ming. Only then did Wei Ming finally nod his head in satisfaction. If the severe ghosts that followed by his side were capable enough, it was true that they could provide themselves with the greatest assistance. Wei Ming could not fight alone every time. He had to make the ghosts beside him stronger. 
Chapter 44, Can't Be Beaten, It Was Simply Impossible to Fight. Just, after the two ghosts, Shattered Mouth and Sun Fei, finished devouring the ghost essence, both of their ghost chi instantly skyrocketed. The eyes of the five heavenly kings stared at the two of them without blinking. This time, the monitoring satellites of several countries also instantly detected the change. All the people staring at the scene in front of them, all froze in place. They simply didn't understand. Why would Wei Ming eliminate the three S-classly ghosts so easily? It's just that Wei Ming didn't expect anyone to understand. He didn't expect anyone to understand him. He suddenly raised his head. This now even made everyone's eyes fall on him. And the direction Wei Ming was looking at the moment. It was none other than the cherry blossoms across the ocean. Wei Ming stared at the direction of the cherry blossoms for a long time before he slightly turned his head to look at the two ghosts beside him. Originally, I didn't intend to go on a killing spree either. But this time, yet it wasn't me who took the initiative to cause trouble. If Sakura hadn't messed with us from the beginning, naturally, there wouldn't be so many messy things happening. But since they all made a move, then the next thing we can only call it self-defense. Are you two willing to go along with me to Sakura? A light flickered in Wei Ming's eyes. He opened his mouth and asked the two ghosts in front of him. Shattered mouth, on the other hand, agreed without any hesitation. From the very beginning, Shattered mouth had followed behind Wei Ming. It naturally knew exactly what kind of nature Wei Ming had. Besides, what Wei Ming had decided. Even Ten Oxen might not be able to pull it back. And after Sun Fei saw that Shattered Mouth was going to follow Wei Ming, he then also nodded at Wei Ming. Master, of course we are going to follow you. No matter what Master wants to do, we will all follow Master. Hearing Sun Fei's words, Wei Ming then nodded in satisfaction. Then we can go straight for Sakura. What exactly will happen to them after that? Just let them fend for themselves. As the words fell, Wei Ming had already moved quickly in the direction of Sakura. It was only this move of Wei Ming's. On the other hand, that caused everyone to instantly raise their guard. All the detectives from all the other countries were all dumbfounded. They hadn't expected it at all. Wei Ming would actually turn his head and rush straight towards Sakura. And now, Sakurai's people were even more unsure of what exactly they should do next. Minister Sakurai, it was you who agreed to this matter in the beginning. That's why we, Sakura, did it. But now it's resulted in this. You tell us what to do. This kid is not a good person at first glance. He was able to easily wipe out three of our S-ranked ghosts. What kind of a good guy can he be? Beside him, the director of the intelligence bureau, Matsumoto Wood, spoke to Sakurai Nan with a cold face. It was just that things had developed to this point. Naturally, it was not something Sakurai Nan wanted to see either. For a time, Sakurai Nan had no other way to deal with this matter. Naturally, there was no other way at all. Their Sakura people could only stare at the scene in front of them regardless of what exactly happened. They did not have a plan to deal with it now. This kid is getting closer and closer to us. We can almost feel the pressure he's bringing to us. What should we do next? If we can't deal with this matter in time, I'm afraid that Sakura will be completely destroyed. Someone on the side had already begun to take a stance. However, this matter was not something that they could just do whatever they wanted. Waning speed was very fast. The people of Sakura Flower, however, could only watch as he approached over. For a moment. This sense of powerlessness and suffocation. On the other hand, it instantly gave them an urge to commit suicide. All be quiet. This matter is not without a solution. We need to think carefully about what we can do to make him let us go. Sakurai Nan turned his head to look at the few people beside him. He spoke at them in a cold voice. It was only after Sakurai Nan's words were spoken. Yet, it did not elicit any support from anyone, regardless of what aspect it was from. This group of people currently believed that this matter was all Sakurai Nan's doing. This matter was all caused by Sakurai Nan. So if Sakura really suffered a devastating blow from Wei Ming afterward, they wouldn't even look for problems from themselves, but would instead all blame Sakurai Nan. And at the same time, those other countries that were also watching. For example, in the distant country of M, they had also arranged for people early on. As early as after knowing about this incident, they had already sent people there. Their minds could be seen by anyone with a discerning eye. However, they had never thought of it at all. A brat came out of nowhere, and a very ordinary looking person, to the whole disruption of their plans. At this time, the president of the M country has also picked up a side of the cell phone to the military command call, when the military command heard to immediately pull back the people, is also a piece of bewilderment. After all, he simply didn't know what exactly happened just now. You must withdraw all of your people back immediately. But whenever this group of people angers that young man, then what awaits us is an end like Sakura's, the president said. He then told the military and military command all the things he had just detected. And after hearing the president's words, the military military commander also realized that this matter could only be delayed for the time being. 
They, on the contrary, had already seen Wei Ming's methods very clearly. Now Wei Ming was so powerful, it was far beyond their control. Without Wei Ming, they were not afraid of anything. However, based on the fact that Wei Ming was able to instantly kill three S-ranked ghosts without any effort, they were wary of Wei Ming. Their level of vigilance towards Wei Ming had instantly risen a notch. If this group of people really angered Wei Ming, there was no telling what Wei Ming would do to them at that time. What they didn't know was, Wei Ming was walking, but he turned his head slightly to look this way. Master, is something important happening? Sun Fei saw Wei Ming's movements. Only then did he hastily open his mouth and ask Wei Ming. Wei Ming let out a light laugh. Some people have secretly arranged on it. It's just that nowadays they see our strength, so they intend to remove the people. Wei Ming let out a light laugh. He had already sensed the movements of those people. It was just that since the other party was planning to take a step back, he did not intend to directly chase after them. After all, the most important thing right now was still Sakura. And, Wei Ming didn't just intend to make a move on Sakura. He was going to start with Sakura. And one by one, he was going to clean up these ones who had just watched the show. Chapter 45, What Kind of Person? Surprisingly, he was able to exterminate three S-ranked lich demons? Seeing that Wei Ming had already left with two of the stern ghosts, only then did the five heavenly kings finally slow down. What just happened? That young man wiped out the three S-ranked knightly ghosts that Sakura had sent over. It can't be that I'm dreaming, right? Whoever beside him spoke up. Shen Yen froze for a long time without opening his mouth to answer that person. The shock that this matter in front of them had brought them. It could not be considered too big. They hadn't even thought about it. Wei Ming, a person who looked so ordinary. Surprisingly, he was able to annihilate three S-rankly ghosts. Captain, could it be that we can't even compete with an ordinary person now? Shang Yan listened to the voice beside him. He immediately only felt some headache. This person looked like an ordinary person. But in fact, it was definitely not. If he really had no skills at all, then why would there be two stern ghosts one following him? This person is definitely not simple. But nowadays, we are not clear on what kind of person he really is. Just for now, whether it's him, or the two stern ghosts he raised, at the very least, neither of them have ever been hostile to our country of China. So we can also ignore this for the time being. As long as he doesn't have hostile intentions towards us, we can let it go for now. Saying that, Cheng Yen turned his head to look at the four people beside him. Only then did the four people nod at Cheng Yen. Since those three stern ghosts have all been eliminated now, then there's nothing for us to do here, right? After heaving a sigh, only then did Cheng Yen turn his head to look at the four people beside him. Naturally, none of them opened their mouths. After all, Cheng Yen was their captain. No matter what kind of decision Cheng Yen made, for them, Obeying was all that mattered. Captain, if you ask me, wasn't our original mission to get them out of here? Since things are done now, even if we didn't do it ourselves, but no matter what, the purpose has been achieved, hasn't it? Someone beside Chun Yen opened his mouth and spoke to him. The words fell. Only then did Chun Yen nod his head. The five people were preparing to withdraw. But it was at this time. A helicopter sound suddenly came from above the heads of several people. Someone is coming. Chang Yan raised his head and looked at the sky in front of him, only to see a helicopter rushing towards them, even though they didn't know what kind of people were on that helicopter. But the five of them could see clearly that it was a helicopter flying from the country. In other words, it was always not an enemy. The five people stared at the helicopter, until after the helicopter landed. The people on top walked down. Only then did they finally see clearly who those people were. Captain Chi, why are you people from the first division here as well? Didn't you guys go to deal with the severe ghosts in that neighborhood? Finished dealing with it so you came over? Chung Yan opened his mouth and asked Chi Ling. His face also carried a trace of surprise. According to the news at the beginning, the place that the first detachment had gone to was a ghost cave. I didn't expect them to come out so quickly now. Looking at the surprise in Chang Yan's eyes, the five heavenly kings did not explain that much. We came over here because of the chief director's intention. He said that you guys were very barely able to cope with those three S-ranked stern ghosts. That's why the chief director arranged for us to come over. Listening to Chi Ling's words, Cheng Yan's eyes flashed with a trace of helplessness. Immediately after that, he turned his head slightly to look at the empty borderline not far away. And then there was the empty sea. Chi Ling followed Cheng Yan's eyes. Only then did she finally realize. Where was there a stern ghost in front of her eyes? That is, there wasn't even a person. She froze for a moment before finally turning her head to stare at Cheng Yan. At the same time, her eyes were filled with surprise and disbelief. You five of you exterminated those three S-rank stern ghosts? We had trouble dealing with even one S-rank. You guys were actually able to deal with three at the same time? Listening to Chi Ling's tone, Chung Yen could naturally tell. Today's matter was a misunderstanding on her part. 
and they came late enough that they naturally didn't see anything. Chang Yan hadn't even opened his mouth yet. Someone on the side then spoke. When it comes to this matter, we have something to talk about. Captain Chi, of course those three stirring ghosts weren't destroyed by us. Those were three S-class A. It's just that although we can't defeat that stern ghost, yet there is someone who can beat it. Listening to the voice beside him, Chi Ling immediately turned his head to look at the person who spoke. What kind of person? How dare he be able to exterminate three S-ranked liege ghosts? If this person can be contacted, he must be allowed to join our psychic bureau. Chi Ling's emotions were not given to too much excitement. Chang Yen, who was on the side, came forward and raised his hand to pat on Chi Ling's shoulder. We naturally have this idea of yours as well, but I won't hide it from you. That guy doesn't look like he has any spiritual power fluctuations at all. And he's even following two S-ranked night ghosts. So we do think, there's a good chance that this guy is also a night ghost. And of a more advanced kind. Listening to Chun Yan's words. Shi Ling, on the other hand, frowned slightly. So this person that you guys are talking about, could be a stern ghost? Chang Yan nodded at her. It was just based on this person described in their words. How was it so much like the person they saw in the neighborhood? According to what they said in their mouths. Is it hard to believe that young man is Wei Ming? It's indeed possible. Just how could Wei Ming run so fast? Even our helicopters couldn't catch up with him? It's hard to say. After all, he's a stern ghost, and an incomparably powerful ghost at that. It would be considered easy for him to eliminate three S ranks. Several people came together to analyze, and speaking from their analysis, the person Chang Yan and the others were talking about, there was a high possibility that it was Wei Ming, and just at this time, there was also a change in the monitoring instruments of the Psychic Bureau. They realized that the aura of the three S-class liege ghosts on the borderline of China had disappeared. After realizing this, Liang Anji then immediately called Chang Yan over. And, it was a video call. After Chang Yan saw Liang Anji's video call, he naturally picked it up without hesitation. We just realized that the aura of the severe ghosts around you guys has disappeared. Could it be that you guys have already eliminated all three of those S-classes? Liang Anji's words were filled with incredulity. He certainly didn't think that the five of them would be able to take care of the three night ghosts so easily. However, the data indicated on the monitoring instrument today was impossible to fake. Only then did Chang Yan hurriedly describe everything that happened just now to Liang Anji. After listening, everyone was also relieved. It was just that they had likewise guessed out that the person Chang Yan was talking about was Wei Ming. So where did that kid go after destroying the lich demon? After everyone relaxed, Liang Anji then continued to open his mouth and asked Chang Yan. It seems like he went in the direction of Cherry Blossom. It's just that we think, in accordance with his strength, he wouldn't be harmed by anyone from Sakura at all. So we didn't stop him and let him go. Chapter 46 Ghost Tide Warning The Ghost Tide was about to erupt. After hearing Chang Yan's words, the faces of the crowd then flashed with a trace of joy. From the very beginning, Wei Ming had already shown his friendliness towards China. And now he had rushed to the borderline with the fastest speed. Even now, after learning that the three stern ghosts were dispatched by Sakura, also directly chose to go to Sakura country. This with all sorts of things, undoubtedly showed that Wei Ming was also on the side of their country. Even though he was a stern ghost, he was also a stern ghost of China. Sure enough, it's not just people from our country of China who have the idea of letting little cherry blossom get her comeuppance in their hearts. Even the stern ghosts of our country of China have the same idea. Yes, if that's the case, don't we have nothing to worry about. Naturally, there is no need to worry, that kid's ability is not weak. A joyful sound instantly erupted from the surroundings. Each and every one of them had excitement on their faces. Even though Chang Yan and the others originally didn't know what this matter was all about. But Gu Tuwa, who was beside them, added fuel to the fire and told Chang Yan the whole story. After listening to it, Chang Yan's eyes also flashed with a trace of shock. He knew that Wei Ming's identity must not be simple. But no matter what, he had never thought that Wei Ming's identity would be like this. So. As long as there is a strike from him, then the entire Sakura will probably cease to exist as well? While listening to Chang Yan's question, Chi Ling nodded slightly. And just when everyone was immersed in a joyful mood, the Psychic Bureau suddenly erupted with a sharp alarm. The entire Psychic Bureau was shrouded in red light. It was enough to prove just how high the alarm level was this time. What's happening? Elder Kong also instantly became serious as he sat slightly straight staring at Liang Anji in the screen. Liang Anji turned his head to look at the computer beside him. And immediately afterward, he sucked in a breath of cool air. Damn, Liang Anji had a very serious look on his face, falling in the eyes of the rest of the people. It was naturally clear to everyone that this matter was most likely a big deal. What exactly happened? Chi Ling also couldn't help but open his mouth and ask Liang Anji. Liang Anji didn't say anything. He just cast his computer screen into the video conference of several people. And looking at the scene on the computer screen, 
Everyone was in an incomparable panic. This alarm was clearly a warning of a ghost tide outbreak. The monitoring instrument of the psychic bureau had already passed the fluctuation time of the ghost chi. It has deduced the time of the ghost tide outbreak. And the time is not far away. According to the monitoring together, all of them have only 24 hours left. There were only 24 hours left. Ghost tide warning. I've heard of this ghost tide before. When the ghost gate opens wide, it is called the ghost tide. And once the ghost tide opens, an unpredictable number of ghosts will emerge. So this ghost tide, is it really going to open? Elder Kong took a deep breath before he opened his mouth and asked Lian Anji. Lian Anji was silent for a long time before he finally nodded his head. There was no need to hide this matter at all. Besides, there was only the last 24 hours left. The monitoring instrument was also considered to be the most top-notch technology in China today. Therefore, the time it predicted would definitely not be wrong. Where is the ghost tide outbreak point? After a long time, only after Kan Lao adjusted his emotions did he once again open his mouth at Lian Anji. He was also clear. He was the backbone of this group of people. If he showed a very tense mood, or even panic, then everyone was afraid that they would be in disarray. Elder Kong, there are two outbreak points for the ghost tide, one in the north and one in the south. The one in the north is fine, there aren't too many people at the ghost gate, but the ghost gate in the south is in the downtown area. If a ghost tide really breaks out, maybe our numbers are going to plummet in large numbers. Listening to what the group of people in front of him said to themselves, Liang Anji's entire body was plunged into helplessness. Of course he knew exactly what was going on with this matter. It was just that right now. They yet also simply didn't have any way to deal with this ghost tide. After all, the ghosts that crawled out from the ghost tide. It was very likely that they were more powerful than all the ghosts in China today. Even the S-class could be the lowest level. Not to mention, such a ghost tide outbreak point. There were surprisingly two more within the territory of China. Liang Anji bowed his head and pondered for a long time before. Only then did he raise his head again to look at Qi Ling and Chang Yan in front of him, the most powerful ability in China today. It's also you ten heavenly kings. Therefore, this matter can only be left to you guys. Liang Anji said while speaking. His eyes, however, landed on the several people who were injured on the side. Only after thinking for a long time did he then speak again. You guys don't need to be in such a hurry. Come back and rest for a moment first. Otherwise you have already experienced such a great exertion. I'm afraid that even if you go, you won't necessarily be able to protect yourselves. Liang Anji's face took on a hint of seriousness. Chan Yan originally wanted to say something else, but Qi Ling reached out and pulled him back. The injuries on your three teammates look rather serious as well. I advise you to take them back for a simple treatment first. Although it didn't hurt their lives or affect their movements, but after all, there will still be some repercussions in there as well. This matter is not trivial, so it's still important to treat this matter with the best state of mind. Chan Yan turned his head to look at Qi Ling in front of him. Only after a long time did this take a deep breath. Captain Chi, what you said is indeed good. It's me who didn't think this matter through. Chi Ling didn't say any more. And this matter was then finalized. Anyway, the helicopter was on the side without leaving. They directly boarded the helicopter and prepared to return to the psychic bureau. After bandaging and resting, they had to leave again without stopping to rush to the place where the ghost tide broke out. They are on a tight schedule now. If they don't make it in time, if they don't make it, the ghost tide will break out. The entire country of China will be destroyed. On the other hand, on the other side, Wei Ming brought Broken Mouth and Sun Fei. They have also arrived at their destination. It was over the sea of Sakura country. Looking down at the Sakura country in front of him, Wei Ming then snorted. Just such a small projectile land. Still wanting to shake our so big China? This Sakura is simply delusional. A mere little Sakura. Something that couldn't even be done several years ago. Is it hard not to be able to do it today? Wei Ming stared at Sakura. Anger filled his eyes, and Broken Mouth and Sun Fei had already begun to rub their fists together. They were ready to launch an attack. Chapter 47 It's all because of you guys. A method had to be found. Soon after, Wei Ming had already led Shatter Mouth and Sun Fei into Sakura. And when they arrived, only then did they realize that something was wrong with Sakura in front of them. There were very few humans on the streets. Instead, it was filled with ghostly aura, and most of the people walking on the road were ghosts. Instead, there were not a few people to be seen at all. This cherry blossom is so strange. How come we haven't seen many humans along the way? Instead, all we saw were stern ghosts. Sun Fei, who was on the side, muttered. And as soon as his words fell, Shattered Mouth let out a cold laugh. Is this hardly obvious enough? Of course it's because everyone here has already been wiped out by the lich ghosts. So naturally, the ones left now are all night ghosts. As Broken Mouth's words fell, Wei Ming on the side nodded his head repeatedly. Not bad. This idea of yours is indeed well said. I think so too. 
As he spoke, he turned his head to look at Shattered Mouth beside him. Since that's the case, then naturally we don't need to show any mercy. If most of the people within this Sakura are humans, then we would have to think about whether or not to make a move. Although I have become a night ghost, but I don't want to get my hands on some human lives, this would be just what I want. Wei Ming's words fell. The broken mouth and son Fei beside him then nodded their heads at him repeatedly. Then let's start from here. I want to see, how do they want to deal with us this time? The corners of Wei Ming's mouth lifted into a smile. Shattered mouth and son Fei, on the other hand, instantly rushed up, on the other side, as the three of them ghosts arrived at Sakura. At this moment, Sakura was also in complete chaos. Now they have completely entered our territory. Minister Sakurai, you were the one who suggested this in the beginning as well. Now you're telling us what we can do to win the final victory. And then there's this. Now that such a powerful stern spirit has come over, how exactly should we deal with this lich demon? Sakurai Nan was in front of him. Several people had already started questioning Sakurai Nan. However, he could only do nothing in the face of Wei Ming. Several people, you should not be in a hurry. Our prime minister hasn't contacted us yet. Then this matter is left open. If we, before Sakurai Nan's words could fall, he was interrupted by a cell phone ringing. A few of you will wait a moment. Let me take a call first. When Sakurai Nan finished speaking, he then picked up his own cell phone and placed it to his ear. Prime Minister Sama? He hadn't thought about it. How he was still speaking of the devil. Just now he was saying that the Prime Minister hadn't called at all. The next second the call came directly. Sakurai Nan's voice undoubtedly had a hint of trembling in it. The Prime Minister on the other end of the phone seemed to be very angry about this matter. Sakurai Nan, what's going on here? You better give me an explanation. If you can't explain, you'll be the first human to die. On the phone, the Prime Minister's mood seemed to be very disgruntled. Beads of sweat were already seeping from Sakurai Nan's forehead. He swallowed before he carefully spoke to the Prime Minister on the other end of the phone. Prime Minister Sama, this matter was an accident. Earlier, we did not expect that there would be someone with such a strong strength. Now since it has all alarmed him, and he has also come to our side, if we can't drive him away, we can only take other ideas. After Sakurai Nan's words were spoken, they undoubtedly angered the Prime Minister even more. Now all of you come to the headquarters conference room. You must be there within 10 minutes. The Prime Minister forcefully suppressed the anger in his heart. He tossed the phone aside after he finished speaking. This matter was now beyond what Sakurai Nan could control. Since the Prime Minister had also called at this time, then he naturally had to listen. Only after the phone was hung up did Sakurai Nan speak to the few people in front of him about the Prime Minister's orders. So, because of your own single-mindedness, you caused all these things. And now, yet you need so many of us to go along with you to deal with it. On the side, Inuyasha Taku's eyes were filled with displeasure. But Sakurai Minami turned his head to look over as well. At the very beginning, this proposal was made by you guys. And now, it's all my fault. The two of them argued with each other. For a time, it caused the others beside them to rise up and persuade them. An external enemy was coming. But if they were the first to start falling apart internally, no matter how you put it, it would be detrimental to their Sakura. Under the persuasion of the people beside them, the two finally stopped arguing. But after experiencing such a thing, both of them looked at each other with a little bit of impatience in their eyes. Alright, let's not fight internally now. It doesn't matter whose problem this matter really is. In short, it's because the two of us worked together. That's why it led to this result today. If it's up to me, let's stop arguing between the two of us. Now that the Prime Minister's phone call has come through, if we don't arrive within 10 minutes, then all of us will probably be counted out by the Prime Minister. Sakurai Nan took a deep breath. Only then did he open his mouth and speak to the few people in front of him. Although Inuyasha Taku was looking at Sakurai Minami in a bad light nowadays. But he had to admit that what Sakurai Minami had said still made sense. Let's go. Don't dawdle. Inuyasha Taku dropped a sentence before turning his head towards the door. Soon enough, the few people arrived at the conference room that the Prime Minister had mentioned. It was just that the Prime Minister had not appeared yet. The decision makers of the entire Sakura had now gathered together. They had all received a call from the Prime Minister and already had a basic understanding of this matter. And, the reason why the whole thing had turned out to be the way it was now. It was also all because of Sakurai Nan and Inoak Taku's cleverness. It was a pity that the success was not enough, and they were directly killed back by others. If it wasn't because of you too, would we, Sakura, be in this situation right now? It's your fault in the first place. The Prime Minister hasn't expressed his displeasure with you guys though. But I'm telling you, when the Prime Minister comes, you'll be finished. Yeah, if you guys are going to make such a big decision, why don't you discuss it with us in advance? Even if you don't talk to us, the Prime Minister has to know all about you guys, right? 
But you guys were so bent on having your own way, and that's what led to the crisis we're facing today. Those three were already evil spirits, and you can't expect them to show us any mercy. The population was already plummeting, and now, because of you, you've attracted these perverted ghosts. Think about what you're going to tell the prime minister later. The voices beside them were endless. The two of them no longer had the leisure to put the blame on each other at this point. They both chose to shrink aside and let them rebuke themselves. And just at this time, the door to the conference room on the side was suddenly opened. Have you guys made enough noise? Have you made enough noise? Chapter 48 You guys came so slowly. Are you afraid of me? This voice was loud and mixed with anger. It instantly caused everyone in the conference room to turn their heads to look over. The person standing at the entrance of the conference room was none other than the Prime Minister. Lord Prime Minister. Lord Prime Minister has come. The people in the conference room stood up one after another. They bowed towards the Prime Minister at the door. And only then did the Prime Minister walk to a chair on the side with a sullen face. Now that a foreign enemy is present, your performance disappoints me, the Prime Minister said while slowly sitting down. And the rest of them, no matter what their status was, also found chairs to sit down one after another. Tell us, what do you guys want to do about this matter at the moment? The Prime Minister said while turning his head to look at Sakurai Minami and Inuyasha Taku. After all, this matter also started because of the two of them. If the two of them couldn't come up with an explanation, I'm afraid that no one will stop. The Prime Minister looked like he was questioning the two. However, he was also giving the two of them a step down. The two of them looked at each other before they turned their heads to look at the Prime Minister in front of them. Lord Prime Minister, we can try to negotiate with them. If the conditions are satisfactory to them, they shouldn't be able to do anything excessive to us. You're just being ridiculous. That guy, we don't even know what's going on with them. You're going to blindly go and negotiate with them? It's not possible that in the end we won't be able to negotiate, but instead we'll be wiped out. Then you say, what should we do? If you ask me, why don't we try a thermal weapon? It can do some damage, right? Hot weapons don't do anything. That's well known. Do you think you can be the exception? The two men fell into an argument, one after the other. And the prime minister on the side was getting a bit angry as he listened. I asked you guys to discuss what exactly to do next. Not for you guys to argue in front of me. The prime minister's words fell. Only then did the two men shut their mouths. After a long time, Inuyasha Taku then turned his head slightly to look at the prime minister beside him. Prime Minister Sama. That stern spirit is really very powerful. If it's really impossible to forcefully kill it, then there is only one way left for us to go. That is to activate the fire seed program. We don't have many people left nowadays. So I still hope that Prime Minister Sama will consider this idea. Sakurai Nan took a deep breath before he opened his mouth and spoke to the Prime Minister. And after his words fell, the Prime Minister did nod at him. This idea of yours is fine. After taking a deep breath, the Prime Minister then slowly stood up. The people we have already selected before can also be brought out. Just don't let them go too wild. And it's not too much of a stretch for me to go first, right? The Prime Minister said, and a glint flashed in his eyes. He was in the position of Prime Minister. Nowadays, he was also in his middle age. If he could live peacefully, he could still live for a long time. Of course he was not willing to stay. And listening to the Prime Minister's words, Sakurai Nan and Inoak Taku, who were at the side, naturally nodded obediently. They didn't want to die too early either. Therefore, this idea had drawn the agreement of everyone present. Since everyone has agreed, then this matter can be set in motion. The Prime Minister said as he walked in the direction of the door, We will go straight to the spaceship now. As long as we leave, that night ghost won't do anything to us. Listening to the Prime Minister's words, everyone present then also nodded their heads in succession. They naturally thought the same way. As long as they could leave this place, no matter how powerful that guy is, he definitely wouldn't be able to cause them any harm. As the words fell, several people walked quickly in groups towards the most hidden place in the entire Sakura. And this place, it was the place they had designed a long time ago, the launch site of the spaceship, led by the Prime Minister. The crowd went through a series of security measures, including fingerprints, pupil iris, and even DNA comparisons. Only then did they finally stand at the boarding gate of the spaceship. Next, we'll be leaving this place where we were born and raised. But although we are the first to leave, but after that, there will be someone to help the rest of us leave. After we leave this time, we won't know when it will be until the next time we return to Sakura. Let's all get ready. Standing at the boarding entrance, the Prime Minister turned his head and spoke to the crowd behind him. The crowd did not say much. They just nodded at the Prime Minister. Immediately afterward, one by one, they then walked up towards the airship. But what made all of them not expect was, just after getting on the airship, the person standing at the very front stopped his pace. Several people, we finally meet. 
There was a person sitting on their airship at the moment. This person was none other than Wei Ming. And Wei Ming was very cozy. He was also shaking half a cup of red wine in his hand. It looked as dashing as it could be. He, he's the kid who exterminated our three night ghosts. Inoak Taku, who was standing behind the prime minister, spoke to the prime minister with a face full of shock. And the prime minister's face instantly took on a hint of vigilance. I've been waiting for you guys for so long. As guests, is this how you treat your guests? Wei Ming shook his head somewhat helplessly at the few people in front of him. All the way over, Shattered Mouth and Sun Fei were rushing at the very front to clear a path for themselves, and the places that the three ghosts passed through. Basically, they had all become hell on earth. The severe ghosts were on their way to be destroyed by them. Naturally, they were very frantic, so it would also definitely injure the humans they gazed upon. Even, Wei Ming didn't make a move against anyone from Sakura even from start to finish. However, Wei Ming had deliberately released the ghostly aura from his body, a stirring ghost of his level, even if he didn't show himself, even if he didn't make a move, just the ghostly aura alone, it was enough to make this group of Sakura people suffer, along the way, the only ones left had already died and were injured, and Wei Ming also realized long ago, Cherry Blossom most likely had this kind of fire plan, that's why he had done some scouting early on, after concealing his ghostly aura, he was unsurprisingly not discovered by any of Sakura's people, and after seeing this flying Chuang, Wei Ming then also determined, before long, this group of death-hungry Sakura people would want to escape, then they could only come to this airship, it's just that Wei Ming didn't expect it, the first thing he saw, surprisingly, it would be the death-hungry Cherry Blossom Prime Minister, Chapter 49, All for You, Let Us Go, Sakura's group of people naturally never imagined that they would see Wei Ming on their own ship, they would actually see Wei Ming as an uninvited guest on their own ship, almost the instant they saw Wei Ming, Several people had gone weak in the legs and knelt down. What's with you guys? It's not good to give me such a big salute on our first meeting. Is it? But it is. This has always been your Sakura's demeanor. Wei Ming said. And the corner of his mouth slowly curved up. It seems like you guys have a lot of respect for me. Get up. The ground is also quite cool. One by one. Your body is already in bad shape. Don't freeze anymore. Wei Ming's words were filled with sarcasm. Only. No matter what Wei Ming said. Right now there was no one who dared to open their mouths and say a single word to Wei Ming. This group of people had basically all become horrified in their faces. And each and every one of them were on the verge of peeing in fear. I know that probably you have a grudge against us in your heart. Coming here, is it because you want to take revenge on us? Wei Ming nodded slightly. His gaze swept over everyone in front of him. He laughed out in the next second. So you all know that as well. After doing something like this, how our people would resist. But you all did choose to take a gamble. Just specifically bet that our people wouldn't resist, or that we might not even have the ability to resist. In this way, you will be able to completely annex us? Wei Ming's words hit home in the hearts of several people. Instantly, no one continued to speak before his eyes. Wei Ming, on the other hand, did not speak either. He just stared at the few people in front of him in silence. Sir, first of all, I admit that this matter is indeed our fault. You came all the way here and should have seen the current state of our Sakura. If we weren't forced to do so, we wouldn't have been able to do such a thing. That face looked rather full of helplessness. But Wei Ming was clear. What being forced into helplessness? It was only that they still had an obsession with China. Just how powerful is my ability? I believe you've seen it as well. What will happen to the entire Sakura next? I believe you all know. Wei Ming didn't want to continue talking that much. He let out a cold smile before he slowly stood up. The wine cup in his hand was also put down early. Seeing that Wei Ming was planning to make a move. Only then did he hastily rush at Wei Ming and open his mouth. Wait, I still have something to say. The voice was so loud that it even broke a bit. Wei Ming stood in place, his eyes staring straight at him. He knew, if he wanted to preserve the entire Sakura, or the lives of the group of people beside him, it was impossible to say that it was possible to give himself something that he happened to need. That was why Wei Ming stopped his hand movements, and watching Wei Ming stop, there was also an instant sigh of relief. Sir, we can give you everything you want. No matter what it is, as long as it's something we have, we can give you all of it, as long as you can spare us. The words were said very quickly. It was as if they were afraid that if they spoke slowly, they would be directly killed by Wei Ming in the next moment. And listening to these words, Wei Ming's eyes did flash a trace of surprise. He had thought about what favors Sakura's people would give themselves, and then let himself give up on making a move against Sakura. But he hadn't thought about it. They would actually directly say that they would give whatever they wanted. Wei Ming did not speak again. He lowered his head and pondered for a long time, and Sakura's group didn't dare to speak either. For a while, the entire airship then fell into silence. After a long time, Wei Ming finally figured it out. 
he raised his head, which then rushed to speak, I want all of your soul stones, including the ghost essences, there's no limit to the amount, bring over as many as you have, listening to Wei Ming's words, Cherry Blossom obviously had someone who was dissatisfied, after all, what he wanted was simply too much, Cherry Blossom also needed soul stones to replenish the energy of the ghost masters, if it was all handed over to Wei Ming, wouldn't they, Sakura, be like meat on a chopping board, only to be slaughtered, it's just that the man hadn't even opened his mouth, then he agreed in one mouthful, I can agree to your demands, but you also have to promise us as you said, take our things and don't make a move against us, Wei Ming didn't say anything, he just stood in silence, the other party, on the other hand, waved his hand at the few people behind him, quickly, follow this gentleman's request, bring all of our soul stones and ghost essences, not one less, even though there were people behind them who wanted to say something, but in the end, nothing could be said, only the few people behind him obediently left, and Wei Ming just stood still for a moment, soon, the few people who left came back one after another, and they were carrying two backpacks in their hands, sir, this backpack is filled with soul stones, and this one, it's all ghost essence, this is all the soul stones and ghost essences we have, a trace of dislike clearly flashed across Wei Ming's eyes, it was as if he hadn't expected them to take out only this much, but on second thought, Sakura was originally a small country, it was already not easy to have this much, so after Wei Ming reached out and lifted the bag in front of him, after carrying it in his hands, he let out a light laugh, not bad, it's considered satisfactory, Wei Ming spoke softly, the Sakura crowd let out a sigh of relief when they heard this, then sir, besides these things, is there nothing else you want, looking at Wei Ming's appearance, he then slowly opened his mouth and spoke to Wei Ming, listening to these words, Wei Ming was somewhat surprised, he turned his head, and even though he didn't open his mouth, the other party was still startled by Wei Ming's eyes, sir, please also don't stare at me with such eyes, I haven't done anything too outrageous have I? Wei Ming sniffed, before nodding slightly, after he placed the item in his hand down, only then did he continue to look at the other party and open his mouth, the thing you said, what is it, as long as it's something you think I can use, then give it all to me, if I feel that the weight of the things is enough, it will be equivalent to buying your lives, chapter 50, leave none behind, after Wei Ming said these words, the prime minister naturally nodded his head once again, we naturally have some exotic treasures, including some that, as long as a ghost harnessing master below S rank eats them, there is a high probability that they will be able to directly ascend to S rank, including ones that can give quick energy replenishment, there are also ones that can maintain the status quo and prevent injuries from continuing to develop, we also have a lot of these similar medicines, if this gentleman is willing, we can give you all of them, the prime minister said while speaking, one side was filled with excitement, he did bring out everything this time as well, as long as it was something they had, regardless of Wei Ming bringing it up or not, he had taken the initiative to say it, it could also be seen, this prime minister really didn't want to die, that was why he was trying his best to survive, Wei Ming naturally saw through his thoughts, only Wei Ming didn't say anything and simply stared at the prime minister in front of him, the prime minister also seemed to sense that something was wrong, Wei Ming's eyes from a certain moment, were full of sharpness, it was also exactly what the prime minister disliked the most, but now Wei Ming was the dominant one, they could only lower their heads and pretend that they couldn't see Wei Ming's eyes. It can make a ghost master of a little under S rank break through S rank? Can this kind of essence spirit be used by a ghost master? Maybe it won't be able to absorb it in the next second and just die on the way to absorbing the essence spirit? There are also the other things you guys are talking about. Is it hard to believe that we don't have them in China? Still really want to use these things to fool me in the past? Am I not seeing much of the world? Or am I just saying that I don't know anything? Wei Ming spoke as he walked towards the prime minister. His footsteps approached little by little. A look of fear had flashed across the prime minister's face. Sir, we have already given you all of our most important things. Sir you categorically can't be so hasty as to cut us all down here. A trace of unwillingness flashed through the prime minister's eyes. They had all managed to step on the airship. Could it be that despite this, they would still be beheaded by Wei Ming? Looking at the fear in the prime minister's eyes, Wei Ming then let out a laugh. If you want me to let you guys go, it's not impossible. At least show enough sincerity, right? Hearing Wei Ming's words, the prime minister then took a deep breath. Naturally, we have something that none of you have. It's for the night ghosts to enhance their abilities. And that's precisely why we sent three night ghosts over there. It's not soul stones or ghost essences that are given to the night ghosts to boost their energy. We have something else. Do you want to see it? Listening to the prime minister's words, Wei Ming, on the other hand, stood still. He didn't continue to walk forward, but pondered. If this thing could really replenish the energy of the night ghost, 
he himself could keep it. As for these ghost essences in his hands, it would be enough to give them to Shattered Mouth and Sun Fei. Their two ghosts couldn't even consume all the ghost essence. Only after thinking for a long time did he turn his head to look at the Prime Minister in front of him. Yes, this is a reasonable request of yours. Bring the stuff over and I'll take a look at it first. Only then did the Prime Minister nod his head. He turned his head to look at Sakurai Minami behind him. Sakurai Nan was the head of the psychic department. That thing was naturally in his hands as well. But when Sakurai Nan met Prime Minister Sakura's eyes, yet, he clearly showed reluctance. That thing was something he had obtained with great difficulty. To all the night ghosts, it was something that made them all capable of going crazy for it. Why don't you go quickly? Is it hard to stand here and wait to die? The Prime Minister turned his head and saw that Sakurai Nan did not leave. Only then did he shout at Sakurai Nan, even though anger existed in Sakurai Nan's eyes. Yet, he still turned his head and left, looking at Sakurai Nan's back. Only then did the Prime Minister finally let out a sigh of relief. Only after a long time did Sakurai Nan finally return, and he was carrying a dark stone in his hand. This stone was quite large, and when Sakurai Nan came over, Wei Ming instantly felt a wave of energy rush into his body. The next moment he realized that this thing was indeed a good thing. Sakurai Nan put down the stone in his hand with a dark face, which caused him to take two steps back. Wei Ming, on the other hand, slowly walked forward. He glanced down before raising his smiling face to look at the few people in front of him. I naturally accept these things. They are all gifts from you all. Wouldn't it be a bit inappropriate if I don't accept them? After Wei Ming's words were said, Cherry Blossom's people, on the other hand, revealed smiling faces. They all knew that since Wei Ming had already accepted their things, then it also meant that Wei Ming wouldn't necessarily make a move against them. The whole thing, there was still a turnaround. Only, Sakura's people did not think about it. Their own faces had only just overflowed with smiles. The next moment, Wei Ming then turned his head to look at them. Then I'll take the things, it's useless to keep the people. Wei Ming's words fell, and a ghostly aura instantly enveloped several people. In an instant, there were only a few corpses left on the airship. After packing up everything, Wei Ming then stood on the airship waiting for Shattered Mouth and Sun Fei. It was only after a long time that the two ghosts finally arrived. Master, we've all eliminated most of the severe ghosts on the road and we've already seen this cherry blossom, there's basically nothing left alive. Listening to Shattered Mouth's words, Wei Ming then nodded, since that's the case, then we can consider going to the next place. Anyway, this group of people don't want to see our country of China do well, then of course I'm going to let them know as well, there's a price for watching the show. Wei Ming rubbed his neck, only then did he turn his head to look at the two ghosts in front of him, they also nodded obediently, just as the three of them were about to set off. Wei Ming suddenly realized that a powerful ghostly aura was coming in all directions. Wei Ming instantly tightened his frown and turned his head to look at Shattered Mouth and Sun Fei beside him. Do you guys feel this powerful force? Take this and patch it up. Don't get crushed by this energy before you even get into a fight with someone. Wei Ming said, taking out the ghost essence from a bag on the side and throwing it to the two ghosts. The two ghosts both looked happy. Then, they took it and started absorbing it. And while Shattered Mouth absorbed the ghost essence, he spoke to Wei Ming. Master. Based on this energy fluctuation, what I can probably determine is this, it should be the ghost tide opening up, and although this energy is coming from all directions, it's impossible to tell exactly where the energy is coming from for a moment, but what I can say is this, this is definitely the ghost tide of China about to open, next, the entire world will be in chaos, China is only relying on those few so-called heavenly kings to fight against the ghost tide, it's simply impossible to withstand it. Chapter 51, The Fog Spreads, The Five Heavenly Kings Were in Danger, At the Same Time, China, Energy Fluctuations Are Felt, It Looks Like The Ghost Tide Is About To Open, We Need To Arrange For Someone To Survey The Situation Near The Ghost Tide Immediately, Are The Ten Heavenly Kings All Guarding The Neighborhood Of The Ghost Tide Now, Liang Anji Looked At The Prediction On The Large Screen In Front Of Him, Only Then Did He Take A Deep Breath And Turn His Head To Look At The Person Beside Him, Chief Director, The Ten Heavenly Kings Have Already Split Into Two, they should have reached the vicinity of the ghost tide by now. There are them guarding the ghost tide. There shouldn't be any major problems. Liang Anji listened to his men's words. Only then did he not say much more. He just stared at the screen in front of him in silence. And at this time, the ghost tide had also quickly opened up. The ghost chi instantly caused all the living things near the ghost gate to wither instantly. As for the animals, they had long since realized the danger and had now also stopped moving around at all. Captain Captain, look over there. Is that the center point of the ghost tide? What is this? Ghost Chi? The first division of the ten heavenly kings. Tong Yejo suddenly opened his mouth and spoke to Chi Ling. At the same time, he reached out and pointed to Chi Ling's back. The word panic was written all over his entire face. Hearing Tang Yejo's words, 
Qi Ling then slowly turned his head to look behind him. As expected, after seeing the scene behind him, Qi Ling also froze instantly. How could this suddenly rise up a dense fog? Qi Ling said while slowly standing up. It was just that the speed of that dense fog was very fast, even though Tang Yezho had realized the danger. Yet it was too late to open his mouth to warn. The next moment, the ghost gate grew instantly, and the five people didn't even realize it under the cover of the thick fog. By the time they came back to their senses, a large number of severe ghosts had already appeared beside them. And as for this dense fog, it was spreading outwards at a rapid speed. Within a short time, it had already enveloped a hundred mile radius in the vicinity. The five heavenly kings covered by the fog, they had also disappeared. By the time Liang Anji realized it, their monitoring instruments had long since been unable to see the figures of the five heavenly kings. Almost instantly, Liang Anji panicked. Hurry, call the research department. Quickly see if this dense fog has any effect or not. It's hard to believe that those five heavenly kings are going to fall just after appearing. Liang Anji was anxious, and Zhang Zhe was even more anxious than him. The fog brought out by the appearance of this ghost tide. It wasn't something you could see every day. He was the head of the research department. Naturally, he was very excited. At the same time, although a large number of severe ghosts appeared beside the five heavenly kings, it was just that they were unable to cause too much serious damage to them at all. We have just arrived here not long ago now. This ghost tide has also just started. So even though there are ghosts around us, but they are not that powerful after all. They're not that high in rank either. Let's be careful first. The chief director's side has been observing us all along. So they'll definitely be able to find something wrong with us. As long as we make it through, everything will be fine. Chi Ling realized that the stern ghost beside him wasn't that weak. Only after thinking for a long time did he open his mouth and spoke at the team members beside him. The remaining few people didn't open their mouths though, but the attacks they unleashed on the night ghost were even more severe. And looking at this scene, Qi Ling was also clear in his heart. What he had said had at least gotten into their hearts. There's one more thing that you guys have to pay attention to. We must stay together. Don't get separated. Otherwise it must be even more dangerous. After being in the thick fog for such a short while, Qi Ling had also realized. They had completely lost their sense of direction now. If anyone else got separated in this stall, then it would definitely be impossible to walk out forever. After hearing Qi Ling's words, the few people obviously walked closer together. And at this time, although they couldn't leave the area of this dense fog, but no matter what, it was at least good to be together all the time. At least for the safety piece, there wasn't much of a problem. And on the other side, Liang Anji had the few people from the research department rush to the location of the ghost tide outbreak with the fastest speed possible. Of course, the more important thing was for them to find the figures of the five heavenly kings to come as soon as possible. Zhang Zhe led the people in a helicopter. The helicopter had rushed all the way here at the fastest speed possible. Only along the way, they had also already seen a scattering of stern ghosts. If the country didn't seize the time to get rid of the stern ghosts that had emerged from the ghost tide, maybe the entire country of China would really be facing the biggest crisis in history. Soon, Zhang Zhe and his men approached the fog. Looking at such a large range in front of him, Zhang Zhe's pupils shrunk. Don't go into the thick fog. We'll just stop at a distance. We can walk in on our own, but we categorically cannot step in too easily. After Zhang Zhe's voice fell, the pilot at the side then nodded and then parked the airplane at a flat area not far from the thick fog. Looking at the dense fog in front of him, Zhang Zhe then took a deep breath. He turned his head slightly to look at the ministry member beside him, Zhang Liang. Next, we're going to go down and take a look. First, we need to monitor what exactly this dense fog is for. We also have people stationed nearby. If it really doesn't work, we'll just look into it after making contact. Listening to Zhang Zhe's words, Zhang Liang did not say anything. He was, after all, Zhang Zhe's subordinate. Naturally, whatever Zhang Zhe said was what he said, and he certainly wouldn't refute it. Minister, let's go down. I've prepared everything. Zhang Liang lifted the parcel that was placed aside before he turned his head to look at Zhang Zhe. Zhang Zhe took a deep breath as he nodded heavily. In the next moment, he directly took out his gas mask and snapped it onto his face. Let's go. We still need to take care of our protection. Zhang Zhe was wrapped tightly all over. He was wearing a jumpsuit and gloves on his hands. Just now he had also put on a gas mask for himself. In other words, no matter what kind of effect this dense fog had, it was all pressurized and would not do any harm to Jiang Zhe. As Zhang Liang looked at his heavily armed minister, he pulled the corner of his mouth somewhat helplessly. In the next moment, he picked up the gas mask at the side and fastened it on himself as well. The two of them slowly approached the thick fog. Soon they were already standing at the edge of the fog. After taking a deep breath, Jiang Zhe then took out the detection instrument. Zhang Zhe was the head of the research department. 
He had also been in the psychic bureau for so long. He had also researched quite a few large and small severe ghosts, and he had also done quite a bit of research on both spiritual energy and ghost chi. Therefore, if this dense fog would have any effect on humans, or on ghost masters, Zhang Zhe was naturally the first to study it, and Zhang Liang was also one of the ministry members he used the most. Even though there were only the two of them at the edge of the fog, there was simply no one on the sidelines who dared to say anything more. After all, if it was about experience, if Zhang Zhe went backward, no one would be able to go forward. Soon, Zhang Zhe had already used all the detection instruments around him to come to a conclusion. As soon as he did, he ripped off the gas mask from his face. The next moment he turned his head and picked up the intercom. This dense fog is not harmful to the human body. It's just that dense fog is dense fog after all. It's not certain what will happen if we go in. Chapter 52 Global Ghost Tide Outbreak The walkie-talkie in Zhang Zhe's hand was connected to the troops stationed around. After the troopers heard about this matter, then they immediately reported it to Feng Xian, the commander-in-chief of the military department. And Feng Xian told them, no matter what happens after this incident, including whatever Zhang Zhe wants afterward, they must also provide it unconditionally. After Feng Xian finished arranging, he hung up the phone. As for Jiang Zhe and Zhang Liang at this moment, the two of them were also hesitating at the moment, whether they should go in or not. After all, no one knew what exactly it was like in this dense fog. And Jiang Zhe was also very curious about this. The ghost tide opened up. And this kind of scene was not something that could be seen every day. Only, even though Jiang Zhe wanted to go in, Zhang Liang reached out and pulled on Jiang Zhe's arm. Minister, we don't even know what it's like inside this dense fog. If you go in there rashly, what if something goes wrong? No one in our entire research department can compare to you. Minister, in case we lose the minister, what will we do with so many people? Zhang Liang's words caused Zhang Zhe to stop his movements as well. He lowered his head and pondered for a long time before looking up at Zhang Liang. You have a point in saying that. I'll contact the military. Since we can't get in, then let them send out a squad. This matter has to be resolved sometime. We can't just let this fog get in our face. Yet we can't even enter. And we can't see what condition is inside. Listening to Zhang Zhe's words, only then did Zhang Liang finally let out a sigh of relief. After all, it was already a rare thing for Zhang Zhe to be able to let go. Zhang Liang immediately picked up the walkie-talkie on the side. He told the military that they wanted a death squad all the way. They must be soldiers. They must not be people who are afraid of death. And Zhang Liang also made it very clear. They have already tested it. This dense fog really has no effect on the human body. It's just what's in the fog. They don't know. That's why they must have a death squad that dares to break in. The people from the military didn't refuse. They said that they would send the daredevil team over as fast as possible. Then they put down their walkie-talkies. It was just that after Zhang Liang heard the military's attitude. For a while, he was a bit at a loss for words. He could not quite understand. Why was there such a big difference in the military's attitude now compared to before? It was just that nowadays. It was simply too late for them to think that much. If they couldn't quickly get someone to enter the fog to investigate. They would not be able to continue their research after all. Good thing. After not long, the people from the military did come with a death squad. I am the captain of the death squad. Received orders which led me here. The man walking at the front nodded at Zhang Zhe after seeing him. Zhang Zhe nodded slightly. He was about to open his mouth to ask the other party's name. And it was as if the man could see it as well. He let out a light laugh. His eyes filled with mirth. You don't need to ask me what my name is. Anyway. Our daredevil squad won't necessarily be gone at some point. So instead, it's not necessarily necessary to know our names. After the words fell, the team members behind him then came forward. They formed a line and saluted at Jiang Zhe and Zhang Liang. The two of them did not speak even though they did not speak. But the eyes they looked at this squad were also filled with respect. Soon, this squad stepped into the dense fog with excellent equipment. It was just that everyone did not expect it. They clearly just stepped into the fog. But the next second. Zhang Zhe and Zhang Liang, who were standing at the periphery of the fog, could no longer see the squad silhouette. Minister, what's going on? Didn't they just go in? Zhang Liang's eyes widened as he turned his head to look at Zhang Zhe beside him. It was only Zhang Zhe who also shook his head filled with doubt. When the walkie-talkies were taken out, only then did they react. The squad that had just entered had not just disappeared. Even any electronic devices couldn't contact them anymore. It was as if they had entered an inexplicable space and the news from the periphery was completely blocked as well. After realizing this matter, Zhang Zhe and Zhang Liang couldn't help but take a few steps back in a hurry. At the same time, Zhang Zhe also immediately called Liang Anji, Bureau Director Liang, we have just dispatched a death squad, but this death squad unexpectedly disappeared the moment they stepped into the dense fog. 
Jiang Zhe reported everything truthfully to Liang Anji through the phone, but at this moment, Liang Anji on the other side of the phone was just silent. In front of him was a large electronic screen, because at the same time Jiang Zhe was dispatched, the various senior leaders then also decided to use all the existing satellites and the professional detection instruments from the Psychic Bureau. Together, high in the sky, they took pictures of this dense fog, and the final photo are now in front of Liang Anji. The area covered by this dense fog is very large, and it's a very regular oval shape. It was like a huge eggshell, covered directly on this land, but now this fog is not going to continue to expand the appearance. Liang Anji was silent for a long time. Only then did he tell this news to Jiang Zhe. At the same time, he told Jiang Zhe, let them keep their distance from the fog for the time being. After that, they would just wait for the news. After hanging up the phone, it didn't matter if it was Liang Anji or the other leaders, they had fallen into silence. Faced with this kind of situation that they had never seen before, they were also genuinely at a loss as to what to do next. Just now, it wasn't just China. Other countries, too, were similarly experiencing this scene. This crisis had caused many countries to go haywire. They had sent out the pictures taken by their satellites, and after many countries compared them, only then did they realize, this so-called oval-shaped fog, has appeared in multiple countries. And, nowadays, everyone didn't know exactly how to deal with this thing, this identical situation, and even more so, those countries instantly thought, they seem to have found an ally, or the same unlucky countries as themselves, just the other side, cherry blossom country, Wei Ming had already felt the ghostly aura spreading over from China, this ghost chi was just too powerful, so much so that even though he wasn't in China, he was still able to feel the ghostly aura, Wei Ming stood on the airship, he slightly turned his body sideways, his eyes staring at the distant China, his heart couldn't help but start to worry, nowadays, whether or not the state of China would be able to get through this crisis smoothly, it was just that Wei Ming hadn't come up with an answer yet, the next moment, he then suddenly realized that a strong ghostly aura had also appeared around him, even the air in front of him had taken shape in general, Wei Ming frowned slightly, master be careful, get out of here, shattered mouth was the first to realize, it immediately shouted at Wei Ming, and Wei Ming had just raised his head, a black vortex appeared under his feet. Almost instantly, dense fog emerged from beneath Wei Ming's feet. A steady stream of dense fog expanded outwards, and Wei Ming was unprepared and defenseless in an instant. He had been swallowed up by the dense fog created by the outbreak of the Sakura Country's Ghost Tide. Chapter 53, Ambivalence, Let Him Live or Die, and Now Wei Ming's Situation. In fact, it had long been noticed by the Chinese side as well. Ever since Wei Ming left the borderline of China and headed to Sakura, China had already mobilized a satellite, and this satellite was also specifically used to observe Wei Ming's behavior. The moment Wei Ming appeared at Sakura, the crowd was a burst of cheers, after they knew what had happened at the borderline. Then, they also knew more clearly that Wei Ming would definitely not make a trip to Sakura empty-handed. Therefore, everything Wei Ming did in Sakura had also fallen into their eyes. Even when Wei Ming was confronting those people from Sakura, several people had also sweated for Wei Ming. Naturally, they weren't afraid that Wei Ming would be bullied by these few people from Sakura. It was just that for Wei Ming. The conditions that Sakura had given out looked to be considered very enticing. And they simply didn't know. Sakura's conditions would actually make Wei Ming dismiss those messed up thoughts about Sakura. If Wei Ming was really bought off. If he worked for Sakura afterwards. Then for them, the matter would turn into a crisis. Only they hadn't had time to think about it. Then they saw Wei Ming kill all of those few people. Almost instantly. The people who were staring at the screen also let out a sigh of relief. Each and every one of their faces were tinted with a hint of joy. Wei Ming's action was undoubtedly a direct way to take out a mouthful of bad anger for all of them. Several years ago, Sakura was so excessive towards us. Now we've finally gotten our revenge. It can only be regarded as a bit of a relief. After all, there aren't many people over there now. And most of them are stern ghosts. If I were this kid, I'd just exterminate them all. Yeah, the so-called island should just sink to the bottom. The crowd was discussing at the same time. The eyes were staring straight at the screen in front of them. It was only the next moment. The moment Wei Ming was wrapped in a burst of dense fog. Several people also stood up. A trace of shock flashed through each of their eyes. This dense fog had already appeared in China. And the team that had gone and had not moved again. Everyone was. Wei Ming was such a powerful person. After he entered into the dense fog, would he be able to come out or not? If even Wei Ming couldn't come out, what could they do next? The crowd instantly became nervous, and when this dense fog appeared in the territory of China, they hadn't even been this nervous, just what the crowd didn't know was. In addition to them, naturally, there were still people who were also observing Wei Ming's every move. 
The people observing Wei Ming today were the same group of people as the ones who had spied on the borderline of China before, the last time they snooped. It was because they wanted to stand out and get a piece of the pie. It was only after watching Wei Ming easily eliminate those three S-ranked ghosts that they instantly realized. They instantly realized. This matter was most likely not something that they could solve. So none of them revealed themselves. It was just that they were also worried in their hearts. After all, Wei Ming hadn't gone to Cherry Blossom for a long time, but all those people had already been killed. Therefore they were all afraid. If Wei Ming came for them, how should they respond? No matter how powerful this kid is, isn't it still wrapped in these thick mists today? Since he's engulfed by the dense fog, the odds are that he won't be able to get out. We've already tested this point. In Country M, several people were standing in front of the screen discussing this matter. They were speaking one by one. It was just that all of them had tension hanging on their faces. But, if this kid also died in the dense fog, then wouldn't that mean, the power of this dense fog is far beyond our imagination? Beside the president, someone was speaking to him with a look of horror, even though they were all worried. Wasn't it their turn after Wei Ming finished with Sakura? But now they saw Wei Ming being swallowed by the dense fog. While excited, they couldn't help but start worrying about Wei Ming's condition. It was just that this emotion prevented them from breaking free at all for a while. This thought was just too weird. They hoped that Wei Ming would die in the dense fog. But at the same time, they also hoped that Wei Ming would walk out of the dense fog unharmed. After all, if even Wei Ming, who was so powerful, was unable to detach himself from the dense fog, then it could only mean, this kind of dense fog was simply too powerful. If Wei Ming was able to come out, it would mean that the dense fog was not invincible. Otherwise, could there be someone in this world who was even more powerful than Wei Ming? If that was the case, the entire world would also be facing destruction. There was absolutely no second possibility. But if Wei Ming really didn't die, if he managed to come out of this dense fog, what was waiting for them in the back? It would definitely be Wei Ming's revenge. This point was clear to everyone. The president turned his head to look at the person who had just spoken. His eyes were also filled with helplessness. Then you should say something. Do you have any thoughts on this matter? If he came out unharmed, or if he did not, do you have any countermeasures? The president's words were asked, but the man could not utter a single word. It was as if this matter was a dead end no matter how it was handled. Those people from Sakura had already given Wei Ming so many favors. Even the things they had hidden for a long time. All of them have been taken out and handed over to Wei Ming. Even the president thought that since Wei Ming had accepted these things, then he would definitely not do anything to those people again. But it never occurred to him. Wei Ming had accepted them. But in the next moment, he still didn't hesitate to attack those few people. And in the moment before the dense fog appeared, after Wei Ming finished resolving those few people, the direction he looked up to was the position they were in today ah. Therefore they had no doubt. After Wei Ming came out of the fog, it was certain that he would come over to take revenge on them. It was only after a long time that the president heaved a sigh and said, Our people are just keeping an eye out near the borderline, although it is indeed a bit unkind. But we haven't had anyone initiate an attack either. Then if he really comes over and wants to retaliate against us, we could consider negotiating with him as well. After all, we are not in the same situation as Sakura. It's true that Sakura did cause harm to those people in China, but we had best watched the show and did not lend a helping hand. This matter is good to discuss. It's just that if he really died in the fog, what we usher in next, then it must also be death. Even someone with his strength can't walk out of the dense fog. Those of us, we are even more inadequate. The president's words fell. There was no one beside him who objected. Everyone was torn today. And the president's words did give them a different way of thinking. Just, no one could know. If Wei Ming really came to retaliate, did they actually have the chance to negotiate with Wei Ming? Chapter 54, Strange Dense Fog, Suddenly Appearing Cell. Just, no matter if it was special departures entanglement, or the worries of their own people on the Chinese side. For these, Wei Ming was naturally unaware of this. Now he is in a thick fog. In front of him was a thick fog. And there was also a little bit of ghost energy mixed in. Faced with such an environment, Wei Ming also raised his spirits and watched in front of him. After a long time, Wei Ming frowned slightly. The fog was very dense. He simply couldn't see clearly what the distance actually looked like. And Shattered Mouth and Sun Fei had also stuck close to Wei Ming on the left and right. Even though they didn't know where this dense fog was coming from, but what they knew was, Wei Ming was stronger than both of them. As long as they could stay by Wei Ming's side, there was no need to worry too much at all. But even though they were already standing beside Wei Ming, the eyes of the two ghosts had also been sizing up the dense fog in front of them. The fog did not dissipate, and the few people did not make any movements. After all, they were in a completely unfamiliar place. It was possible that if they took a wrong step, all that awaited them would be doom and gloom. 
It was only Wei Ming who was frowning. It was not because of the visibility of the fog in the ghostly aura beside him. Rather, it was because Wei Ming detected a trace of familiarity from this thick fog. Have you two ever felt that? This thick fog will not harm us. Or even, what good will it do to us? Or that something deep within this thick fog is going to help us? It was also unknown how long had passed. Broken mouth and sun face suddenly heard Wei Ming's voice. After the two ghosts heard his words, then they looked up at Wei Ming with shocked faces. The shock in their eyes fell into Wei Ming's eyes. Wei Ming then no longer needed them to answer himself. Master, why do you feel that this dense fog has a familiar feeling? Can it be that this thick fog still has the effect of confusing the mind? The eyes of the broken mouth on the side had become a vertical line. It turned its head to look at Wei Ming. A hint of viciousness also flashed through its eyes. At this moment, Shattered Mouth had also raised a million spirits. It was just that no one knew what exactly was hidden within this thick fog. What about you, Sun Fei? You didn't notice anything either? Wei Ming's eyes turned to Sun Fei. He slowly opened his mouth and asked Sun Fei. And after hesitating for a moment, Sun Fei still nodded his head as well. Master, I don't detect any familiar feeling either. I only feel that this thick fog is very gloomy and cold. It always feels as if something will rush out in the thick fog in the next second. As for the rest, I really don't know anymore. Wei Ming nodded at this. These words spoken by the two ghosts of them. Wei Ming did not think otherwise. After all, no matter what, himself and them were both slightly different. So where he himself felt familiar, they naturally wouldn't notice. The three ghosts were silent as they stared at the dense fog in front of them and surveyed it. Otherwise, let's walk forward. Wei Ming suddenly opened his mouth and said to Broken Mouth and Sun Fei. His words, on the other hand, caused the two ghosts to instantly suck in a breath of cold air. After all, nowadays, the two had already felt that something was wrong with this dense fog, and they were also convinced that if there were any severe ghosts coming out of the fog, they were certainly no match for the ghost. But in such an unknown environment, Wei Ming even wanted to walk forward? For a moment, Shattered Mouth looked at Wei Ming with a hint of confusion in its eyes. It seemed to be unable to understand. Why would Wei Ming want to continue walking deeper? Don't you forget, this dense fog started spreading from underneath our feet to begin with. If we want to go out, there are only two ways. One is to wait for the dense fog to dissipate. The other is to keep walking in one direction. I think it's mostly impossible for this thick fog to dissipate. Then we can only follow the second method as well. What do you two think? Wei Ming's words fell. Only, whether it was shattered mouth or sun fei. Yet, neither of them opened their mouths. After they pondered for a long time, they only nodded at Wei Ming. Master's words are not bad. I believe in master. Shattered Mouth was the first to open his mouth and spoke to Wei Ming. And when Sun Fei, who was on the side, saw this, he could only nod his head at Wei Ming. The three ghosts were just about to leave. A ghastly wind suddenly blew over. Wei Ming very simply stopped where he was without moving. After all, none of them knew what abnormality would appear next. And it seemed like that gust of wind was just a burst. It quickly dissipated. When the three ghosts looked up in front of them again, but they found that the gate of the neighborhood appeared in front of them. And this neighborhood was precisely the Century Hua Mansion where Wei Ming had previously resided. Seeing this scene, Wei Ming's eyebrows could not help but raise slightly. This is Sakura. How could there be a building like this? The style of Sakura and the style of China. The difference isn't just a star. Wei Ming looked at the neighborhood in front of him. He was very clear. It must be an illusion. It didn't matter how exactly this neighborhood appeared here. All in all it wasn't a good situation. Master, this must be a trap. We can't be so stupid as to step into this trap. Shattered Mouth hurriedly turned his head to Wei Ming who was beside him. And Wei Ming hadn't even opened his mouth. The cell door in front of him suddenly opened up. It was obvious. This gate was hoping that the three ghosts would be able to go in. After all, after Shattered Mouth said the words don't go in, the gate in front of him immediately opened. Broken Mouth stared at Wei Ming. There was still worry in its eyes. Master, don't be too reckless. Why don't we observe it first? After all, this place is just too weird. This cell inexplicably appeared here. It must be a trap. Sun Fei, who was at the side, also nodded his head repeatedly. Yes master, this matter mustn't be taken too casually. We still need to observe it first. Listening to the voices of the two ghosts beside him, Wei Ming gave a somewhat helpless laugh. Is it hard to believe that you guys are so worried that something dangerous will happen to us? You guys can see clearly what kind of ability I have. There's still nothing in this world that I wouldn't dare to go to. Although Wei Ming's words were said like this. But Broken Mouth and Sun Fei were still equally worried about him. Master, or else it's better to reconsider. After all, this matter is not trivial. We don't even know the condition of this place. Shattered Mouth was already a bit anxious. Yet Wei Ming was still planning to enter. Don't worry, 
since I said that nothing will go wrong, then there will definitely not be a problem. Wei Ming said, a bland smile on his face. He seemed to have a soft spot for this strange and bizarre place. There wasn't an ounce of timidity either. It was clearly an illusion, but he was still undaunted. Wei Ming did not care about the obstruction of the broken mouth and Sun Fei behind him. Instead, he directly raised his leg and walked towards the neighborhood in front of him. Wei Ming's steps were huge. There was hardly the slightest hesitation. He had already stepped into the neighborhood. Chapter 55, Deep into the Neighborhood And seeing Wei Ming step into the neighborhood without any hesitation, a trace of surprise instantly flashed across the face of Sun Fei behind him. Master, can this illusion be entered just like that? We don't even know what will happen here either. What if something happens and we can't get out? Sun Fei shouted at Wei Ming's back. But Wei Ming didn't even look back. If you don't want to follow me, I won't force you guys. Anyway, if I find my way out after going in, I definitely won't come back to take you guys out either. Before Wei Ming's words fell, the shattered mouth rushed forward with a big lunge. It didn't even give it a second thought. It directly followed Wei Ming. Sun Fei looked at shattered mouth's unhesitating movements, while he couldn't help but tightly frown. Why are both of you not hesitating ah? If there is really any danger inside, then wouldn't we all have to continue to stay? Sun Fei was still shouting loudly, only, whether it was Shattered Mouth or Wei Ming, neither opened their mouths to answer his question. Moreover, Wei Ming and Shattered Mouth's figures were getting shallower and shallower in the thick fog. If Sun Fei didn't catch up, he was afraid that he really wouldn't be able to catch up. After realizing this, Sun Fei turned his head and scanned around. He had to admit, the surroundings, whether it was the thick fog or the neighborhood in front of him, it gave himself a feeling that it was just very dangerous. But if Sun Fei were to stay here by himself, it would be better to follow him. At least Wei Ming was so powerful. No matter what happened, he would also be able to protect himself. If he didn't follow Wei Ming and stayed here by himself, maybe he would really be harmed by something that inexplicably appeared in the dense fog. After realizing this, Sun Fei did not hesitate anymore. He sighed lightly, before he quickly chased after them. At the same time, the cell's gate was already slowly closing. Seeing that the gate was closing, Sun Fei even gritted his teeth and quickened his pace. If the gates were to close just like this, Sun Fei would really be shut out of this so-called neighborhood. At that time, no matter if he wanted to go in or not, he would not be able to enter. Right after Sun Fei stepped into the neighborhood, the speed at which the gate closed suddenly accelerated. In an instant, a bang sounded from behind Sun Fei's back. Sun Fei was stunned for a moment before he turned his head to look behind him. Sure enough, the gate was already dead shut and the commotion over here naturally caught the attention of Wei Ming and Shattered Mouth. They looked over in the direction of the gate, and only then did they see Sun Fei standing in the doorway with a confused look on his face. Sun Fei, what are you still standing at that doorway for? Is it hard to believe that you want to study and research this door lock and become a locksmith afterward? Wei Ming's voice came over. Sun Fei snapped back to his senses when he heard his voice. When the door closed just now, Sun Fei only felt as if his consciousness had suddenly blurred. In that moment when he froze in the square. Even his own thoughts had drifted a million miles away. It was as if he had also completely forgotten what a dangerous place he was in today. It was also because Wei Ming had called out to him in time. That was what brought him back to his senses. Sun Fei shook off his head and hurriedly walked towards Wei Ming with quick steps. Master, this place is strange. It's best if we don't get separated. Much less wander around. Listening to Sun Fei's words as if they were something. Wei Ming let out a light laugh. He reached out and patted Sun Fei on the shoulder. It doesn't matter how dangerous it really is in this neighborhood. I don't even really feel anything. Do you know why? After Wei Ming said this, Sun Fei then shook his head with some hesitation. Just unexpectedly, Wei Ming's next sentence made Sun Fei even more at a loss as to how he should answer. Because I'm strong enough, even if this dense fog, this neighborhood really has some problems. They won't be able to do anything to me. Because they can't beat me. Wei Ming's face was filled with a smile. Sun Fei, on the other hand, had his eyes wide open. He had thought of several possibilities, yet the only thing he hadn't thought about was, Wei Ming would actually say this, all right, all right, this neighborhood is indeed vaguely dangerous, it's just that although at the moment it comes to not knowing what this danger is coming from, Wei Ming saw that Sun Fei's emotions were no longer so fearful, only then did he let out a light laugh, at the same time, he raised his hand and patted on Sun Fei's shoulder, after Wei Ming comforted Sun Fei, just as he turned his head, a hint of sternness hung in his eyes, from the beginning when he had just entered this neighborhood, Wei Ming also had already vaguely felt that there seemed to be a dangerous presence in this thick fog. Just now they all came in, and they had been standing here for so long. If there is danger, I'm afraid that they wouldn't be able to stand peacefully. That is to say, although this place gives the feeling that it is very dangerous, but I don't know why. 
This danger has been slow to fall, and after Wei Ming stood in place in silence for a long time, there was an inexplicable restlessness in his heart, and this restlessness guided him in a direction. Wei Ming could not help but frown. Do you guys feel that there seems to be something in this neighborhood that is attracting us? Wei Ming's words fell. Shattered mouth, on the other hand, was instantly alert. It scanned the area in front of it, and only after a long time did it turn its head to look at Wei Ming. Master, I don't feel that there is anything here that is attracting me. It's just that I always feel that this place isn't too peaceful. It feels as if there is an inexplicable danger that is not staring at us. Or rather, they're just waiting for us to appear after we let our guard down. Shattered Mouth's words drew Sun Fei to nod his head as well. The sudden dense fog, coupled with the sudden appearance of the neighborhood, and now the most powerful among them, Wei Ming, had stated again. There seemed to be something in the deepest part of this neighborhood that was attracting them in general. All of this also indicates one thing. It was that this matter was not too simple at all. This place must be extremely bizarre. It was up to them to see if they could bypass this weirdness or not. Master, are we still going to continue deeper? Shattered Mouth turned his head to look at Wei Ming. Wei Ming, on the other hand, nodded slightly. Since we've come all the way here, wouldn't it be a bit inappropriate if we don't go in? It doesn't matter what exactly is here. At least for them, we are all their guests. What kind of guest enters the door and then quickly turns his head and leaves? Wei Ming said, and the corners of his mouth brought on a hint of a smile. He turned his head slightly to look deeper into the neighborhood. Even though both Shattered Mouth and Sun Fei did not feel something calling out. However, Wei Ming felt it clearly. There was only one thought in his own heart that was particularly strong today. That was the desire to get himself into the deepest part of the cell quickly. Then, the thing that attracted him. It was also definitely in the deepest part of the neighborhood. Let's go. Let's continue to walk in and take a look. There might be other discoveries. Wei Ming's words fell, and he quickly walked forward. Seeing this, Shattered Mouth followed slowly. As for Sun Fei, he no longer dared to stay away from Wei Ming now. Little by little, the three ghosts moved towards the depths of the neighborhood. Gradually, they also moved away from the closed gates of the neighborhood. Chapter 56 Low Level Ghost Swarm Wei Ming walked at the front, and he didn't have any fear. Broken Mouth and Sun Fei were following behind him with great vigilance. Soon, they then walked to the residential building. Looking at the building that stood in front of him, Wei Ming slowly raised his head. Only when he raised his head did he realize this. The building in front of him was very high. It wasn't even clear whether there was anything going on upstairs or not. Moreover, the entire building was also devoid of any popularity. As expected, illusions were always illusions. Wei Ming let out a light laugh before he slightly turned his head to look at Shattered Mouth and Sun Fei beside him. We'll be approaching this residential building soon next. I do think that there might be something hidden in this residential building. When we move forward later, we must be 10,000% alert. We must not be ambushed by this mess. Listening to Wei Ming's words, Shattered Mouth and Sun Fei on the side also nodded their heads. We naturally know that. Don't worry, Master. We aren't complete and utter weaklings either. Shattered Mouth spoke very confidently to Wei Ming. Wei Ming then nodded slightly. After looking at the building in front of him again, Wei Ming took a deep breath before he brought the two people behind him towards the front. As expected, the few people hadn't even taken a few steps. In front of them came a burst of roars. Listening to the voices, they should all be stern ghosts. Only they didn't seem to be able to speak. They can only roar. So it seems, it was very likely that this group of ghosts were very low-level ghosts. After realizing this, Wei Ming's face was colored with a layer of relief. His footsteps did not stop at all as he continued to walk forward. Immediately afterward, an endless number of stern ghosts suddenly appeared before his eyes. Shattered Mouth just took one look and sneered. A mere C-rank night ghost. Not enough to look at at all. Shattered Mouth's words had just fallen. Wei Ming had already made his move. The stern ghosts in front of him swooped towards Wei Ming in groups. Wei Ming, on the other hand, didn't even look at them before gently raising his hand and waving it. In the next moment, the group of stern ghosts at the very front had dissipated quite a bit. Master, these stern ghosts are too weak. Let me do it. Shattered Mouth shouted, and in the next moment, he jumped to Wei Ming's side. Wei Ming didn't say anything, but only nodded slightly, and at the same time his Shattered Mouth was destroying these little demons. Wei Ming raised his head and looked ahead. He was very clear that he should be walking to the deepest part of the neighborhood. In other words, they had to go through the nine buildings of the neighborhood, and the very first building had welcomed so many luteous ghosts. Wei Ming had already begun to ponder. If the number of this lie ghosts afterward became more and more numerous, and even more powerful, whether or not he would still be able to cope with it. Only, Wei Ming hadn't figured it out yet. Without realizing it, Shattered Mouth had already eliminated all of the lie ghosts. Master, what are you thinking about? 
On Wei Ming's side, Shattered Mouth was opening his mouth and asking him. Hearing this voice, Wei Ming then turned his head to look at Shattered Mouth with some surprise. All of the lich demons have been annihilated? How did you do it so fast? Wei Ming said, not forgetting to turn his head to look at his side. Sure enough, just now, those incessant countless numbers of severe ghosts, now there was not a single one left. Master, those stern ghosts are merely some low-level stern ghosts. They didn't even touch me. This speed is actually not that fast. Shattered Mouth spoke somewhat helplessly to Wei Ming. Those severe ghosts it had actually wiped out all of them very quickly. It was just that it realized that Wei Ming was thinking about something. That was why it hadn't come over to disturb Wei Ming all this time. However, as time passed by, Wei Ming was still in deep thought. It was only then that Broken Mouth finally couldn't help but come out and speak to Wei Ming. After Shattered Mouth finished speaking, Wei Ming nodded his head. At the same time, he turned his head to look at the several buildings in front of him, without hiding it from you. I do feel that the front of us is definitely still full of danger as well. This is only the first building, and there are definitely many more severe ghosts waiting for us next. Moreover, the abilities and number of these severe ghosts are likely to be more than enough. Wei Ming's face was filled with seriousness. Only Shattered Mouth gave a light laugh. Don't worry master. These night ghosts are simply too low level. That's why there are so many of them. If we were to go further back, and those stern ghosts were of a higher and higher level, there wouldn't be such a large number. Broken Mouth's words were more or less reasonable. Wei Ming was silent for a moment before he finally nodded. Alright, let's continue walking then. As the words fell, Wei Ming walked in the forefront. Broken Mouth and Sun Fei didn't say anything else. They just followed behind him peacefully. Soon, they reached the entrance of the second building. Immediately after that, a ghostly aura erupted in front of them once again. Wei Ming took a step back and turned his head to look at Shattered Mouth beside him. These severe ghosts look weak as well. You should be able to fix them, right? Shattered Mouth did not open his mouth, but only nodded repeatedly. Wei Ming didn't make another move, and just watched as Shattered Mouth charged forward, and the stern ghost that appeared this time. On the other hand, it was a B-ranked night ghost. Only, despite the fact that these severe ghosts were already a level higher than the ones that appeared last time, but in front of them, they were still not enough to look at. The speed with which Shattered Mouth dealt with these ghosts was still very fast. Within a short time, the severe ghosts in front of them had all disappeared. Wei Ming revealed a satisfied expression before he continued to lead Shattered Mouth and Sun Fei forward. Third building, great and nightly ghosts. This time Shattered Mouth obviously didn't handle it as swiftly. After all, they were all a rank. Naturally, they weren't as good as the previous two levels of lie ghosts. Shattered Mouth had to at least run into them this time. Only then was it able to destroy them. Seeing that Shattered Mouth's speed had slowed down, Wei Ming's eyes then slowly fell on Sun Fei's body on the side. Sun Fei realized Wei Ming's eyes. Without a moment's hesitation, he rushed up. Sure enough, after having Sun Fei's help, the two ghosts dealt with the group of stern ghosts even faster. After all the severe ghosts in front of them were eliminated, Broken Mouth and Sun Fei also quickly returned to Wei Ming's side. Let's go. Next building now. Wei Mingji felt that the flicker of restlessness in his heart had already bubbled up again. He then didn't stay too long. He directly walked quickly towards the front. The fourth building. The fifth building. On the other hand, there were S-ranked and SS-ranked nightly ghosts. When dealing with the S-class, Broken Mouth and Sun Fei were obviously still able to fight. But when faced with the SS rank, the two of them, however, also turned their heads to look at Wei Ming behind them. Master, this group of SS ranks are surrounding us at the same time. We won't be able to hold out for long. Hearing Sun Fei's voice, Wei Ming then shook his head helplessly. I gave you guys so many ghost essences, and now you guys can't even beat this group of SS ranks. Although Wei Ming said this, however, a trace of relief flashed through his eyes. After all, they were able to deal with the group of SS rank lich demons on their own. It had already somewhat taken him by surprise, before absorbing the ghost essence. Sun Fei was only an S rank, nowadays, yet he was able to hang on to an S rank as well. Chapter 57, So Powerful? Disbelief. Soon, the S class ghosts in front of him were also helped by Wei Ming. It was removed as quickly as possible. Then immediately after that, it's the sixth building. However, Broken Mouth and Sun Fei beside Wei Ming were a bit tired. They stood in place breathing heavily. Only then did Wei Ming walk over to them. What's wrong you guys this is? It's just a few SS ranked night ghosts in the district. And it made you guys look like this? Wei Ming had a smile on the corner of his mouth as he opened his mouth and spoke to the two ghosts. However, neither of them opened their mouths to Wei Ming and continued to breathe heavily. Wei Ming stared at them for a long time before he felt something was wrong. What's wrong? It was only then that Shattered Mouth barely managed to hold his head up. We're too tired. That group of SS ranks can also mess with our minds. 
It even mobilizes what we fear the most within us, even though we know it's fake, but we are still more or less affected. Listening to Shattered Mouth's words, Wei Ming then nodded slightly. There did seem to be something wrong with those SS rank night ghosts just now, although when he was facing these stern ghosts, didn't notice anything being affected. It was only the broken mouth and Sun Fei beside him. On the contrary, their movements were both much slower. They affected your minds? Thinking for a moment, Wei Ming then sat beside Shattered Mouth and Sun Fei. Not bad, except that we are of a similar level to them. That's why we were affected. It's also likely to be harder to walk if we continue on. Sun Fei said, slightly raising his head to look ahead. Wei Ming let out a light laugh as he spoke without a care in the world. So what? It's impossible for them to be stronger than me. Wei Ming's words were full of confidence. After Sun Fei and Shattered Mouth heard this, they glanced at each other before they helplessly shook their heads. Wei Ming's strength was indeed very strong. However, the next ghost that might come out might be an SS level ghost. It might be an SSS level. If it really was SSS level, they would definitely die without a corpse. Therefore, hesitation appeared on the faces of Shattered Mouth and Sun Fei. Broken Mouth, didn't you say that in the beginning? If it's a high-grade stern ghost, it won't appear in too many numbers either. Then with me here, what are you guys afraid of? Wei Ming had a smile on his face. Broken Mouth and Sun Fei looked at each other before they nodded at Wei Ming. Master, of course we believe in you. It's just that if that stern ghost is hard to deal with when the time comes, we'll have to go first as well. A layer of caution clouded Shattered Mouth's face. It wasn't because Shattered Mouth was too timid. It was just that it was better to go ahead than to fight a ghost that could not be fought at all. It was better for him to go first. Wei Ming didn't refuse either, and he nodded before continuing onward. When he stepped into the sixth building, in the middle of the day, nothing happened. There was even no ghostly aura spreading at all either. What's going on here? Can it be that from the sixth building onwards, there are no more severe ghosts? Wei Ming muttered, while turning his head to look around himself. But even though he scanned around, he did not see anything strange. The broken mouth on the side was also cautiously scanning the surroundings. Only after a long time did Shattered Mouth take two steps forward. Yet, he did not expect it. In the next second, a violent ghostly aura rose up and instantly rushed towards Shattered Mouth. Shattered Mouth hastily retreated a few steps back. Master save me. Shattered Mouth hurriedly opened his mouth and shouted. As for Wei Ming, back in the moment when the ghost Chi appeared, he had already rushed up towards Shattered Mouth in quick steps. When Shattered Mouth opened its mouth, Wei Ming was also already standing behind it. Wei Ming stretched out his hand and directly grabbed the back of Broken Mouth's neck and pulled it back. The Shattered Beak took a few deep breaths, and when they turned their heads, they realized that Sun Fei, who was originally standing behind them, had disappeared. What's going on? Where's Sun Fei? Shattered Mouth said, while Wei Ming instantly raised his guard. Sun Fei was originally behind them. Even Shattered Mouth wasn't far from them. It was only the time it took to take two steps forward, and when they looked back Sun Fei was gone. Wei Ming was instantly alert. Only, there was silence all around. It was as if the ghostly aura just now was all an illusion they had created due to their nervousness. Master, this stern ghost might actually be SSS ranked. Or maybe it's also a peak SSS rank. We can't take this lightly. Shattered Mouth's voice was now mixed with a hint of trembling. Wei Ming let out a light laugh. But despite this, a hint of nervousness flashed through his eyes. There was no movement beside him after a long time. Because Sun Fei had disappeared too quickly and too strangely. Wei Ming did not let go of his broken mouth. So Wei Ming did not let go of the broken mouth. A ghost and a cat slowly moved towards the front. And just at this time, Wei Ming suddenly heard a movement behind him. It seemed like something was rushing towards him in a hurry. Wei Ming hurriedly took a step to the side. Immediately after, a black mass landed in front of Wei Ming's eyes. He fixed his eyes on it. And the black mass on the ground wasn't none other than Sun Fei. Sun Fei. What happened? What captured you? Wei Ming hurriedly opened his mouth and spoke to Sun Fei. Shattered Mouth was also staring at Sun Fei with a nervous face. After Sun Fei fell to the ground, he then did not move for a long time. It was only the moment Wei Ming's words fell that he slowly raised his head to look at Wei Ming. Master, it's a peak SS class. He's stronger than me, but he can't kill me. Sun Fei said as he propped himself up on the ground to make himself stand up. Hearing Sun Fei's words, the Shattered Mouth that was cowering in Wei Ming's arms became even more nervous. The fur on its body exploded in an instant. Wei Ming frowned tightly. As he looked down at Shattered Mouth he also noticed Shattered Mouth's fur blowing up. He somewhat helplessly reached out and stroked Shattered Mouth's back twice before he turned his head to look in the direction where Sun Fei had been thrown out. Whatever you are, or what kind of ghost you are, at least we're all standing in front of you now. You have to come out and meet us, right? Wei Ming's voice was not loud, and it was very flat. Instantly, it was as if the air around them had gone silent. 
A black figure also slowly walked out from the direction Wei Ming was staring at. You guys barged in. Disturbing my rest. Must stay here. That guy's voice was very hoarse, and it was as if he hadn't spoken for a long time. It appeared very stiff. While staring at the black shadow in front of him, Wei Ming let out a light laugh. The ghostly aura on the other party's body wasn't strong. It might indeed be a peak SS rank, but even so, in front of Wei Ming's eyes, it was still completely inadequate. Wei Ming beckoned at the SS rank stern ghost, signaling the stern ghost to come over. The stern ghost obviously hadn't encountered this kind of death seeking. A hint of surprise flashed through his eyes. Only then did it fly towards Wei Ming. The shattered mouth in Wei Ming's arms stared with wide eyes. It was as if it had already smelled the scent of death. Wei Ming, on the other hand, threw it to Sun Fei's body on the side with a fling. You two stay honest. Leave this fellow to me. Before Wei Ming's words fell, he had already rushed forward. Chapter 58 The building without an entrance. The speed of that stern ghost was fast, but Wei Ming's speed was even faster. Wei Ming appeared in front of the stern ghost. He didn't react at all. It was only when Wei Ming's fist landed on him that he finally realized that Wei Ming had appeared beside him. How did you get there so fast? The stern ghost opened his mouth and spoke to Wei Ming, but Wei Ming just sneered. Black Qi instantly erupted around him, and this Black Qi wrapped the stern ghost up. Only then did Wei Ming walk up to him. You can't beat me and you injured my men. How should this matter be settled? A dangerous implication flashed in Wei Ming's eyes. Although that night ghost was very powerful, it was even considered that no one could beat him in the surroundings. But now that he was facing Wei Ming in front of him, he could not help but feel a hint of fear in his heart. What do you want to do? We don't want to stay here either, but we can't get out. You can only keep guarding this place. No matter what happens, you can't leave. A hint of supplication flashed through the eyes of that stern ghost. Wei Ming wasn't speaking as he slowly lowered his head. It was only at the moment he lowered his head. The eyes of the stern ghost landed on Shattered Mouth's body at the side. Shattered Mouth happened to be looking in the direction of the lie ghost and Wei Ming. After staring at each other for a moment, Shattered Mouth's eyes changed. It violently broke free from Sun Fei's arms and was about to pounce towards Wei Ming. Shattered Mouth, what are you doing to go? It's dangerous over there. Sun Fei was startled and hurriedly opened his mouth to shout at Shattered Mouth. Only nowadays, Shattered Mouth couldn't even hear what Sun Fei was saying to himself. But even though Shattered Mouth's movements were no longer under his control, but Sun Fei's words also still gave Wei Ming a wake-up call. He hadn't had any defense against his own back. So even though he knew that the Shattered Mouth was rushing over, he only thought that it was coming to help him. However, he hadn't expected that under Sun Fei's anxiety, Shattered Beak hadn't even made any movements. In that case, it could only mean one thing. That was, the Shattered Mouth nowadays no longer had the ability to be autonomous. Wei Ming shook his head somewhat helplessly. This severe ghost wanted to control Shattered Mouth to attack himself. However, Shattered Mouth's ability was already inferior to his own. Plus, this severe ghost had also lost its ability to attack now. Even when Shattered Mouth hit him, Wei Ming just slowly extended his hand and took control of Shattered Mouth as well. What? It's hard to believe that you're all under my control. You still want to lay your hands on me? You've gone a little too far, haven't you? Or do you think you're powerful? Wei Ming couldn't help but add a lot of mockery in his eyes as he looked at the lie ghost. And the lie ghost didn't expect it either. Shattered Mouth had been controlled by Wei Ming so easily. If the two were to compete, the lie ghost didn't even think that he would be able to easily subdue Shattered Mouth. So it seemed that the Wei Ming in front of him was actually so powerful. Such thoughts instantly popped up in the Li Ghost's mind. And a moment later, he hung his head helplessly. I'm not as powerful as you. I'll just admit defeat. Watching the stern ghost in front of him finally concede, Wei Ming let out a sigh of relief. Despite comparing this guy, Wei Ming didn't feel that he would lose either. But no matter what, it was considered a good thing to have one less fight. Count yourself as knowing the time. Wei Ming's words fell. His hand slightly clenched his fist. In the next moment, the stern ghost instantly dissipated. Only a large ghost spirit was left on the ground. And with just a glance, Wei Ming turned his head to look at Sun Fei. You two make up for it. It's also taken so long to consume all the way here. Wei Ming's words fell. Shattered mouth then broke free from Wei Ming's hands. It took the ghost essence in its mouth and jumped to Sun Fei's side. The two ghosts quickly finished absorbing the ghost essence. Wei Ming watched the two of them recover almost. Only then did he finally let out a sigh of relief. All right, you guys look like you've recovered just fine as well. Let's leave it at that for now. Let's continue onward. Taking a deep breath, Wei Ming then looked towards the seventh building ahead. Sun Fei and Shattered Mouth then quickly stood beside Wei Ming as well. They continued to walk forward. And this time, there were no stirring ghosts emerging from the building. It was just that as they continued to walk forward along the road. Only then did they realize that there was no more road ahead. What's going on? 
Aren't there two more buildings ahead? Why can't we get through? Wei Ming stared at the scene in front of him, before he spoke with a tight frown. Only the broken mouth beside Wei Ming looked at it for a long time then spoke. Master, we're probably going to enter through this building. The seventh building and the eighth building are connected. We'll probably be able to find the way after we go in. If there's no way. Shattered mouth didn't continue on though. But Wei Ming also sort of understood the meaning of shattered mouth's words. He slightly turned his head to look at the building beside him. There was no aura of a malicious ghost within this building. There shouldn't be any malicious ghosts hiding inside. However, if the other party was a severe ghost that was very good at concealing its own aura, then they wouldn't be able to discover it either. Therefore, at this moment, Wei Ming was already somewhat hesitant. He turned his head to look at Shattered Mouth and Sun Fei beside him. Worry also filled his eyes. Master, don't worry. The two of us replenished our energy just now. Not only have we recovered now, we're even stronger than before. We definitely won't drag our feet this time either. Listening to Shattered Mouth's words, Wei Ming then nodded slightly. After all, there was no more road in front of them. If they didn't hurry up and walk in, it was impossible to say that they could only be trapped here as well. If they wanted to move forward, they could only enter the seventh building, even if they didn't know what exactly was waiting for them ahead. If we go in and encounter other more powerful stern ghosts, it will definitely be unfavorable for us. After all, we don't understand the structure within this building. Wei Ming said and looked at Shattered Mouth and Sun Fei beside him. Sun Fei then nodded at Wei Ming. It doesn't matter. Even if there is indeed a severe ghost here, we also believe that you, master, will be able to destroy him. Sun Fei's words were somewhat holding Wei Ming up. Only Wei Ming nodded his head in response. He turned his head slightly to look at the building in front of him. The next moment, he then suddenly noticed a voice in his head. Come on, come on, we've been waiting for you for a long time. The voice appeared far too suddenly. Wei Ming was startled violently and looked up at the building in front of him, but the building was still silent. Broken Mouth and Sun Fei also looked at Wei Ming with puzzled faces. They didn't seem to quite understand why exactly Wei Ming had such a reaction. Wei Ming stared at that building for a long time before. Only then did he finally take a breath. Did you guys hear any sounds just now? The two ghosts were still shaking their heads at Wei Ming. Shattered Mouth also walked over to Wei Ming's side with some worry. Now they had begun to worry. Wasn't it that this environment was just too bizarre? So it had disturbed Wei Ming's mind. However, Wei Ming did not continue to hesitate. That thing that guided him was already so close to him. If he didn't move forward just because he didn't know what was going on inside, it wouldn't be his style. It wasn't his style. After thinking for a moment, he directly spoke. All right, I've decided. Let's enter this building. Find the entrance to the 8th building from within the building. Chapter 59, The Five Heavenly Kings Are Separated. At the same time, China, the side of the Five Heavenly Kings had also been wrapped in a thick fog long ago. The spreading speed of this dense fog was simply too fast. Before they could react, they had already been wrapped in the fog. Only, when the dense fog appeared, it was also mixed with a burst of ghostly aura. Captain, how about we spread out to explore the situation? Chi Ling listened to the voice beside her. She hesitated for a long time but did not speak. Instead, it was Deng Yezhou who slowly spoke up as he stared at the surrounding fog. Captain, I've already looked. This ghostly aura should be emanated by low-level stern ghosts. That means that for now, we don't have to worry. Although this thick fog makes it hard to tell which way to go and has such a large range, but it won't be dangerous after all. Hearing Tang Yezhou's voice, Qi Ling then finally nodded. Since that's the case, let's explore around for a while. No matter what you find out later, remember to come back. I'll be right here waiting for you guys. Qi Ling's face was filled with a serious look. After all, if they stayed here all the time and did nothing, they wouldn't be able to walk out at all either. As he watched the few people around him leave one by one, one direction at a time. Qi Ling also raised his guard. Their figures gradually disappeared in front of Qi Ling's eyes, and it was only after a long time that she finally took a deep breath. As time passed by minute by minute, the surroundings were also terribly quiet. There wasn't even the sound of wind. Even more so, there was no movement of people. After Tang Yezhou left, he walked towards the right side. Only he was keen on the source of the ghostly aura. Not a single stern ghost was spotted along the way, following the thick fog all the way forward. But Tang Yezhou didn't just fail to spot the figure of a stern ghost. He didn't even see any living creatures. The fog seemed to be constantly flowing. The place where the fog broke out clearly had mountains and trees. But now there is nothing in front of him. It was the same in front of the remaining few. I don't know how long it had been. But Qi Ling had gradually become a bit anxious. Not a single member of his own team had returned. All of them seemed to have disappeared. Without a sound. Qi Ling stood for a long time before turning his head in the direction that Tang Yezhou had left. 
Tang Yezhou's detection ability was the most powerful. As long as one could find Tang Yezhou, there was no fear of not being able to find the rest of the team. However, Shi Ling walked in the direction that Tang Yezhou had left for a long time, but she did not see Tang Yezhou's figure. Gradually a hint of nervousness had crept into her heart. It couldn't be that something had happened to several of them? Just as soon as this thought appeared, it was instantly extinguished by Qi Ling. If there really was something going on, it wouldn't be so bad that they didn't make a sound at all. Qi Ling followed the road and continued searching. As for the remaining four people, they were also walking back down the road. A few of them had already discovered it. This dense fog was very strange. It was impossible to tell the direction in the fog, and nothing could be seen. It was as if they were surrounded by a huge empty space. They walked for a long time before they intended to turn around and go back. Just walking. A few people but also realized. It seemed like they could no longer go back. In this dense fog, they had completely lost their sense of direction. And no matter which direction they walked in, the scene in front of them was exactly the same. In this way, the several people would not be able to find the way they came from no matter what. Damn it. I should have known that I would have traveled in a group of two. Now it's good that we can't go back even though we were fine when we came. Gu Tuwa spoke with some helplessness, but now he was also completely out of options. After all, when he looked up in any direction, he only felt very familiar. It was as if no matter what, he couldn't find the previous route. And after Qi Ling had walked a short distance, he also realized this problem. This dense fog was very strange. There was even an effect that would amplify emotions. Originally, no matter what things he faced, Qi Ling felt very calm. At this moment, her heart was actually very irritable. She forcibly suppressed the irritation in her heart and continued walking forward. Just not long, a building suddenly appeared in front of the eyes of several people. This building was exactly the same as the Psychic Bureau's headquarters. Qi Ling stared at the building in front of her, but she instantly froze. In addition to Qi Ling, the building had similarly appeared in front of the four Gu Tua people. Even the Daredevil team that entered the dense fog later, they also similarly saw the building. They weren't in the same place. But the same scene appeared before their eyes. Tang Yezhou stared at the building in front of him, and after pondering for a long time, he still took two steps forward. Rarely was his detection ability the strongest. Standing in front of the building, he did not feel any aura coming out of the building. For a moment, Tang Yezhou only suspected that there couldn't be nothing in the building in front of him. Their five heavenly kings were also still considered relatively strong. So although the few people were staring at the building that suddenly appeared in front of them, however, None of them had panicked. It was just that the death squad was a different story. From the moment they entered this dense fog, they were like Siamese twins. No matter what, they would not leave the person next to them by half a step. This is also a benefit. At least a few people have not been separated. The few people in the death squad were just ordinary people. They did not have the ability of a ghost master. So looking at the building that suddenly appeared in front of them, the few people all panicked and stepped back. What are all doing? We're a death squad. Are you all one and all still afraid of death? The captain of the daredevil team turned his head to look at the few people behind him. His eyes were filled with displeasure. When the several people met the captain's eyes, they swallowed the panic in their hearts and stepped forward again. Captain, this building suddenly appeared. It must not be simple. It might just be an illusion. It might be created by those stern ghosts. Wanting us to go in. Listening to the voices beside him, the daredevil captain shook his head rather helplessly. Do I even need you to say anything about this matter? All be careful. This building is categorically not to be entered. Let's go around from one side. Everyone in the daredevil team bypassed the building and continued to walk ahead. And although the five heavenly kings were not together, but each and every one of them also chose the same way. That is, they did not intend to casually break into the building. It was only that although Tan Yezhou did not enter, yet he did not leave either. He just circled around the building in a circle. Just after looking at it for a long time, he didn't find anything wrong with the building the death squad on the other side. After they left the building's surroundings, after walking not too far, they once again saw this building appear before them. Captain, why is this building popping up again? Didn't we bypass it? A man among the death squad raised his hand and pointed at the building in front of him. His hand trembled. The daredevil leader. On the other hand, sked. Rigor was written all over his face. The captain took a few steps forward and stared at the building for a moment before turning his head to look at the team members behind him. This matter can no longer be controlled by ourselves now. A high probability it is. This dense fog must allow us to enter the building. If we don't go in, we'll never be able to go out as well. In that case, can you understand? Chapter 60 The Directorate Building That Suddenly Appeared In addition to Daredevil's side, Chi Ling had also realized. This building had to be stepped into. It was just that no one knew what exactly existed in this building. 
if there was anything too dangerous in the form of severe ghosts and traps, then the five heavenly kings might all have to be planted here as well. Chi Ling stood in front of the building, and after a long time then he took a deep breath. I also don't know how the few of them are doing now. In front of me is the building of the Psychic Bureau's headquarters. Then if it's also in front of them, maybe we'll meet in the building. Kirito thought so. The next moment, she looked up at the building. Next, without the slightest hesitation, she lifted her leg and walked in. But at this time, among the five heavenly kings, only Chi Ling was also walking towards the building. None of the remaining four stepped in easily. At this moment, Song Qiming had already raised his guard and was wandering around the building. He didn't move away from the building, yet he didn't approach it either. The building in front of him really appeared bizarre. What Song Qiming was best at was only defense. He wasn't good at attacking, so he was naturally unwilling to just barge in without knowing anything. Just after wandering around the fog for a long time, Song Qiming didn't find anything unusual. He simply began to move away from that building. After Song Qiming left that building, only then did he let out a sigh of relief and continued onward, even though he was diving headfirst into the thick fog. In his heart, he was still on guard as well. This entire thick fog, there was also this building that suddenly appeared. No matter what it was, it was full of strangeness. Song Qiming was not willing to die here just like that. So he raised his guard and continued to probe in the thick fog. It was just that he was taken by surprise. He hadn't gone far. A huge, hazy black shadow appeared in front of his eyes once again. When he saw that black shadow, Song Qiming stopped his pace almost instantly. In shock, he turned his head slightly to look behind him, the direction where the building stood just now. But where was there any building in the distance? After Song Qiming was surprised for a split second, he also still walked slowly forward. I'd like to take a look. This fake psychic bureau of yours won't let me leave and is bent on making me go in. What exactly are you trying to do here? Song Qiming spoke in a low voice while also walking towards the building in front of him. He had already realized it. This building had already appeared in front of him. Then it also meant one thing. It was that this building was waiting for him to walk in. Just what else would happen after entering? That Song Qiming didn't know. But after pondering for a long time, Song Qiming also decided to go in. After all, the situation today was already clear. If he didn't enter the door, he would definitely not be able to walk out. Even if it was still unclear what exactly was going on inside. But this dense fog had already given out this building. Then it also meant that they had to enter the door. Song Qiming took one step at a time towards the building. There was no panic in his eyes. Instead, they were just filled with determination and defensiveness. As for Gu Tuo, he had also walked in at the same time that Song Qiming stepped into the building, but Shui Yu on the other side. However, he didn't know what he should do. He had already circled around the building for a long time, and he also tried to walk back the way he came. It was just that no matter how long he walked, he never managed to walk out of this area. Damn it! I don't know what's happening on the captain's side, Shui Yu muttered, even though his eyes fell on the building in front of him, his mind was not here at all, there was no movement whatsoever in the surroundings, Shui Yu didn't even know if it was because something more dangerous was lying in ambush, or was this thick fog just a mere mist, there was no danger around it in the first place, however, under hesitation, Shui Yu also still walked in towards the building in front of him, soon, everyone had already stepped into the building, even though they were not in the same place at the moment, However, they had made the same decision. Chi Ling stood at the entrance of the building, but did not rush in. After all, the situation inside the building was still unknown. If one were to enter too hastily, there was no guarantee that anything would happen. And a more important thing is, if inside this building, if all the people locked up in the building were ghosts, then Chi Ling knew that he might not be the one to do it. Then Chi Ling knew that he might not be able to escape at all. After taking a deep breath, Chi Ling slowly walked towards the building in front of him. Nothing could be seen in the surroundings. If he wanted to know what else existed in the building, one could only walk in. On the other side, Song Qiming had also stood at the entrance of the building at this moment. Although he didn't know what would happen next, but Song Qiming has also unfolded the defense shield. If he really opened the door and countless ghosts rushed out, he thought that his defense would be able to play a role. Song Qiming raised his hand and slowly pushed open the door in front of him. Only the next second, he instantly froze in place. After the door opened, the scene that met his eyes was practically identical to the psychic bureau. Song Qiming grew his mouth, scanning the scene in front of him bit by bit. This was clearly an illusion created by the dense fog. But why was the scene in front of him exactly the same as the Directorate General of Spiritualism? Song Qiming hadn't figured this out yet. He then saw the people who were busily walking around in the hall. Every one of them seemed to be busy with something. Song Qiming froze for a long time. It was only after a long time that he raised his hand and rubbed his eyes. 
Song Qiming then turned his head towards the door behind himself. The scene that appeared behind him was still a thick fog. In an instant, Song Qiming only felt shocked. This thick fog was actually able to create such a scene. This degree of simulation. If the dense fog behind him was ignored, it was simply the same as the psychic bureau. Song Qiming swallowed his saliva and stood in the doorway for a long time without making any movements. In front of the others, it was naturally the same situation. Qi Ling stared at the scene in front of her with a confused expression. This group of people was simply too bizarre, although each and every one of them seemed to be busy, yet there was an inexplicable sense of incongruity. Qi Ling did not make any noise. She simply stood in the doorway and stared at everyone in front of her. Soon, she realized that there was something wrong with this group of people. Every single one of them was busy though. They were walking around as if they had a lot of trouble on their hands. However, if one looked closely, one would realize that their walking routes were consistent, with hardly any changes, and each of their faces was filled with a stiff look. It was as if they were just puppets, or rather, puppets that were being manipulated. Only after staring at them for a long time did Chi Ling slowly take a step forward. It was just that the group of employees didn't even look over. It was as if they didn't realize that an outsider had suddenly appeared in front of them. On the other side, Tang Yezho had also stepped into the building. While he stared at the employees in front of him who were concentrating on their work, he took a deep breath. Tang Yezho had already realized there was a ghostly aura present in the bodies of this group of people. But fortunately, the ghost aura was not strong. Chapter 61 A Nightly Ghost That Is Like a Puppet? Although Qi Ling on the other side did not have such strong sensory abilities as Tang Yezho, but after she took a few steps forward, she also realized that a strange energy was filling the surroundings. This kind of energy did not look like ordinary ghost chi, or spiritual energy. It was just that the five heavenly kings were all alone nowadays. It was also categorically impossible to rush forward. In case something happens, it would be more trouble than it's worth. The five heavenly kings had already realized the problem one after another, and they were also very clear that they absolutely could not advance too hastily. It was best not to disturb the work of this group of employees either. Otherwise, it could not be said that it would attract the attention of all of them. After all, Although they had entered an area that was exactly the same as the Psychic Bureau's headquarters building, but all of them were even more clear in their hearts. Now they were in the fog. It was even more impossible for them to appear in the Psychic Bureau headquarters. Besides, the Psychic Bureau headquarters building wasn't something that could be directly moved here by them. Therefore, everything is an illusion. It was all just a trap for the ghosts. The only thing they didn't understand was, why was it so realistic when it was clearly an illusion? It was as if they had really stepped into a psychic bureau. Chi Ling walked slowly to the front of a table. She had been very careful and did not make any noise. At this moment, she had finally managed to stand on the edge of the table. After gently letting out a sigh of relief, she then looked down at the things on the table. After all, this was really too similar to the psychic bureau. Chi Ling had to wonder if it was hard to believe that no matter what the details were, this thick fog had been made one to one. It was only when Chi Ling looked down that a hint of surprise flashed through her eyes. The scene in front of her was simply not at all the same as what she had thought earlier. She originally thought that the things placed on the desktop were all the same documents as the psychic bureau as well. But it was only after getting closer that Chi Ling realized, the desktop seemed to have a lot of documents on it. But all of them were white papers. Not a single word at all. Chi Ling frowned and turned his head to look at the group in front of him. It was just that they were still hurrying around according to their routes. Even if Chi Ling reached out and moved all the papers on the desktop aside. After that employee came over. Yet it also continued to walk over according to where the documents had been placed before. The employee reached out and grabbed a handful on the desktop, then turned his head and left. Only then did Chi Ling make sure of it. None of these so-called employees had a sense of autonomy. It was also more likely that they were so harmless looking because they weren't provoking them right now. Only, Chi Ling wasn't going to try to provoke them either. She walked slowly towards the wall. These employees were walking back and forth in the hall. If one wanted to leave the hall to go to the second floor, the wisest path would be to rub past the wall on one side. Therefore, Chi Ling was currently just going to approach the corner of the wall and subsequently walk against the wall towards the stairs on the second floor. The remaining four heavenly kings had now gradually realized that something was wrong with these employees. None of them had made any noise. But even though the five heavenly kings realized that this group of employees was unusual, it was just that the daredevil team had no idea. They only felt that this group of people were weird. That was why they then wanted to leave this place at a rapid pace. Only. The daredevil's captain walked towards the office in the hall. Captain, what are you doing going? The daredevil team members lowered their voices and asked the daredevil team captain. Only that captain then turned his head and laughed softly at the person beside him. It doesn't matter if this place is real or not. Let's go check out the office and we'll know what kind of situation it really is. Their voices were all lowered. 
so these employees did not hear them. They were still moving mechanically, in an assembly line-like route. After a long time several people also managed to touch the office on the first floor. After the daredevil captain raised his hand and opened the door. Only then did he stick his head out to take a look. Only that there was no one within this office. Only after scanning around did he turn his head with the intention of leaving. But it was at this time. A team member behind him had not come out. The captain closed the door accidentally shutting that team member in. That team member then subconsciously cursed. It was just that what everyone didn't expect was. Those employees suddenly stopped what they were doing. They turned their heads to look in their direction one after another. A cold glint also flashed in their eyes. The moment he realized that this group of people were looking towards them. The captain had instantly felt bad. It's over. It's over. This group of ghostly things must have already discovered us. That captain had said while hastily retreating backward. Now they were already deep into the hall. This group of employees was again staring at them intently. Almost without the slightest hesitation. The daredevil captain immediately took a step backward. Quickly closed the door. Let's not go out yet. The captain's words fell. And only then did this group of people hastily close the door. Only. Even so. It was already too late. After this group of people realized that outsiders had already appeared in this hall. They then quickly rushed towards daredevil. Shut the door shut the door. Close the door first. Captain. These don't seem to be just ordinary people. They seem to be stern ghosts. Captain. We're just ordinary people. Can we beat them? The voices beside them came one after another. There was also a hint of panic on the daredevil captain's face. Alright, all of you stop arguing. So what if it's a severe ghost? Don't we have the gadgets given by the psychic bureau? Normal weapons can't harm these night ghosts. But we have a secret weapon. The daredevil captain said. And took out a long sword. Against this group of stern ghosts. They naturally couldn't use an unusual weapon. That was why they took out this long sword. The group of employees in front of them instantly tore off the mask of being like no one else just now. One by one. They hissed and rushed up at the daredevil's people. Each of the daredevil's people held a sword in their hands. The door to the office in front of them was only open a small gap. When a night ghost came they slashed one. Although the time it took was long. It was just enough to face these low grade night ghosts. There was no telling how long it would take. The few people in the death squad only felt their arms were sore and swollen. It was only then that the severe ghosts in front of them finally disappeared completely. Captain. Next time let's never make a noise. To be honest. I just feel that it's very dangerous. After the severe ghosts in front of them finally disappeared. Only then did someone behind them open their mouth and speak to the daredevil captain. The captain wasn't speaking and just nodded. And at the same time. Each of the five heavenly kings was very cautious. After all. They had dealt with the night ghosts a lot. Nowadays. They were all considered to be more cautious as well. None of them made a single movement. Despite not being in the same space. However. The five heavenly kings all slowly reached the stairs on the second floor as well. Chi Ling looked at the stairs in front of her and let out a soft sigh of relief. But the moment she had just taken a step onto the stairs, she suddenly felt as if countless lines of sight landed on her body behind her. Chapter 62 Nightly Ghost Swarm Attack Chi Ling turned her head slightly to look behind her. The group of employees had all stopped what they were doing, regardless of what they were doing at the moment. Yet they all turned their heads to look at Chi Ling one after another. In the next moment, Ghost Chi erupted around those employees. Only, the ghost aura around them was not strong. It was only after scanning the area that Chi Ling confirmed. This group of severe ghosts were only C-class severe ghosts. At most, there were a few B-rank ghosts mixed in. This was not enough to justify it. Only after sending out a breath did Chi Ling turn around to face the severe ghosts in front of him. And at the same time, Gu Tua had also been surrounded by the ghosts. Only Gu Tua was not the slightest bit frightened. Even more so, he didn't panic. He chose not to go up the stairs anymore when he realized that the group of severe ghosts were all staring at him. He actually walked towards the group of stern ghosts. Gu Tua had a lollipop in his mouth that he didn't know where he found. After he walked in front of the stern ghosts, he then sneered. Such a lowly stern ghost, can't you still want to stop me? As Gu Tuo's words fell, a hissing sound erupted from the stern ghost. Only then did Gu Tua frown as his hands instantly flashed with spiritual energy. Immediately afterward, he slapped his palm on the head of the nearest stern ghost. Shut up, what's all the noise for? As Gu Tuo's palm fell. The roaring stern ghost from earlier had disappeared. Gu Tua then turned his head to look at the rest of the stern ghosts on the side. Although he didn't know why these stern ghosts hadn't rushed up yet. But Gu Tua had also taken a few steps back. Just as he was standing at the entrance of the stairs. It was only then that the stern ghosts in this hall rushed towards Gu Tua once again. So you guys are unwilling to let me go upstairs. A trace of coldness flashed in Gu Tua's eyes. He pulled out a dagger from his waist and directly rushed up towards the group of ghosts. That group of malicious ghosts didn't have the intelligence to act on their own. Naturally, 
They ran towards Gu Tuo one by one, facing these low-level ghosts. Gu Tuo was naturally under no pressure, without any effort. All of these severe ghosts were eliminated by Gu Tuo. After Gu Tuo took a deep breath, he then sat down on a stool to the side. Little fellow, you group of low-level stern ghosts still want to harm me? He turned his head to look at the stairs on the second floor. Although he didn't know what else he would face after going up to the second floor, it was just clear to him that he must keep his best condition to go up. That way, no matter what he encountered, he would be in time to deal with it. In addition to Gu Tuwa and Shi Ling, Shui Yu and Song Qiming had also reached the stairway of the second floor. It was as if the group of stern ghosts were programmed to do so. As long as someone stepped into the stairway of the second floor, they quickly stopped what they were doing and turned their heads to rush up towards them. It was only that both of them had also already completely resolved this group of stern ghosts. On the contrary, it was Tang Yezhou. He had realized that this group of stern ghosts was not right from the moment he entered the door. So he didn't rush to the second floor. He had been observing the group of ghosts in the hall. Gradually, he also realized that although this group of ghosts looked very disorganized. However, if he analyzed them carefully, he would find that the routes that each of the ghosts took seemed to have been arranged. Despite their large numbers, they were able to never touch their own kind beside them. And Tang Yezhou had been standing in the hall for so long. But it was as if the group of ghosts could not see themselves at all. After a long time of silence, Tang Yezhou's eyes turned to look at the stairway on the second floor. He had basically finished looking at the layout of the entire first floor. Even those blank documents, Tang Yezhou already had a new idea. He felt that the reason why these documents were on the desktop and the reason why they were blank. There were only two reasons. One reason was that this building had originally existed in his memory. It was only because they, as heavenly kings, pressed not to appear in the psychic bureau much. So these documents that existed in the psychic bureau did not have his own memories. So they were also naturally blank papers. And the other possibility is, this person who forged the building or the night ghost. He also does not know what should be written on these documents. Furthermore, the guy behind it should not have thought that someone would have the guts to walk up and take a look at what it was. In such a weird situation, if someone who didn't know anything broke in, they would definitely die here. Much less would anyone have the chance to explore the secrets here. Tang Yezhou let out a light laugh as he reached out and took the documents that were laid out on the desktop before he walked in the direction of the second floor. And just the moment he stepped onto the stairs, the stern ghost behind him also quickly moved. Only this time, the stern ghosts were different from the other stern ghost groups. Previously, no matter if it was the daredevil team, or the swarm of stern ghosts that Qi Ling and Gu Tua had faced, they all had a period of silence before launching their attacks. However, the group of ghosts in front of Tang Yezhou instantly pounced towards Tang Yezhou. This was thanks to the fact that Tang Yezhou had already raised his guard. So the instant he realized that there was something behind him rushing towards him, he immediately threw out the paper in his hand with spiritual energy. Even though Tang Yezhou's strength was not comparable to the other heavenly kings, but he was also, after all, an S-class ghost master. After the paper in his hand flew out, it directly extinguished the nearest few stern ghosts. And then Tang Yezhou turned his head to look at the ghosts rushing up immediately behind him. He let out a cold smile and did not even take out his weapon. Tang Yezhou's hands were clenched into fists. One by one, they smashed towards the group of ghosts. Soon enough, the group of severe ghosts had been wiped out. After the ghosts in front of several people had been eliminated, several people also stepped onto the stairs to the second floor. Only this time, the five heavenly kings were obviously much more relaxed. After all, this first floor's severe ghosts were nothing more than that, but the daredevils were different. All of you remember, we absolutely cannot make any noise. If there are still these ghosts on the second floor, there's no guarantee at all that we'll make it out this time either. What to do and what to say. You should all have a number in your own hearts. The leader of the death squad was staring at the people beside him with a serious face as he spoke. The rest of the team members, on the other hand, were nodding their heads in succession. They certainly didn't dare to casually make any more noise. After all, this lesson had already made it so that they could barely lift their arms. A few people eased up shortly after, before they turned their heads towards the stairs to the side. It was just that the few people from the daredevil team had already eliminated all of the lich ghosts in the first place. So even if they stepped onto the stairs, it was simply impossible for any more of the lil ghosts to pop up. As they walked up the stairs one floor at a time, the fire door appeared in front of them. Several people's eyes were all colored with a layer of joy. But as the captain walked forward, after he reached out and pushed open the fire door, he directly froze in place. The few people behind him were a bit puzzled, and they also hurriedly probed forward to look at it. Almost instantly, everyone froze, only to see that after pushing open the door in front of them, on the face of it, they saw an employee. That employee was also pinching a cigarette in his hand. 
It looked like it was going to come to the stairwell to smoke. If it was discovered by this employee, what would happen next? No one knows. And on the side of the five heavenly kings, it was also the same. Chapter 63 Quiet through the floor. Upon seeing that employee, everyone in the daredevil team only felt like their blood was about to freeze. Those severe ghosts on the first floor were already so powerful. If the ghosts on the second floor were even stronger, then all of them would have no chance of winning. Fortunately, the leader of the death squad was the first to react. Finish him off. He lowered his voice and spoke to the team members beside him. Before the words fell, he had already rushed forward. The captain was a captain after all, and his movements were very swift. Several team members watched as the captain had already rushed forward to subdue the employee. Only then did they rush forward one after another. Captain, I'll do it. The team member at the very back took out a small knife, which then wiped it on the employee's neck. That employee's calmness from the very beginning to his rising anger took less than three seconds in total. Only the speed of the daredevil team and the others was even faster. They had already killed the employee before he could even react. And after all, he was only a stern ghost all along. After being killed, he slowly dissipated into black mist. Even the cigarette in his hand fell to the ground. After several people killed the ghost, none of them took the next step. They were silent and all of them did not move at all. The daredevil captain turned his head to look out of the fire door, and it was only after a long while that he finally let out a sigh of relief. It seemed that what they had done here had not attracted anyone's attention. The entire second floor was still quiet, without any abnormalities. Apart from the daredevil side, the same was true on the side of the remaining five heavenly kings. Shi Ling had rushed up the moment he saw that employee. The district was just a single fallen, low-grade lich demon. Naturally, it couldn't withstand an S-class Ghostmaster. Soon the ghost had instantly disappeared into thin air as well. The other four heavenly kings encountered this scene. They also subconsciously made a move, not letting the ghost make any sound at all. After the five heavenly kings finished eliminating the ghost, they also acted like a death squad. All of them did not make any noise and just waited quietly. After an unknown amount of time, the five heavenly kings also realized this second floor hadn't made any noise. They had also not attracted the severe ghosts on the second floor. The death squad on the other side had slowly pushed open the fire door towards the front at this moment. They didn't know what the original layout of the psychic bureau was like. So behind them there was someone who had issued a question. Captain, we aren't even from the psychic bureau either. If there's something wrong here, can't we also not see it at all? Hearing the voice behind him, the captain then hurriedly turned his head to look at the person behind him who was speaking. He gestured to the other party not to speak so loudly. It was considered lucky for them to have been able to resolve that one stern ghost just now. If they were unlucky this time, and spoke too loudly, they would have attracted that group of ghosts, then all of them would have to die here. That team member looked at the tension on the captain's face, and only then did he hastily shut his mouth. Even if it's not someone from the psychic bureau, we don't need to care, just be careful not to provoke that group of severe ghosts. The captain lowered his voice and spoke to the few people beside him. They had already come together in a circle, and the voice they spoke in was naturally very low, which naturally wouldn't be transmitted out. The few people of the daredevil team slowly walked towards the second floor hall, and the five heavenly kings were also walking through the fire door at this moment. The five heavenly kings were different from daredevil. They stood at the entrance of the second floor hall, but they did not move for a long time. All of them were gazing at what was in front of them in silence. They were all observing the scene in front of them. More than anything, they needed to know if this place was exactly the same as the psychic bureau or not. And for that, Tang Yezhou was even more cautious. He stared at the scene in front of him for a long time. This entire second floor was also not unlike the scene in the psychic bureau. It seemed that the guy behind this had really spent a great deal of effort as well. Surprisingly, he was able to build these exactly like the psychic bureau. Only after a long time did this time Yezhou slowly walk towards the front. This time he was more careful. Yet, he also still walked towards the table on the side. The things on this desktop were different from those on the first floor. The documents on the top were all written. It was only after Tang Yezhou carefully picked up the documents on the desktop, he then realized that even though there was a font on it, he couldn't read it. It simply looked like something that had been drawn haphazardly. After staring at the document for a long time, Tang Yezhou slowly put down the document in his hand. He took a deep breath before turning his head towards the stairs leading to the third floor. At the same time, Shi Ling had also successfully stepped into the second floor hall. Only what was different between her and Tang Yezhou, or even from Daredevil, was that. She did not directly walk towards the stairs leading from the second floor to the third floor. Nor did she go for the documents on the side. She walked straight towards a lounge on the second floor. Previously, when she was in the psychic bureau, Chi Ling would sometimes go to the second floor lounge to stay. The reason why she didn't stay upstairs was because for the psychic bureau, the higher up you go, 
the more serious everyone becomes. So Chi Ling didn't really like that atmosphere. Just after arriving at the door of the lounge, Chi Ling didn't push the door open. She just stood at the door of the lounge and looked in. The door wasn't closed tightly, but rather, it was open with a small gap. After staring at the door in front of her for a long time, Chi Ling was finally relieved. There was no one inside this lounge. Chi Ling was afraid that he would see a ghost that looked exactly like himself in this place. It seemed that she had overthought things. Chi Ling gently turned her body and walked towards the second floor staircase on the side. The lesson from the previous floor made her realize she shouldn't make any noise, even the sound of going up the stairs. Maybe this would make the group of stern ghosts not notice them at all. While Chi Ling was slowly walking towards the stairway, the Daredevil team and the remaining four heavenly kings, they had also managed to move to the stairway. Only this time, everyone was even more cautious than last time. Each and every one of them moved as if in slow motion. Bit by bit, they moved towards the front, fearing that the sound they accidentally made would make this group of stern ghosts notice them. Only those few heavenly kings were completely different from them. Their movements were obviously much more natural. Even though they were also all slowly moving forward one by one, they were not too cautious at all. After all, for them, even if this group of stern ghosts rushed up, they could easily solve them. The reason why they didn't want to provoke them was simply because several people wanted to save their strength. Only, Chi Ling on the other side wasn't as cautious as them. Chi Ling's heart was still wondering if he would actually meet that stern ghost that was very similar to himself. Maybe that stern ghost would also come down from upstairs and head towards the restroom. Chi Ling thought as she moved towards the stairway. But just as she was standing at the stairway, she slightly raised her head. And in the next moment her pupils suddenly shrunk. End of chapter. Chapter 64. Discovering the figure of a teammate. Chi Ling looked up and saw a person slowly descending the stairs. With just one glance, Chi Ling could tell that it was simply a stern ghost. Even though she didn't have much ghost chi. In the eyes of an S-class ghost master like Chi Ling, she was naturally able to easily distinguish the difference between a ghost and a human. The moment she saw the ghost, Chi Ling wanted to see its face clearly. If it really looked exactly like herself, wouldn't it be even more dangerous? If the stern ghost upstairs looked exactly like those members of his own team, could he actually succeed in exterminating them? Chi Ling's mind instantly thought of such a possibility. Only after a long time did she take a deep breath. The stern ghost on that staircase had also come down. Chi Ling didn't intend to startle the snake. She slowly moved aside. Her movements were so light that she didn't make any noise at all. The ghost didn't notice Chi Ling either, but continued to walk down slowly. Immediately afterward, Chi Ling saw that the ghost slowly walked towards the direction of the second floor lounge. Seeing this scene, Chi Ling's brows instantly furrowed. At the same time, she couldn't help but think in her heart that it turned out that this forged psychic bureau. Surprisingly, it was also exactly the same as the psychic bureau in reality. Except for the difference between the stern ghosts and the employees of the psychic bureau. Other than that, it was quite different. After standing at the stairway and pondering for a long time, Chi Ling then turned his head towards the stairs. Soon, Chi Ling managed to reach the third floor just like everyone else. It was only that there were far fewer ghosts on the third floor, and most of the ghosts were sitting. They were staring at the computer in front of them, and other than that, nothing was moving. The daredevils were still heading towards the stairway on one side. They didn't hesitate and had no intention of messing with the group of night ghosts at all. As for the five heavenly kings, after arriving on the third floor, they looked at the group of sitting nightly ghosts, and all of them obviously breathed a sigh of relief. Now this scene, wasn't it also just the right proof? What kind of arrangement the psychic bureau was? What kind of arrangement this place was? It was the same as the first two levels. Among the five heavenly kings, other than Tang Yezhou, the other four were still walking towards the stairway. They weren't curious about the ghosts at all. To this building that looked exactly like the director of psychics, they didn't even have a good feeling about it at all. But Deng Yezho was different. He walked towards the computer closest to him. These severe ghosts were all staring at the computer without moving a muscle. Tang Yezho was curious as to what was on this computer. Only after taking a look did Tang Yezho retract his eyes with a face full of helplessness. These computers were not turned on at all. What the ghosts were staring at was nothing more than a pitch black computer screen. After shaking his head somewhat helplessly, Tang Yezhou turned his head towards the stairway. Since there was nothing special about this third floor, there was no reason to stay here. Soon enough, the third floor had been passed by all of them. It was only after reaching the fourth floor that the crowd froze in place. The fourth floor was filled with a lot of severe ghosts. And, every single one of them was staring at a large screen in the fourth floor hall. What was displayed on that large screen was precisely the area that each of them was in. It was only then that they finally realized. It turned out that everyone had already entered the building. And what they were in was not just a space. Daredevil took one look and it became clear that the group of people in the other screens were the ones they were looking for. 
Without hesitation, they continued towards the stairs leading to the fifth floor. Only this time, it was clearly not so smooth. They first realized that the stairway had been blocked by the lich ghosts. If they wanted to walk through the stairway, there was no other way. Looking at the appearance of this group of severe ghosts, they wouldn't even leave of their own accord. But if they wanted to find a way to lure these ghosts away, it didn't seem to be a simple matter. After a long time, several people were just standing at the stairway of the fourth floor, not making any movements for a long time. As for the other side, Chi Ling had already discovered the figures of her team members from it. She was also clear that everyone was now fighting against this group of severe ghosts. It was just that no one knew what exactly would happen next. After taking a deep breath, Chi Ling then turned her head towards the stairway. Only this time, the stairway entrance was in the same situation as what Daredevil and the others had encountered. Many stern ghosts were standing at the stairway entrance. They all had their heads raised to stare at the large screen in front of them. And other than that, there was no movement. Chi Ling didn't hesitate too much as she stood at the stairway on the fourth floor, but instead directly greeted them. She had already seen the severe ghosts on this floor. The most powerful ones were only rank A. Most of the rest were level B. So for Chi Ling, all of these ghosts were nothing more than that. Even if they rushed up together, they would only be a bit more troublesome to solve. But they wouldn't cause any harm to Chi Ling at all. Chi Ling deliberately didn't suppress his movements, and his footsteps flew towards the group of ghosts. And it was as if the group of severe ghosts had instantly heard some kind of order. They simultaneously turned their heads to stare in Chi Ling's direction. This neat and tidy appearance rather made Chi Ling only feel a little cold behind her back. It was just that it was too late for regrets. Those severe ghosts had already rushed towards Chi Ling. Chi Ling did not hesitate to attack them. As for the other four heavenly kings, they were the same. Facing this group of low-level ghosts, they weren't afraid in the slightest. But the Daredevil squad was different. They were originally a group of ordinary people. Being able to pass through so many of the severe ghosts to reach this floor today was already their limit. Although they were unable to determine exactly what level the group of lie ghosts in front of them were. However, the one thing they were clear about was this. If this group of severe ghosts really attacked them, they might have to fight with all their might again. Captain, what should we do? This time, the daredevil team was clearly a lot more careful. Even the communication had been changed to writing to each other. Looking at the words in front of him, the daredevil captain frowned slightly. A bold idea suddenly came to his mind. Only, he was not sure if it could actually be realized. If they are relying on sound to launch their attacks, then we can instead deliberately create some sound. After luring them to rush in that direction, the stairways will definitely all give way. That way, we can charge straight up. The daredevil captain wrote down a few lines before giving them to the team members beside him to look at. After a few people read it, a trace of surprise also flashed in their eyes. The method is feasible. But captain how do you want to do it? The daredevil captain took a deep breath before he turned his head to look at the corner furthest away from the stairway. The next moment, he took out his walkie-talkie. He then used all his strength and threw the walkie-talkie directly over. That walkie-talkie was a military item. And the quality of it was naturally nothing to speak of. The walkie-talkie fell to the ground with a bang. The entire hall was very quiet. And this sound naturally attracted the attention of all the severe ghosts. Chapter 65 The team met. And the lie ghosts rioted. The severe ghosts turned their heads towards the corner. However, they didn't make their next move. A bead of sweat had also seeped out from the corner of the daredevil team leader's forehead as he turned his head and took the walkie-talkie of the team member beside him. He then wrote down a line and shoved it to the team member beside him before leaving with quick steps. Several people gathered around looking at the note in their hands. Their captain said that he was going to use the walkie-talkie to lure away the ghosts. But he didn't guarantee the success rate of this matter. So, no matter if this plan would work or not. He had to keep his team members far away from him. It was only then that he could be more at ease with these things. Those few team members moved towards the position of the stairway again, before they all looked up at their captain. It was only after seeing the daredevil team leader standing in a corner that he picked up the walkie-talkie. He then spoke into the walkie-talkie. Those lich ghosts then instantly rushed over in the direction of the walkie-talkie in the corner. The captain's voice was not loud, but the voice of the walkie-talkie thrown in the corner was turned up to the maximum. Soon. All the ghosts at the stairway had gone down. Seeing this, everyone in the daredevil team then rushed towards the front. The leader of the daredevil team was also talking into the intercom while moving towards the stairway. Soon, several people had all stepped onto the stairs. It was just that the group of stern ghosts had still not realized that what they had in front of them was actually just a walkie-talkie at all. Several people were about to step into the fifth floor immediately. The intercom on the fourth floor suddenly stopped moving. Only then did the daredevil captain rush to shut up. They all understood that the intercom should have already been shredded by this group of severe ghosts. Next, they had to make sure that not a single sound could be made. 
After the group of ghosts realized that there was no movement, they slowly began to move back. The few people from the death squad slowly moved towards the upper floors while turning their heads to look at the group of ghosts behind them. Soon, they finally reached the entrance of the fifth floor. Without hesitation, the few people pushed open the door and stepped onto the fifth floor. And at the same time, the five heavenly kings on the other side had all managed to reach the fifth floor as well. They pushed open the fire doors of the fifth floor one after another. And the next moment, a layer of white light flashed before everyone's eyes. This white light was very blinding, and a few people were instantly unable to open their eyes. As the white light slowly disappeared, several people opened their eyes. Only the next moment, they were startled by the people who suddenly appeared beside them. The five heavenly kings, including the daredevil team, gathered on the fifth floor. We've finally made our turn. This journey has been very arduous. Shuiyu on the side was so excited that he was on the verge of crying. It was only when he had just finished his words that another beam of blinding white light flashed behind him. The group of stern ghosts on the fifth floor instantly stood densely in the hall. It was only then that the few people realized, because they had suddenly seen each other. These stern ghosts had also become six in one. Oh no, this is even harder. The daredevil then spoke up instantly. Chi Ling turned her head to look at them, a hint of blame flashing in her eyes. It was just that before her words could be uttered, the group of stern ghosts had already been attracted over by daredevil's voice. In an instant, the group of stern ghosts hissed and then rushed towards them. Crap, it's all your fault. Why are you still yelling and screaming? Deng Yezhou was so startled that he was close to jumping straight up. He hurriedly turned his head to look at the group behind him. His eyes also filled with blame. It was just that now. The words of those people from the daredevil team had also been spoken. The severe ghosts had also been lured over. And it was already too late now no matter what was said. Everyone, get ready. It's not easy to deal with this group of ghosts. All of us, we have to be on our toes. The five heavenly kings were also considered to have seen many storms. Nowadays, this group of stern ghost swarms, although it looked like there were a lot of them, it was just that none of them were strong enough. In other words, it was only that the fight was a bit time consuming, and somewhat physically exhausting. Other than that, there wasn't really any other drawbacks. You guys, outsiders, trespass, destroy. One of the stern ghosts standing in the group of stern ghosts stared at Chi Ling's group. Only then did it hiss and shout at them. In the next moment, the group of stern ghosts burst out their ghost chi towards Song Chiming, who was the closest to them. Song Chiming, on the contrary, instantly turned on his protection, and those stern ghosts couldn't touch them at all for a while. Let's see if this fire door can be opened first. It's not that these severe ghosts can't be defeated, it's just that if we really finish the fight, it's likely that we won't have the stamina left. All the way over, I've already observed it as well. The higher up we go, the stronger the stern ghost becomes. This is similar to the Psychic Bureau. So after going up, it's very likely that we'll encounter even more dangerous stern ghosts. It's best for us to save our strength, or else we'll most likely fold here afterward. Shi Ling turned his head to look at the Death Squad members behind him, before he spoke at them with a serious face. That Daredevil team member was also startled just now. That was why they made such a big commotion. Now they had also slowed down. Hearing these words from Chi Ling, they also nodded their heads. Then two of them rushed towards the fire door behind them. It was just that the fire door behind them had been closed at some point. Crap, quickly see if this door can be opened. The leader of the daredevil team immediately immediately rushed to the front of the fire door with quick steps. Several people pulled on the fire door trying to open it. It was just that the door was somehow as if it was welded shut. No matter how much strength they used. And even several people came up. They were unable to open it. Seeing several people's veins rippling, this door didn't even move. Chi Ling had also seen something unusual. She slightly turned her head to look at the group of stern ghosts behind her that were poised to strike, and only then did she sigh somewhat helplessly. All right, this fire door should be completely unopenable by the looks of it. I'll forget about how that door is for now. I'll come back. As Chi Ling's words fell, several people then turned their heads and walked behind Chi Ling. If this fire door can't be opened, then the other party's meaning is already obvious as well. Either to trap us to death here, either that or exhaust us. There's always one to choose. What are you going to choose? Chi Ling didn't ask the five great heavenly kings. Instead, he turned his head to look at the daredevil team. A few people from the daredevil team also spoke quickly. We're originally the daredevil team, so it's not like we're very afraid of death. It's just that if we just spend our lives here, it would inevitably be really humiliating. Right, so we feel that it's better to just charge up, no matter what the final result is. At the very least we'll kill a few and earn a few. Hearing the words of these few daredevil members, Shi Ling's face then revealed a trace of appreciation. This group of ordinary people could have such thoughts. In her opinion, it was already enough. Since this is the case, 
We won't be able to avoid a vicious battle today. As Qi Ling's words fell, everyone turned their heads to look at the group of stern ghosts in front of them. Isn't it just a group of low-level Lai ghosts? Just kill them directly. Chapter 66 Crossing the Seventh Building The five heavenly kings and the daredevil squad were confronting this group of Li ghosts. On the other side was Wei Ming. At this moment, he had also managed to enter the seventh residential building. Just, just after stepping into the building, Wei Ming instantly realized a familiar feeling. This feeling came too suddenly. Wei Ming couldn't help but stop his steps. He turned his head to examine the surroundings beside him. Only after a moment did he turn his head to look at Shattered Mouth and Sun Fei, who were at the side. Do you guys have any feeling? There seems to be some kind of familiar feeling in this building. This feeling is very strange. It's as if we've been here many times before. Wei Ming frowned tightly as he looked at the two ghosts beside him. Sun Fei shook his head instead. He had never felt any sensation since he entered this place. If one had to say, it would be to feel an inexplicable fear of this place. But if he really had to say it, Sun Fei couldn't come up with a reason. After all, most of the ghosts in this place are very weak. Even if there were powerful ones, they were only a few in the area. And with Sun Fei shaking his head, Wei Ming's line of sight then fell on Shattered Mouth once again. The Shattered Mouth was a bit surprised as it looked up at Wei Ming just in time to meet his eyes. That, Master Ah, is there a possibility because, this place looks exactly like that small district we stayed in when we were in China. Even those very detailed things are built one to one. That's why you feel very familiar. Master, listening to these words from Shattered Mouth, Wei Ming instead nodded gently. Have to admit it. Your words are quite reasonable as well. With that said, Wei Ming let out a light laugh before turning his head to look at the scene in front of him. After Shattered Mouth had reminded him of this, he then realized, the scene in front of him was actually exactly the same as the neighborhood he was in. How could it be so similar? As for Sun Fei who was on the side, he also suddenly realized, he took two steps forward and then stood beside Wei Ming. Yes master, this place is indeed similar to our neighborhood. That being said, I've been living in the neighborhood for so long, yet I only realized it at this time. Listening to Sun Fei's words, Wei Ming's face didn't have any change in color. He only frowned slightly. Only after a long time did he turn his head to look at Shattered Mouth and Sun Fei beside him. All right, all don't continue to stay here. Even if this place is so similar to our previous neighborhood, what can it be? Like is like. We just know in our hearts that this place is an imitation. Let's go. Let's go up and see how this place leads to the 8th building. With that, Wei Ming quickly walked towards the front. Seeing Wei Ming leave, Shattered Mouth and Sun Fei naturally followed quickly. In this kind of weird place, if the two of them got separated from Wei Ming, then the end would be obvious. They would definitely be torn apart by the hidden crisis of this place. The two of them also only felt that they hadn't lived long enough, with a full circle on the first floor before they stopped at the stairway. Wei Ming raised his head and stared at the dilapidated staircase for a long time before turning his head to look at Shattered Mouth and Sun Fei behind him. There's no way for this floor to lead to the 8th building. Then we might only be able to go up and take a look as well. Maybe we can go through the roof. It's just that along the way, we're not sure exactly what kind of danger we'll encounter. If you two feel that you can't solve it, you can. Instead, Master, we want to follow you. Before Wei Ming could finish his words, Shattered Mouth immediately spoke up. His line of sight then shifted back to Sun Fei's body on the side, only to see that Sun Fei was also nodding his head as if he was pounding garlic. Seeing this, he didn't continue to speak anymore but instead directly stepped onto the stairs, as they managed to reach the second floor. In front of them, however, a stern ghost came out from the darkness. After staring at the stern ghost, Wei Ming already knew that this stern ghost was also a low-level stern ghost. It wasn't even up to a level. He let out a light laugh, and his eyes had just landed on the ghost. The next moment, the ghost was already like a balloon that had been punctured. He instantly disappeared in place, leaving behind only black gas that was spreading little by little. Master. There must be a higher level of night ghost upstairs, right? Shattered Mouth said as he jumped in front of Wei Ming. Wei Ming was a bit surprised. He didn't understand why Shattered Mouth would take the initiative to jump in front of him. It was just that his words hadn't come out yet. He then saw Shattered Mouth charging straight towards the ghost essence. Dare he say that Shattered Mouth was running so fast just to get the ghost essence. It was just that Wei Ming glanced down at the ghost essence on the floor. It was a mere A-ranked stern ghost. The ghost essence was also just a small one. Wei Ming just swept a glance and didn't look over again. He turned his head and walked up towards the stairs leading to the third floor. Along the way up, he saw more than a few stern ghosts. Only for the most part, the ones blocking the road were only some low-grade luteous ghosts. And there was only one. Only on the fifth floor, Wei Ming encountered an S-rank ghost. But the ghost only appeared in front of Wei Ming. It was once again destroyed by Wei Ming. These night ghosts are too weak. 
I didn't even use my full strength and they're all gone. After destroying the stern ghosts on the fifth level, Wei Ming shook his head somewhat helplessly. While on the side, Sun Fei quickly rushed forward to pick up the ghost essence on the ground. Only then did he turn his head to look at Wei Ming. At the same time, a hint of grudge was brought into his eyes. But master, have you ever thought that it's not at all that these severe ghosts aren't strong enough? Rather, it's because you, master, are just too strong. Listening to Sun Fei's words, the broken mouth on the side also nodded repeatedly. Wei Ming waved his hand somewhat helplessly. However, he did not say anything. It was just that in his heart, he could not help but spit. Could it be that it was really because he was too powerful? That was why these severe ghosts were simply not enough in front of him? But Wei Ming didn't ponder for too long. Immediately afterward, he had already stepped onto the sixth floor. The severe ghosts on the sixth floor didn't appear out of nowhere. They had just stepped onto the stairs when they had already heard a thumping sound. It sounded very much like the sound of a small child slapping a leather ball. Hearing this commotion, the hairs on Shattered Mouth's body were all rooted up. Master be cautious. The severe ghosts on this floor are most likely mother and child ghosts. Hearing Shattered Mouth's words, Wei Ming didn't take it to heart. So what if it's a mother and son? It's just as well to fight one. It's just as well to fight two. As he said that, he had already stepped onto the sixth floor. After walking up, they really found a little boy who was slapping the leather ball in his hand in the corridor. It was just that his movements were very stiff, and that leather ball falling on the floor was also very rhythmic. Looking at the kid, Wei Ming didn't say anything. It was just that the kid turned his head slightly to look at them. His entire eyes were pure white, as if he had no eyes at all. Brother play with me? Okay. I'm so lonely playing by myself. Mom won't let me go out. She only lets me stay here. Brother you guys play with me. Chapter 67 The top floor had no path after all. That little boy walked towards Wei Ming while talking. Even though he didn't have a ghostly aura on him, Sun Fei and Shattered Mouth were still staring at the boy. Wei Ming, on the contrary, walked forward without fear. He reached out and took the leather ball in the boy's hand before he let out a light laugh. I can play with you, but after playing for a while, you'll obediently go back inside, okay? The little boy nodded obediently. Broken Mouth and Sun Fei then stood at the entrance of the stairs and watched Wei Ming play with that little boy for a while, but that little boy seemed like he didn't even know how tired he was. Hearing Wei Ming's words, Broken Mouth and Sun Fei then looked down. This thing, shouldn't it be called a portal? A door also appeared in the hierarchy. They would be able to step directly onto the roof of the building. After stepping into the 10th floor, Wei Ming then looked at the stirring ghost in front of him. After all, this time, this lich ghost had rushed over too quickly. Hearing Wei Ming's words, the little boy didn't say much but nodded his head before turning his head and leaving. After they had played for a long time, Wei Ming then handed the leather ball to the little boy. He then turned his head towards the stairs. Hurry up. Ghost spirit don't waste it. After saying that, he then looked around to see where exactly could lead to the 8th building. Straight away, he devoured that S plus night ghost into his ghost essence. But because this time, it was Wei Ming's ghost chi that directly devoured the stern ghost. Then came the 8th floor. Immediately after that, there was the ninth layer. But inside was a mist, and it was impossible to see what was inside. After Shattered Mouth picked up the ghost essence on the ground, he then jumped to Wei Ming's side. A large ghost spirit once again landed on the ground. Before Wei Ming turned his head to look at Shatter Mouth and Sun Fei, seeing that the corridor was empty, both Shattered Mouth and Sun Fei behind Wei Ming had stared with wide eyes. Shatter Mouth fixed his eyes on the ground before he turned his head to look at Wei Ming beside him. However, Wei Ming had still walked over to his front without any obstacles. How did you walk over here? They then walked up towards the stairs leading to the roof as well. Soon, Wei Ming, with a cat and a ghost, had managed to reach the topmost floor. Broken Mouth rushed forward and asked Wei Ming, What exactly is this thing? We're not sure for now. Only then did Shattered Mouth and Sun Fei quickly follow. Your strength should have increased greatly as well, right? The stern ghost also quickly launched an attack towards Wei Ming. Only then did it quickly step forward. While opening his mouth, he answered Wei Ming. That was why the stern ghost did not explode its ghost essence. Only then did Wei Ming nod his head as he listened to the broken mouth's reply. Master, it's just that I've already looked at the roof of this building as well. And there's simply no reason to be able to leave. Only, it was also true that it was just the truth. What's wrong master? Sun Fei and Shattered Mouth absorbed the ghost chi within the ghost essence while doing so. Wei Ming had a smile on his face. Wei Ming said as he turned his head to look at Shattered Mouth and Sun Fei. After all, there was no ghost chi on Wei Ming at all. He then turned his head to look at Shattered Mouth and Sun Fei behind him. It doesn't matter where the back of this door leads to. Wei Ming had already eliminated the stern ghost almost without wasting any effort again. Let's go make a break for it. With me there won't be any harm done to you guys. Not to say that Wei Ming had eliminated him as fast as he could. 
But in the next second, the ghostly chi in Wei Ming's hand transformed into a dagger, and directly then stabbed into the stern ghost's head. Next time I'll pay attention and will leave behind the ghost essence for you guys. Just a moment later, without receiving any answer, the stern ghost directly dissipated into thin air. Alright, brother has been playing with you for so long, you quickly go back, and only then did Wei Ming open his mouth. Instead, it was shattered mouth and son Fei who rushed forward to pick it up. 85, 239, 38, 115. The burst of ghostly aura that erupted just now had also slowly disappeared now. So that means probably we can only leave from here. Our strength has only reached its peak nowadays. Yet we have yet to break through. Wei Ming shook his head somewhat helplessly. Wei Ming shook his head somewhat helplessly. Then looked towards the two ghosts following him behind. Wei Ming slowly walked forward. There are already bloodstains on the ground. It's just that I don't know where these bloodstains appeared from. Instead, he didn't even look at it. So he just turned his head and left. There are times when it's better not to fight if you can. As expected, there were already quite a few bloodstains on the ground. However, Wei Ming just told them these words before continuing on his way up. The stern ghost on the ninth floor was already at the S plus level. He stared peacefully at the stairway. So, a stern ghost as powerful as you, master, is also simply not going to see a second one. They wanted to say something else, but Wei Ming gestured at them, signaling them to keep quiet. After seeing Wei Ming, they then quickly rushed over. Wei Ming's ghost chi instantly erupted. Broken mouth and sun fei had no objections. The tenth floor just needed to be broken through. That door was wide open. Listening to Wei Ming's question. Master, ever since we went up to the S level, our leveling up has been very slow. After saying that, Wei Ming continued onward. Next, was the tenth level. You two have been following behind me all this way, picking up ghost essence. Then he saw a figure that was standing not far away. The location where the stern ghost had been decimated just now. If Wei Ming hadn't destroyed him, that kid doesn't look like he's in any danger. Might as well coax him back. However, when the 8th floor went to the 9th floor, Wei Ming was clearly having a moment of slowness. The severe ghosts on this level upwards are most likely a level higher as well. This was a very arbitrary statement from Shattered Mouth. It was just that they had just stepped onto the rooftop. So he also naturally assumed that Wei Ming was nothing more than an ordinary person. After looking up and down, he nevertheless just took a deep breath. In front of the master, it's simply not enough to look at. Hearing the broken mouth's words, Wei Ming then turned his head slightly to look at him. We don't have any other path to take either. It wouldn't necessarily be whoever was lying on the ground right now bursting with ghostly essence. Otherwise after a while, maybe your mom will come over. The stern ghost froze for a split second and just opened his mouth to ask Wei Ming. The few people continued to walk forward. Master, this one is an S plus night ghost. The stern ghost on the seventh floor was only an S rank stern ghost. It was still an S plus light ghost. After that stern ghost saw Wei Ming, it instantly erupted the ghost chi around it. He intended to use his ghost chi to directly force Wei Ming back. It was just that what he didn't expect was that even though his ghost chi had already erupted, that was why he didn't intend to make a move at all. After Wei Ming's quick elimination, the ghost essence landed on the ground. His line of sight then fell on the door once again. It was only but a single round, and that stern ghost had already dissipated. This fight, too, was simply considered to be without suspense. They didn't hesitate for a second, so they nodded at Wei Ming. Seeing that they agreed, Wei Ming then let out a sigh of relief. He directly brought a cat and a ghost and stepped inside this fog-filled door. Chapter 68, A Smooth and Unobstructed Journey. The next moment, their three ghosts only felt a white light in front of them. When they slowed down, they realized that they were still inside a residential building today. After Sun Fei, who was at the side, scanned around, he then turned his head to look at Wei Ming. Master, this place should be the 8th building. We've already entered the 8th building. Sure enough, the passageway can only be opened on the roof of the 7th building. Sun Fei spoke to Wei Ming with some excitement. Sun Fei nodded his head slightly as he took a deep breath, before he turned his eyes to Wei Ming, who was on the side, as well as the stern ghost in front of him, encountering an S plus level lich demon on the first level. What are you doing waiting for us here? We're about to go up to the last floor. He wasn't in a hurry to go up the stairs. After all, it was not at all clear where there would be danger in such a place. There was also not the slightest hint of excitement visible in its eyes. This was despite the fact that it was now arriving at the 8th building. Master. But Wei Ming only slightly raised his hand. And that chi blade instantly dissipated. Alright. The two of us just don't walk up and add trouble to our master. Shattered Mouth was the first to come back to his senses as he hurriedly opened his mouth and asked Wei Ming. Shattered Mouth and Sun Fei had just come up. And when they saw Wei Ming. Who was standing in the center waiting for him. Both of their footsteps were lurched. Soon, the ghostly spirit had disappeared. 
Wei Ming continued to destroy it effortlessly. They traveled along, but it wasn't until the fifth floor that both Shattered Mouth and Sun Fei's faces changed. Only then did Wei Ming nod slightly. In doing so, it made Wei Ming only feel that his legs were quite tired. It's enough to not get caught by the other side. Even if Shattered Mouth didn't say it too bluntly, Wei Ming had sort of already understood what Shattered Mouth meant. Looking at the light in Shattered Mouth's eyes, he then listened to the words coming out of its mouth. Master, I've reached the SS plus rank. Master, a lich ghost further up would already be a SS rank lich ghost. He then turned his head to look at Sun Fei, who was on the side. He patted the otherwise non-existent dust on his hands before turning his head to look at Shattered Mouth and Sun Fei behind him. The further they went, the more dangerous it would become instead. That night ghost threw a ball of ghostly chi at the night ghost, but Wei Ming easily dodged it. Sun Fei's eyes were a little bleak, perhaps because he felt that he was no match for Shattered Mouth, and was simply unable to play a greater role. We won't go up and cause trouble for the master. The two of them absorbed the ghostly essence. And as for Wei Ming, he didn't say anything, just staring at them peacefully. What's wrong master? Only this time, Wei Ming stopped instead. It's been eliminated. You guys can come up now. It could be in a place like this. And only then did Wei Ming let out a light laugh, before turning his head to look at the two ghosts beside him. It was only the shattered mouth on the side that was cautiously staring at its surroundings. Shattered mouth was the first to open his eyes before he turned his head to look at Wei Ming who was beside him. For their part, they deliberately slowed down their steps, waiting for Wei Ming to destroy the stern ghosts before they followed behind to pick up the ghost essence on the ground. That was why they were also walking slowly every step backwards, also needing to climb up one step at a time. If you don't have full certainty, it's better for you two not to go up. After the words fell, Wei Ming then turned his head towards the stairs. As Wei Ming's words fell, he had already stepped onto the stairs leading to the next floor. Let's just go back up after the master destroys that stern ghost. They hadn't even moved forward yet, but a stern ghost suddenly appeared right in front of them. As his words fell, he didn't wait for Shattered Mouth and Sun Fei's reply, so he immediately walked quickly towards the upstairs. Listening to the commotion upstairs, Shattered Mouth and Sun Fei on the other hand were both listening with bated breath. Even if they were to really face a SS-ranked ghost here, they would certainly be able to beat it. In fact, for Shattered Mouth, this matter was nothing of the sort. 85, 239, 38, 115. Master be careful. After all, its own strength wasn't that weak anymore. Before that stern ghost even had a chance to let out a wail, it had already dissipated like smoke. Only then did Wei Ming stand up straight. He let out a light laugh before he nodded at Shattered Mouth. Just leave all the rest to the master. The matter of destroying the stern ghost really didn't seem to be anything difficult for Wei Ming. This night ghost, visually, is AS plus night ghost all the way. Just as quickly, Wei Ming's voice had come out from upstairs. Broken Mouth walked slowly to Sun Fei's side before he opened his mouth and spoke to him. Sun Fei didn't say anything, but instead walked directly towards the ghost spirit that had fallen on the ground. I'll continue walking up first, you can just follow behind and Broken Mouth also rushed up. What kind of level are you to at now? He just stared silently at the severe ghost in front of him. Immediately afterward, a black mist rose up in his hand, and then he heavily smashed it into the heart of the night ghost. Looks like this building is more or less difficult. With a single stride, he rushed directly in front of the stern ghost. Master be careful. After that ball of ghostly chi was thrown out, it unexpectedly exploded in the air. After it exploded, the ghost chi wrapped in the center transformed into a sharp blade of chi. It charged towards Wei Ming. At the same time, his line of sight looked over at Sun Fei who was on the side. What if this SS-ranked stern ghost specialized in picking soft persimmons to pinch? Listening to Shattered Mouth's words, Wei Ming pondered slightly for a moment and nodded in return. This time, even if we run into a high-grade stern ghost, we still have enough power to fight. As for Shattered Mouth and Sun Fei, Shattered Mouth turned his head to Wei Ming as he stared at the suddenly appearing lich ghost. Wei Ming's words fell. It was just that Sun Fei's strength was far inferior to it, seeing that Sun Fei was also Wei Ming's henchman nowadays. Shattered Mouth did feel that he should take care of Sun Fei as well, but for Wei Ming, the hardest thing was actually climbing the stairs. Then the two of you can wait for me here, and after I destroy that stern ghost, you can just come back up. When Sun Fei realized the scene, that's when he hurriedly blocked Wei Ming's face with his own ghostly chi. Only hearing Sun Fei's words, Wei Ming nevertheless continued to nod his head. Soon enough, it had reached the ninth floor. If we meet a SS ranked stern ghost, even if we're not sure how to defeat it, on the corridor of the second floor, there was still an S plus lie ghost. Hurry up and pick up the ghost essence. We're moving on up. Wei Ming's face was not the least bit emotional. They were naturally not worried about Wei Ming's strength. It was just that what they didn't expect was. Wei Ming smiled and his hands moved very quickly. It's just that, 
At the very least, I won't just fall into the hands of the other party. I already have SS now too. And Sun Fei quickly looked at Wei Ming, but once that lich rushed down, then the two of them would have to break out into a battle with that lich. Shattered Mouth stared at Wei Ming as it spoke very seriously to him. Since you two have both leveled up now as well, and your stamina has almost recovered, let's go straight to the top floor. The passageway leading to the next building must also be guarded by a lich ghost. Chapter 69, I Surrender. As Wei Ming's words fell, he turned his head towards the upstairs, watching Wei Ming already walking towards the upper floor. Shattered Mouth and Sun Fei exchanged a glance, and they also quickly stepped onto the stairs. This fight came down today. Wei Ming sort of didn't get anything. After all, he couldn't look at those ghost goblins either. It was just Shattered Mouth and Sun Fei who followed behind him. That could be considered to have earned a lot. The two ghosts did not hesitate to follow Wei Ming's back and continued walking towards the upper floors. They were also afraid of the severe ghosts that were even higher rank than themselves though. This is a nice entrance to the ninth building. Only then did Wei Ming stop walking and slightly turned his head to look at the stirring ghost behind him. They were afraid that the stirring ghost would rush forward and make a move on them. Is it hard to believe that this place is simply a trap? Wei Ming turned his head to look at the door on the side, and after taking a deep breath, he was then ready to walk towards that door. But this stern ghost, it was actually stopping them from entering the door? He slowly shook his head, before turning his eyes to Wei Ming beside him. I didn't even make a move, so you guys shouldn't come up and destroy me. This is also enough to express my sincerity, right? After the two ghosts exchanged glances, they then turned their heads to look at Wei Ming. For a moment, Wei Ming only felt as if it made sense. Only after the stern ghost finished speaking to Shattered Mouth and Sun Fei did he turn his head to look at Wei Ming on the side. However, Wei Ming's attitude also remained resolute. He turned his head to look at Shattered Mouth and Sun Fei behind him. And this big brother. Wei Ming slowly opened his mouth and asked the stern ghost in front of him. What about after you level up again? It was already a SS plus night ghost. Wei Ming slowly walked towards the stern ghost. When they said that, the two ghosts were not happy. What's to stop you from letting us in? It's just that the two of you here are bound to both go straight to your deaths if you go in. And on the side, Shattered Mouth and Sun Fei heard his words. But these things, no matter what, didn't have that much to do with themselves. So Wei Ming didn't care. They naturally know that they can't beat you on their own. I'm also clear that I'm definitely not a match for you in front of you. After taking a deep breath, this was the only time he spoke at them. After all, Wei Ming's strength was also in front of their eyes. As long as Wei Ming was there. There was no way that any of the severe ghosts would be able to harm them at all. At a glance, they saw the ghost that was standing on the top floor. That severe ghost had not suppressed the ghostly aura that was all over his body. Maybe the ghosts after that will be even harder to deal with. And Shattermouth and Sun Fei's eyes were filled with surprise. What is it? It's like this. You too. You can't enter this door. He froze for a moment before dissipating the ghostly chi in his hand. It also instantly just made sense. How about we either reconsider? or find a method that can definitely defeat them? At the same time, most of the caution in his eyes disappeared. From the moment you stepped into this building, I've already sensed how powerful you are. Broken Mouth and Sun Fei spoke to Wei Ming one after another. Just now, if it wasn't for the stern ghost suddenly shouting, they were afraid that they would have all gone in as well. While Shattered Mouth and Sun Fei were also following closely behind Wei Ming though, including when you were fighting those stern ghosts downstairs, I actually knew about it. That stern ghost also seemed to have detected Wei Ming's vigilance towards himself. Listening to the words of this stern ghost, I haven't done anything to you guys yet. It's certainly not a trap here. What this guy said does make sense. Without saying a word, he directly opened the door leading to the next building. This big brother, look I've already opened the door for you. He nodded at the stern ghost. Only that he was still staring at the stern ghost with eyes filled with caution. 8-5-2-3-9-3-8-1-1-5 that stern ghost's eyes also seemed to have taken on a hint of helplessness. Master, as several people walked up to the top floor, Wei Ming slightly hung his head. Besides I don't want to die, so it's better to just admit defeat. That stern ghost's face was filled with worry. However, when Wei Ming stood in front of them, they then also suddenly felt as if they weren't panicking as much. How about you reconsider? But there's no way. It's still death if I can't beat you, and it's still death if I let you go upstairs. You wouldn't have to be so wary of me. I'm really afraid I'll be destroyed by you in the next second. At the same time his eyes were still filled with worry for Wei Ming. The lich's face was filled with panic. No no no. It was a good thing that the stern ghost was also rushing to explain at them. However, the two of them also kept their gazes on that stern ghost's body. This big brother. Don't worry. I'm not blocking you. After entering the ninth building. After all, from the very beginning, I knew that I couldn't beat you. If I just rush in like this, I'm afraid that some accidents will happen. Think about it, 
You guys, this 8th building is already a SS plus rank liege, wouldn't the ones encountered be even higher grade? It seemed like he wouldn't even make a move against them either, right? For a while, they were a bit confused. That stern ghost was on the verge of crying out at the sight of it. Wei Ming stared at the door on the side and turned his head to look at the stern ghost again, just as he was about to open his mouth to say something. At that time, he might not even be able to take care of himself, and if you guys must follow him in, you'll just die. However, since you even know to avoid me, how come those lich ghosts that died under me don't know to surrender in advance? The actions of that SS plus lich demon, on the other hand, instantly confused Wei Ming. Maybe it's at the same SSS level as this big brother. After looking up and down at the stern ghost in front of him, a hint of surprise gradually flashed through his eyes as well. Instead, he only felt that the inexplicable summoning in his heart had gotten even stronger. But before he could say anything, that stern ghost immediately raised its hands in the very next moment. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Sun Fei and Shattered Mouth immediately thought of such a possibility. Only, at another glance at the fear on the stern ghost's face, this was somewhat strange. Despite not knowing what exactly was over there. Otherwise, you might as well think about it again. It's not like there's necessarily no chance after that. Wei Ming turned around before continuing to stare at the stern ghost in front of him as he spoke. Listening to the words of this stern ghost, Wei Ming was a bit surprised for a moment. Just as they were walking towards that door, the stern ghost pounced once again. Wait wait wait, the stern ghosts in this ninth building are definitely not easy to deal with. The night ghost also nodded repeatedly. Of course, of course I'm going to admit defeat. As long as you trick the master into going in, you'll be able to deal with the two of us. After looking at the ghost for a few moments, this was followed by a nod at the stern ghost. What are you doing? We've just met face to face and you're starting to surrender? I'm just saying for the two of them not to go in. With that, he also turned his head to look at Shattered Mouth and Sun Fei. That's why they would also rather die at your hands. You guys stay here and guard me. I'll come back for you guys after I've solved the trouble within this door. Chapter 70, The Death Squad Suffered Heavy Casualties After Wei Ming finished speaking to Shattered Mouth and Sun Fei, he, on the other hand, without any hesitation, then directly leapt into the teleportation portal. Wei Ming instantly disappeared in front of the three ghosts. Master, this dude has not been too impulsive. In that case, we can only wait for our master to return. The three ghosts had their own thoughts instead. Only, while waiting at the door, their three ghosts did not break out into a fight. They all stood quietly in place. Not even a single glance was given to the other party beside them. And at the same time, on the other side, the side of the five heavenly kings and the daredevil team, they had already started a battle with the group of stern ghosts disguised as employees. Tan Yezho, other than the group of stern ghosts in front of us, are there any other stern ghosts present? Chi Ling was weaving through the group of stern ghosts. While opening his mouth, he asked Tang Yezhou. Beads of sweat were already forming at the corners of Tang Yezhou's forehead. The number of stern ghosts around him was simply too many. This made it impossible for him to more accurately detect whether there were any stern ghosts hiding around at all for a while. Dan Yezhou, quickly answer the captain. On the side, Song Qiming spoke to Dan Yezhou while supporting the shield. Only then did Dan Yezhou take a deep breath. He then stood beside Song Qiming. Hold up your shield. Don't let that group of stern ghosts rush up. After Tang Yezhou finished speaking, he didn't care about Song Qiming's reply beside him. He had already started using his spiritual energy to conduct an all-round detection of the entire floor. Only after about 4 or 5 minutes had passed did Tang Yezhou suddenly open his eyes. Captain, there's still the presence of stern ghosts in the hut next to us. It's just that they don't seem to have the possibility of trying to rush out for the time being. Even though I don't know why. But let's just finish the stern ghosts in front of us before we consider the stern ghosts in those rooms. After Tang Yezhou said these words, the several heavenly kings were not surprised. They nodded their heads at Tang Yezhou one after another. Then one by one, they rushed into the group of stern ghosts. It was just that the people from that death squad were not so lucky. They were originally a group of ordinary people earlier. Now under the stimulation of this group of stern ghosts, this gave them spiritual power. Except for the captain of the death squad. The rest of them can only be called B-level. Even the captain of the death squad can only barely be considered level A. In that case, the disparity was huge. The five heavenly kings were in the middle of this group of stern ghosts. It was simply four words. They were able to maneuver with ease, but the death squad was obviously not that lucky. Although they also traveled through the group of ghosts, but their movements were simply not as smooth as the five heavenly kings. They couldn't even drill through the group of ghosts without receiving any damage at all. To the five heavenly kings, these ghosts were not powerful, but the trouble was in their numbers. It was only that these severe ghosts were quite smart. They had already realized that the daredevil's people were a bit weaker. One by one, they no longer took the initiative to attack the five heavenly kings. 
Instead, they charged straight up towards the death squad. Several of the Daredevil team members were injured in the blink of an eye. There were even deaths. The Daredevil team leader looked at the five heavenly kings with red eyes. Can you guys help us? This group of severe ghosts keeps coming towards us. It's obvious that they think we're too weak. I still ask the several heavenly kings to be able to lend us a helping hand. Hearing the Daredevil's voice, Shi Ling then turned his head to look over. Only after seeing that the Daredevils had already suffered casualties did Chi Ling sink her eyes. Song Chi Ming, add a shield to them, and the rest of you speed up to eliminate these lich demons in the hall. With Chi Ling's order, everyone around them naturally moved even faster. They were able to cut down three or five lich demons in a row with almost every attack. Under the five heavenly king's fierce attacks, the hall stern ghosts were gradually wiped out this time. Captain, now that the harsh ghosts in the hall are gone, then what are we going to do about the harsh ghosts in those rooms? Deng Yezhou took a deep breath before he turned his head towards Chi Ling who was to the side. Chi Ling turned her head towards the several rooms to the side. He then signaled Gu Tua to follow his lead. The two of them worked very well together. After Chi Ling kicked open the door, Gu Tua then launched a direct attack as well. Soon enough, they eliminated most of the ghosts hiding in the rooms in this manner. Seeing that the ghosts were getting fewer and fewer, Chi Ling couldn't help but let out a sigh of relief. After the last of the stern ghosts in the room were also eliminated, Chi Ling then turned her head to look at Deng Yezhou. Now take a look again. Are there any remaining nightly ghosts on this floor? Tong Yezhou slowly closed his eyes. It was only after a long time that he finally slowly opened his eyes. There are no more. All of this floor's stern ghosts have been annihilated. Hearing Tang Yezhou's words, the people present then let out a sigh of relief. It was a good thing that there were no longer any more malicious ghosts. If there were still more, there was no telling what they would face next. It was just that the threats beside them had all been eliminated. In the next moment, Chi Ling's gaze fell on the body of that death squad. The cleanup of these night ghosts was actually not much of a task. The levels of all of these lil demons were all really quite low, so they simply couldn't pose much of a threat to them. Only, this group of death squads, however, were considered to be in the greatest danger. Even today, there were heavy casualties. The only person left who wasn't injured was the death squad leader. For the remaining people, there were only three left with injuries on their bodies. Staring at them for a long time, Chi Ling then spoke. Clean up and clean this place first. See if there's anything we need. The night ghosts will also bring along the ghost essence if they have popped out. After cleaning, we'll rest here for a moment first. After everyone's strength is restored, then we'll proceed to the next step. Only after Chi Ling's words fell did the few people disperse at a quick pace. And the few people from the daredevil team also intended to stand up. Only, before they could get up, Chi Ling had already turned his head to look over. What are you guys trying to do? Hearing Chi Ling's words, the captain of the death squad then looked up at Chi Ling. We're going to follow along and clean up some of the battlefield. After all, we're also involved in this fight aren't we? Chi Ling gently nodded her head. And only then did the few people from the daredevil team stand up in a hurry. Instructing the next second, Chi Ling spoke again. There's no need. You just continue to stay here honestly. These things, on the contrary, there is still no need for such a group of injured people like you to do. Only after the words fell did Chi Ling turn his head and leave. And the daredevil's people froze for a moment before they helplessly shook their heads. None of them had thought that Chi Ling would even let them stay here. After all, it did seem like they hadn't done anything to come so far. Looking at it this way, the daredevil's people suddenly felt. This legendary five heavenly kings seemed to be quite nice to talk to. Chapter 71, you guys keep watch, we'll go. The daredevil's team members leaned against the wall and rested. The five heavenly kings also used their fastest speed to erase all the traces of the battle just now. It was just that while erasing the traces of the battle, they had also already discovered some spirit beads that could give ghost masters a boost in their cultivation and also heal their own injuries. It was just that the number of these spirit beads was not much. After scanning the area, Chi Ling then turned his head towards the few people from the daredevil team. You guys are from the daredevil team. Yet I remember. At first, when we came to this neighborhood, we hadn't heard of a daredevil team. Plus it's also impossible to tell which way to go in this thick fog. You guys came into the thick fog without knowing what's all around here? Chi Ling looked at Daredevil, her eyes very flat. Only, however, she did not doubt the identity of these Daredevil members. After all, Chi Ling was the head of the five heavenly kings. If someone wanted to lie to her to deceive her, Chi Ling did not feel that she could not see it. And now these Daredevil team members were clearly not some kind of ten evil people. Each of their eyes were filled with righteousness. And with just a glance, Chi Ling knew that they were indeed members of the Death Squad. Only Chi Ling didn't know that. After the five of them were swallowed up by the fog, what exactly changed outside? Hearing Chi Ling's words, the death squad leader also realized that she wanted to know what had happened outside. After taking a deep breath, 
The daredevil captain then looked at Chi Ling. We only received the order after the fog appeared. The people from your psychic bureau's research department have already studied these thick mists. They stated that these thick mists are not harmful at all. It's only because they don't know what will happen to these thick mists after people come in. That's why they arranged for us to try it out. Otherwise, us daredevils aren't a death squad. Why do you have to know that there's a tiger on the mountain and still favor the tiger mountain? Listening to the other party's words, Chi Ling did not slightly. She had to admit that the other party's words did seem to make sense. Then, if it was true that the people from the research department had already studied it, and it was labeled that this dense fog was not harmful to the human body, all of this problem would not be able to be blamed on this dense fog. Right, I see that most of you have been injured as well. There are spirit beads over there. It's the ones that can recover from injuries and can raise your cultivation level. If you guys need them, you can collect them yourselves. We can't use them instead, so we don't need them. The words fell, and only then did the daredevil captain slowly stand up. I see. Thank you guys. Chi Ling didn't say much. He just waved his hand at him and then walked towards Shui Yu who was on the side. They naturally had Shui Yu who could help them heal. After all, no matter from what aspect, as one of the five heavenly kings, it was of course impossible for Shui Yu to casually lend a helping hand to strangers. After Chi Ling sat beside Shui Yu, she then turned her head slightly to look at the daredevil team members on the side. She stared at those people for a long time before turning her head to look at the few people beside her. What do you guys say? This death squad. What they said. Can we believe it? When Tang Yezhou heard Chi Ling's words, he turned his head slightly to look over. He didn't expect Chi Ling to have already begun to doubt these people from the death squad. He turned his eyes to stare at the daredevil's movements for a long while before turning his head to Chi Ling. But captain, no matter what these daredevil people are actually trying to do, at least they do look like they've helped us. Even after entering here, so many of their men have folded. Nowadays, there are only so many of them left. If it's that they have something else in mind for us, they wouldn't have to fight so hard, right? Listening to Tang Yezhou's words, Shi Ling then nodded. This death squad also didn't carry anything that could prove their identity. In other words then, no matter what the death squad and their group said, Shi Ling and the others would ultimately not be able to see any evidence to prove their identity. Only, on the side, Gu Tua also came over. He had naturally heard what Shi Ling had said just now, and now he had also come over with the intention of opening his mouth. What? Do you have something to say? Chi Ling realized Gutua beside him, and only then slowly opened his mouth to ask Gutua. Gutua instead let out a light laugh. Captain, if you ask me, no matter what their identities really are, anyway, at least for the time being, they are really helping us as well, aren't they? There's also the fact that they won't get any benefit from this matter either, no matter what way they look at it. So the odds are that they're also just here to help us. If that means we're on the verge of letting our guard down against them, let's just leave them here. They're dead and wounded anyway, and they don't have much fighting ability left. If we take them up there, it's a guarantee that we'll have to keep an eye on them all the time to protect them. This is also a drag for us. Why don't we just let them stay here? The five of us should go up then. This way we don't have to worry if they will make small moves behind our backs. Captain, what do you think of this method? Listening to Gutua's words, Deng Yezhou and Song Qiming on the side also nodded their heads. After Song Qiming took several breaths, he then turned his head to look at Qi Ling. Captain. It really wasn't me who said that just now. Captain, when you asked me to protect them, I've really never been so tired. Listening to Song Qiming's words, after a long time, Qi Ling also shook his head helplessly. All right, all of you, don't discuss people behind their backs. Have you all rested? If you've all rested, we're ready to pack up and leave here directly. We'll be ready to go to the next level next. Qi Ling's words fell, while several people beside him stood up. After scanning them in a circle, Shi Ling then turned his head to look at the several people from the daredevil team not far to the side. We'll continue upwards, but how about you guys don't go up? Hearing Chi Ling's words, the few people looked at each other. Afterwards, it was the captain of the daredevil squad who stepped forward. Of course we are following your words. After all, further up, the level of the lich demons will only get better. Even if we follow you guys, it seems like we will only bring you trouble. In other words becoming a drag on you guys. That captain spoke somewhat helplessly to Chi Ling. Chi Ling didn't say much, but turned his head to look at the team members beside him. Since that's the case, let's not talk too much. Let's go. As the words fell, Chi Ling took the lead and walked towards the stairs on the side. A few people glanced at each other and also hurriedly followed. Nowadays, they really didn't have any other way out. Other than this path, they really couldn't find any other path to take. All of them, they already had no other choice. Chapter 72, 6th Level S class? Soon, Chi Ling and the rest of his group had managed to arrive at the sixth floor. Standing behind the fire door, 
Ji Ling signaled Deng Yezhou to first detect how many severe ghosts were outside. There was also the question of whether or not opening the fire door rashly would draw this group of severe ghosts over. Tang Yezhou stood at the door, and only after a long time did he turn his head to look at the few people behind him. There doesn't seem to be a lot of stirring ghosts on this sixth floor. A rough estimate should be that there are 20 to 30 of them. Even if we open the door, it's not like anything will necessarily happen. Most of the ghosts are at a certain distance from us. We can enter the door first, and then just not make any noise. Tang Yezhou turned his head and spoke to the few people around him. Shi Ling then nodded. She then stepped forward and slowly pushed open the fire door in front of her. Soon, the door in front of several people was pushed open bit by bit. Only after the fire door was opened did a few people then look towards the front, only to see that there really weren't many severe ghosts within this floor. There were only 20 to 30 of them. Only the next moment, Shi Ling frowned. She realized that the level of these stirring ghosts didn't seem to be low. She then turned her head to look at Tang Yezhou. Deng Yezhou, on the other hand, also read what Shi Ling was trying to say. He stretched out his finger and slowly drew an A on the wall. This was followed by the plus and signs. The few people around them all furrowed their brows. They had all realized it. Although the severe ghosts on this floor seemed to be small in number, yet they were already unknown how much more powerful than the stern ghosts on the previous floors. The lowest graded stern ghosts on this floor were all at A dash, and the highest was A plus. In other words, although the number of ghosts was low, the danger factor had increased drastically. Several people looked at each other for a few moments before they made up their minds. In any case, they had eliminated so many ghosts over the course of so long. One more or one less didn't seem to be a big problem. And more importantly, each of the five heavenly kings was an S-class ghostmaster. How could an S-ranked ghost harnesser be panicked by a group of A-ranked knightly ghosts? After a few people exchanged glances, they then also looked out of their teammates' eyes to see what their teammates were thinking. Just now on the fifth floor, those stern ghosts were obviously mutated. After killing those stern ghosts, they were actually able to burst out spirit beads. Common sense would say that stern ghosts are unable to burst out spirit beads at all. They can only burst out ghost essences. But now it seems that maybe we can use this opportunity of these stern ghosts mutating. By directly eliminating them all, we might also be able to see what we want to see. Chi Ling took a deep breath before he turned his head and spoke to the several people beside him. The few people also nodded their heads in succession. They then immediately spread out as well. Several people coincidentally rushed up towards the nightly demon that was closest to them. They all deliberately slowed down their pace. This also led to the fact that the stern ghosts didn't even notice them. Tan Yezhou, on the other hand, was walking and probing those rooms on this floor to see if there were any malicious ghosts in them or not. After some probing, only then did Tan Yezhou finally determine. The severe ghosts on this sixth floor only existed in the halls. There wasn't any ghostly chi fluctuation in the rooms at all. Only then did Tan Yezhou nod at Chi Ling. In the next second, several people simultaneously launched attacks towards the stern ghosts beside them. Only, all of them adopted the quietest maneuver possible. This stern ghost had already died in the hands of a few people. The remaining ones of the stern ghosts, however, didn't even notice any hint of something wrong at all. They were still doing their own things, and there wasn't even the slightest change on their faces. Seeing that this group of stern ghosts did not discover it at all, the few people were also sort of relieved. However, just as they were solving the ghosts one by one. After all, there was an accident. A childlike ghost suddenly appeared out of nowhere. Even Tang Yezhou didn't see where the child appeared from. After the child appeared, it had already walked to Qi Ling's side. Qi Ling was startled, but she didn't strike out at the child rashly. Sister, you're so pretty, but you seem different from us. The child's voice seemed very ethereal. And just as the child's words fell, the stern ghosts beside her looked over in Qi Ling's direction. In this instant, Shi Ling only felt that the blood in his body was about to freeze. Such a large number of A-rank liege ghosts. Even if they were all S-rank ghostmasters, it would still take some time if they wanted to eliminate them. And at this instant, the remaining few people didn't look at the severe ghosts in front of them anymore, but instead looked towards Chi Ling's direction. At the same time, Song Qiming had also begun to slowly move towards Chi Ling. If this group of severe ghosts really suddenly attacked, then Song Qiming felt that he would at least be able to turn his shield on in time. But Song Qiming hadn't moved over yet. In the next second, the group of severe ghosts had already rushed up towards Qi Ling, seeing that the ghosts had all gone berserk. Several people also instantly rushed towards Qi Ling's direction. All of them quickly launched an attack towards the malicious ghosts beside them. And Qi Ling quickly reacted. The five people worked very well together. Song Qiming's shield was enveloping the five people from start to finish. While Gu Tuo was barging through the group of Lai ghosts, it was just that those severe ghosts couldn't even get close to Gu Tuo. As for Chi Ling, she didn't run around in the group of severe ghosts, but stood in front of that child. She stared down at the little boy, 
while the child similarly stared at her. In the next second, the child quickly launched an attack towards Chi Ling. However, Chi Ling had already been prepared for it, and after the black Chi landed in front of Chi Ling, it quickly dissipated. Immediately after that, Gu Tuo rushed over, he didn't wait for Chi Ling to say anything, he directly inserted the knife in his hand into the child's heart. The child instantly turned into black smoke and dissipated, and the battles of the remaining few people were all nearing their end. Finally, after these 20 to 30 A-rank liege ghosts were resolved, everyone was also breathing a sigh of relief. Only, this breath was not yet relieved. Tan Yezhou, who was on the side, then suddenly realized that there was a hint of something wrong. There was a strong fluctuation of ghost chi that was rapidly rushing towards them. And, based on the intensity of this fluctuation, it was estimated, the ghost that appeared this time, it's very likely that it's an S-class ghost. Several people instantly looked at each other, and very quickly, their gazes fell on Tang Yezhou's body. Wasn't it agreed that there were only this group of A-ranked ghosts on this floor? Where did the more powerful ghosts come from? On the sixth floor of the building, there were even S-class ghosts? Then if they wanted to continue walking, would they still be able to walk? Chapter 73 Believe in Yourself you can definitely solve it. Almost in an instant, all five heavenly kings instantly realized the crisis coming from the side. Each and every one of them quickly raised their guard. But despite this, it was also too late. Oh no, that stern spirit has already unfolded its ghostly spirit. Let's all stay put for the time being, or there's a high chance that we'll mess up. Maybe under the lead of this severe ghost, we might even attack our companions. So everyone must not be too far apart. Tang Yezhou instantly realized the unusual nature of this ghostly spirit. This ghostly spirit actually didn't look much different from the mists outside. The visibility as far as their eyes could see was also very limited. Therefore, once they scattered, it was very likely that they would not be able to return to their teammates again at all. Hearing Tang Yezhou's words, the few people were also instantly alert. It was just that they stared at the ghostly creature in front of them with full concentration for a long time. Yet, they did not see any hint of danger. Tang Yezhou, now that we're in the midst of their ghostly spirit, can you sense where exactly that stern ghost is? Chi Ling looked around before turning his head and opening his mouth to ask Tang Yezhou beside him. Tang Yezhou didn't open his mouth, he just stared at the black mist in front of him in silence. Only after a long time did he slowly close his eyes. It was just what he could feel. The area covered by this ghostly spirit was very wide. It was so wide that Tang Yezhou could not even detect where exactly that stern ghost was. After closing his eyes and sensing for a long time, Tang Yezhou also still turned his head to look at Chi Ling. Captain. I can't sense the location of that stern ghost. And, this place seems to have changed. As Tang Yezhou's voice fell, the scene in front of several people suddenly slowly brightened up. The originally black ghosts had also gradually turned gray. It was even transitioning towards a lighter color. As time passed minute by minute, the scene in front of the several people also brightened up instantly. But even so, they could only look at the fiddly mist in front of them. This stern ghost, can we solve it? So far, he hasn't even appeared yet and already our vigilance has been pulled full. Chi Ling stared around vigilantly while slowly speaking to the several people beside him. Only, listening to Chi Ling's words, there was no one around who spoke at all. I'm afraid that this matter isn't just that simple. Even though we haven't seen that stern ghost until now, it doesn't prove that he's powerful. But even though we don't know whether the other party is powerful or not, it's at least an S-class, but most likely, it's an S-dash. After a long time, Tang Yezhou took a deep breath before he slowly opened his mouth and spoke to the few people beside him. After the several people were silent for a long time, in the end, it was also Chi Ling who opened his mouth. No matter what, we've come this far now. When we were walking up from the bottom, we should also have realized, this place, is already full of weirdness, and the higher we go, the more dangerous the path will be, and the severe ghosts we encounter will only get stronger. So all of this is what we should have expected, since we've encountered it now. Let's just keep fighting against it. After Chi Ling said these words, the remaining four also nodded at her. Captain you're right. As soon as we came here in the beginning, we also knew what our worst end would be. Therefore, there is no need to worry at all. Gu Tuwa, who was at the side, suddenly spoke. Hearing the words fall, several people also nodded their heads in succession. Let's walk forward and see. It's impossible for this severe ghost to just trap us right here in this ghostly land. Tang Yezhou turned his head and spoke to the several people beside him. Only then did Chi Ling take the lead and respond. Yes, let's take a walk. Chi Ling was their captain, and since she had said so, the remaining few people naturally nodded their heads in succession. With that, the few of them immediately walked towards the front. However, their pace was still so slow. They were afraid that if they picked up the pace a bit, they would be caught by the ghost. Several people moved for a long time, 
but they still couldn't see any edge of this place. Is the ghost of this severe ghost really so powerful? He didn't know how long he had been walking for, but Song Qiming took a deep breath and turned his head to look at the few people beside him. Only, none of the people beside him opened their mouths to answer him either. They were all silent for a long time but did not make any movement. Watch out. Suddenly, Tang Yezhou shouted out, while the few people around him turned their heads to look over in an instant. Tang Yezhou quickly ran two steps forward, while the few people also hurriedly followed. And right after they left the place where they were standing just now, that place suddenly had a bunch of tentacles emerge from the ground. The tentacles looked very disgusting. Only Qi Ling just took a look at them and sneered. It's nothing more than ghost Qi manifested. It's not much of a thing. It's just that this stern ghost was slow to show up and use such low-level tactics to try to get us in disarray. This also shows one thing, and that is that for him, he knows in his own heart that he is definitely unable to defeat us, that's why he resorted to this way, trying to scare us off, Qi Ling said, turning his head once again to look at Tang Yezhou, find a way, find his location, we must eliminate him outright, hearing Qi Ling's voice, Tang Yezhou then took a deep breath before slowly nodding his head, in the next moment, a white light quickly erupted around Tang Yezhou's body, his spiritual energy erupted out in an instant, causing the few people beside him to be instantly stabbed in the eyes by this light. The few people other than Tang Yezhou had half squinted their eyes. However, their eyes did not leave Tang Yezhou's body either. After all, if there was something wrong, it was thought that Tang Yezhou would be able to realize it the fastest. As long as the time was right, then nothing would go wrong. After Tang Yezhou closed his eyes, he began to sense the strength of the ghost chi around him. It was only after a long time that he suddenly realized that not far behind him, there was a trace of very strong ghost chi surging towards him. Almost instantly, Tang Yezhou was certain. This place where the ghostly chi was very strong must be where this S-class stern ghost was located. But in the next second, he didn't have time to tell the few people beside him this news. He then sensed that the ghostly aura was moving towards him at a rapid pace. Tang Yezhou hurriedly opened his eyes while looking towards Song Qiming. While looking at Song Qiming, Tang Yezhou also reached out and pointed to his back. Song Qiming instantly understood and he hurriedly rushed up with a single stride. Instantly, the shield unfolded, and several people were all enveloped within it. As for Tang Yezhou's back, an ear-piercing squeak was emitted. That sound sounded very much like the sound of some sharp weapon colliding. Chapter 74 S-Class Lich, Destroyed. Several people took a deep breath, then they all turned their heads towards their backs. Tang Yezhou's forehead corners had also oozed some sweat. He raised his hand and wiped the sweat from the corner of his forehead before he turned his head towards Qi Ling beside him. Captain. This matter was indeed a bit of a mistake on my part. I didn't think that he had already sneakily touched over. Qi Ling didn't say anything. She just waved her hand at Tang Yezhou. The next moment she rushed up towards that black figure. Gu Tuwa, who was on the side, also rushed up. The two of them acted as the main force of the team, pinning down the black figure one after the other. As for the remaining three, they followed behind the two, trying or not to rush forward to give that stern ghost a blow. With the trial and error down the line, they had also clearly realized. This stern ghost was not a particularly strong existence at all. On the contrary, this ghost was only an S-ranked ghost. If one were to fight against a normal S-ranked stern ghost, I'm afraid that a few people would still have to think deeply about it. Only, now that they were up against such a stern ghost, they were suddenly already doubly confident. Keep charging up, absolutely not letting this stern ghost escape. Seeing that their attack was getting more and more fierce, the stern ghost was already planning to withdraw. Even the ghostly spirit was gradually showing signs of contraction. Seeing this, Qi Ling then hurriedly opened his mouth and spoke to the several people beside him. Upon hearing this, the movements of the few people's hands became even more violent. A trace of panic had flashed across that stern ghost's eyes. He hastily retreated backwards. But despite this, the several people were still slashing at his body with one blade after another. You guys, don't force me. If I blow myself up, none of you will be able to escape. Suddenly, the stern ghost opened his mouth and spoke to the few people in front of him. After the words fell, he immediately turned his head to look at Qi Ling. He had also already seen that Qi Ling was the leader among these people. If he could get Qi Ling to drop his attack on himself, he thought that it would be better to do so. Only what he didn't expect was that listening to his words. Qi Ling just sneered. I naturally know that for you. If we continue to attack, you are bound to die. But one thing you should also be clear about is that even if you say you're going to blow yourself up now, we still won't be soft on you. While Qi Ling spoke with his mouth, in his hand, his spiritual energy was transformed into a sword. In the next second, before that stern ghost could react, he immediately raised his hand and stabbed into that stern ghost's heart. That stern ghost's eyes widened as he slightly lowered his head to look at the wound in his heart. Qi Ling had already withdrawn all of his spiritual energy. And now, 
All that was left of the stern ghost's heart was a stream of black ghost chi that was seeping out. You guys, how dare you disregard my advice in the slightest? Can it be that you really aren't afraid of dying just like that? The stern ghost's ghost chi was simply too severely depleted. He couldn't even stop starting to tremble after he finished these two sentences. And the ghostly spirit beside the several people had also begun to dissipate at the fastest speed possible. Soon, the ghostly spirit had completely disappeared. As for the stern ghost, it had also dispersed into a black mist. With the circulation of air, there was gradually no trace of it. The spirits of the several people had been taught for a long time. And now that they saw that the stern ghost had finally disappeared, they also breathed a sigh of relief one after another in an instant. We actually eliminated an S-ranked stern ghost? After a long time, Gu Tuwa, who was on the side, was also filled with excitement in his tone. Only as soon as his words came out, Tang Yejo let out a light laugh. We have indeed eliminated an S-ranked stern ghost. Only, this S-rank is merely a district S- dash. We were just lucky, so don't celebrate too much. As soon as Tang Yejo's words fell, a thud suddenly sounded from the place where the stern ghost was standing just now. It was as if it was the sound of some heavy object hitting the ground. Several people instantly turned their heads to look over. A large bead appeared on the ground at the location where that stern ghost was just now. With just a glance, it was also clear to the several people that this was a spirit bead that could allow a ghost harnesser to level up and regain their physical strength. And, this piece could even make their hearts flutter for it as well. After all, having fallen off of an S-ranked stern ghost, this piece was naturally no smaller. They all stared at the spirit bead in front of them and no one opened their mouths even after a long time. This spirit bead, is indeed quite a large one, Tang Yezhou said, turning his head slightly to look at Qi Ling. Qi Ling also nodded her head. This piece is quite large. It's already comparable to the sixth layer we slaughtered before. At that time, there were so many severe ghosts, and the ones they dropped were only a mere handful. It was even small enough that we didn't consider taking it in. Saying that, Qi Ling slightly bent down as she picked up the spirit beads on the ground before turning her head to look at the few people behind her. But this piece, we can stay. For us, it should be enough to fulfill its role as well. With that said, Qi Ling took a deep breath as she turned her head to look at the few people beside her. How about, you guys think about it, who should we give this spirit pearl to? Or, should we split it together? Or, before Qi Ling could finish his words, Shui Yu, who was beside him, stepped forward, Captain, for our entire team. Your strength is the most important. All of our strength is naturally inferior to yours. Captain, so we might as well leave this to you. Captain, as long as you, Captain, can raise your strength, it won't be a big problem for us. As Chi Ling listened to Shui Yu's words, she was somewhat surprised. But before she could even open her mouth to utter a word, Tang Yezhou on the side nodded as well. Indeed, Captain, I also feel that this thing will not be able to be utilized to its fullest extent in our hands. It's better for you to take it, Captain and just absorb the energy inside directly. Tang Yezhou also opened his mouth and spoke to Qi Ling. While Qi Ling was trying to refuse, Gu Tua and Song Qiming on the side both spoke up as well. Their meaning was also obvious, that they wanted Qi Ling to accept the spirit bead. After all, what kind of severe ghosts were going to face next? None of them were sure. The severe ghosts on the next level could only be strong. They couldn't possibly be any weaker. That was why Qi Ling, the most powerful captain among their team, she also had to ensure her physical strength. Seeing that Qi Ling still wanted to refuse, Tang Yezhou then suddenly spoke up. Captain, you don't have to worry too much. This stern spirit has also left us some ordinary small spirit beads. As the words fell, Tang Yezhou suddenly stood up and walked towards the location where the stern ghost was just now. Several people's eyes all followed Tang Yezhou. He, on the other hand, slowly crouched down and picked up a few normal-sized spirit beads from the ground. Only then did he turn his head to look at Qi Ling and waved his hand at her. Captain, this night ghost doesn't just have that one spirit bead, it's enough for us to have these as well. Then the big one is better left for the captain to enhance. Chapter 75, Recovering Physical Strength, Continuing Forward. As Tang Yezhou's words fell, he began to hand out the spirit beads in his own hands to the few team members beside him. Seeing this, Shi Ling could only nod. They all hoped that they would be able to absorb the abilities of this spirit bead, and they also hoped that they would be able to protect them on the next level. Although Chi Ling didn't say anymore. It was only that a trace of determination flashed through her eyes as well. At this moment, Qi Ling had already made her decision. As long as she was still here nowadays, then she would also absolutely not let any accidents happen to her team members. Since that's the case, we shouldn't go up yet either. Let's absorb this spirit pearl first. Qi Ling gave an order, and several people then nodded their heads at Qi Ling. The five of them sat down cross-legged, each of them holding either a large or small spirit bead in their hands. 
They had gone through the war of such an S-ranked night demon, even if it wasn't so effortless to make the stern ghost dissipate, but no matter what, this stern ghost wasn't an existence that was easy to clean up after all. They had all consumed a large portion of their physical strength as well. So nowadays, if they wanted to enter the seventh floor, they had to make sure that their physical condition was restored to the best. After they sat down, they all began to absorb the energy within this spirit bead. Only after half an hour had passed did a few people finally open their eyes one after another. They glanced at each other. And immediately afterward, they stood up one after another. Our physical strength has almost recovered. Now then, let's prepare to go to the seventh floor. Xiling said as she turned her head slightly and looked to the side at the stairs leading to the seventh floor. And the few people beside her also nodded at Qi Ling. And just at this time, Tan Yezhou suddenly walked in front of Qi Ling. His movement was very sudden. And it startled Qi Ling. What's wrong? Why are you so excited? Doubt filled Qi Ling's eyes. While Deng Yezhou let out a light laugh. Captain, if I'm reading this correctly, your rank is now at SS Dash, right? Hearing Tang Yezhou's question, Qi Ling then nodded slightly. Almost there. What about you guys? Xi Ling said, turning his head to look at a few people. However, it did not occur to him that the several people listening to Xi Ling's words, then they instantly all hung their heads one by one. What? You can't possibly not increase your strength at all? Xi Ling looked at the reaction of a few people. She was somewhat surprised and opened her mouth to a few people. Captain, although our strength has also refined, but no matter what, it is still not comparable to you. Captain, we're not that obvious. Song Qi Ming, who was at the side? slowly opened his mouth and spoke to Qi Ling. Upon hearing this, Qi Ling then nodded slightly. It doesn't matter. Everyone's strength has improved anyway. So let's now. Just charge upwards. No, at least with me around. I will protect you all as well. Qi Ling's words fell. And only then did a few people nod their heads. They turned around and had already stepped onto the stairs leading to the seventh floor. The sixth floor's stern ghosts had all been wiped out. So they hadn't deliberately lowered their pace as they ascended the stairs. Soon. They were already standing outside the fire door of the seventh floor. Next, I'm going to open the door. Regardless of what we encounter when we open the door, everyone must also be in high spirits. Shi Ling turned his head with a serious face and spoke to the few people beside him. They also hurriedly nodded their heads at Shi Ling. Only then did Shi Ling take a deep breath. In the next second, the fire door was slowly pushed open by her, while the scene that came into their eyes caused them to fall into shock. There weren't too many severe ghosts on this floor. There were only a mere dozen or so. Only, each and every one of the stirring ghosts had a grade of a plus, and, a few of them surprisingly felt that these dozen or so figures all looked extremely familiar. After realizing this, the several people looked at each other in disbelief as to what exactly they should do next. These guys, in the end, are these severe ghosts that have materialized, or are they? Tom Yezhou swallowed his saliva and opened his mouth with some difficulty to ask this question. Only, none of the several people behind him spoke. These few people, had already messed up their minds in droves in an instant. Aren't those people, members of our own squad? This place is already very strange. Maybe they aren't the night ghosts either. They are our own team members who also came in to look for us, right? Gu Tua on the side brightened his eyes before turning his head to speak to Qi Ling beside him. Only, Qi Ling did not say anything. It was naturally impossible for the five heavenly kings to carry out a group action of five people in normal times. After all, under normal circumstances, there weren't any severe ghosts in the entire country that required all five of them to act at the same time. Therefore, during normal patrols, or when eliminating the ghosts, the five heavenly kings would spread out. The five heavenly kings were all spread out. Each of the five of them had a team of their own. At that time, the five heavenly kings, one person was a team, and they would choose to bring three members with them. Thus, these fifteen people in front of them happened to be members of their five-man team. It was precisely for this reason that they were simply unable to lay their hands on these stern ghosts, despite knowing full well that they were not their team members. When the five came together, none of them opened their mouths to speak. Then these dozen or so stern ghosts didn't hear any movement, and naturally wouldn't turn their heads to look over hastily. Xi Ling stared at the stern ghosts in front of him with a serious face for a long time before he finally took a deep breath. Let's be careful. These guys, they're basically night ghosts. Although Xi Ling had already expressed himself so obviously, the few people beside him, with the exception of Tang Yezhou, were all staring at the ghosts with anticipation. Qi Ling frowned slightly. Several people had not entered the seventh floor. She then turned around with a single motion and closed the fire door back up. However, she was still careful to pay attention to the intensity, so she didn't attract the attention of that group of stern ghosts. After the fire door was closed, the scorching heat in the eyes of several people also returned to normal for the time being. Captain, what are you doing? 
Can't it be that you're not willing to save them out? Gu Tua slightly turned his head to look at Qi Ling beside him, his eyes even more filled with incomprehension. Qi Ling shook his head somewhat helplessly. Gu Tuo was originally the one who cared the most about friendship amongst the few of them, so now encountered a few in his own team members exactly the same severe ghosts. Gu Tuo then instantly messed up his mind, and he also recognized that those people were exactly his own team members. On the contrary, without waiting for Qi Ling to speak, Den Yezhou, who was on the side, spoke at Gu Tuo with a serious face. They are not our teammates at all. What emanates from each and every one of them is ghost chi, not spirit energy at all. If we go up hastily, that group of stern ghosts will definitely attack while we're not paying attention. Their strength has already reached A+, plus, so yes they are already intelligent enough. Coupled with the fact that the stern ghosts in this place, all of them already look particularly strange. So do you really think that if they saw us, they would be indifferent? Tang Yezhou's words fell, but the next moment he also lowered his head. Even though he was able to persuade Gu Tuo so much, his own heart couldn't help but tremble when he saw that group of stern ghosts. Chapter 76, Our Team Members? They knew in their hearts that this was definitely an illusion, but they couldn't stop themselves from wanting to go closer. It was only after a long time that Qi Ling took a deep breath and turned his head to look at the few people beside him. We must get through this layer peacefully. From the moment you step into this building, you guys should be clear about one thing. All of the scenes in the entire building are exactly the same as our psychic bureau. So, even though the ones we see today are all exactly the same people as our team members, but the point that you guys have to be more clear about is this. This group of severe ghosts are, after all, severe ghosts, they cannot be our team members. Shi Ling's expression was very serious, and a few people looked at each other before nodding somewhat helplessly at Shi Ling. How could they not be clear about these things Shi Ling said? But now that they looked at the faces of those few people, they couldn't help but want to get closer. That was, after all, the severe ghost that topped the faces of their own team members, even if they knew in their hearts that it wasn't their own team members at all, how could they react to this matter? How could they attack them? Several people were silent for a long time without speaking again. Chi Ling slowly scanned over them, and it was only after a long time that he finally spoke. I know that you guys will be panicking in your hearts, and will also be somewhat unable to understand or even accept this, and we may still have to attack them after a while, but one thing you should be clear about is that we can't just be compelled by these severe ghosts. Our five heavenly kings, if we all fold here, what are we going to do in the future? Each and every one of you must cheer up, and also be sure to remember that that group of stern ghosts, after all, are stern ghosts, and are not our teammates at all. Do you guys understand? Hearing Chi Ling's words, it was only then that several people finally nodded at Chi Ling. We understand. Please rest assured Captain, Tan Yezhou, who was at the side, slowly opened his mouth and spoke to Chi Ling. Only then did Chi Ling nod. She didn't really think that Tan Yezhou would do anything. What she was most worried about was actually Gu Tuo beside herself. Gu Tuo, you must keep in mind that these few are just stern ghosts and are not your teammates. Listening to Qi Ling's words, Gu Tuo took a deep breath before nodding heavily. Don't worry captain, I won't do anything to them. I know they're night ghosts. Qi Ling turned his head to look at Gu Tuo's eyes beside him, and after a long period of silence, this was the only time he finally nodded. At least for the time being, from Gu Tuo's eyes, he was able to see that Gu Tuo had already firmed up. His eyes also didn't have the kind of anticipation that he had just now. Only, a few people glanced at each other, and their eyes were nothing but firmness. In fact, the other emotion would remain panic. They weren't sure what they would be facing when they faced the group of ghosts later on. Furthermore, if that group of ghosts attacked them without saying a word, should they dodge, or should they attack them? Should they dodge, or should they fight back? For a while, helplessness clouded the eyes of several people. They simply didn't know what they should do in the face of this matter. Rather, it was Chi Ling on the side who could see what was going through their minds, and that was when she rushed at them and opened her mouth. Regardless of whose face they're wearing, you all have to remember that they're night ghosts. All remember. Chi Ling's voice had been very serious. A few people were stunned for a moment, but they nodded their heads at Chi Ling. Only then was Chi Ling satisfied, and then she turned her head to look at the fire door behind her. She then took a deep breath. Then next, we'll prepare to open the door. All be on alert. We're about to go meet a vicious battle. When Chi Ling finished speaking, the few people on the side nodded their heads. After taking a deep breath, Chi Ling raised his hand and opened the fire door in front of him. A few people once again saw the dozen or so people in front of them, but their eyes were still filled with panic. They had originally intended to leave directly, and even their movements had been put very lightly. It was just that even though they hadn't made too many movements or noises, however, those severe ghosts had also realized that someone had intruded beside them. Have we been discovered? Song Chiming, who was beside him, frowned tightly and spoke to the people beside him. 
and in the next moment, several people were all on heightened alert. Even Song Chiming's hands were already ready at all times with the intention of unfurling a shield. Only when he stared at the stern ghosts in front of him, he was silent for a long time and did not open his shroud. This group of severe ghosts staring at the faces of their teammates was also truly limiting their play. Several people were staring at the severe ghosts in front of them, but none of them opened their mouths to speak. After they rushed over, but they didn't touch them directly either. Excitement surfaced on the faces of all those stern ghosts, and one by one, they all surrounded the five people. Captain, you guys are finally back. Captain, how was the mission accomplished this time? It's sort of already over, right? Captain, it's been a long time since you all took us on a mission. Captain, 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 the five people did not expect it. This group of stern ghosts rushed forward, and their first words were actually to call themselves Captain. For a moment, a movement appeared on the faces of several people. What's more, they simply didn't know nowadays how they should pull themselves out of this emotion. The mission is almost considered complete. It's just that there should still be some finishing work to be done nowadays. Don't worry, we'll definitely be able to team up again in the future. Right? It's fine. You guys will always be my team members. While Chi Ling was hesitating, Gu Tuwa, who was on the side, had already started to open his mouth to answer the words of this group of stern ghosts. Instantly, Chi Ling's face changed all over. She turned her head slightly to look at the four people beside her. Aside from Tong Yezhou, who was still able to maintain his sanity, the rest of the people were all already smiling at the group of stern ghosts. They opened their mouths to answer each other's words while also asking some questions. After a long time, the ghosts did not launch any attacks on them. As usual, they looked no different from their previous team members. Moreover, both sides were very amicable, as if the other side was not a ghost at all. It was as if everything was an illusion on their part. Chi Ling frowned slightly. The three people in front of them kept calling themselves Captain. Chi Ling took a deep breath, and only then did she look at those three people. Only in the next moment, her pupils had shrunk uncontrollably. These are definitely not our team members. They are all night ghosts. Chi Ling's words fell, but it was Gu Tuwa, who was on the side, who was the first to speak up. What a captain. These are clearly our team members. Don't you dare say that. Gu Tuo's words caused Chi Ling to instantly turn her head to look over. Immediately after that she slapped Gu Tuo on the side of his head. Chapter 77, The Night Ghost's Disguise. Those in front of them were not their team members at all. The reason why Gu Tuo couldn't come out of his immersion right now wasn't because of anything else. It was simply because the spirits of several of them had been tense for a long time. Now that they suddenly saw a few familiar faces, they instantly had some relaxation. In such a situation, it was also the moment when it was easiest to be sneak attacked. Without hesitation, Chi Ling reached out and pulled Gu Tuo back. Only then did she speak at Gu Tuo. Look for yourself. What kind of stiffness have their limbs become? Can't it be that you still think that they are your team members? They are clearly the severe ghosts. You see clearly. Chi Ling lowered his voice and spoke in Gu Tuo's ear. As for the other few people, as early as when Chi Ling pulled Gu Tuo away, they had already come back to their senses. For the way they had sunk in just now, each and every one of them was a little embarrassed. And Chi Ling didn't blame them. Just now, even Chi Ling herself had been a bit disoriented. After all, these stern ghosts were staring at the face of one of their own team members, and they were also screaming Captain Captain. Who could stand that? It was just that Chi Ling was able to quickly come back to her senses. It was also only because, just now, she saw a face that shouldn't have appeared. Chi Ling's own three team members, one had already died long ago, before going to Wei Ming's neighborhood in the beginning. That team member had already ceased to exist. So nowadays, he was even less supposed to exist here. That was why Chi Ling was able to come back to her senses the fastest. Immediately afterward, she was in a cold sweat. If several of them had been caught up in this kind of emotion, they would definitely not be able to escape from the hands of this group of severe ghosts no matter what. After Gu Tuo was pulled away by Chi Ling, he listened to Chi Ling's words. Only then did he fix his eyes towards them in front of him. It wasn't until this time that he saw clearly. It turned out that these few people in front of him really looked very stiff. In the beginning, when they stared at that face, they only felt very familiar. But now, not only the movements of their limbs, even the smile on their faces, all seemed like they were deliberately squeezed out. Gutua hastily took a few steps back, and at the same time, Song Chiming's few people had also stood beside Chi Ling. They had all come to their senses completely. The five of them stared at the stern ghosts in front of them, even though at this point, they had already realized that the stern ghosts were not their teammates at all. But in this situation, they couldn't bring themselves to actually attack them. So the several people just remained silent, but did not make any movements for a long time. Only, the group of stern ghosts found that no matter what they did or said, 
The moment the five heavenly kings in front of them didn't make any movements, they were also clear that they had been exposed. Immediately after that, they laughed coldly. That laughter made the five instantly feel the hairs of their sweat stand up. That sound was as if it was coming out of the depths of their throats. Although several people wanted to say something, although they wanted to do something, yet, they were unable to do anything by the onslaught of the ear-piercing sound. Rather, it was Song Chiming on the side who strongly endured the noises. He quickly turned the shield on. In this way, the noise from the group of stern ghosts was finally blocked out by Song Chiming's shield. Only after a long time did the group of stern ghosts stop. Captain, why are you ignoring me? Captain, do you guys not want us anymore? The five of you are our captains. Why are you unfurling your shields on us? Is it hard to believe that you guys want to make a move against us? The fifteen of them spoke to the five heavenly kings one by one. That voice was very piercing, and one person at a time without stopping in the slightest. Nowadays, even with Song Chiming's shield, they only felt very harsh. Alright, they're already like this. If some of you still think that this is your teammate, then there's really nothing I can do to save you guys, Shi Ling said, and gradually condensed a stream of spiritual energy in her hands. Immediately afterward, she threw the spiritual energy in her hand towards the stern ghost in front of her. Only, Chi Ling didn't use all her strength, and the group of stern ghosts, too, darted away. However, the next moment, Chi Ling frowned slightly, simply because, just now, when this group of severe ghosts dodged the attack, that movement was simply exactly the same as their original team members. Captain, are we really going to attack them? They even have the exact same moves as our team members, right? Facing such people, how can we possibly lay our hands on them? Gu Tuwa, who was on the side, took a deep breath before he slightly turned his head to look at Chi Ling, who was beside him. Chi Ling of course also knew about this matter, but nowadays, if he didn't attack them, wouldn't what he was waiting for be his own demise? So Chi Ling didn't open her mouth. She just frowned tightly and stared at the severe ghosts in front of her. The group of ghosts did not wait for them to make a move. One by one, they immediately pounced towards them. Their moves were basically identical to the five heavenly king's men. A few people simply couldn't see anything wrong with them. And they were also still staring at the faces of their men. At this point in time, they didn't even know how exactly they should respond nowadays. They weren't any people who were too ruthless in the first place. Now that they were faced with these severe ghosts that looked exactly like their own team members, they really didn't know exactly how they should strike. The faces of several people all seemed to sink in an instant. Captain, what do we do now? We can't really exterminate them, right? Every one of them is so similar to our team members. Who can really be ruthless enough to make a move against them? The team member beside Chi Ling spoke in a low voice. Chi Ling, on the other hand, frowned slightly. Song Chi Ming, strengthen the shield some. Categorically, we can't let them break through the shields. And that is, you guys see clearly, what these guys are holding. Is it spirit energy or ghost chi? Is that black or white? Don't mess up your mind first because of these messy things. Chi Ling's voice was very serious. And after her words fell, several people then rushed to look at their hands. As expected, what they saw was black ghost chi and not white spiritual energy. The moment Gu Tua saw that ghost Chi, he gazed at it and prepared to launch an attack. But once again, Chi Ling reached out and stopped him. Gu Tua, you shouldn't attack rashly. You a captain who is so emotionally attached. Maybe if they call out captain twice more, they'll call you out of your mind again. After Chi Ling stopped Gu Tua, she then looked up at the group of stern ghosts in front of her. She didn't make a move to kill her own team members. After all, it was also because of that member of her own team. It was what made her realize that all of this was a disguise for the night ghosts. Chapter 78 They are not human at all, seeing clearly, but even though they had all now realized that these so-called henchmen were all just disguises, just facing the familiar faces in front of them, and even their identical moves, yet they were simply unable to be ruthless. Song Chi Ming, the shield is holding up, don't put it away. Chi Ling turned his head to stare at the several team members beside him, and at the same time, he also turned his head to speak seriously to Song Chi Ming. Only then did Song Chi Ming nod slightly. A little bit of intolerance hung on the faces of several of them nowadays. Against this kind of face that looked exactly like their teammates, they really couldn't do anything about it either. Even Chi Ling, too, had slowed down for a long time before he finally took a deep breath. They're just a bunch of a plus rankly ghosts. As long as we don't get too emotional, we'll definitely be able to eliminate them. Listen up, all of you. They're just a bunch of ghosts disguised as our team members. They're not our real team members and they're not human at all, so there's no need to worry too much when it comes to making a move against them. Understand, Chi Ling's words fell, but none of the people beside her answered her words. Chi Ling couldn't help but turn her head towards the few people beside her with some impatience. I'm talking to you, did you all hear me? 
Tong Yezhou nodded slightly. Don't worry captain. I know. I sensed the ghost aura on them long ago. I naturally won't show any mercy to them. Hearing Tang Yezhou's reply, Shi Ling then nodded slightly, and in the next second she turned her head to look at Gu Tua, who was on the side. The fact that Song Qiming's shield had been holding up all this time had already marked his attitude. Although Shui Yu didn't say anything, a hint of determination also hung on his face. Qi Ling could naturally see it. For them, it didn't matter what kind of face the other party was holding up. The few of them wouldn't show mercy to this group of stern ghosts either. Only what Qi Ling was most worried about now was Gu Tua. Gu Tua was such an affectionate person. Plus, Gu Tua is the second strongest of the five heavenly kings. If he doesn't make a move at that time, and only lets Qi Ling make a move, then Qi Ling really wasn't sure if he could get rid of this group of stern ghosts as fast as possible. Gu Tua, did you hear what I said just now? Qi Ling took a deep breath and continued to speak to Gu Tua. Gu Tua frowned slightly before looking at Qi Ling. Captain, I know what you mean. It's just that this group of them are also really too similar. As the words fell, Gu Tua raised his leg and walked towards the front. The next moment, he was about to walk out of Song Qiming's shield. Gu Tua, what are you doing? Qi Ling's brows all instantly furrowed. It was just that Gu Tua acted as if he hadn't heard her voice, still walking towards the front. After Gu Tua walked out from within the shroud, although those severe ghosts saw it, they didn't make any movements amongst themselves. They only glanced at each other before three of them walked towards Gu Tua. And those three people were the three stern ghosts that were staring at Gu Tua's men. After they walked towards Gu Tua, each of their faces seemed to reveal a smile. Captain, have you finally given up coming over to take a look at us? Captain, you don't know just how hard it's been for us during your absence. Captain, are you coming to stay with us? Listening to the three people's raw voices, Gu Tua frowned slightly. But despite this, he still did not leave, still staring at the three people in front of him. Gu Tua, look carefully, they aren't your team members at all. Shi Ling frowned tightly. It was just that so many stern ghosts outside were eyeing them. It was also simply inconvenient for her to directly rush out. Instead, it was Gu Tua who turned his head slightly to look at Qi Ling behind him. Captain, they may not be our team members, but they at least so far, have not done us any harm have they? Gu Tuo's words fell. Then a stern ghost launched an attack towards Gu Tua. His attack was very stealthy. Only a blade of Qi emerged from his back and flew towards Gu Tua. Seeing that the blade of Qi was about to stab him towards Gu Tuo's neck. However, when Gu Tuo still didn't notice any abnormalities, Qi Ling instantly became anxious. She frowned and immediately rushed up. Qi Ling's spiritual energy also transformed into an air blade. It directly collided with that ghostly aura. The ghostly aura instantly disappeared. And Qi Ling had also reached out and pulled Gu Tuo back. When he re-entered the shield, Gu Tuo's eyes had taken on a trace of incredulity. He had naturally heard the aura of the two colliding coming from behind him just now. Having eliminated so many Li ghosts, he had also been sitting in the position of Heavenly King for such a long time. Gu Tuo was naturally clear about what exactly that sound from the square was. In this instant, Gu Tuo's face all sank instantly. Only then did Qi Ling turn her head slightly to look at Gu Tuo beside her. Didn't you say that they won't harm you? If it's according to your words, they won't harm you at all. Then who sent out that attack just now? Such an obvious sound of ghost Qi and spiritual energy colliding. You wouldn't be unable to hear it, would you? It's hard to believe that it's already come to this point now. Are you still planning to deceive yourself? Shi Ling spoke sternly to Gu Tuo. This time, however, Gu Tuo only slightly hung his head. He was certainly clear that just now, if it wasn't for Chi Ling's words, it was very likely that he himself would have already been killed by those several stern ghosts without even noticing. As a heavenly king, he didn't even have this kind of vigilance. In this instant, Gu Tuo only felt very guilty and especially chagrined. Looking at Gu Tuo, he lowered his head and didn't say a word for a long time. In fact, Qi Ling probably knew what was going through his mind. Qi Ling did not say anything, just walked forward and gently patted him on the shoulder. All right Gu Tuo, just come to your senses now. Failure or being blinded once or twice. It's a minor issue, but what you need to know is that you absolutely can't plant it every time. Qi Ling's words fell, and only then did Gu Tuo nod heavily. He took a deep breath before he looked at Qi Ling beside him. Captain. I have to admit that this matter is indeed my fault. It's because I'm too emotionally attached. That's why it led to today's result. But captain, just don't worry. I definitely won't let this kind of thing happen a second time. Looking at the firmness in Gu Tuo's eyes, Shi Ling then nodded slightly. Good. Since you've come to your senses, it's a good thing. As the words fell, Shi Ling turned his head to look at the many stern ghosts surrounding him. Only after a long time did he rush at Gu Tuo and open his mouth. Then, after you've eased yourself, Let's launch an attack on them. Song Qiming's shield won't necessarily be able to last all the way. The impact on him isn't small either. 
Saying that, Chi Ling looked at Gu Tuwa. Gu Tuwa nodded heavily. He then turned his head to look at the group of stern ghosts. Then, this time it's them waiting to die. Chapter 79, Eliminating All the Lich Ghosts. As Gu Tuo's words fell, he immediately launched an attack towards the stern ghosts in front of him. When Gu Tuo rushed up, the group of severe ghosts hadn't come back to their senses at all. They were still thinking about the kindness that Gu Tuo had shown them just now. More so, they hadn't even expected that Gu Tuo would suddenly attack them. In this instant, all three of these three ghosts had instantly panicked, and the remaining stern ghosts had also surrounded in Gu Tuo's direction. All right, I'll take it easy. Since Gutua has already taken the lead and rushed up, we naturally can't show any weakness, can we? While we're at it, let's all go together. This group of stern ghosts, it's impossible for them to walk out from here today. Shi Ling shouted. In the next moment, Song Qiming's shield closed up, and after the group of stern ghosts realized that, they didn't continue charging towards Gutua. Instead, one by one, they turned their heads and charged towards the four of them again. Watching the movements of this group of severe ghosts, Tang Yezhou laughed softly. This group of stern ghosts do have some skills. Surprisingly, they are able to distinguish clearly who exactly their target is. It's not like they're aimlessly, seeing whoever is closest to them and then striking at them. Behind these severe ghosts, there must be someone controlling them. And that person cannot be said to have a bigger target as well. Tang Yezhou's tone was very serious, but on his face, he was still wearing a smile. Even now, they knew that this matter was definitely not ordinary. But for them, it seemed like they really couldn't do any better. Or in other words, despite this, they couldn't do more. They could only choose to use water to cover up the earth. Other than this, there was nothing else that could be done. How could Chi Ling not be clear about this? She just shook her head helplessly, and then launched an attack towards the severe ghosts in front of her. Every third one of these ghosts surrounded a heavenly king. In turn, it saved them from having to pick their targets. Instead, they quickly unleashed their attacks on the night ghosts in front of them. Chi Ling was still disguised as a SS-ranked Ghostmaster. Dealing with this group of A-plus nightly ghosts was considered very easy. Therefore, she was the first to resolve the group of ghosts in front of her. After resolving her three stern ghosts, she did not act rashly. Instead, she turned her head to look at the other four members of her own team beside her. Each one of them was fighting against the severe ghosts in front of them. Gu Tuwa, on the contrary, appeared to be in control. It was only Shui Yu on the side who was faced with the three severe ghosts in front of him. He was already a bit overwhelmed. Although Shui Yu was also an S-class ghostmaster. After all, he was the one who specialized in healing. Compared to the simultaneous attacks of the three ghosts. Naturally, he was still slightly inferior. Seeing this, Qi Ling then immediately rushed over. Captain, when Shui Yu saw Qi Ling beside him, he rushed over to Qi Ling with slight excitement. Qi Ling slightly nodded at him, but she didn't say anything. She then directly struck at the stern ghost in front of Shui Yu. Qi Ling's body was surrounded by spiritual energy, and the attacks of those severe ghosts were unable to cause any damage to Qi Ling at all. While Qi Ling was helping Shui Yu to eliminate the group of ghosts in front of him, Gu Tuwa, who was on the side, had also completely killed the three ghosts in front of him. It was just that, despite knowing that the three of them were lied ghosts, but looking at the empty mass of black mist floating away in front of him, Gu Tuo's eyes were also still unable to avoid a layer of sadness coloring them. Perhaps he had already thought. After waiting, maybe his three team members, too, would eventually die before his eyes. And at that time, what kind of reaction would he have? Gu Tuo had not yet slowed down. Shi Ling, who was on the side, had already noticed the situation on Gu Tuo's side. Gu Tuo, after you destroy that stern ghost of yours, go help Tang Yezhou. We have to be quicker to eliminate all of this group of stern ghosts. Hearing Qi Ling's voice, only then did Gu Tuo finally regain his senses. He turned his head slightly to look in Tang Yezhou's direction. For Tang Yezhou, if he dealt with two stern ghosts at the same time, he did have a method, and even had enough strength left over. However, to deal with three ghosts at the same time, for him, it would be considered a challenge. After staring at Tang Yezhou's direction for a moment, Gu Tuo did not hesitate any longer. He directly rushed forward to help Tang Yezhou. Soon, Qi Ling and Gu Tuo simultaneously finished resolving the stern ghosts in front of Shui Yu and Tang Yezhou. The four of them then turned their heads towards Song Qiming together. Song Qiming was protected by a shield. So no matter what, he wouldn't be harmed by the stern ghosts. This was also the reason why they had chosen to help Song Qiming in the end. And Song Qiming himself knew it in his heart. So naturally, he wouldn't blame them. Soon enough, all 15 of these luteous ghosts had been completely annihilated. A few people also let out a sigh of relief. These 15 A-plus rankly ghosts were naturally very powerful. It was just that they were facing the five heavenly kings working together. 
they could only be annihilated as well. And there wasn't even a crumb left. Merely, even though they had already annihilated all 15 of the stern ghosts in front of them, yet they had not taken it lightly. Tan Yezho, see if there are any more stern ghosts on this floor. Not a single corner should be spared. If there's suddenly a stern ghost running out like on the previous floor, then you can just wait. Shi Ling turned her head to look at Tang Yezho. She slowly opened her mouth and spoke to Tang Yezho. Tan Yezho, on the other hand, nodded his head slightly, and in the next second, he began to scrutinize his surroundings. While he was looking, he was still walking towards the front. Shi Ling, on the other hand, slowly followed behind him. As for the remaining three, they all chose to follow. After all, if they followed, they would be able to react in time should there be any unexpected situations. In this way, they would not have to worry at all about whether or not someone would fall behind. Soon, they followed behind Tang Yezhou and looked over this entire floor. Only then did Tang Yezhou finally let out a sigh of relief and turned his head to look at Qi Ling behind him. There is no danger here anymore. Only then did Qi Ling nod. Her line of sight then fell on those spirit beads on the ground aside. Since it has been confirmed that there is no danger, then let's absorb these first. Although the amount isn't large, it can at least serve some purpose for us. With that, Qi Ling walked towards those spirit beads. Seeing this, the few people then nodded. Afterwards, they all took three of them and sat on the ground to absorb the energy within the spirit beads. Only after a long time did they finish absorbing them. Captain, are we going to continue going up now? Or can we continue to recover our strength here? Tan Yezhou, who was on the side, turned his head and asked Qi Ling, continue up. As the words fell, she took the lead towards the stairs. Seeing this, the four people also hurriedly followed. Just, what made all of them not expect was, several of them had only just stepped onto the eighth floor. In the next second, there was no longer any figure beside them. Captain, Chapter 80, You Guys Stay. Tang Yezhou turned his head to look around, but in the middle of the day, he did not see anyone's figure. In the next second, he immediately began to sense his surroundings. It was only a moment later, but he could only shake his head helplessly. He did not sense the presence of anyone beside him. In other words, the five of them were instantly separated when they stepped onto the eighth floor. And between them, there was no one who would have expected such a turn of events to occur. Each and every one of them had now been separated individually. They no longer had their companions beside them. Chi Ling frowned slightly. She didn't open her mouth or even make any movements after realizing this. She just looked around at her immediate surroundings. There didn't seem to be anything strange in front of her. At least that's what Kurito thought for now. After standing in place for a long time, Chi Ling then slowly walked towards the front. It was just that what Chi Ling didn't expect was, he had only just taken two steps when a figure suddenly appeared in front of him. That figure had its back to itself. Moreover, Chi Ling also felt the fluctuation of a ghost master's spiritual power on the other party's body. The moment he felt the spiritual energy, Chi Ling had already taken two more steps forward. Who are you? Why are you here? It's hard to believe that you also came in by mistake from the thick fog? Chi Ling said as he approached the person. Only, since she wasn't clear about the other person's identity, Chi Ling didn't get too close to the other person either. She only took a few steps before stopping her pace. This distance was enough for Chi Ling to see the other party's face clearly. But looking at the other party's back, a thought suddenly flashed through Chi Ling's mind. This person in front of him, how could he look so similar to himself? In this instant, Chi Ling suddenly felt that this guy in front of her was very similar to herself. She couldn't even say any of the reasons why the other person wasn't herself. After she stared at the figure for a long time, the other person slowly turned around. Hello, Chi Ling. Chi Ling shivered as she stared blankly at the person in front of her. She actually looked exactly the same as herself, and even the aura emanating from her body was exactly the same as her own. Chi Ling opened her mouth, but she didn't know what to say. She was already completely at a loss as to what she should do. What's the matter Chi Ling? You don't know how to accept seeing a me that looks exactly like you? The man looked at the shock on Chi Ling's face before speaking to Chi Ling again. Chi Ling took two steps backward, but despite this, her eyes were still locked on the other person's. Why do you look exactly like me? And, even the fluctuation of spiritual energy in your body is the same as mine. What exactly is your identity? Shi Ling, despite having been very restrained, but within her tone, it was also still filled with panic. She wasn't as calm as she appeared to be. On the other hand, Tang Yezhou had also discovered the back figure standing in front of him that was very similar to himself. It was just that Tang Yezhou was not the same as Chi Ling. He sensed the presence of the other party as quickly as possible and the moment he realized that there was a person standing in front of him, Tang Yezhou's eyes had quickly landed on the other person's body. He had already realized, the other party didn't seem to be an ordinary ghostmaster at all. 
that spirit power level on the other party's body was practically identical to his own. And, even the spiritual power fluctuations around his body were the same as what he was used to. Tang Yezhou stared at the other party for a long time, but didn't even open his mouth. It was as if that person realized that Tang Yezhou hadn't been opening his mouth to speak with him, and only then did he finally slowly turn around to look at Tang Yezhou. From the very beginning, Tang Yezhou had thought about it. This guy standing in front of him today, it couldn't be a duplicate of himself. After all, with the experience on the seventh floor just now, those people who looked exactly like their team members, it was also true that it made his heart palpitate. Now that someone so similar to himself had appeared, he had this thought in an instant, but this thought was only a flash. Tang Yezhou had never imagined that a malicious ghost would disguise itself. Furthermore, even if the ghost really did disguise his appearance, however, one of the biggest differences between their ghost masters and the ghosts was that, they were spirit energy, but the ghosts were ghost chi. This was something that was simply impossible to change, but as the other party turned his head, Tang Yezhou stared at the face that looked exactly like his own, and he instantly froze. You, why do you look exactly like me? Tang Yezhou opened his mouth with a somewhat trembling voice and spoke to that person. Only that person instead gave a smile at Tang Yezhou. That smile was incomparably familiar to Tang Yezhou. It was simply the exact same smile as his. Hello, Tan Yezhou. I am you. I can be you. And even more so, I can replace you. The other party spoke these words very plainly, and there was even a hint of goodwill in his tone. However, Tang Yezhou could not feel any goodwill at all. He only felt that this fellow that suddenly appeared before him was definitely not right. But before he could even open his mouth, the guy had already waved his hand towards him, signaling him to go over. And on the other side, it didn't matter if it was Gu Tuwa or Song Qiming and Shuiyu, they were now facing the same situation, even though the five were separated, the situation in front of them was exactly the same, the only thing that was unanimous amongst the five was that despite this, not a single one of them had acted rashly, each and every one of them did not make a single movement, but remained in their positions and did not approach that guy, come on, you've all been running for so long, aren't you tired, come here, come to me and you'll be able to choose to rest, and, never again will you have to labor so much, Come over quickly, as long as you all come, none of you will have to worry about those humans in the future. Chi Ling stared at the guy who was talking at her in front of her. For her part, she couldn't help but frown. What is the reason for you letting us go over there? It's in the hope that we can stay here, or is it an alternative to you staying here? Kirito's words fell. The self in front of him fell back and suddenly laughed. You're very clever. Not bad. That is indeed what I intend to do. You guys have also been working hard outside for so long already. Rather, it's better to stay here peacefully. In the future, you guys won't have to worry about those things outside. We are the ones who will take your place. Whether it's to benefit mankind, or to save mankind, we are naturally able to do so. In this way, you should all be able to rest assured. Listening to this person's words, Chi Ling then instantly understood. It seemed that it wasn't just himself who had encountered this kind of thing. The rest of his own teammates must have encountered this kind of thing as well. It was just that after all five of them had listened to what this fellow in front of them had said, they, however, did not make any movements for a long time, one greeted oneself, and also wanted themselves to stay here. With this kind of bizarre scene, they simply didn't know what to do, even more so, they didn't make a rash move. Chapter 81, Sneaking Through the Door? At the same time, on the other side, at this moment, Wei Ming had already successfully stepped into the portal, and in the next second, his figure completely disappeared in front of shattered mouth and sun Fei's eyes, even though the two ghosts were standing aside, their eyes were staring straight at the stern ghost in front of them, they were more afraid nowadays, this stern ghost had taken advantage of Wei Ming's absence nowadays to directly attack them, but as it turned out, it seemed that they had indeed overthought it, that stern ghost didn't even look like it wanted to make a move against them, instead, it had been speaking at the two ghosts, it had the appearance of a chatterbox, hey, you guys are also unaware of this, I've been here for a long, long time, even so long that I don't even realize the passage of time. All this time, all I could do was stand on the roof of the building and watch those stern ghosts down there roam around. But really, they're all staying here too, and they can't get out of this place at all. It's like this neighborhood has no doors at all. We can only be imprisoned here. Even we ourselves don't know why we are here. But every time someone breaks in, we still have to carry out the extermination of humans. It doesn't matter what kind of things this group of people will actually do. As long as they step into the middle of our legis territory, all they will face is our attack. For such a long time, you guys are still the first ones I've seen that can move. Before that, I hadn't even seen a dead thing. You guys are also unaware of it. How happy I was when I saw you bravely rushing up. 
I had already noticed you guys when you were in the other building just now, and have also been waiting for you guys to come over. Good thing you guys finally came over. It wasn't in vain that I waited for so long. That talkative stirring ghost sat down on the ground by himself. It didn't even look at Shattered Mouth or Sun Fei. Not to mention having any defenses against the two of them or anything like that. It was as if he was chatting with an old friend he hadn't seen in a long time. All the time talking about his situation. After listening to the talkative night ghost recite for a long time, the cat with the broken mouth frowned slightly. It then looked at Sun Fei beside him. Sun Fei realized Shatter Mouth's movements, which caused him to turn his head slightly to look at Shatter Mouth. It was just that what Shatter Mouth did not expect was, that Sun Fei didn't read its own meaning at all. It only felt that it had clearly shown itself to be so obvious, but Sun Fei's face was still filled with doubt. Seeing this, Shattered Mouth was also somewhat helpless. It could only wave at Sun Fei, signaling for him to come over and talk. Sun Fei turned his head to look at the chatterbox knight. The chatterbox was still sitting on the ground, and his mouth was still chattering. He didn't even turn his head at all to see what Broken Mouth and Sun Fei were doing. Seeing this, Sun Fei then carefully moved over towards Shatter Mouth. What are you doing? That stern ghost might not be able to defeat both of us, if we move too much, or even go too far, there's no guarantee that he won't make a move against us. Sun Fei had already tried to keep his voice as low as possible. However, when Shattered Mouth looked at Sun Fei's so abashed appearance, he rolled his eyes somewhat helplessly at Sun Fei. What are you afraid of? This guy didn't even look at us. What does this mean? It means he doesn't care what we are doing. Then why don't we take advantage of his inattention and charge straight into that portal? Shattered Mouth's voice was lowered. And while it was speaking, it was also keeping an eye on the talkative ghost on the side. Luckily, the chatterbox was really a chatterbox, and was always chanting to itself, not even noticing what Shattered Mouth and Sun Fei were doing at all. After Shattered Mouth finished speaking, it realized that the chatterbox didn't make any movements. Only then did it continue to turn its head to look at Sun Fei beside it. Only, Sun Fei was indeed a bit hesitant. Do we really have to go? What if we've already been stopped by this stern ghost before we've even managed to go in? Looking at Sun Fei's hesitation like this, Broken Mouth directly slapped Sun Fei's head with a hateful slap. The movement of the two people was a bit loud. Instead, it attracted the attention of that talkative person. He turned his head slightly and just happened to also see Sun Fei holding his head and staying aside. Between the two of you. Ah, this camaraderie is quite good. Honestly, I haven't seen such a harmonious relationship in how long. In our place, most of the severe ghosts guard an area alone. You guys should have noticed that along the way. It's the more lowly night ghosts that are found in groups. But so what? Those severe ghosts are too low level. They can't even feel what this loneliness feels like at all either. So ah, uh, all I can say is that you two better cherish each other. Or else be careful that you'll never see each other again in the future. I also had a good brother earlier. And earlier the two of us even stayed together all the time. But then I didn't know why. And was captured to guard here. But he is not here. I can't help it. I can't get out of this place at all. I guess he can't find my location either. As that chatterbox spoke, he had also begun to get sad. However, Shattermouth and Sun Fei were not listening to what he was saying at this time. Broken Mouth made a wink at Sun Fei. Only then did Sun Fei hastily nod at him. In the next moment, they quickly got up. The two of them rushed straight up towards that portal. Only, their movements did move too much. Naturally, it had attracted the attention of the talkative stirring ghost on the side. However, even though he had already realized that Broken Mouth and Sun Fei were rushing towards the portal. However, he did not get up to stop them. He just closed his chatty mouth. He stared at the two ghosts in silence. Shattered mouth realized that that chatterbox wasn't going to stop him. Its heart also instantly flashed with a trace of joy. The two of them flew close to the portal. Seeing that the portal was getting closer and closer to them, regardless of whether it was Shattered mouth or Sun Fei, both of them had a smile on their faces. They had even thought about it. After passing through this portal in a while, they would be able to successfully meet Wei Ming. However, what they didn't expect was that, as soon as they touched the portal, the next moment, they were instantly bounced off. The force was so violent that it directly confused Shattered Mouth and Sun Fei. The two of them sat on the ground in a daze. At the same time, their eyes were still staring at the portal in front of them. They couldn't seem to understand what had just happened and why they were bounced off. Could it be that it was because that talkative stern spirit wasn't going to stop them because he had already figured out how to stop them? As Shattered Mouth thought, he had turned his head slightly to look at the talkative stern ghost to the side. And Sun Fei's gaze had also slowly turned over. Chapter 82, No One Can Enter. Realizing that the two of them were looking at themselves. Only then did the chatterbox knight let out a light laugh. He knew that right now. After the two of them were bounced off the portal, their hearts must be filled with doubts. And, there was also a high probability that they suspected that it was caused by themselves. 
However, that talkative stern ghost didn't wait for Broken Mouth and Sun Fei to open their mouths to ask, it had already opened its mouth at the two of them on its own. You too, you're really just too impulsive. Not everyone can enter this portal. Being so impulsive, you guys should also think about it. If this door is broken by you guys, then at that time, will the person who just went in actually be able to come out? As the talkative night ghost spoke, he walked over to Shattered Mouth's side. After all, Shattered Mouth was a civet cat. Even if it was now incarnated as a night ghost, it was still a cat. Most people had no resistance to small furry animals. It seemed that this saying was equally applicable when placed on the body of a stern ghost. After that stern ghost walked towards Shattered Mouth, it intended to bend down and pick Shattered Mouth up from the ground. But what made the talkative stern ghost not expect was, he had only just squatted down. That Shattered Mouth immediately jumped back a step. Moreover, its eyes were still staring tightly at the consumptive ghost in front of it and its eyes were filled with the consumptive ghost's vigilance. Seeing this, the talkative stern ghost could only helplessly shake its head at the broken mouth. Little cat, you don't need to be so wary of me. I simply don't intend to make a move against you guys. Only Shattermouth didn't believe the words of this chatterbox at all. Maybe you do indeed not intend to make a move against us, but just now we were bounced off that portal. It must have been thanks to you too. The hairs on Shattered Mouth's body were about to explode. It stared at the chatterbox in front of it and spoke. Hearing this questioning from Shatter Mouth, Shatterbox then said that he was very innocent. No, this really isn't because of me. I can tell you guys very bluntly. This portal, only the one from just now can go in. Didn't you guys also call that person master? Doesn't that also show that you guys are also aware of how powerful he is? So yeah, it's not like I'm better than him. This door can't even be entered. It's hard to believe that you two still think that you can get in? None of us can get in. None of us are chosen ghosts. This portal, just take a look. Besides, we still don't know what's going on inside. One by two, don't get so excited. If you ask me, it's fine to wait here peacefully. He'll always come out of this portal anyway. If it doesn't come out, it's also very likely that he died inside. Listening to the chatter of the talkative night ghost, Shattered Mouth clearly didn't believe what he was saying. The Shattered Mouth slightly turned its body, and it once again looked towards that teleportation portal. Immediately afterward, it directly jumped over. And this time, it was unsurprisingly bounced off the portal once again. However, this time, Shattered Mouth instead used its afterglow to stare at the talkative stern ghost not far away. It also clearly saw that the talkative ghost hadn't rushed at itself. However, it was still bounced off by this portal in front of it. At this point in time, Shattered Mouth also knew that he couldn't continue to doubt the chatty ghost. After all, he was also just a bit chatty. But it seemed that from start to finish, every word spoken was not a lie. After taking a deep breath, only then did Shattered Mouth continue walking towards the portal. No, you're still going? Isn't it obvious enough? We all can't get in. So why do you have to know that there's a tiger in the mountain and go towards it? Is it possible that just because you're a cat, you're so casual? But that doesn't work either. After all, even I don't know what kind of changes will happen to this portal if I try too many times. Chatterbox took a look at how Shattermouth was going to continue trying. He then hurriedly opened his mouth to continue speaking to Shattered Mouth. Only. Shattermouth didn't even look at Chatterbox with a single glance. This time, Shattermouth chose to try from the back of the portal, but it still failed once again. After being bounced off, Shattermouth flipped over and turned around again, continuing to rush towards the portal, trying from the side, trying from the back, backing up, even a jumping lunge to try from above. Just without exception, every single time it failed. Looking at the scene in front of him, Shattered Mouth couldn't help but go a little crazy. How in the world can this broken door go in? When the master went in just now, he clearly managed to go in without expending a single ounce of strength. Shattered Mouth was a bit angry, while Chatterbox on the side picked up on Shattered Mouth's words. Didn't I already say it all just now? Only your master can go in. The rest of us, no matter who it is, can't go in. You're still unwilling to believe my words. Do you believe me now? Chatterbox was still speaking from the sidelines. Shatter Mouth, on the other hand, turned his head to look at Sun Fei beside him. After taking a deep breath, Shattermouth then spoke at Sun Fei. You go and try. I still don't believe that we can't enter this door today. Sun Fei nodded. And only then did he walk towards that portal. Just aside, the consumptive ghost was also chanting nonstop. Hey Goo, I've told you all not to keep trying. Why don't you guys listen? This really isn't something that can be solved casually. As the words of the talkative night ghost fell, Sun Fei had just tried not twice. The portal in front of him, however, suddenly shrunk by a circle. Wait, don't you go yet. Seeing that portal shrinking, it was only then that Broken Mouth hurriedly opened his mouth to call out to Sun Fei. I told you, after more attempts, 
this portal might produce changes, your master will have to come out from here later on. It's better for you guys not to mess around here at this time. Listening to the words of the talkative night ghost, Shattered Mouth and Sun Fei had no choice but to call it quits. They truly were already at a loss as to what they should do next. After a long time, Shattered Mouth turned his head to look at the chatterbox night ghost on the side. However, you've been guarding this portal for so long. You should also be aware of what exactly is behind this portal, right? Is it the ninth residential building? Have you ever been there? Shattered Mouth opened its mouth to inquire about the talkative night ghost. Right now its thoughts were quite simple. Anyway, it didn't know exactly what it was that caused them to be unable to go in at all. But since they couldn't go in, they might as well take this opportunity to learn more about this portal. Only what they didn't expect was. The talkative night ghost then shook his head at them. I don't really know what exactly is behind that door. To be honest, I've been here since very early on. All I can say about my previous memories is that I'm a blur. And that we can't get out at all. And I will be here. Also to wait for your master. Even though I've never met him. But he was able to break all the way through and managed to get in. So I know that it's him I'm waiting for. Only what exactly is behind this door. I don't know. I've never even been inside.